Quenching frags going against you. You've got no choice but to say what you have left. There's the majority of their utility, two rifles and an SMG. Not ideal, but it's it's better than nothing. Also, he, okay, Blitz came out of the palace itself, so he just actually extinguished it. They're assuming there would be no way yeah. that would be a thing. And he saw the he saw the player towards the stairs before that smoke went down, so he actually knew exactly where to swing for the next one. Wow. But this is this should be the core of the strength. Uh, good morning. Their mechanics are so insane. Obviously, Messino's taken up a lot of the spotlight, but the rest of them are still really powerful. Try and shock Navi at the start of this one. I don't think they have to make it too complicated. I think they have to try and find a way to fight Navi here. They might get a chance in the middle. Good nades towards him, and that would dissuade him from pushing oh. towards top of the middle. He was thinking about it for a second, but yeah, I think that's the better call. Taking down to 50 HP, just conditioning him. As Mongols remind me, he tries to push middle. They'll be ready for it. JL, though, he's still up for it. He's probing towards short. I'm never copying your homework again. Why? Smoke to allow them to look towards the underpass from connector. Does Mongols so, yes, want pistol? And we're going in towards BO1 and MR12, bro. Flip a coin. Exploring their options, seeing what's available. Is anyone told somebody yesterday BO1s back? aren't coin flips? Now I'm saying flip a coin. Here for jump spotting palace. My streamer. Crit, yeah, uh, crit just, thanks for the 15 month reset. Thank you. Get a little workout doing this, isn't he? Doesn't have the Molotov, but he does have a smoke if anything goes really horribly wrong. He'd probably pop that down in front of himself and try to make it real hard to hunt him down. 45 seconds. It's okay, it's not a big deal yet, but give it another 10 seconds and I'm gonna start to get a little bit worried. All right, swing into the middle. They thought they had the timing, Navi, but they absolutely did not. Wow. Mongols Never mind, switch it, switch it. Everybody switch it. Switch it. For them to swing out, but JL picking up the pieces here. Can't switch it, then switch the it back. Trick, but he has given them a fighting chance. That's the Alexi B, MP9, that does find the equalizing kill. Two on two. 15 seconds. Yeah, you're right. If, they, and they, they need to scramble. move. They can't slow down any longer. That's the round done. Blitz goes down, and there is nothing Techno could do to win this round any longer. He could try and make it a little bit more expensive, but they're just so far away. Oh, Alexi will take him down. That's a slip up there for, for Mongols. There's no question. Yeah, massive one. And also, but, I mean, a rub, fair play to JL. That's also a very good near triple kill for him. See that frustration at the five on three that it doesn't work out for them, JL. Willing to take the aggressive angle on short, converts two kills, sets up Alexi B with that MP9. And all of a sudden, it all goes wrong. The bomb's down. Bit comes through uh, the window. Crash can well for 28. Risk, thanks for the 11. Round. JL knows it as well. That's a recovery of sorts. It's against the round number six. No echoes yet. 3 2 in favor of Mongols in the first half. This best of one. Massive nade at the start of the round, but it's not going to stop Senzu. Imma finally will, though. And another frag from JL. Oh. Aggressive, of course, towards short. Should be a frag for Wonderful. The AWP. This is very convincing now as Navi are getting into fifth gear. Clean sweep. 3 3 overall. If you're supporting the Mongols on this one, that round should make you really scared. The way that JL ran into that fight, Techno had heard it. He'd heard the footsteps, he knew somebody's coming. But the run and gun potential that M4E1 when you're that close is yeah. very, very hard to stop. I mean, he, you could tell Jail is absolutely feeling it right now. In terms of kills, it's not completely off the charts, but it's early in the game. But so, that's huge. We've got the Royal Flush set up on Na'Vi. That's oh, four yeah. AK-47s. And AWP, this is like the strongest stance you can have in CS2, quite frankly. And uh, they're up against <laughs> Glocks, no Kevlar. So the objective for the Mongols here is to try and get the bomb down into the B bomb site, try and bolster the economy going into that next round. Alexi B, he knows this is the potential. He'll be playing quite defensively at this point, but he has got himself flashed. Back up from JL, they could get us somewhat overwhelmed here. There's a chance for plan. Very well handled from Alexi. Obviously a very smart player, so no surprise. Doesn't try and take the fight initially, knows he has to just stay alive. The only thing I think that can really mess up that round is if Alexi dies with the AK, right. and they give it over. So he's just trying to play for time as much as he possibly can. No well, bomb plant either. Let's see if this uh, momentum continues for Na'Vi in terms of the individual prowess. They are ticking all the boxes right now. I think the shock and awe part of this is done with, right? If yeah. you were going to come in for Mongols and say, we just have to win this best of one, let's blow it out the water of the game. Navi have already asserted themselves and said, that's not going to be possible. We're not just going to roll over like that. Yep. So now, what's the deeper layer here? And we still, like, Messino's had some good rounds, but it hasn't been the completely, like, wipeout performance that we saw in some of the earlier games. 
They either need him mm. or they need Give to show that they have a deep to, uh, level to deal with this. Wake because up your chat. Navi are going to be good on the T side too. Oh, absolutely. Navi take the lead now. Four to three. My desk is just cough drops. It's one of their specialist maps. Monster, Wonderful water. EP. Two kills, three deaths. Coat zero. And GL with the mod. Majority of the frags so far up at seven. Like, so what have we got next? Looks to be a default setup here. Sick. The standard smoke towards like window. Well and shit. Short. Yeah, will tuck himself in. It's a problem. That's a fortunate kill, it has to be said. Not so fortunate for Mr. Wonderful, though. He will convert it on the second. Back to a four on four. And Sendry from JL just trying to stifle the terrorists towards the top of middle. And Mzinho will be finding a little gap there. Finds the AWPA. Yeah, Wonderful is going to be mad about the timing. He was thinking about it. Wow. Oh, 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 and he gets oh, one more oh. headshot. It's so ridiculous. We just asked for it. <clears throat> and here he is. Three kills to enter the bomb site where he has wiped out That's the defense. That's one way to steal oh, one so back. Slick of it as well. You see, he's like, as he's moving the bomb site, his hands is off the mouse. It's like, yep, everyone's dead. Come over, round's done. And uh, there we have it. Zinio, hungry for more. Single handedly carried the Mongols through round number eight here. Alexi B, don't call this one necessarily over. He can find his first kill and potentially deny the plant as well oh, it was there for the taking oh, techno oh, will close oh. the round down but it was Enzinho with the hat trick from hell in that palace position playing like an absolute king that's so unlikely that's that's the kind of impact you only see from someone who is a, a potential superstar player right because that's a round that's almost impossible to convert at that point in time and he just walks into it like it is absolutely nothing what a sickening little triple for him yeah, very nice indeed. More of that, please. As his best of one continues to heat up here. Felt like Mongols were simmering down, but uh, a stern reminder that they are incredibly skilled and difficult to play against. They've got tenacity, and they've also tied things up here. Four to four. Sounds like Boots. we might be having Thanks a for your love time and out. Thank you. Maybe not. Back into the action. Hasn't been many ecos so far. Just one for Mongols when they went to that B-side rush. Plenty of rounds left. We enter number nine here. Sleepy, Running shut still up. pretty decent. Wonderful as the AWP. Same story for 9-10. I think that round, that's got to put a little bit of respect for uh, for the Mongols in Na'Vi. They got to think, okay, hold on. We were cruising through some of these rounds that were looking a little bit easy. But that kind of display, you that's going to make you wake up if you're on the Na'Vi side and think, all right, that's that's actually horrifying. Another attempt at mid control coming in here for the Mongols. They're going to try and see if they can pincer this middle part of the map from the underpass. With Blitz and Techno coming through this way, and the other three are going to be making their way up the top mid. Now we have a couple of people nearby, but they're not really necessarily fighting for it yet. They just want to kill and then to fall a little bit further back. Decent mid control taken from Mongols here. All five players in this area. They've removed vision from the window, the connector. It's Jay Elbow has been a thorn in their side. Seems to win these fights more often than not. Another opening kill, but Blitz will respond in kind. Four and four, and they're gonna choose their avenue of approach towards that connector. Gonna wait for the smoke to dissipate, but wonderful watching it like a hawk will take the man advantage. He's looking warmed up himself. He hasn't had that many opportunities to flex the AWP, but See those shots and makes you think, all right, there's a real potential here. Bit's going to get the shot, and that's Masino taken down. Now just two people left on the Mongol side. So Navi, even after that cracking round just oh. before from Masino, it's, it's still not quite enough here. Navi are still not that impressed. They're going to be able to get through this round, only losing Ima. They're starting to build an economy. They're getting the rounds in the ball. That I mean, on this face they're doing crazy all the work for you, a second. You expect that of a team like Navi. Oh, yeah. They're looking like they're the better overall squad right now. Bear in mind that they lost the pistol as well. They were down 0-2. Yeah. There's been a, a couple of rounds where individuals no, Jay, are just very poorly for the Mongols and Zinio from the, the Palace now. position. I, I feel like Na'Vi are in a, a comfortable spot right now. Looks like they're decent to win the half at the very least because there's another eco on the cards here. Round number 10 will spell a bit of a disaster for the Mongols. They've got no Kevlar and four players. Blitz got himself Deagle Armor as he sent four towards the end. I put 03, the two that are playing right now. Mongols ecstatic. Thing to write home about. Although, I think we'll available see. To was them. throwing earlier. Let me see. So, just going to be hoping the CT show a little bit too much aggression here. Imma will be given the task of holding the connector, and he might get a few frags coming his way momentarily. 
for this nade. It's brutal. They've got no armor. Oh, God. It's a disaster in the underpass. Three kills found. He couldn't have done more damage with that grenade if he tried, I think. As, uh, yeah, get it done. Get him out of here. Six rounds on the board for Na'Vi. They've at least confirmed 50% of the half in their favor. Yeah, that was well-timed. Mm. Not that I think they really had a lot of a chance anyway on the Mongol side, but, you know, you just... You're, like you said, you're hoping for a big mistake, and instead you get a giant. I am my absolutely base O3 picks. You probably put Cole. No, they look really locked in right now. I've got to say, they look not stressed at all. Trallic, thanks for the 19 month primer. Work. Thank you. Wonderful's hitting shots with the AWP. Jail's out there looking very, very flexible at the moment. There's not really that much to criticize. Yeah, I think that's a very fair assessment of the situation so far. We'll have a look if they've got anything left to say. A couple more rounds to go, Anders. I'd say they need at least one of them. Starting to shrink somewhat out there. Eco, you put a little bit G2 demoralizing. C9 Take on. as your O3s. Okay, damage okay, that is grenade pretty mode down by Ima. So, penultimate round. AKs across the board. No 9 10 you sound orbit. rough? Are you doing okay, bro? I just finished playing my match like success seven hours ago. So, so far, though, so maybe better off with the AK. Yeah, I think that's not necessarily a big deal. I, I, I got I like agree. six hours of Hoping on Mirage is a but, weird but. experience for a lot of people. Deep Molotov there, Ooh, but Ima's snuck through the smoke and he will get the one kill, but Blitz is pretty quick to take it back, so four versus four. The bomb making its way through the A Palace. They want to try and see if they can get out here and surprise a bit. He's got the AK though, which doesn't even matter. Here he comes. He goes back at it again. He wants more. He's swinging wide for it. At that range, the AWP should have the advantage. He's still going, moving forward, wants to take the fight against Alexi, who's here in CT spawn. Is he going to get a flash in? Yeah, he did, but he didn't want to go for it. I think it's the health that's kind of keeping him back a little bit. He's still good for the shot anyway. Alexi goes down, and the round is won by Mongols here. You can see Wonderful and Jail are already walking away. Good stuff there. It's the Mongols once again punishing that palace position. A lot of mid control presented. Mm. CT's Wait, what has the... attention, focus in that area, and then Mzinho used the opportunity to creep out of the palace itself, find yourself a couple of impactful frags. Jail just trying to keep things expensive here, lock them in towards the bomb site. Go down with a blast, essentially, but it's going to be Sensu. That sends him packing. AWP for Wonderful will remain. Final round coming up next. It's six to five as Mongols pull him back. A lot of people wide swing con right now just to prevent. Party. I would assume. Anybody getting cheeky with it, Heiser? Five on the T side. Pretty decent. And you kind of have to here. play around. A lot of attention that, focused that towards middle. That's stuff. a beautiful shot. Flash. Took the Alexi B in spawn as well. And uh, Senzu just... Only you're trying to one, one for one, but... Evenly matched teams. You do have to make plays really out of con now. And I think Mongols, for sure. I mean, it's, it's good, but... The upset might need more than that. Again, I think Na'Vi are going to be good on their own T side. Winning the six round here would be huge for them. And look at this, they're trying jail. to pinch to the bomb side. Quick jail, the only one that can stop him. And my God, he can. Two big headshots. Pulls it out six oh, bullets. Oh, and he gets Messino as well. Absolutely Scott's massive the for JL. Reset, the king thank you. of the short. We are going to see now. Blitz, answer back. Is there anything left to be said? Apparently not. It's going to be a very convincing half in the end for Na'Vi. Seven to five, Anders. If JL, JL mows them down. You want my base to the 49? No, you got... They're going to be in four versus three. They're going to get a bomb planted. It's a really notable round for the Mongols. I didn't hear yours, though. JL you want my base to the 49? Six I didn't skip it either. Third kill, and he still managed to get it somehow. Very well done. Na'Vi with a bit of a lead going into the second half here. Yeah. What a way to close things out as well. That third kill. Beautiful. Bit mowing them down through the smoke as well. And XB to close things out. Seven to five. See if they can keep it up. Pistol round eluded them in the first half. See if they can pick this one up in the second. We'll have a look at the buy as it comes through. We've got one smoke. That's for Emma. A flashbang as well. A couple of smokes. Alexi B will join them. So they're facing towards the B side of the map. So I said I said it was a smoke or B oh, God, boy. one smoke now. You can just be smoking in the kitchen window. <laughs> down towards Where's the pillar as well. Flash over. So and we'll empty. see if that's what they've got in mind. They're sending everyone in towards the, the B apartment. So I'm assuming that's what's going to be Look happening here. Look at the yet. Mongols. There's nobody at the A bomb site. Oh, this is some sort of weird anti strat then. They, they have to, right? There's no way you would do this otherwise. And I wonder if that little bit, they, they spot Imam. Is that going to give them the information they needed? He's a little bit tagged up. 
They have enough people on this side, although some of them are starting to gravitate back towards the connector, so they're a little bit further away once again. If they'd rushed straight here, Navi, they would have been running into an army of people. Mongols are keeping with it, though. They must have done some sort of homework. So we've still got the utility available. And they're going to continue with their approach towards B. They don't have much information elsewhere. They're running out of time, so... Uh, the final to the the past is to take you. Any inquisitive CTs elsewhere. But yeah, as I mentioned, B execution looking likely. I expect one smoke short, one towards window. Flash is over, deep breath, in they go, but there are three CTs ready and waiting. Yeah. Here we go. Very deep smoke. Oh, wonderful. Those are some cracking opening shots. He's going to get a third one, taking down 9, 10. What more do you need? They had the stack ready. They knew what was coming, the Mongols, but they could not stop Wonderful. It's Blitz from Messino. Chance of retaking this one near zero, but makes it a, bit, a little bit better now that Blitz hit that one. Trying to find the headshot, but get he the ace. can't do it. Yeah, wonderful. Going for it. Emma's going to deny it at the end, but still. He did everything and then some. Very nice, even with a, a B stack there. A bit of a wacky round there, Anders. Uh, Anti-strap for sure. No on the A bomb side. They had mid control. Three CTs ready and waiting for that execution. The smokes we expected were delivered and wonderful. Manages to absolutely destroy them with the Glock. It's probably his best sequence so far. Great way to kick things off in the second half here. Didn't quite get the ace, but next to the we'll forget it. It's a lovely you. round. It's got to be the full eco now for the Mongols, who are in a very tricky position going forward here. It's going to be 9-5. to five, Pretty much guaranteed. Not much invested here. We've got a Deagle for Blitz. Sends it with the, the old Zeus in towards the palace. And we're off into round number 14. Yeah, Anything they can do. You can see the, the, the lead is really starting to build here for Navi, right? Yeah. They, they're probably going to get up to nine here. I don't see Navi looking back much from this. And again, I think this is where Alexi does a lot of his really great work on these T sides. I feel like Navi have made made their way through the era of uncertainty when Alexi was just joining the squad as an in-game leader, and it was kind of hard to know what was going to happen. Irish, thanks for the like nine-month reset. Thank you. They've managed to wrap it all up and. Oh, no way. We have a golden cap of fucking scam train and I have no energy. Chad, I'm looking for hot girth. Do I up that strong? This is a pay to win scam train. If you give the sub, you get a golden cap right now. The USP, I managed to get the kill there. Somebody keep track of this. Dirt Baker, thanks to the one gift. Thank you. No, if Sensu, I was going to say, yeah, run the bomb back. Just, you're probably going to win the fight against Sensu anyway, but why? Why leave it up to chance? Why not make it 100% and just plant the bomb? That's an MP5. You don't see many of those these days, Anders. Bramble, the really one don't. gifted. Oh, I fuck feel bad. I still feel track, bad about please. this because we were haunting Guys, Kyle somebody for please years. keep track. Can we have fuck. the MP5 back? We all loved it in 1.6. Then they gave oh, it to us. Nobody used it. In oh, 1.6, sir, used the, the M4, um, the AK, hold on. Somebody, and the please. Eagle. Those are the only guns. Hell, like, there's nothing yeah. else either. You used the MP5 <laughs> maybe like on the, the five second round anti-eco. And then if the gun round would come along, you'd throw it away. With the one gift for the anti-eco. And you wouldn't even use it for a gun round. Maybe it wasn't even 1.6. It was like... 1.0 or something when like it's let's like, give it the it one like gift it brings like, them the gift oh, no, the door sure. i'm with you Keep I, I'm let's give five, it the five anonymous with the one um, red with the one but i never buy oh, but uh no mp5s this round it's ak's and yeah with the one is only with the one blitz we going down early five on four they're been with the one here for navi this is a very important round i hate the smell of money anymore this best of one victory no fucking energy this man advantage one minute 20 on the clock. Tandy is to the five Hits. gifted. Thank you. I'm supposed to boost somewhat. They Balance with the one gifted. That's fine. They can just uh, dismount. Oh, shit. Nine ten's got the AWP. Oh, boys. What is the hell is going on there? This is literally the most first world problem ever. Holy shit. <laughs> but instead, they just boosted right Jumped into, the, into flames. the flame. What the hell? All right. I mean, so it's fine. Like, uh, you only lose 40 HP. Uh, no socks. Pros, the one up. gifted. Geeky with um, the one gifted. Thank you. Mzinio. What have you got for me, kid? Couple of kills, of course. Beautiful. Great awareness. Wonderful and bit. Didn't see that coming whatsoever. My window is nice. Oh, and he might be faked out here. Yeah, Imma, he's faked the first step. He thinks one, he's running away. Oh, knife, really? Holy. Stabs Imma in the back? That takes a little bit of guts. <laughs> nice spray on the knife. The one gives They're going to try the bomb plant. Messino's showing up here. He wants more. He's going to get the spray on the first. Tries for the shot, but he failed a couple of bullets there. It's not going to make a difference. They'll still win the round. Huge Messino's back at it again. 
What a round that was. 37 that really gifted, Jesus Christ. And Zeno, you always feel like, oh, he's not going to check that position. He's got to be aware of that, is he? To Heisler, thank he, you. He's in the Matrix right now. He is one step ahead of his opposition. Every encounter, lovely double kill, snatches the man advantage back. Control and then a nice the one gifted as well. one member mommy on That's YouTube. So sick. I mean, uh, the one on YouTube as well. Major. Look at him go. It wasn't him that got the knife, just to know, but his teammate just... Uh, Scaparino with the one gifted, thank you. Anonymous with the one gifted, thank you. He must have thought this is so easy. Like, I'm, I'm hearing him. I know what he's doing. Insult to injury. Techno to close things out. Huge round, like we said. The five on four in favor of Na'Vi. One they can't hold on to. No one's watching the window. Yeah, sleep he caught yeah. pants down. One planted, though. Money's still pretty decent for Na'Vi. We go nine to six. This game is still Thanks on. Thanks for the biddies as well, Maxi and, and Hawkeye. In towards the B apartments here. Looks like a B split, Anders, to me. Now the next one dream. gifted. Karn with the one gifted. Thank you. Jail on the A ramp just to keep an eye. Make sure no CTs are pushing down. Maybe make a little bit of noise. Throw in a couple of flashes if you can. Ooh, they just barely dodge each other there. Alexi with 9, 10 on the other side. Hoping that someone's back there, but... It's called being really a degenerate for the moment. And actually, they brought the bomb back down the middle, so they might have changed their minds themselves here, Navi. 9 10 spots a couple of people there, so he's going to know that someone is up. Thanks for the reset on you. He'll go for it now, and he will. Takes down Alexi. Maybe a little bit sloppy for Navi. Where are the say, window like, smokes? That angle was looking very exposed to Alexi B in general. He finally gets punished for it, and the round is falling apart. Wonderful is the, the Walking Dead now. And we've got a five versus one. Yeah, this wasn't the most compelling round for Na'Vi, I have to say. JL, can he at least make it a little bit expensive? Oh, that's not bad at all. I don't think he can do much else with two HP. 45 seconds remaining, and the bomb is down in a very precarious spot. You swing window, and there's yeah, three people holding you. He does it, Alexi's window holding a molly. Up on at any moment there. It's because in your, your games, people in, literally don't go anywhere once they get top mid for 45 it, seconds. So if you don't peek them, they're lost. I don't know if they had the smoke for it. Maybe that was the problem. But um, JL, he wasn't that far off. It's possible that if he would have walked that distance, he could have had the jump on one of them there. I think that was Techno hanging around the middle. Could have made it more expensive. But... Chat, two minutes remaining on the golden capital in here. It looked to me like Navi were going to run away with this game in the second half. That's back-to-back rounds, though, where Navi catch a knifing out, jumping around. So before his immediate coming towards window finds two. Now, facing window once again, everyone's like jumping around, just trying to avoid the bullets. Like, it looks like they're just getting caught off guard, not looking comfortable on this T side so far. They've got a buffer of rounds, but for now... We'll take a map off rounds with scrims. You didn't see, actually. We'll see if they can... Make a dent here. I doubt it. We've got four players in towards the apartments and the AWP of Sensu. Actually, he's going to be rocking the yeah, double. Thanks for the Twitch Primer. Time. Thank you. you we were down 12 techno, 6 and we brought it back classic. to OT and 1. Get right spot. Yeah. We'll take the initial aggro. If you keep down, that Nick game the same, we genuinely should have beat him on Mirage. Not for the shot, but you're right. It's a bit of a surprise factor there. You're not ready for it. It's gonna get one kill, trying to hunt down the AWP. We were literally trolling USB Mirage. I stand Almost by this. Almost good enough. JL gonna be found at the top of mid. As the IGL so that died there. three times and had to watch some of the rounds that we that played on the CT and T side. Maybe had the bomb plant, Holy but, um, fuck, we should have just like two of them with... Handshakes are coming out for the Mongols. Like it shouldn't have even, like not game. even... Handshakes. Not even ego. Yeah, like just proper, like holy fuck, yeah. we just threw rounds. A little bit more sophisticated. Well, let's see how Wait, was this that plays out. We were playing Heisen in this room. I was starting you guys to are ass. sour on the idea that Mongols were going to be able to do this upset, but these last couple of rounds have made me think, all right, you know what? They're not completely done yet. Even if they're the like, one I gifted. Think, like, better team. Lucky Rubber Duck is with the one gifted. We'll see. Thing. No, we'll we'll next round. Yeah, there's been a few hiccups from the Navi side. Anyone's game. This one's wide open. That was the eco. Um, could have been a bit cleaner, I suppose, but it denied the plan. 9-10 rotated in. Bear in mind they had a double orb setup. Whether that still remains in hand is yet to be seen. There it is. So yeah, 9-10 and Sensu will have to double orb. As we get into round number 18, just one more to tie things up here. It's been a pretty long best of one. Normally, Anybody he's not? opening ah, games. Anybody have the number? Quick. You don't expect how many I have? But uh, the window smoke. Tying this to the one gifted. Thank and you. Of course, you don't want to see many of those like missing this level. Right? <laughs> not now in the best of one, please. Or six. Right. Well, looks to be a beast. Same as the 19. Alexi B was caught 
Looking towards and the that's fine. Smoke I dissipated it. a window. This is the same initial stance. Redneck, based your 14 month recent. Thank you. Especially at this point in the game, you that. I mean, those smoke could cost you so much, right? You're yeah. right at the end of the game here. I like this forward position from Sensu, but let's see what Imma's got on the other side. Not quite the headshot that he maybe wanted. Bit also unable to swing upon him just in time, so Senzu gets away with it. But they're going to know that he has that forward position. And I think Navi's going to be feeling like we have to force him back because if he keeps that forward position, then the rest of Mongols can keep a really tight lockdown on A and mid. So at least we have to push him back. I, so that I love the high over. emote. Can't let him have that. Man. And they've done it. They've pretty much molotov him all the way back. And you can see in the result right away, Blitz is now, or was rotating over to the B-bombs. And he's actually going back now. Mongols so, trusting in their intuition here. Same smokes they had down before. Connect up and window. And they're going to go for potential ace. Yeah, thanks for the Two new membership on YouTube. Appreciate it. Yeah. So they're making their way towards Connector. 9-10 watching the ramp. Being surrounded here. And Zinio has been found out. Imma, cracking shot. Shadow advantage for 9-10. Yields him the equalizing frag. And Blitz going to town now. As Mongols find kill after kill. Epic spray down with the M4A1S. They were surrounded, but they fight their way out of danger and tie up the scoreline. <laughs> Steve, thanks to 25 month primary. We Thank were you. very critical of the Mongols double up when we saw them play in the last stage because it never really did anything whatsoever for them. But this one worked out really well. Um, obviously, that second orb being at the ramp, they weren't expecting it. You could see peeking into it. And also, no, yeah, actually I didn't. pushed back up again. Even when he got Molotov out, he moved back into the B hallway. That's why they kept the setup over at A. They're really Imagine both my confident in what they're doing here, Mongols. Just get a That's win really right now. Okay. We Joe, did thanks for the one gift the membership on YouTube. Can Thank take you. Down Narby here. And the CT performance yeah, we did. is starting to suggest it might happen. It's down to Tech Nines, Desert Eagles. A small investment in Kevlar. No helmets, and that's only on three players as well. JL, Imer, and Bits. I didn't put Navi 3 up, but I do have Mongols and this time set up three. with the turret. Similar setup we saw before. Techno tucked in towards the tight corner. Three players, top and middle, one towards underpass. And there's going to hope they can find contact play here. A CT to be inquisitive. Take him down, use the momentum to split in towards the beach side. That's their cue to go. See if this works out for them. It really could. One missed shot. And then a kill from Bit. Oh, it's falling apart. A huge double. Ooh. And JL with the Deagle takes down Blitz. The bomb site has been wrecked. And the Mongols have no idea what just hit them. Oh, that's the kind of round you need to convert, Anders. You're up against the Tech 9. The Deagles has your chance to take the lead. You don't find a single kill. Mm. Not it one. Absolutely ravages them those. from the B apartments here. 9 10 trying to stay alive. Gets his wings clipped down to 27 HP. Zinio will be holding T spawn as well, but the round is confirmed. Navi today, will be shit. finding double digits first. I've been making over and out before I go to bed and I totally forgot. Happened. Just, yeah, as soon as they like, realize, <laughs> oh, they're coming up short and we've got this weird setup. Steve, yeah. thanks for 25 month primer and, and you've four already presented seven. that particular stance as well. You've shown that you're going to do that. They're going to check that tight corner. Bits ready for it. Gets the double kill. If you miss one orb shot, it's round over. And that's exactly what happened. Has really thrown a spanner in the works here for the Mongols. Yeah, I'm more of a Taco Bell breakfast kind of guy these days. Uh, here. Obviously, oh my god, I got a Taco Bell out on TikTok. Chat, listen. Still a lethal weapon. I was trying to open up my phone and I had TikTok. Maybe Navi taking the lead instead. Now, they had a lot of money and they still have a little bit of money even after this buy. Reinvesting into the double orb. So, Alexi B, though, bringing out a set piece in round number 20. Bro. Looking for that knockout punch. Ain't this no will send way, them packing bro. financially if they can take all five players down. How the fuck? It's more of a contact play as well. No execution under this. Going straight in here. First kill. Will be traded out. JL brings it back to a four and four. <laughs> Utility will be delivered How momentarily. Smoke down towards connector and bit. <laughs> Seems to be very aware of Blitz's position. Yeah, thanks for the, Takes him down. And that's the membership on YouTube, bro. In, I would say. You can see both CT players yeah. here towards the connector. They'll pop the smoke open. Very well done. But an even better shot from bit. What the hell is that? 90 degree flick. Yields oh, the kill man. and the round. I'm fucked Yeah, up. he's on one. He's still kind of looking for it. Just dodges the scope there. Even the first kill, he was very flashed. He had to sort of rely on his quick memory of what, what was outlined before the flash actually hit him. Yeah, it's going to be around 11 to 9. 
Pit doing so much work in that round once again. Hit the double with the Tech Nine of the previous one. Now into a double here. 17 kills overall, just one behind GL who's at 18. They're going to be able to save the AWP. That's about the best that we could say. But again, these are. It's a back to back double orb investments. They get to save one of them here, but still, that is a lot no, of money. No, I got the Cantina, the new That's Cantina shit right now, Geek. Yes, yeah, the lost bonus won't be established either. So uh, they're going to be in a lot of trouble now. Might be tactical timeout territory. Wonderful from the Palace. That one of those AWPs. Uh, but it was bit uh, that was the shot from hell that saves the day. I can't order for breakfast for 20 more get. minutes. F's yeah, the chat. Yeah, tactical timeout required. It's their third uh, used here. I we'll wait. see what the energy is like in Where's Cap it? Mongols. All right, Blade in the timeout, setting up his team. I, like, I think Blade has to be one of the best minds for, for Counter-Strike that, you know, that, that we still have around. Fusing him with Alexi, like, imagine the outcome of that over a long enough time scale. Like, they can work, they have different theories about the game, like, wildly different mm. theories. Um, Heard that's so interesting about with Primer, what thank you. If they can, if they can really make it work. So we've got Let's a, get a private chef. I have here, one. Of course, Mongols trying to deny. She literally, Mapping you know, studied under a couple of chocolatiers at Win Pastry. Star She's just currently asleep. Spotted, scrambling, and converted by Senzu. It was all a bait. It was all a ruse. Oh. And it's worked out very Good. nicely indeed. What a little trick they did it earlier in the in the murder hole, sneaking through and getting knifed in the back. So. Yeah, sometimes you can use a little bit of audio like that. Blitz walking up, and this could be a free kill. Alexi goes straight down, and Immer's next to nine Blitz. I don't know how he knew, but he saw the opening there. Five versus two. The Mongols holding on to dear life here. Well, they've done a very good job. All five players alive and well. Yeah, but if they lost this round, they would have had no money really to play around with. They would have probably lost the game. Yeah. So this is it. This is the round they needed to win. Otherwise, it's uh, probably a 13 to 9 victory for Navi. And as you know, as the one, animal no. ODB, right those spiders that lay underground and then it's come out and fucking grab now. you. With the cash on Wonderful and Bit. The ones in Australia? So much money to work with here. There's a leg showing. Yeah, bro. And a kill what, for you, you think about how he actually plays, bro? That palace friend on T side, side, how he attacks window. See if there's more to come. 30 seconds, flash around the corner and <laughs> that motherfucker oh, literally is like, one. he's gonna use he's a motherfucker so instead. He's like, ah, yeah. Trying to see if they get this the fucking bomb pops out, dude, like a spider. Middle, but he can't quite oh, see. I always picture those fucking things, dude. Able to pick him up, and I think that chance to win the round. You add sound effects to animals that are scary, Chad. It's not as scary. One versus four instead, and he's gonna go for the bomb plant. But Blitz is there, walking in. You ever like see a polar bear just running? Yeah, if you just start making noises back at it, it's not as terrifying, I promise you. Abadian switch kicked things off, suggesting it was just a, a lonely little MP9 at the A ramp. He had a free kill there, boys, but no. Trap door spider? Was yeah. Waiting with the M4. Bro, think about and it, though. He, like, literally is laying, well, waiting, right? Positioning. This absolutely dominates him towards the top of middle. Nice job from 9 That's bad as well. advice? As what you mentioned, mean? this was a must-win round. They deny the plant, and uh, we go to a one-round game. You know what's Double worse about Zershin's mommy milkers being in chat? Blitz is having one of mommy milkers yeah, was true. in chat when Zershin was in here harassing Zershin. Every bro. game, but 17 kills. Keep that energy all the way to the end, and the victory is definitely possible. It could be done. Navi, what have they got? They didn't get the bomb plant. They had a lot of bank on two players, but even they asked another run out of funds here. I was not. Your mere Pressuring presence was harassing. In that corner, don't, he's not able to find lie. the shots, and he will eventually escape, but. He hasn't had the most luck on that side, shutting down some of these early Na'Vi plays. Okay, Na'Vi have attempted this a few times, but barely got short control. Finally, they've got some position towards short, and 9-10 couldn't be in a worse spot. Not the double no-scope, he can't quite connect. Wonderful will pull one back, but at what cost? He's down to 14 points of health here. Surely is traded out, but he what hits a another headshot here. Imma tucked away in towards a connector. This is absolute pandemonium, Anders. 50 seconds remaining. The bomb's in towards that ladder room, trying to throw it out, and they have successfully, to be fair. Nice work from Wonderful. He's at 1 HP, gives the bomb over, and actually retreats himself. It's going to be a B plant, three on two, man advantage for Na'Vi, looking for map points. Oh my god, what's going on, JL? Look at the back, JL, you're exposed! Oh! What? He landed that kill <laughs> he on went laser. To the camera after. He's still <laughs> trying for it. 
That is a filthy shot from JL. He should never have hit that. A statement. Sit down. And Wonderful will get the last kill. Triple on him. JL is I don't know how Wonderful got his so. kill when he was low on health. Somebody literally from connector yesterday when I was doing my pickups, I was just room, like, who do I get? Bomb would have like, go for the vibes. An absolutely Instantly locked in Navi for my last pick. Wonderful gets tagged under 14 points of health. When everyone talks about Australia, they talk about snakes and spiders. The fucking the Aussie flies are the worst. Relentless bastards climb in your here. eyes. Thanks yep. for the five <laughs> super chat. <laughs> Holy fuck, things I didn't need to read today. Ridiculous. Map point found. Navi one away from closing out Mirage in this best of one. We love GL chat. We need more people like GL. Headshots. And wonderful charming in for the second. Blitz will pull one back here. Towards connector is one. That's Alexi B. You can hear the presence of Shaw. Desert Eagle and CT spawn to try and defend. Great position to close this game out now. Bit will come out of the palace. Swinging up against that Desert Eagle. Jumping at the bit to find that final kill of the A bomb side, but. It eliminates the threat. Bomb spotted here. That should be GG, Anders. It should be. Navi, mean, they can sense the weakness. They know now is the time to strike, and they will. Blitz goes down last, and it's Navi to take the victory on on Mirage. Really well played. You've got time to see if my other O3 is going to chalk it up. Let's now. see. He has that weapon. How will he ply his trade? Unless you see him forward, right? And it's going to be somewhat... Chat, I'm going to get a water, right? Reduced. And then I'm going to yeah, grab I some Advil. This, that a lot of the aggressive CT maneuvers have been culled in the... Uh, yeah, cold plays today. And, uh, and like... Intentional. Uh, Should we couple try hours. Out again? Navios has had his number with the boost. No boost erected just yet. Kraken to fight for control. Look at this for a lineup. Patty's got two HEs. Ooh. They're not anywhere near oh, no, the mark just yet, are they? It's interesting, nonetheless. Double HE from Patty and Chris. Lucy, no betting talk, brother. Corner. Not in here. Times it. Whoa, nails it with the flash from his teammate. That's team play. I just bopped and it's for a manufactured second. a nice opening. Even Exertion's in trouble. Oh, oh shit, wait. Pushing short. They've completely won out connector. Now it's Brolin. Oh, not yours. <gasps> Caught out. Should Trade should be there. Queenix provides. Still a four versus three. It really hinges off uh, someone doing the impossible here. And I think he's got a little opportunity onto the AWP. It's clean. Torji finds Kraken on the activation. It's, it's up to Patsy. Uh, that's a lot of info. They know his truck. He maneuvers back. Oh, Queenix. Oh, he's doing it all, Queenix. He's hearing this. You're not clearing this. You're not this. clearing this. It's going to be one. It should be two, Jimmy, in the clutch. Important. What have you got? What have you got here, Jimmy? This really does determine how much of a hope Maus have to secure 10 first. Patty versus Jimmy. 15 seconds, and Patty spotted it now. Jimmy under scrutiny. Oh. Commits to the spray. Patty takes it with a 7 HP. He's had 8 HP combined in his two clutches so far. High impact from Patty. Where does that put him? I swear he's still at the top of the scoreboard by a large margin. Yeah, 17 kills. What a performance. The, the impact of these clutches, you think of it, we've had three clutches go in the favor of Ecstatic in this best of one. Yeah, that's right. It's a best of one, and they've won out the clutches. Salazar with a one on two within that first half, the early stages. Patty on this CT oh. side. And wow, just to leer out behind that smoke, it was both of them just pumping bullets through. It's going to be a partial from Mouse. We discussed Holy. the loss bonus and where it's at. They're, they're, they're in trouble here, Chad. Four towards B. Ready for this, our ecstatic. Yeah, man, 11 lingers. It's coming. Nodios, he's not shying away from engagement either. Not going to play too shy, not going to play too scared. He's going to be rewarded. Just this perpetual aggression. He's going to surely get run down, but he's covered nicely. Queenix just providing that long range. It was almost like he was the hook. He was the bait. And Queenix just slaps them away. Patty will find the final frag up to 18. But up to 11 are ecstatic. Making good on their promise in that first half. Mouse expending their third and final tactical timeout, and they are yeah. under the pump. Okay. This is, yeah, this is where it's, uh, it's panic stations. Mouse, you wanted to get that dream start.
Getting through the best of ones unscathed, but it seems ecstatic already kicking up enough of a fuss. Cycron on the mic. Well, what are you recounting here? So there's been a lot of aggression in through connected with multiple pushes, right? Some that have uh, ended up with them going all the way up the ladder, but Queenix has been pesky in there in several rounds to limit the rotations back from Mouse. There's also been issues with getting Chat connected and control early, the in-game uh, leader on your screen right here, getting boost and spam down. But I also kind so of want to talk about now. the space freely as he would hope. Oh, fuck, I forgot the Advil. And then you found yourself in rounds where it's come down to one-on-one. -on -one. So you recount that and you think, damn, it, you know, I got awfully close. We just lost out in that final moment. But one of them, Torji, I think, was in a one-on-three -on -three situation. So it's not as simple as you like. Big round here. Time to find out if Ecstatic can get that nice. 1-0 start that they are so close to. It's going to be aggression from Kraken. First time. Yeah, and he tends to be very effective in this aggressive roll. He's nearly taken down another. He runs out of bullets, but full commits to the engagement. He does put Torji on notice. But again, it's Maus trying to scramble back into the round, right? They, they lose the opener. Oh. Yeah, Roland misses. Ships in the night moment. These two are annoying, aren't they? Nodios and Queenix. Every time. Oh, bringing the fight. Oh, that sounded insane from Roland. Two taps, two heads. Patty, though, the problem. The impact keeps him honest. Only the one this time. All right. Sorry, guys. Salazar and I, one on three. Bomb should be going down, and I think he's thinking twice about going for it. He knows what the right decision is, which is the unfortunate one for him. He doesn't get to go and even attempt to be a hero. Has to play the long game. Mouse will secure the double digits off of a great shoey trade, but a fantastic brawl and double. Uh, uh. They are hunting, trying to remove anything off the board. I don't give one over an AK to be salvaged and available now for Salazar. Problem for Mouse is you, you can't throw many more bodies and probably shouldn't have that either because uh, you need to be able to drop some rifles across into the next regardless. Brawl will be able to buy himself, but Torsion Exertion will be begging for rifles from Jimmy and Shuey respectively. And again, neither team really being able to make too much of the loss bonus thus far. 1,400 available, injected into the bank accounts, and we can actually take a look. Nice. Salazar will be able... Ooh, Alex, to get the 14. Money, maybe you're going to be uh, counting to the 33. before they hatch, because there's more than enough for every Nitro single Diesel player for the five. KP on Ecstatic for 13. to have an M4. Here is the Brolin double. Beautiful oh, work. Disgusting. Yeah, the control onto the second was great. Thought Paddy was going to do it again. Alex stepping Same. out with a lineup. <laughs> Same. After, after all, kind of my expectations being uh, warped by the half patty has been having. If they think they have low money, Alex, which is what we just heard from the camp, they're, they're in trouble. Like, if they play this round like it's just going to be pistols, look at the buy. Yeah, it's, it's uh, what's the word? Comprehensive from the CTs. I think the utility at the start will start to... Uh... Yeah, tell a different picture. Yeah, exactly. Or well, story. I think that's probably how the saying goes. Well, what a story this would be if Ecstatic can start this uh, top 16 battle of the elimination stage with a win against a storied organization such as Mao's. Paddy's been pulled back over to A to... Worry about the gap. There, there has been a slight gap left open. Kragen and Salazar to explore long. So this is on a timer. When do Maus decide to strike towards B? Because if they were to go now, they could find themselves in a very nice timing to isolate a two on five on the B bomb site with Paddy rotating back in while action's on. Kragen forward will be finding things awfully quiet. Playground is closed. Phoenix and Nodios, it's really on the two of you. Yeah, this is going to be a full execution. Kraken's already reported that, so the CT should be positioned in preparation. Yeah, Paddy's joined the party. The, nade is, the door is off. The door is off. They're all not expecting this. Shui was throwing nades. It's a quick trade. Roll and one. Yimpad into the site. Another opportunity for Torshi, but Queenix is holding on. Nodios does nothing, but Queenix still doing damage. A 1v2 clutch for Brolin. Queenix gets around the corner in time. A bomb plant compulsory here for Maus. He gets it in. Good uh -oh. idea as to where Salazar's going to be. My 03 pick him. Just playing the fade on that smoke. Dancing around the pillar. He reloads right. He did. Here's Queenix. Coming in from short. Confirms he's completely wrapped around. Oh, info. Okay, Brawler makes it a 1v1. Salazar drops off. Now plays the game. Confirmation of his presence on the site. Boots loud. Okay. 
No, but he's going wide on this. Salazar! Oh, no! my Brolin. Can't touch him. Brolin's going to come up clutch for the boys. So important. Oh. Yes, so Fucking important brilliant. indeed. That really does change the whole dialogue. If another clutch went against them, that would have been the story of this map. Ecstatic, more often than not, the ones coming out on top of the 1vx situations, but Brolin... Hi, man. If I'm Salazar, I feel a little, a little hard done by on that one. The fact that he falls for the fake, the fact that I'm not being pre-aimed as he rounds that corner now yeah i don't know what Queenix is going first it just had to be ahead it's a galil to the body and you can see mao's g'ing him up because bro has done so much for the squad money's broken they have to force yeah what are, what are you supposed to do five mp9 to defend your honor oh that's gonna definitely get uh brolin's heart beating feeling very good about that one Still on loan, seems crazy to say. I think that loan might be indefinite at this point. From NIP, the value is going up every single game they win. Now, can they win this map? It has been a hard fought best of one. And Ecstatic have put their best foot forward. Brother, 18 frags. He's catching up with Patty. On the other side of the server, Shui. They've gambled, hey, Alex, there's four here for the defense. Yeah, but I mean, with 55 seconds, you, you're surely going to get a little whiff of this setup, or are you just going to exec blind? They're going to go into this. They're walking into this, Chad. This can go wrong. This can change it all. What a call from Patty. Five MP9, crag and one. Another swing through. Patty needs to go down. It's good from Brolin, but Nodios on the back of dice. They get the info now. And they haven't got the frag. Nodios tagged up, found by Shui. And it seems they're going to be quickly nice. piecing together that Queenix likely coming in from behind. Hopeless for Queenix, isn't it? An MP9 at that type of a range. She's even going to dart around towards long. It's a safe plant on truck. They won't have any issues defending this one. But maybe Queenix just seeing if he can find something either with detonation of the bomb because next round, 2400 is the loss bonus. So it's going to be the same type of buy that you just saw again. And the stack, the call from Ecstatic was great. They had gambled to the correct bomb site. Shit. They were reading the play, but they couldn't just find lethality with the MP9s. And... It now is to be the first to reach right 12. Now, now it's overtime or bust for the Danes. As it feels like Maus have weathered the storm. Yeah, I mean, with all those clutches going Ecstatic's way, it's Brolin's clutch that, that returns it to Maus's uh, side of the court. Put myself, no, half of my water just roll away with the Galil. And this has definitely not been easy at all for Maus at any point in the game. They've been under stress of the finances. Guys, I want to play a similar round here again. Did we just play mid take? I love it when we get a little sneak peek. You know, it's not enough for the players to be upset, but the fact that I get to kind of hear his demeanor and his delivery on his call, his calls is, is just like gold. And an AWP yeah. can come out, and that's interesting to me. Yeah, look, to finish things off, he's finally been able to pick it up. That just tells you the pressure they've been under throughout this half. Should we understanding what type of buy again? Gonna be light on rifles, it's a scout for Salazar in lieu of an AWP available for the CTs. Two Famuses in the mix for Paddy and Kragan. The scavenged Galil for Queenix and Nodios with an MP9. Very, very quiet over towards B, isn't it? As these two always paired up, Nodios and Queenix. Yeah, and they're always, you know, they're on track with yeah. the meta. They know the most effective strats. And this one's pretty solid too for a crossfire. Kraken's about to be tested in flash, but he's anti-flash hidden on the rock. Or he's gonna get caught off. Oh. Look at the damage. The Famas and the Scout connect, but nothing lethal. This could make it wobbly for the end of the round. I think fortunately for Torji, he can always play from the back line with the AWP, but for Exertion, he likes to get stuck in. And speaking of that, Nodios again, active. And on the ball. Oh, events, a and I don't he's know. still just such a nuisance. They both Payne's always totally rely on Ooh, Ooh, heard something. He's heard something. Look at his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They push for info. They push for info, guys. And there's another heavy damage, but empty handed Nodios puts Brolin on 15. But it doesn't matter if you don't finish your meal. Go on, eh? Queenix and Patty. Oh, no, wait. Down connector. Yeah, Patty's been spotted out, so they know it's only going to be Queenix. He's going to surely be holding this. We need to trade. He doesn't even get that. He doesn't find the frag. And Maus to finish in regulation. It would have to be one hell of a clutch from Patty. He's had such a good map. 21.
but this clutch is asking too much, and Mao's st solid and stable. They were down one to six in that first half, but they leave and they finish with the win. And a way to kick things off under pressure over the RMRs. They took on Guild, and that match on Ancient also went to overtime. This one just shy of the mark, but another series that goes the distance, and a good win, one that'll inspire confidence. You have to work hard for that. 100% win ratio on Major. I, think I'm saved. For that. I wish Ecstatic had worked a little bit harder. <laughs> One second. What's that? Medium rare, you say. All right, Jason, see you tonight. <laughs> Guys, uh, so close yet so far. Yeah. Um, mm. Reminiscent of their opening game against Cloud9, actually. I, I do think Ecstatic mm. were in the driving seat, and yep. then they forgot where the pedals were. And we spoke about it coming into the game. You look at all Ecstatic victories so far at the Armour, at this major as well. They're yet to beat a team within the top 10. They're yet to beat yes. a, a top dog, so to speak. They got close against Cloud9. They got close here against Mouse. One would argue they should have won this matchup, at yep. least after being up 6-2 on that T side. But they can't quite seem to finish it. A little bit inexperience has shown that Brolin 1v2 clutch that we're going to get back to as well. So you could see that the synergy between the two players alive wasn't really there. So you can pinpoint, you know, a couple of scenarios where it's down to experience, not necessarily mechanical skill but at the end of the day that's what decides games like these especially you know when you're a team who had such a great start right T side overpass we talk about how hard it can be and you have like a 5-0 start mm -hmm. you're looking at that and you know if, if you're Richard Lewis you're feeling very happy right now your wallet's feeling oh, great but then eventually uh, the, it also ties into what we're talking about you know prefacing this entire day saying a lot of the teams who have flown in yesterday day before yesterday there's a bit of ring rust and that was very sure. very evident for the side of mouse we saw that 1v2 which Salas was able to clutch on A bombs. What was the comms? What is the spacing they're coming in from the side of Mouse, right? It took them a while to get activated, but once they did, it seemed like they were in control. Even though, yes, a lot of the rounds were very close, they but I think seemed to be, Imperial kind of being waking up interesting and getting better and better the as the rounds Maybe. progressed. That being said, I think Imperial one doesn't round really for necessarily me, uh, like Tim, run it down at you. Was questionable was ecstatic when it was 11 11. Mm. Uh, they sorry, it was 12 11, beg your pardon, or was it 11 11 11? They went for the first from right there. That's a real thing. To make, yeah, right? yeah, to save, yeah, for, sure. for overtime. I think, no, I think that was a mistake, in my opinion. Didn't Only play challenges, I think. Right now, and Mount, oh, like, so if you roll versus, I think I'm gonna play here. I think it is a mistake, you know, especially when you're on the CT side of overpass. Your chances of winning one round on the CT side, if you can afford the orb, if you can afford all the utility and all the weaponry is, is quite high. You know, I'd argue they're still in prime position to push Especially it into overtime. So consider, I agree with you going with that five MP9 force spine. There's no break the now. In the coffin. Again, and, another and, and example. And that, what did they have? A scout, few more SMGs? Nothing, yeah. Not so, a single rifle in this last two rounds. It is a bit yeah. of a, a sign of inexperience. Yeah, I sort of uh, appreciate them pushing all the chips into the middle, but obviously, yeah. you know, you got to have the cards to play. I, I know my pick are uh, fucked. That didn't occur. So, mouse off to winning ways, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll start talking about all the good things hmm. and i guess the place we want to start with is uh Brolan. we highlighted him before the game yes about uh, how he's had this incredible you know resurgence in form since leaving nip the player's graveyard as jacob called <laughs> i'm gonna use that one uh but he was essential in this you saw on the stats yeah opening kills you know he, he got five open yeah. kills huge for the program and then obviously had the key clutch round let me provide a little more context for sure. that right mousebot goes down six to one Brolan is one six on the scoreboard couldn't find any kills couldn't get anything going then yes. we go into round eight where he has a massive confidence play mouse again down six to one on the ct side you think okay if they don't start racking up the rounds aesthetic is going to run away with this round they're going to run away with the game you see it here again aesthetic coming into the side very assertive very aggressive getting the kills yep. a little bit trade back and forward but mouse still lose control of that b bomb side until brolin comes out Look of heaven that. with a hero play and bear in mind for the context oh. of this one he's one and six at this point right a player that seems lost of confidence could couldn't quite get it going, and from that point and onwards, from going one to six on the scoreboard, he finishes 21 and 13. That's a massive comeback for Brolin. He was a massive win condition and, for Mouse. And also mm. the fact that after that round, they won every single CT round. They yes. needed to win as well. So he was kind of the the catalyst, so to speak, of that comeback. And now we can just jump into I think it was the round where he clutched it out as well. Yeah. Was I'm watching the EF Vitality for sure. The for Mouse and also the closer. This is the round that broke the young ecstatic that could. Firstly, Brolin he gets a, he gets a kill over there. Now it's a 1v2. 
He play, tw look at the time as well, just 20 seconds to work with. He knows where the last two CTs are, and then it just puts up a master class of information-based clutch play. Yes, there were small micro mistakes being made by the player coming up from short here from Ecstatic. Yep. He gets taken down because he was able to isolate those deals, but I can't take it away from Broland. He did, did not manufacture I'd honestly it. rather just... In the just end, a oh, bit of a labored sprint, but he gets switch, a clutch. And he can hear it from the mouse comms as guess. well. We were sitting right behind them, and I think it was Shohei was like, that is a round, that's the one. Yeah. What a huge round. And from the, then the, on... The so important, that's what he said. So important because Ecstatic money was broke. They had to go for that hard decision, go for five MP9s, and that was the death knell for Ecstatic. And what was a very val... <clears throat> Let's go, Imperial, while we wait. I guess they're making a bit of a comeback. We saw them in the last stage oh of the last too, so maybe maybe some of the pros are starting to feel, feel a bit warm about it again. Please, Vitality, please. It was a huge deal when CSGO it in was. like 2014. Please start. <laughs> yeah, like sure, and Snacks used to use it a lot. Suddenly you people realize I'm actually going to lay down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's um, slower rate of fire, but it does have higher armor pen, right? Oh, then it kind of went away again. It. Everyone thought, no, it's about the jumping Mac 10s and MP9s. That is the only thing that we care about. Yeah, maybe it'll turn around. I mean, some of these weapons that are out there, it just, just they're not chat. necessarily not being used because they're completely trash. Sometimes people just don't even realize how to use them. I mean, the Krieg was around for the longest time before people suddenly realized, oh, wait a minute, this is actually a pretty decent Hope weapon. Got changed, but a um, little bit of damage onto Flit at the start of this round. 45 seconds left. Mira up here, looking to see if he can do anything for the top. Nearly caught with a grenade in hand. That's a bit of a problem in theme. Yeah, he wanted to set up a flashbang, but he couldn't. He's dead instead. And this should lead to a potential bomb plant here. They haven't crossed over yet, though. They're hoping a respawn will come in from the CTs, but it's absolutely fine. They've got three on the bomb side itself. Now the rotations will come through momentarily. I say that, but it's actually going to be another kill. That's actually very well played. Double swing towards the ruins. James now under a bit of scrutiny here. UMP gonna have to show us what it's made of. The swing around. It's gonna try and stay alive. Now look how much damage he just did to Henny on the retreat as well. I would say it should be enough to win the round here, but with the AK and the Galil, but Decent and Henny working in tandem. There is one kit available for Jame. Waiting for the backup to come through. They're gonna give this retake a go, of course, and see if they can get the first frag. It goes in their favor. Henny's already been tagged down. The 36 points of hell flashbang is spot on. They know exactly where he is. They can get on the bomb, take him down momentarily, and there it is. Well played. Bomb planted, though. Um, two kills found. I don't think they'll force by again. They'll probably go for a partial buy in the follow-up round, Arandas. There was a lot of indecision in that round. I felt like the bomb could have been planted probably a lot sooner for Imperial. I don't know. That's... Um... Definitely a tricky round. The fact that it's so late and it almost could have gone down to the UMP right there. The jumping is happening for James. Still, good retake. We talked about Inferno not being a popular map, and one of the big reasons is how hard it is to retake any bomb site on this one. Even in a two-on-three like that one, you're, you're not really safe if you're Imperial, if you're a, if you're a VP. Like that could have gone wrong. Oh, Frank, that's an early timeout. Yeah. And that's after winning a couple of rounds. That's VP timeout. Yeah. So I guess it just begs the question, like, did they... They got the bomb planted, right? Some teams might have said, this is forced by again. We can have the similar sort of stance we just had. We can have Galil's AKs, Tech 9s, Utility. But it means if we lose that one, where we've essentially given up three rounds and we're not going to have a, a proper setup until round number four or five. So, like I said, partial buy for me was the most intelligent approach. That's what they've gone for. Got a Mac 10 for Phelps, Tech 9s, and a PC50 elsewhere, and we'll get into round number three. 2 0 for Virtus Pro. Managed to salvage an AK themselves in the hands of Norbert. James on the FMAS, and we've got Beer with that UMP once again. Don't expect anything else, but it's good that they all have helmets in this round for VP, right? It's the kind of round where you don't want to have somebody who's just forgot to buy a helmet oh, yeah. from a previous round and is running around because then suddenly. Some of those pistols are just going to hit a lot harder, obviously. Yeah. It's a nice nade. Molotov as well to slow them down. I think they really wanted to close the gap there. It looked like Imperial were about to be able to do that. Another grenade comes in from the CT side, and this one does a little bit more. Mir able to pick up a couple of kills there with the UMP, and they are locking this down so nicely. Triple kill for Mir before he finally does get Actually, dropped though. to Virtus Pro. 3-0 and oh and looking very comfortable right now. Yes, indeed. I'm good. I'm uh, no gun question. round yet. I'm going to be back. We'll see what Imperial have of their sleeve. How long? Going forward now. 3-0 VP. 
Minus best of one. It was a very stressful game against Gamer Legion yesterday. It was uh, a lot of drama, a lot of arguments, but they managed to get the job done in a 2-1 fashion. Let's see what they can do here. The first gun round of Inferno. Imperial with five AKs. Not all the grenades they need, but we've got four players. Look at thanks for 23. The the CT Why don't thanks for three month primer? Damage output there from no way. Takes Jane down to 13 points of health. Molotov in the corner to nice more positional control. Five. It pushed them back here. Vinny's at the top. Greglog with the three. Yuri sub tips with the 28. In. And Morpheus with the 32. Well. Perfectly done. Not going to get the second fame. We'll find him. But the wall bang from no way will actually open things up. That might be the round in itself. Unless Mir will get one for the smoke. Yeah, I think they've done enough. Traditionally, you wouldn't even try to retake this one if you're VP here. You would just walk away from it. You've got a bit of money in the bank, you're a man down, and they are already retreating for it. Great work for Vinny. Some have said the least hateable pro in the scene. Of all time. Of all time. Are you interested in the A stream results? We have ad running, ad Absolutely running for next game. So, Mouse Sports took down Ecstatic. Unfortunately, Anders, I'm afraid it was 13 to 11. That's close, though. Brolan got himself a 1.48 rating, 21 kills. Um, Patty, also, great job. He got 21 frags as well. But yeah, very close. That was on Overpass. So, yeah, Ecstatic showing they can hang out with the best of them. The Mouse have kicked off their campaign here in the elimination stage, 1 and 0 as well. Okay, that's an interesting result. I'm particularly interested in the fact that it's Brolam playing well because his career just looked like it was on life support for a while there. And but, then um, he's back. The next game coming up on the A stream will be Vitality versus Eternal Fire. Woxic versus Zaiwu, the battle we've all been waiting for. All right. That could be a spicy game. Should I give him one second? Eternal Fire, I I'm going to be getting ready for Vitality. I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be back once. Like, behave stage. yourselves. Sure. Thank you very much, George. Yeah, you look so. beautiful. Mikey, thanks for 60. Oh, round five here. So, Imperial, nice little play in towards that B bomb site. Bit scrappy, didn't have to execute too much. It was BP Corp on the corner here. Took a lot of damage, game especially. They fell back and bomb site was breached. Four men set up at the B bomb site to begin with. Yeah, they, they normally just uh, fend off the rush, I suppose, and then drop off some utility, fall back. The Metro on Inferno just, it changes so much. This 4-1 split towards B became popular for a while, but then some T teams did start to just rush the A bomb site right away because they were kind of expecting it. Oh, Vinny, he's back at it again. With a nice headshot, taking down Flit here. to four on five all of a sudden. And they're kind of slowed down. They don't, they're denying some mid control here. They smoked up Arch, so. BP don't necessarily know what's happening right now. This is a, a weird position to be in if you're on the CT side. Still 50 seconds left. And they're taking a gamble. They're saying, let's try and stack the B-bomb side and just cross our fingers and hope that this is going to work out. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not the right call, though, by the looks of things. Norbert will have the AK-47 top of middle. Spots one crossing. Oh, doesn't really nail the shot at all. Phelps will take care of him, and that should be round unless they fumble this one. Going to see a smoke down towards the library side. That's a spike smoking towards the arch as well. Yeah, they're being super careful, which is respectable. They don't need to, but obviously there's no way for them to know that. Bomb side is empty, and the round is already won. So Imperial back with another round. This one again, Vinny with the opening up there. That's that's what they needed, and they got it. Yeah, really nice shot from Vinny. Like, that's twice now. Back-to-back -back rounds where Imperial just going through the motions. They're opening Gambit towards the banana area, trying to push those CTs back. You model off the corner, challenge anyone a car or sandbags. Finding those opening picks time and time again with no response. That is quite alarming for VP, but the thing is with this team, they always save weapons, Anders. Like, you might be winning rounds, but they're looking at the, the bigger overall picture. Saving the orbs, saving the M4s. Fuse kits and making sure they have enough going forward here, but it is going to be 3 2 in this Inferno best of one. Five players survive for Imperial, so looking very good here in the opening stages for them. They're all required just yet for Henny. We're going to hold on to the rifles. Yeah, and uh, you know, for anyone that's you know brand new to watching the game, BP kind of popularized or, or in some cases also got themselves very hated for, for making this incredible save meta where you're just 
to try and save as many rifles as you can on the CT side, even if it means giving up a couple of rounds. And obviously the downside, sure, is that you're giving up rounds that maybe you could have fought for. But the upside is you're going to stay competitive in some of these future rounds much further than you otherwise would. If you lose every single rifle, then some of these rounds already for VP are going to be all-out pistol rounds where they don't have anything. Now instead, they can keep it going by an extra from us here or there. They're still going to be dangerous. Fast play here, Anders, and Jane will find his opening frag. It's an onslaught of kills from VP. Five versus two. A change of pace from Imperial. I don't mind it. Uh, you've conditioned them over towards B. You were hoping for that kind of four-man stack yes. once again. But Jame, he's changed his position. Of course, he has the master one step ahead of the curve. Opens things up. Nice opening frag. And then sets up his teammate Norbert as well. He gets a nice little spray down. Round's over. It's just the what cost now. Can Imperial make this expensive at the very least? Sure, they could save, but there's a minute left on the clock. Might as well explore their options, and they've got a nice full buy regardless going forward. It's a very, again, a very in-meta kind of strategy being pulled here from Imperial. You're absolutely right. If they'd done it the round earlier, the results would have been very, very different, but BP saw it coming. Didn't have the heavy lean towards the B bomb side. In fact, had three people at top mid, so they were ready beyond belief. 40 seconds, and Imperial just walking away. Enjoying the scenery. It's a beautiful map, Inferno, you've got to say. Aesthetically speaking, yeah, it, it's right up there. It's one of the very best. They just made it too bloody small. It feels just too pokey. It feels like... Yeah, that is the consensus, isn't it? You feel like your ants running around. I feel the same way. Try to open it up a little bit more, make some of those hallways a little bit wider. It's just like, the, the, it means the utility, like the smoke, the, the way position you have to use two before like everything can be just locked out by one smoke like arch side the molotovs can cover like the trash the corner the cubby just everything can just get yeah. devoured by utilities it's just so tiny it feels like um that seems to be the general consensus of most players james okay fair enough maybe didn't deserve the frag but he times it perfectly he was completely flashed off that normally probably works out for imperial just fine but uh, he gets the opening kill. It's four to two. Imperial, though, as we mentioned, still have plenty of cash. Henny will deploy his AWP on the T side for the first time as well. Let's get it. Round seven. First half starting to heat up here. Oh, and he's going straight for it. Up banana, standing in the fire to try and get that opening kill, but he couldn't quite land it. And that'll slow down Imperial. You can tell him. That was the part, the first start of the round here. Previously, they thrown in Vinny. This time, they wanted Henny to try and see if he could get something done. And now it's about working the basics, I think. Which again, what is this? You watched yeah, but, bro. You have to clear out top mid. You have to clear out top of banana if you're on the T side. You have to push the CTs a little bit back. And then there are a whole wealth of executions you can try and do beyond that. You need to push them back first. Is that thrice? Thrice. So, Good job. I'm proud of you. In terms of map we finally control, we've got very useless. useless. Good job, buddy. That seems to be one of the objectives of Imperial. They get a player up here more often than not. Eight fucking advertisements in a row. Come on now. You want to know why we did that? The top. We're in an off -angle three to, minutes of ads, sir, with the CTs. that you may or may not have gotten all three minutes of. Oh, oh, because we're about to switch. Damage. <laughs> you don't want to see that. Ouch. Um, they might just be going for this one. Mm. Where's the bomb? You just have to pick up the bomb. It's 35 gonna, seconds. Oh, oh we're going to watch Vitality, Eternal Fire, and ads this, are now turned off for an hour about to do a B split. in 10 They're minutes. Arch. Okay, now finally, Henny's Hopefully ready that back helps. to pick it up. There's only 24 seconds left. Henry, I hate everything about this round already. Okay, Phelps could save the day, though. He slipped the net, Anders. Yeah. Not all is lost. Not all is lost, but my god, it has to be perfect from here on out. And oh it's not perfect god, at all. No. Phelps goes down. Oh, lads. Pro will... uh, overconfidence? Perhaps? I'll tell you what I'll do, guys. I'll bring a thesaurus up to the caster room. Could we'll, you? we'll make this work in the next segment, yeah? Yeah, love I wasn't you. prepared for Wait, that. Oh, no. I don't want to watch it. CT side, eternal fire taking to the attack and starting down second mid. Uh, my eyes, Chad, for this entire game are going to be on Mezzi. He has looked perpetually uncomfortable I need five, in this fight. Maybe jersey. ten. And uh, as one of the sole British representations in competitive Counter Strike, I've, I've got to be 
expecting bigger things from him. How could you got one this yet? happen yeah, to me? I made my mistake. Makes mince meat of Wakadia, and you want to hold on to that advantage he fakes the right run. away, hoping that lulls them in. Sphinx is the contingency. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're actually going to push this. Oh, yeah, thinks twice about it. because Norma, they're actually going to give some oh, to my ass. Needs healing. Chaos 617 with Reese of Zach Mass with a 19 month armor. Thank you. Oh, my God, Mezzy. Additional frag, Magic. Oh, wow. Zaiwu tracks nicely. Well, One of the highest rated players on the pistol is Zaiwu. He's taken down Magic. I slapped squirrels. Thank you so much for the yeah, five gifted. Think, thank you. Appreciate oh, you. Both just silently slip up long. Zentaris doesn't have the information on that. And as he peeks, he's not going to get any confirmation of it. He has a smoke still, Zantares, but I don't know where he's going to use it. No. It might be a little bit too late now. Apex searching first. He took a goosh earlier in the round. Now, Bro, I'm literally trying to wake up, is clear. and this is the shit I gotta deal with. Are you kidding and me? Pit is clear, and now Abs is clear. Zaiwu nails the headshot. They're going for the 10-second defuse. Now they work out where it is. It's a quick one from Flames. Waktik looking a bit frustrated about that one. Flames, uh, he just hit the first bullet in reaction to the comms from Zaiwu. Couple of nice shots being hit from Vitality there to kick off the pistol around, and all started with Mezzi. Also, good morning, JoJo. With the jewel Berettas in apartment, so great work. And it's, it's hard to tell what you're going to get Hope you've been in the good, bro. game for some of these teams. And well, CT signed, pistol round, that's fantastic news for Vitality. Just touched on a lot of points. One of them being this is the uh, reigning major champions. However, Ooh. quite a few players in the team have been chopped and changed. I don't know if you've seen them, but I've been rolling back well. the years, dude. Yeah, we saw that fantastic graphic of just kind of showing... Apparently the I'm a rifler now, chat. Crazy. And just took some time. Up against a big dog. I think that's also something we have to keep our eyes on is mm. that they've been oh, so shit. close in multiple occasions against this the top five teams fire. in the world yeah phase especially phase could especially. give vitality uh, a hard sure. time here but they've definitely if vitality comes out cold but that pistol is going to put it there from he always references the fact that they are just you know one extra step away from being able to be a true contender against the top counter-strike four teams. here on mid by the way alex so this is going to be a hard lockdown kindia throws out the util Time we've tucked in anti flash and the matchup. Good for it. Wow. Mac 10 versus M4. And it's good from Mezzi, but not able to find any more. So is, yeah, and Calix. Calix is going to be chipped away at. Nice find from Sphinx. Stabilizes into the head. Oh, surfing on the windscreen. And he should be dead in a moment. There it is. Sphinx. Confident. Yeah, that one actually uh, a little bit flat there from Eternal Fire, isn't it? They're just out mid, uh, two players leaking through apartments can get the space, but without the bomb on their back, the bomb cannot go down. They should not be able to justify another force by. That's two rounds yeah, Jojo, in consecutive who's your fashion where it felt like they've had a shot, but just missing a couple of key details to he, confirm it. Even that two on yeah, two, Zaris. you didn't necessarily need to keep, keep fighting for it. You knew where Spinks was. Kalix just kind of, I guess. I not want to watch this match. To that no, I like this one. Yeah. yeah, you know, you could have cut I like this match with teams. I just don't enjoy out, Inferno very, very much, man. Sure. Mm. Well, they've limped in with a couple of pistol investments. Saving their pennies to be able to fully gun themselves into round number four. Interesting to note that Vitality have not chosen to use any early smokes. I say that as a nice deep one arrives. Starting with just incendiaries in this kind of anti-eco. I don't know. I played against John G and a pug the other day. You guys might lose. Oh, we haven't seen an awful lot of Inferno played thus far. Lowest played map from the opening I'm kidding. Stage. I'm kidding. And what is your... Um, oh, yeah. Thank you. Good catch from our... I'm kidding. Calyx is set up for the potential finish. Two smokes at his feet. He can do... Uh, Sorry. Oh. Oh, hold Not on as bad second. as Heise's team. This Holy shit. Hold more interesting. Flamesy goes down aggressive banana. That's going to draw the rotation of Zaiwu. He's left long. Giving Sphinx up to his own devices. The repos of Mezzi now. A little the bit more turtle in towards the A site. Just Calyx don't watch the VOD back. You're going to be really Mo, sad about that 12-12 score. Make their way up short and apps which if they're able to overrun just don't watch they're reconsidering back. okay well the extra util that was left has now been scavenged and picked up i think they're retooling for a b finish oh shit so they have flashes they'll probably need one over the top to push apex honestly back. we needed two streams utility, though we win that mirage if we had two streams that's gonna buy you so much <laughs> they're gonna have to go through alex yeah, they have they to are. go through and with a flash apex you are alone here the fact that he's holding his own smoke i understand it but i think he's seen enough oh get the hell out of there apex stands he bangs he takes down Madja, and he is gonna leave with two and a half should, get a should be able to get the bomb across this smoke ct sphinx can't stop this bomb plant now 
So there, the, the, the opening kill onto Flames has at least given Eternal Fire a bomb plant in a essentially an economical. I don't know how I feel about two of them staying banana side. Eyes on some real shit, if that's how you guys are gonna call though. They haven't taken side space, they haven't fought for Coffin's control. Could be a very well placed HE if we can't like, times this right. Now, most of your rounds, they're ahead of it. just wait like 15 seconds before everything you guys do. Let's see playing this fade. Now looking for Wakadia, and he's nailed the headshot. This gets uncomfortable for Vitality. A fumble. A very big round for Eternal Fire to put themselves on the board. Need to be defusing. There's no hope. There's no way. Wakadia. Oh, that is Let a fantastic. Go. <laughs> Let's go. And they leave with the round. Oh, if I'm Flames, I'm getting a clip across the years. Yeah, but Apex as well. Yeah. He's overstaying his welcome there, right? The flash comes over. He gets the nade off, but he hangs around Sandbag as opposed to reposing, trying to get back in towards the site. Could have even dipped through the smoke and played a full retake. That's the Flamesy kill that was given up. But Wakadia, he's one of these players. Oh, Maniac was wow. talking to me about it the other day. He thinks he's fantastic at setting the tone. So that's the T side, right? When he's the one dictating the fight. And that's fantastic work right there. That's going to fill the team with confidence early. <laughs> Is he Magic Celebration? <laughs> Loving that. How can you not love And the that guy? wasn't the call that they were wanting to start the round with, right? We Sorry, dude, Wakadia's, the way Wakadia uh -oh. sits at his uh -oh. desk uh -oh. reminds me of somebody that like sat down in a public like a library PC. The bullet through the smoke as well gets away with just 24 points of hell. I don't know how else to describe it, but that's yeah, what it reminds right. me of. The, the, the game plan it wasn't even required. It was an A focus. I'm used to see the CS players with their arms on their desk, and when kind of got like, like his arms kind of like. Work it out. Hang on, we've. Just, let's do something else. I like the call when it look if Apex is gonna think he can stand and deliver on his lonesome. Like T Rex in, but low, you know what I mean? More throughout this half. Yeah, like he's T-Rex, but low. Yeah, full banana control because it looks like the desk is the wrong height. I think that's what it is. Like it wasn't like... That's why it doesn't like... Um, like at a, like when you go use like a public PC somewhere, right? Especially back in the day, if you're old as fuck as me. And he will be the lone defender of the B bomb site as Mezzi and Co. Are you know, like you're, frisky. you're sitting down and like it's not really the right height, so you're just making do. ...of the likes of Zaiwu as well as Flamesy on their way back over. You till, but... Eternal Fire should be into the side before the rotation. Yeah, flash and spam, and he gets nothing for it. So Apex made his play. Empty handed. Keep your eyes on Mezzi. He has a flash, but he's in banana. How's he going to be able to facilitate a push, or is he? It might even just be the call to save. Hold on to our goodies. Chat, we're getting there. Dip. I'm slowly we'll starting to feel better. To use all of this into the next round, and that's going to have to be the case. Eternal Fire. Without getting a kill, got themselves into the site. Now it's just about getting out with all their goods. Yeah, it's an exit bad, strategy they're working on here. Maja to clear. Spotting out Mezzi with a great work. Finds himself watching now does Mezzi. <clears throat> Spinks. He may be able to find something on the way out. He's hearing them out mid. But they want to take that Kevlar through, have a second bite. Also, though, Jojo, your team literally might like not make it through the qualifier. This game, it was momentum, right? It was the pistol. He's gonna quit after like three games with Wolfie. I think. That was get up to a very strong first half of play. Whereas that isn't the same case for Eternal Fire. They started with the loss, right, from the pistol, then a force by loss, and then they actually won in that. He's gonna want to call. So this is a good sign that they're not just doing it. And Wolfie's just gonna be vitality. It's just a clear game, and they're battling back and forth. And we'll have to see if there's any fourth from Vitality. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see what the call is when you've got that rifle on Apex. Wolfie's going to be talking about how there were four at the B-bomb site when it was really just start. two people. And how stupid it is while well, Pete's trying so to make Tara's a call. We need to keep our eyes on and see if the likes of Flamesy and Apex put a lid on him. Mm -hmm. Because if he becomes the marauder up banana that we know he can be, Zantara's on a tear can be a real issue. Yeah, Messi the probe. On that USP, the only one to go down in the previous, so you could expect him to use that for some information at the right moment. Cardia has the bomb, so he's going to back off, and so is Calix. Calix is going to do a pretty standard job of anchoring over towards apps on the T side. Keeping it simple, aren't they? Just going to be taking their initial spread. They've actually thrown a smoke to Moto. They're in second mid, however, Vitality, so they know it will be a B finish again. Yeah, the info's there now. Apex is going to be scarpering over just in time. Spinks and Mezzi for the banana flank. <laughs> Saiwu anti flash. You'd have to hit one hell of a shot. The bait from Flames. It sets them up. Saiwu gets away. Drops into the Flames. Need another body shot. Maybe Apex can catch the timing. He hears them in front of him. Walk it out. The double oh, kill. That's something he can work with. Double from Apex.
It doesn't look favorable Ooh, the by any stretch nice. of the imagination, but there is a world, there's a universe. He knows where we live in it. Yeah. It makes the noise. This is manageable. Out wide. Can expect where they both are. New box trajectory indicates. Walks it towards the dark position. Sphinx has a bit of a pressure, a bit of a time pressure. The smoke on the bomb will get them panicking. They peek out. He isolates the jewel. Knows where Kalix is. Pushing now aggressive through the fountain. Kalix, do you take get ahead of the play? Yes, swung on. Ooh. Holds nerve with the Farmas, and it will be eternal fire converting. Felt like an unnecessary pick for Woxley there, didn't it? Obviously not wanting to get the jewels isolated, but he wasn't even that close. That's the comeback last time. Throwing out the smoke Sick and just game. Thank you. his demise was Woxley. So giving a chance over to Sphinx, but handled. And crisis averted. The Thank guns you. will come out, but Vitality doing an awful lot of damage there. So good round, considering Simple, that was the buy of the previous that they brought into a follow-up round, and it came down to a one-on-one. -on -one. It's limited the finances of Eternal Fire. However, Calix sitting pretty, 9.3k. It's a residual buy or two, a few drops in future rounds if things start to go wrong. Deep banana smoke. Does that uh, force Eternal Fire into trying to take this mid and A control? Let me go real watch some Mythic matches yesterday. Um, oh, Wakadia up and towards the boiler room as the oversight of Calix who sets him up with a flash <clears throat> calls boiler clear. I think so. So, in response to losing banana early, Eternal Fire has taken boiler and halls and are worried about a boost. You can see just going through the paces. <laughs> Flung. Yeah, welcome to Inferno. <laughs> yeah, this one's such a give and take. Isn't um, it? Mm -hmm. Has, yeah, we went one and one case man pacing to it and, we uh, had a mini comeback on mirage side. and we came back from you know, 12 6 on nuke and one in overtime the there's a lot of things you've got to get done even with me spoiling these results caught out i guarantee you the nuke game will be exciting for you especially interesting how both players from vitality just lead behind there there's a pretty insane like 2v4 2v5 for me and hate the ct setup in the middle of the comeback and then hate had a crazy 1v3 early there's 40 seconds left another b execute uh in overtime to be called by magic here Centares. usually not the first man in they'll have to brave this they have a he on calyx to blow it open okay util sails through Flames holding on to his incendiary now is a perfect moment. They're gonna have to go through that. Is the editor gonna make a... I don't know, Gatler, are you in here right now? Activating through the smoke, he eats the flashbang, and oh, only the one from Apex. He's already they editing the new game, though, yeah. On Wakadia. Yeah, he's got the rotation cut off. Messi was not ready for that one. You can see, passing glance, a lazy clear, Sphinx. Can't even get there in time. How brutal is this? Wakadia is playing with his food. Zywu can't even go for this because his teammates have been cut down by Wikardia. Right. Now look at him staring at his mini map, Ooh. playing a wicked, cruel game here against Sphinx and Mezzi. Vitality didn't even get a chance to play retake. I think it's it's quite a simple process there. As long as you can keep three players over to yeah, Wikardia, you go for that B execute. Sure, Wikardia will go down, but the round has been won. Uh, then you're going to trade efficiently and get in towards the side. The bomb goes down. Then you just get Wikardia being a nuisance on the rotation. Mezzi doesn't even get an opportunity to play the round. Call that four to two with a two round advantage now. My three picks are both currently 0 and 1. I put ecstatic and I put mongoose. And it's all been a B focus. So, what does this mean? Well, talking about who was saving just there, we're hearing celebrations. That's going to be coming from, I guess, the Brazilians with how loud. Like it. I don't think VP have ever gotten that loud in the <laughs> no. history. Maybe when they were Polish? Uh, definitely not since they've been Russian. No, but we've got VP versus Imperial going on. You can check that out over on the uh, PGL2 channel. Uh, if I'm x right now and I'm putting, uh, I'm having a discussion with Apex and the way this has flowed out, there's, okay, guys, they've hit B a lot. So we've got a few choices. Either we need to make sure that we're retaining banana control or we're going to have right. a third player able to cheat over much quicker. And by doing so, we need more information towards A. So we need to either be more forward on our mid setups or we give up some space and take a bit more, I don't want to call it a gamble, but an educated guess on how we want to play out the round because we can't just be getting executed on in a two or three player environment when they're coming in with more players. Because yeah. if they just trade efficiently like they did, it's all over Red Rover. I am surprised we haven't seen, you know, a G2 smoke, a phase smoke, and something to in, of that ilk from Vitality's defense so far. Yeah, they're not as jarring, are they? That's what I like about phase. They change the progression of the map. Yeah. Uh, they, they love that smoke down middle. Brokey will blow it open with a HE, take picks with the AWP down. Rops will be a lot more aggressive in boiler and halls, constantly just being a nuisance. Well, and they are being a bit more of a nuisance now. Two saved guns on the offensive. 
trying to find a bit of room to work with. So up close and personal in boiler and holes. Yeah, these rounds can go wrong. Yeah. The drop and he turned off the nuke game five. ahead of time, dude. That's handle. crazy. He can't be doing that. Well, Cardi is now up in the up. window room and Calix come through apps. So it's all going to come down to a timing. Yeah, Messi's a dead man. Sold out. And the trade there, Sold but out. so is Ricardia. So it boils out to a 3v3. Bit of a mismanaged setup in there. Uh... And Apex is rotating to the wrong bomb site. Yikes. Oh, Flames. He's got a smoke at least. I'd be creeping through this. Mm -hmm. Obviously mm -hmm. not going all the way through, but, you know, ready to react. Never mind. Never mind. They do have a HE on Magic to blow this open. Clear the smoke and go. And they're talking about it. Yeah, they are. And Flames has that flashbang. Maybe he can get it out in time. Throws it, swings it. Dead though. Madger catching him with the anti flash swing. Yeah, okay, well turned. Smoke's going to be quite shallow. Duh, dude, complexity pain is after this. Fuck me. The fire. They're cooking up trouble right now. Apex, what are you going to do, mate? you got to get out of there. Yeah, see if you can find one of these guns over towards Boiler Room. That's the best you can hope for right now, Mr. Dan Matisclair. In-game leader of Vitality, looking to save. One of Counter-Strike's most animated individuals. My faster? He's, uh, no. probably not going to be too happy. He gets get shot in the side <laughs> of the head. <laughs> Ahead of the play, Zantaras. Reading the only option. Ooh, a little, a, a wry smile. Look at me, does it look like I'm fasting, there. you know? A lot of people questioned uh, if a tunnel Fire would be able to compete with the upper echelons. And throughout the opening stage, they had their wobbles. It wasn't as convincing as many had hoped, but this is looking good so far. T side Inferno. Fast into the, the fridge. Of the two, which with just how good teams are at using their utility for map control. Yeah. I mean, Eternal Fire in the last seven weeks have only lost a phase <clears throat> G2. Yeah, Heiser. I Navi. imagine it's pretty good. It's quite a star-studded list. And vitality. I just wish people like Heiser were better at CS so they can yeah. make deep runs and majors and I could watch them and be excited. I said what I said. Well, this is a change. Hit the DMs they and eat that McGriddle, son. In almost every round of play. But Vitality is staying with a very standard hold. Two banana, three towards A. <laughs> so I was dipping back away from middle now. You're hoping this has softened up the A defense, but that's not the case. Mezzi still in pit, full belt of util. Sphinx under the porch. As I was AWP towards the long side to rotate in. This is going to be a very telling round. So I'm responsible for long. Mezzi always oh, just as he pulls out the nade. Sphinx and Zywu clamp shut. Walks it gone. Zentaris has opened up the site. Fights back with a double of his own. Gets Archer away reset. with low HP. Magic ready on the yard for the flames rotation. Apex tut of his tongue. Limits his options with the molly. Magic isolating Mezzi. They know he's in the pit. Magic lingering around towards the moto. Smoke down goes Apex and down goes Vitality's hopes of defending this A site. Unless Mezzi can come up clutch. Zantares finds the angle. Damn. Three That's kills from Zantares. Well played. That started with a double Vitality well kill. It was a 3 there. momentarily. And then Zantares happened. Yeah, that was a fantastic lurk. It went wrong for Eternal Fire. But from a fragging one, it went bloody well. I think this from Zantares I don't even is know huge. If this right? He's dealing with both. It was oh, bad from calling. Over towards pit. It was, Magic dealing with the it was rotation. fine. It was just like... Both players rotating in from B. So the in-game leader and the star rifler in contribution pick up a huge round. Zantares on land, baby. Nine and four, as it currently stands. We've already seen impact from Akadi and Zantaras as well. On the T side of Inferno and Vitality left wanting. How, uh, many, how many rounds have they had a full gun round? Uh, uh, we just saw one. I think chat made you change. Yeah, yeah, oh, so, it's early. Uh, I guess the thing is... Dirt Bacon, if I was listening to chat a moment ago, I would have taken an Ecstatic and, and Mongols the, out of the 03. Because their force by became a silenced M4 that Apex I was so chill, I didn't even open CS rest, to try to scum the 03 picks back. That was in the hands of Sphinx, and that carried over for two consecutive rounds, right? So you can start to piece these together quite quickly. Oh, so, Toast singed for Woxic. He's already given the AWP over to Zantares. This would be the worst type of round for things to go wrong for Eternal Fire. But if you consider the Vitality Camp, this would get quite a high mood as... Mm. So you can see them <laughs> being past each other there. Tataris, well, the careful now. Yeah, it's because he's so low. 
we he's managing to find impact and uh, they're gonna lose this round, aren't they? <laughs> Jump into conclusions, <laughs> no, I think, Virgil. They're lose this round, aren't they? I don't think so. What, have you seen Woxic on the AK? Bro, they're imagine. Round, yeah, it's it's not looking. Imagine good. the it's Americas the take over That's the legend stage as well. E will literally be in shit. This shambles. would be a frustrating one to lose as well because you did a lot of hard work in the last. Zai was still searching. Zai was just deciding how I'm going to play Counter Strike now. Two players to defend the B bomb site is the usual suspects. You're telling me your girlfriend picks. No records YouTube, based off of names and she thought yeah, Navi was the worst she name to try and catch this timing on the swing oh did some damage onto Wogstick. it does facilitate apex and there's no time left slow down Tintaras at least holds on to his AWP doesn't die after that is uh, a, a rubbish round from eternal fire really well it's a product of Zywu. um it, Finding that Deagle headshot that kind of really must have taken the wind out of their sails. I, I suppose because of the forward push of Wakadia to app straight away that they weren't expecting that gap to be exploited <clears> in towards <throat> the boiler room. But that's a gift. And and, and like I said, that's Zywu playing. He went active again individually, right? They were just kind of searching for fights. That's not a standard round. They didn't like, oh, okay, we're going to do this setup, guys. This is a, oh, um, okay, we've got a couple of mm. upgrades. Let's see what we can do. So that's uh, a frustrating one to lose. But you, this is where you're hoping you can keep your cool. And the desk were touching on it. I think uh, Richard brought up what well, the 13 rounds in a row that we saw Eternal Fire lose. You want to hope that it doesn't start this cascade of rounds against them because the half so far is the, the best time name. rounds they've been winning, yeah, the they've been doing. It's been great to get them to six. Free You'd the be nip. looking for seven within this half of ours Eternal Fire at this point. Fun fact, chat, if you put you switch sides, an IP well, like or a nip Zywe, what does he do with into it? a Twitch title, he's going to be the first man on the scene. It doesn't let you. A little glance down mid, nothing crazy. So I always had to do N. Catch anyone trying to set themselves up LP. The hole. This is a direct call from a ton of fire. Look at the dots. So get them are be able to in the title in a moment. Yeah, and Messi's I wonder if they fix that. towards the balcony. He is going to be uh, noted by the spam. So yeah, no secret of his presence, but it's not going to deter Zantares. He's ready him for this duel. He's going to wait for Wakadia. They can double swing. Look at the rotation as well from Vitality. They've just sent Zyla's Okay, I haven't had that problem lately in, towards the because B side. they're bad. Out of position, so just two players to I never played. The smokes they wanted to line up early. Oh, this good. was the, the smokes they wanted to throw in the round. They ended up did it winning with just Tech Nines. And now lock at Mezzi under scrutiny. Trying to delay. Flash might work. Sphinx in support, but obscured by the smoke. Good find. Sphinx dead after one. With Cardia and Zantares, this potent pairing have once again kicked open the front door. You've got to be saving. We know how difficult it could be to retake on a map like this. And Zantares. Oh, look at Apex. Oh, yeah. And that's not even his A defender's fault. Who called the rotation as I were back over towards B? Maybe that's the lingering conditioning of all the B hits that Eternal Fire have been getting away with, right? How did they sell it on, like... They what? didn't. So didn't. one of the things uh, that Eternal Fire does is that they'll throw than the never? half wall smoke. It just lands a little tired. bit deeper than half wall just in front of I definitely don't sound more sick than ever, but... So if you want to contain ever, control for Banana, you have to play in front of that I'm smoke I'm definitely wall, very tired. Right? And if you play behind it, you don't know what is on the other side. Gets you can keep drop. car control, you can keep sandbag, sure. But those positions are very susceptible to a pop flash, to a molly sandbag, to nades in towards the Banana mouth position. But I also, I remember saying it and it sounded like I was being stupid, but earlier on in the uh, half, they smoked motor when they were finishing B. Is that the round where Bacardia lurked? Yeah. Yeah. They did that. Tackle ball in the way? No, no, Nori motor, made me oats. It's the same so smoke I just they've had just the thrown oats. there in their A finish. So perhaps it is one of those where you see the same smoke and you I'm remember. Chilling. Last time it was towards that B side of the map. Zywu caught in the wrong side <clears> of the map. I might have yeah, Taco Bell later, but. Ahead of the play, right? Like, yeah, we're looking to get some control back on Usually the map. those oats so last me like. The timing of that execution. About four hours, five hours into the stream. Moxicon is T side AWP. You said they wanted seven, Chad. Well, that's mission accomplished now. The question is, how far can they fly? If they win this and wipe the board, they could get nine. That would be mad. A lot riding on this for Vitality to get their start. Oh, flames. Oh, hot, hot. True to his name. Well, you see the change. This is them hitting the big red button. Hey, boys, we need this banana control. When we don't have it, they execute B. When we don't have it, they exploit our rotation on towards A. So you need that space. They've dipped very far forward. And now Apex hightailing it to it's join the talent, party. Chat. See if they can make this four strong on the A site. find one nice hold around the edge of the smoke expecting Wakadia to try and punish into the site. What is that oh. from Matcha? He takes what a shot. 
Spinks finally finds him, but still, now Vitality, they've got themselves a man advantage. It's 50 seconds. They're maneuvering towards long. This is Apex's domain. And he holds firm. Taking down Zantares. IGL's onto stars, the theme of this round. Rascal, thanks for 21 with. three sub. Thank you. you. Pulpy Juice, thanks for 21 month primary. Thank you. Two on four, a uh, tall order. Mezzi's holding the perfect angle for this. This crossfire, incredibly hard to break with 20 seconds left. They're hoping to be given something. Flames goes looking for trouble and he finds it. But there's the crossfire sprung into action and Wok's it going to try and maintain that AWP. He's got plenty of cash to drop anybody who needs a rifle. We're we going into the final round of play. Lost Burn is about to get piped in towards those bank balances. And that will be four on the board for Vitality now. You see that with the smoke up short go, and all the util they're trying to harass towards the pit position with the HEs not finding their mark. So stalled out and Apex with the correct rotation over towards A to mean all three of the defenders can focus on apartments and short, even with a nice shot from Magic onto Zywu. Pedestrian round for Vitality to win. Eternal Fire, they've done the hard work, able to buy it again. See if they can walk away with eight. Ooh. No. Oh, Oh! Spinks is so lucky to be alive, never mind getting the first frag there onto Kallax. Walks it gonna feel a bit silly. Kind of the old wallbang works, he used to be able to shoot them in the head through the corner. When seeing the barrel. If they just go in towards a BXQ right now, it would be the perfect call. Look at these two. You mean Nuke? Having a meeting, uh, juggling aids. Apex trying to stall them out for a moment longer. There's seven more seconds. And there's even a Another third man. Figure out how thick Flam's oats are. Over. Oh, they're hella thick. I'm just so worried about Flames. He's not been having a great start. These side streets spotted out. Down goes Flames. Zantares has opened up He wants up the more, side. dude. Look at him. Apex and Sphinx. He wants more. Vigilant. Only for a moment. The util's good. Well, the he got more. Apex, he's under a lot Spinks of trouble. Spinks down. Apex, surely the next to fall. He does find Wakadia. He's delaying magnificently. Woxic in the flames will go down. Man, Zywu nice finds him. And with 45 seconds, the clutch is on. Madja. Has he got anything left for us? He cuts noise. Smokes are still up as it currently stands, so... No information for Vitality as to where this last player lies. They haven't seen the bomb, so can maybe start to operate under the assumption that Magic has it, but he's making the very executive decision to take a Tech-9 and charge. He's going to get the boys a bomb plant, but it's all about the round. Last round of their T side. Could he really leave with eight? If he posts up offensively towards the long side, he might be able to get one and get away and then play a one-on-one. -on -one. I like it. I like it a lot. He hears them coming. Magic's just got the AWP for this. Oh, they nearly lined up. They split the uprights. Holy one, but shit. the one. Match is like, where is my bullets going? Can't believe it. Thought he had one of them dead to rights. God, can we have that one in slow-mo? Damn. I, I felt like there was a world where that could have been a collateral, maybe one kill, one body shot. You never know. You can see he's really frustrated <laughs> about that. Could have been a captain's clutch think, bet eight. I think Vitality are having a similar conversation of like, we may have just dodged a bullet, literally yeah. and figuratively. And had gotten there just in the nick of time, didn't he? Bloody hell. Yeah, no, I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, so this started with Sphinx kind of getting a second life. Finding one, finding two. Apex doing well to delay them. And I think his shots slowed them down in that Molotov. But yeah, that was the... Uh, the Magic Rundown. Where are my bullets going? Zatara's with a bit of a smirk on his face. I want to see him from his side. Good try, boss. Uh, Not what I'd like to see from Zai. We're looking a little bit uh, fatigued. Well, it's been a stressful game yeah, so far. Been. Yeah. It hasn't been easy. How'd you come to making the four outside call for these super important rounds? Does it work round super lead? well with you holding lobby? Is that a normal oh, strat on nuke? I called for it. outside yeah, of me just lurking underway, because the we up, were getting picked apart and we were absolutely getting Two just Beretta's, fucking worked. Pair of them, and and Taras, the stars gifted. when you're getting worked like that, and Zywu, a piece you know, of sometimes just brute forcing with. four people into a place and having people work together and just trade, they really it just minimizes a lot of like, smoke. It, quite frankly, it just takes yeah, a lot of like thinking like out of the eight, equation which is uh, or like mid-rounding and you're just simply... Having people so use, use like basic chemistry did go be and mechanics and to play off each other. That's why I call it. And he's got the kit as well. 
And then once it worked, I was like, well, fuck it. Might as well just keep it going. Oh, that <laughs> did not feel good to Apex. I'm actually glad we caught it from that POV. Yeah. Oh. And now Zentara's will activate, but watch out. It's the Woo on the pistols. Oh. Caught and tracked by Kalix. It's the bullet magnetized to the head of Zaiwu. And a winnable clutch for Flames. I say winnable, 1v3, sure. It's a, it's a mammoth ask, but by putting some damage onto Wakadia, and make no mistake, Flames individually and mechanically gifted doesn't always get to show it as he's been integrating into the Vitality ranks. Especially in the clutch. Yeah. 12-6 Imperial? Oh shit, they're doing it? So it's Kalix kind of going between the two options. Hold on. Flames being spotted. Kalix plays passive. Wakadi is the next to take the contact. 25 seconds. Kalix jiggles out. He's surely going to be ready for this pit player. Wakadi can take him down any time. A smoke. A plant will be huge. Massive plant. Oh, he's gone away with it. Surely going to go run down. Kalix will. And Vitano but a Brazilian Fireball. team. Trade pistols. Oh, and one three. And one. You mm. take the round. See, I learned from my mistakes. Seems like you there. didn't. The fact that they get the bomb down, <laughs> now you're under so much more of a threat right, going into the second round of the half. It's no longer Glocks and a nice kind of peaceful walk I mean, into I the definitely, second half. You've got especially not at this stage. I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, what are they I still can't stress right? this enough. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I swear, I like... Say it's almost a certainty. Who's going to get a good spawn up banana? Great shot from Waxing. I think putting Brazilian teams. With a I put Legacy on three because in. I just genuinely didn't see their level being right. good at all. That's the in game leader's dream. In the, the first stage. Not trying to play out the clutch. I don't know if it was in for, my uh, pick them video, but I know I talked about it on the stream. Uh, the bank balance and, well, uh, here it is on day one round number two of, the of the opening half, stage. I love it. Absolutely. Which is like. Brazilians like tap in and. Bro, they're so emotional for the game. Not saying like Europeans don't care, but when we watch the BO1s, I feel like it literally is like a negative for the Europeans that they I mean, almost seem you, so calm. Because in BO1s, man, up, man you have to have like. Nail it. Matter, it is Zywu. Yeah, it's Zywu. You have to be all. going. A few of these players just get off the hook. Like, you have to I be mean, going. I'm sure, but that, an MP9 from, is from round one, like so this, awkward. this. Oh, oh he's definitely you know, like, I think the mindset of being like chill, even, and like. Consistent is good across the BO3, but when you get into those BO1s and there's Zywu and you're losing rounds and you're just like all good, all good. Bro, you gotta hit, you gotta, no, you don't have like an MR12 BO1, you don't have time for that shit. You, you better fucking get feisty. Like, you don't, I don't need you like necessarily streaming, but. You're you're gonna to lose. Say, uh, tunnel fire. The round's done. The fact that you were clumsily going for the boost and then crossing like, back dry in front of an AK that you're. I could just be like, and, you, you know, know, just to recap, be an armchair analyst here, but AK, it's bought him himself. I swear it feels that uh, way when I watch the game. So he's bought Kevlar, bought his own AK, and made it work. Yeah, he did make it. Like work. in those so BO1 scenarios, frags, you uh, need energy. Like you, you can't that. just do the. All right, we lost pistol. Oh, all good. So, uh, first gun, go. guys. So giving up a plan oh, we lost first gun. All good. Just we'll just save here, half buy. buy. And put them what we always do. You, know, you, need, you need a little Man, bit of something, you know? And, uh, yeah. Do you think you can have it both ways? I don't know, actually. Very impressive. Uh, and yeah, it's good to see the Zywoo's I think I think the there's, I've definitely, there's, one, there's definitely just, like uh, teams and players two rounds for vitality well, and that are European that absolutely do get hyped. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think there is a balance to it for sure. I think, I think being hype all the time definitely has an immense amount of negatives too. It's not all positives. Chose not to buy head armor again. Didn't cost him last time, so who cares? I, I guess maybe you're not even thinking about it, right? That's probably one of the, I would say, issues. Mm. You know, you've just won that last round. You just upgraded a couple of nades. Didn't even think about the fact you didn't have head armor. I guess for Zywu, maybe it doesn't matter at all. It's gonna start a new trend. What's crazy is you guys told me the score of the Imperial oh, game, and when we were watching, I felt like Imperial threw two Alex, rounds. So it must have been a beatdown. Insane trends. <laughs> yeah, there is. Like when I watched a couple of those rounds, it so looked you say, like a, a bunch of like rifles. Imperial was. Can you make it work? You're the ones who are opting for the four A stack this time round, and Apex. He likes. Yeah, if it was thirteen six. Much, like so I'll be real with y'all. Like when I was watching, that shit was. Imperial was favorites. making mistakes. So if they yeah, beat well, him like that and they're making mistakes early, holy front of shit. It, but has nothing to report as they're heading back towards the underguard. They should site. be rotating then. 
Guys, it's so quiet. Help out your boss man over towards B. Yeah, they're so scared about an a pop. Imagine what can you do? A couple of flashes and a push. Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zywe will find him. The bomb will be going down. And, woo, Spinks, he confirms it's a big banana retake. That's surely enough from Eternal Fire, though. What are you supposed to do in this one? You, you've smoked off. Save again. Well, this is any Inferno. savers? We Still love Inferno. The, the least. Uh, you gamble, size going when it doesn't hit. You just fucking save. Yeah. Fire. Again, Scott, just through the fingers by a few of the mistakes that they've made. Mm. Their playmaker ability on the CT side starts to diminish. Right, Zantares and Wakadi are both fantastic aimers, but both when they're the ones mm. setting the tempo and the tone. And if you're trying to do that on the CT side of Inferno, yeah, what are you going to do? Right, we discussed some options. FaZe like to do that. Honestly, at this Deep point, dude, you should just... Play a little bit more offensive. I'm not even kidding. You should just play five on a fucking bomb side. Banana control is a bit of a standard, but... <laughs> just right, play five. Out, they don't have to Fuck fight this shit with four or three. Them, just play five on a bomb side. They go to the other one, they win that round. Two guys on Eco, two guys on Force Buy. Oh no, this is just Inferno. Have a pretty decent round, all things considered. They save three rifles. They're actually taking their first tactical timeout to have that conversation. So I think Apex ready for the likely option of using the 2400 loss bonus into the next, plus the money they currently have residually in the bank, which is about the 2K mark for most. Meeting that of the minds for these two. Well, this is this is the, the the chat. Do we want to just force by again now behind these three guns? Right, you could drop some MP9s or Famuses, and then you could have a rifle round. You know what's again, crazy is I feel like it's not even that troll of an idea right to now, like not invest at all behind. Play the four people on an inferno bomb site. One guy is, starts at the other, throws some nades to create presence. Then you five man one bomb site, so and if they go to the other, you just retake. Taking the cheaper of the two options, they're gonna say. I kind of hate that in my head. I'm like, this could actually be better. Try and get your bang for your buck with the save rifles. You you need to get into a few of these fights. Three towards Banana to start the round. Oh, shit. Wakadia and Calix on the short side. Oh, shit. Man. This boost sugar they redid in front of they wouldn't get rid of it, no? No, they yeah. did with Dust 2 when people like start playing it in Pro League. The alternative version. So Zantara's readies himself for combat. And wow, Zaiwu. He's been a recurring theme on this second half. Filling the feed with openers. A flash. Careful. This he is what I was saying, though. Is did, <laughs> I, I <wonder laughs> really unfortunately, we need there. to keep praying that nobody picked it Stay. in the opening stage because Zantara's the big boys himself. play it. You know, yeah, like, the advantage here. It's a, not G2 an to will pick back. Inferno. Two times Zantara's Vitality will play Inferno. FaZe will play twice. Inferno. Zaiwu has just put him in his place. When do you think Zaiwu will buy head armor? When he dies? Um, maybe not. I told you, it's a new trend. See, walks well, walks it, cooks. Medium rare. There's Ricardio at the back of the site. If they can find him, which they've done. Apex. Both of them hitting the head, but the AK reigning supreme. This place is so hard to retake. The positions are just so stuck in, man. Oh, yeah. They're so stuck in, and if you don't have utility for those positions, like the T's do at the start of the round, it's Im almost impossible to get them out of those positions. We'll find out if Donk is a little bit later in the day. Spirit versus Cloud9, the final best of one. Well, look at the body. Well, yeah. Hey. My face oh, went, or my body went. Zaiwu was on fire. What the fuck? That's a vertical bend back. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. was just happening? I just spit out my cough drop. Years the, uh, of, uh, yeah, a new dance just dropped, boys. So <laughs> Sheesh. I think no. I think it's gonna. No, I think it's gonna be fine, though. Okay. Well, I love this. He's on the top of his game. Apex knows what's coming. Because you're kind of piecing it together, right? You knew that there was going to be some rifles in the mix. You can take a look at the corpses, see what they brought in. It's Voxic that's just bending over backwards. Is that like the kneeling Bernie? No, they're back in control of this one, even though the score is tied up 8 8. Eternal Fire. Can you change the tune? Madja into an MP9. Crowd control for Top Banana. Molly's in exchange. Sleepy Madfish isn't Just even here. Why are you bringing his mother into his? Yeah, so many procedures in place for Inferno. You can see that that At least make fun of somebody that's here, you dickweed. 
Centaurus is trying every trick in the book to try and uh, keep hold of this site. Right now, we know Zywa's got his number, but... See that tiny little gap he's holding? I'm going to go for uh, top and under retake nades. So this will buy them a little bit more time. We'll have to respect that unless they want to extinguish. But you can see the exchange and now the boost and vision. So that means the Apex can actually creep through. Oh, this is strong. But these are the moves, like modern Counter-Strike. You, you need to make sure that you have all of these pre-discussed. It doesn't even have to, you know, be perfect in terms of how it goes down, but you need to know what responses are available to certain util deployments. And that's a great one right there. Yeah, it's like kind of knowing the... Uh... Ever. They're just coming in. Best computer only move. fans promote a bot promoting only fans of my fucking YouTube stream. What the fuck? Apex that takes him down this time. So we save. Yeah, unless uh, Wakadia can find a miracle. You wonder why we don't see much Inferno. The fact that that exchange is enough to determine the winner of the round is madness. Too much on the line, isn't it? But Sphinx is already hunting. What's worse is actually I don't think it was a bot because they were like struggling to type the messages. Cardi, you kind of trapped it. Gonna have to fight his way out. Oh, he just looked away. Flames catches the timing to dispatch of another. This makes a whole lot of difference if they can take these rifles away. There's a reason they're saving. Eternal Fire need these into the next. You know Apex has been making it uh, his role to keep track of his opponents by. They know how important these uh, saves are for Eternal Fire, and they will get away with it, and that will facilitate the opportunity to equip the two dead stars, Wakadia and Zantares. No, Both going down. Okay. It's always interesting to take those little details, I right? So it. Spinks reporting it. the details to Apex of what type of util they're using. It's going to help him make calls into the next. Now, uh, if they do buy, which you discussed as an option, with the 2900, they uh, M4s, but they've but actually decided... But we have paying calls in here, chat, so made. the despair right, so will if begin. If they done what you suggested, there wouldn't have been enough utility to defend. So they're actually, I'm not saying conceding a 10th, but they're not shoving all in. With the loss bonus being maxed out into the next 3400 available, minutes. they've just gone for MP9s alongside of the saved M4s, and they'll give this one a crack. Wow, how has Apex managed to get this far forward this early? Oh, did Magic get him on the jump spot? Take a single point of damage. Look at Apex go! Takes the fight, willing Zantares into the duel, and nothing from Zywoo. There it is. That's the deviation from the norm. Is it Centaurus with a double kill? Uh, but Sphinx and Flamesy, they were the two that had to snap into action to try and grab back some space, but Mib was smoked. So if they had gone, it, it would have been taking these fights either through a grey screen or through a choke point that would have been watched on high alert. So they're just going to retool, regather, and rotate back towards Banana to join Mezzi. He's pushed up, being able to slink himself aggressively. And now they can execute in a number advantage situation, even though they're... All big, big find from Zantara's a dink and then finishes it through the box. Don't worry about execute. Yeah, three kills from Zantara's. He's having a strong performance here on Inferno. Three coming behind them in Banana. Yeah, there's nothing here for Flames at Sphinx. Nothing at all. A clean, a perfect round. And as you said, without the full investment, who needs it when you've got Zantara's on a rifle? Solid work from Eternal Fire. They're not going to bow out of this one. Okay, well, now let's see if they can do it when they have seven everything they want and more. Seven, thanks for the tier three. 53 month Risa, thank you. And take a look hey, seven, at that. appreciate you, man. Hope I'm treating you well. AK-47s equipped Welcome on the back. CT side. Welcome back. I know you've been busy. Oof. 10 AKs in so play. It's going well. Yeah, okay. Well, that's advantage. It's a Viper. The inherent advantage of the T side weaponry is now what completely nightmare. flipped. Five one-shot headshots available for the CTs. And this is what we weren't seeing from the CT side of Vitality. Bit more of a forward smoke. Yeah, it's not super aggressive though, it's is me it? That's from Discord? Like huh? Oh no, are you, you typing kind of to somebody that's pretending to be me asking you for skins? Don't slips. send it. Oh no. Boiler. They have this dude's control. relentless. This dude's been impersonating me for like months now. Can't you like report somebody for that shit? Very quickly on the CT side. This man says remaining, it's me from Discord. Clock. Oh no. Flash. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen there. He's going back to pick up a smoke, but by doing so, he gave up the banana control. 
Bomb down T-stairs. I think Flamesy will be tasked with grabbing that. Magic drops his smoke, so getting mm, what he needs. And I like this search for <laughs> I'm the real flum. Funny this enough, I'm actually from Acadia. the real flum on Discord. <laughs> Speaks will be hearing some steps, so calling a I don't know why they took rotation. that rid of numbers, but is both yeah. Evacuated. Wakadia needs a couple here, Alex. Good flash. Gets away. Sphinx will hear that. I don't know how I got pretty lucky normally that never happens where I get my real name. Coming in from long, oh. saves a double kill, but Wakadi responds in kind. They have the sight. Zantaras and Magic disconnected, and a tut of their tongue. The, just like that, from zero to 100. The, the, the space that Flamesy took off that mid flash, he just immediately hightailed it around long, and you could see how unprepared they were. Two players ready for the fight, apps and sure. Backs turned, Flamesy goes, well, I'll take these. Easiest kills of my life. Manufactured gap that flames jumps through. Sorry with the 380k uh, game. Like what a fucking flex. Sorry, bro. Shit. Any 380 members in like chat? This whole song and dance about coming H as the pot flash up mid. Flames he swings out, gets info of a player close short. Sphinx is apartments aggressive. He hears the rotation back to sight. Walks One it sec, in between him some two beat juice boys. Hold on. Well, now he's committed amp. towards the A side where there's so much drama. His teammates are screaming, so they're under pressure, and his position on the map ends up being the gap. Double digits secure now. Info just flowing with all the util. Yeah, man. Listen to Mezzy go. Nice British accent at the Copenhagen Major. It helps as well, and maybe hinders in some accounts that Mezzy once upon a here it is. So Calix was just starting to deal with that, but too little too late. Flamesy had already established his power position. Oh, and an Eternal Fire second tactical timeout. x is looking directly at Apex, having a conversation. Not sure if he was unhappy with what was being said. It's hard to tell with Dan. Yeah, it is. But uh, what I love as well is that uh, I just realized they, they can obviously have a little chat in French as well. You know, like if there's something that it wants to be exclusively communicated, uh, okay. kind of can uh, change languages into Simlish. Simlish. And, uh, Simlish. Yeah. Get it going. So the double digits first, they are found by Vitality. Only two rounds on the CT side that so far. From from Discord. Oh, no. So many. Most of the rounds. Chad, I know it's getting close here, so Vitality you guys were, tell me what you want to do, okay? The tail end of the Listen up. On their CT side. Do you want me to run the ad because now that, so that uh, none play during the previous, they have actually been uh, paying complexity or do you want me to just let it autoplay in four minutes? This best of one and Vitality be taking their win. I think chat doesn't want to watch Inferno right now. The amount of people saying run it now is crazy. <laughs> Everybody's like, please just run it now, actually. It should be info for three players, though. Yeah, and look at Sphinx. He's working off that info immediately. He's in 7 minutes without ads. Yeah, I have 15 minutes of snoozes that I could use right now, but I'd rather save it for the pain complexity game if it goes the distance. I'm pre-planning. If this game got close, I'm using it as the emergency button, basically. I'm a I'm a sellout, but I'm, I'm keeping it real with you. Yeah, we're sitting on the snoozes. It's game on. It is game on. Both teams now locking horns. I don't know, 10-10. Peace. God, but I don't. I kind of just want to watch Pain Call, I'll be honest. For both the teams, and you can see the high-level Counter Strike being played with the reactions, knowing that there's no orb in play going towards the long side because you can avoid. I'm switching. Don't care. It's already live. I'm gonna let it auto play, and I have 15 minutes of snoozes. Actually, chat. I'm coming up with my own plan here. Sean, it is Bigos here at a fall this time. Nizam tries to come in with a very close, very late flank here. Elige, he just they can't get rid oh, of nice. that shot. Come on. Three kills for Elige. They come did on. everything right, Pain Gaming, but they didn't account for the fact that Elige was gonna hit every single headshot. Now he's hunting for the quad kill, nice. and he will get it as well with an absolute champion performance from him. Let's go, baby. Little bit scrappy towards the end there, but a comprehensive victory. All the same.
more complexity. Bomb planted, not all is lost. Run the, very fast assault. Run the ad on the first side. tax. Five sure. players up Done. the ramp, basic execution. Bomb down, and this couldn't convert the shots on the follow up frags. Honey, thank you. See on the some, screen, see, he's going to be important. Because some pros forward. don't like a map that makes it literally their entire fan zone, base hate the map. Up, uh, Elise. Getting it done with these dual elites. I mean, fantastic. I wouldn't work. disagree with that. Multiple I think people bound, typically the follow other people that have similar opinions to them. From JT, it's kind of natural, right? The final kill as well. Lots of money farmed. But also, uh, if you're saying money, that some people only hate Inferno in here because I hate AD. Inferno, I hate to break it to you. It went from the most played it's map to the lowest played map in CS in the last three months. Interesting. Or actually, if you go in the last six months, it's the second lowest. So while it's risky, it's real risky. I don't like Inferno, and a lot of people in here also don't like Inferno. I definitely don't think I'm the only one, and this isn't a opinion that is isolated to this chat room. Yeah, I don't think that is what I was to be honest. They've only done a little bit of damage so far, <clears> taking down Holzwerk. They can't even call it a, a successful round in but terms of damage at the moment. But I would not disagree with you that we'll see, people in here probably dislike it and that I dislike difference. it and that we don't like it together. It My voice gets on through. Gotta say, that last round must have been frustrating finding Elysia at the start of the round and not Watching being this able over to the phase game? Yes, the I am. On him. They knew that he was there the whole time and they couldn't really clear him out. Pain have slowed the game right down. But they're not getting anything from complexity. Why would they move? Mm -mm. They have no incentive to go anywhere. They've got mid cover. That's Elige. Over on the other side, Floppy's holding the B bomb site on the stairs. And they've got a little boost here. They know everything. No one can sneak through. Yeah, you just know there's nothing you can do. In Every the pro player. Like, you, uh, I don't think that's the see, but pulling all the see, strings this is right kind of what I mean. It's so like Inferno. You've got no Kevlar. Literally is being played yeah, less. And you're saying every facility, player in pro streamer bitches about Inferno. It's still remaining. one of the most played. And even in pro players play. are the ones without Kevlar as well. Extra squishy. Nice shot. People, gonna do much for them though. Will and be and I do think taking care of there's a distinction here. of like Similar people the disliking the map and being bored of a map. It was AK-47. Nice shot towards JT. Should survive this one. I'm saying that with Bates and Breath if he dies, it's an absolute disaster. Great shot on Leech though. Damn. I nice mean, shots, but good round for Cole. Said at the start, they hadn't done much damage. That's four kills. Sure, they're gonna go into, <clears> you know, <throat> not that much more excitement, but I still think that's that's like, a lot of casualties. Some of them just like I don't, I don't enjoy necessarily gaming Maybe Mirage all the time. A little bit more because of pugs and everybody always just wants to play it because they're they papegas and don't bodies. want to learn other maps. Tinism. But I don't think it's a bad map. Well, two and zero oh, either way. AK still alive, obviously. I did think like Inferno is yeah, bad. Yes, he did. Like, yeah. So got the AK. Can't justify much else. Right now, they're just very forced back. Oh, that's a nice smoke. Even a Molotov into the other corner, so you're just absolutely clearing it out. Pain getting pushed away from the A ramp. Uh. Also taking up this position. Would be nice for him to get some kills with the MP9. To, Someone in YouTube you know, chat. All right, this game's over. Back, back to Inferno. Go fuck yourself. I ain't going. Clean. I'm As not going back. He gave up. A few frags in the previous one, if they can. Get this one comfortably. It's just what the doctor ordered. A boatload of damage. Fucking Vamos, dude. Actual right wet now. noodle. One player remaining, and really much he can do, I'm afraid. He's quite far removed from the scenario. He's at the bridge itself. And it's the MP9 that should be able to pick things up here. Might be a Deagle headshot available, but not going to be the case. 3 0. Do you pros hate Dust Yes. They are on a bit at of least that here. would be reflected in why it got go. removed. Some interesting financial decisions there, like I said. Uh, because similar to Inferno right now, Dust2 became one of the least played maps in the Major. There were only like two teams that even played it. Surviving, so really have to dig deep now in these gun rounds to make this a compelling half. We'll see what they've got up their sleeve. As you can see, like, there's a Desert Eagle there for this and that. The money's been... Uh, uh, so, ranked, yeah, like, um, kind of uh, pretty much, I mean, without yeah, fail, kind of Valve they typically takes else, maps um, out that aren't played. Nice grenade that lands on three I don't know what the like, threshold God, is Henry, because is they don't so always just like take the lowest played map and then remove it. Like Vertigo, yet. for example, More was the lowest for a while, down. but it wasn't like not played. It just was the lowest. Gaming. Challenging start to this round. I've got to say, huge off angle here with a double setup. The MP9. I mean, you're just out in the middle of nowhere. It's very, very um, hard to catch this. Molotov, maybe. Oh, doesn't even really yeah. do a lot to them. Like, 
So they it's can a bit. Hang around I don't. Still. I don't know if there's like a Another threshold or something. But zero. <laughs> they're so beat up. There's a minute and ten seconds. They. I mean, they've hardly even seen a CT yet. Because Valve owns ver Valve owns all the maps in the competitive it's map. It's starting to get very frustrating. JT back here could get grenaded out. Yeah, certainly. All five players are paying this side of the map. Horzak descends. The ladder. It's an Eternal fire beat vitality. Holy Easy. shit! Good thing I swapped. We'll good job, Switch. So you saved me. Spot, but not gonna Can't wait to feel this way until Phase loses sort of the best of one, like they always them. do here in a little bit. And now they've still got the man advantage here. 40 seconds. Smoke's deployed towards the bomb side, but as you mentioned, one of North America's finest waiting on the other side. It's a lead with the AK-47. They are going to commit towards the safe side now. Flashes being brought forward. What is this plan? They haven't really cleared up the sights. Two Anders. Oh, they're going to give it up in this sort of fashion. One player remaining. Why were they so convinced the site was clear? Yeah, see how nervous they are? Holy fuck. Yeah, okay, I agree. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how nervous they are? They're not he's even not wrong, though. basic corners. Like, I can't, you just run in and plant? He's not, he's not wrong. That, unfortunately. Like, no, 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 but like, no he's right. Sure. You haven't even cleared gap. I mean, Henry and nailed just it. just in and plant with two smokes down. That is <laughs> they, they just, they woeful. tunnel vision, bro. I'm trying to put it together in my mind. Like, Leech can't even believe it. Like, no one's even, they've run out with the bomb in their hands. They had cleared sandbags. That was, it was a super tunnel vision. That's not the only player at the bomb site. You yeah. could, the, the, the only reason they could have done this is if they thought all the other CTs are going to be pushed behind, like back towards CT spawn. But, they were but then why would he be there? And you've run out with a storm in your hand. And it's gone for the instant plan. Like, Galicia's like, okay, I guess I'll win the round for free. But also, why would that, that ever way? be the setup, right? Oh, look at this. What are you up to? That's wild. Absolutely wild. You're not going to see that very often. Mm. Yeah, these are loving life at the moment. Yeah, he can't believe say. his luck. That one's been delivered to his front door. Yeah, I mean, this Express is super, delivery. This is very, very bad news. Elise feeling good about the game. I mean, he's one of these players that sometimes we get a bit stressed when things are really his way. He's three. One right now. His hey, Sam, look, winning. it's another Four guy one. that didn't actually here, watch the video with sound on or actually watch it. Yeah, I didn't put EF03. Oh, oh, bro, you should have seen the comments in my okay, Pickham's yeah, videos could still get carried when away I used with EF as the placeholder. These fucking idiots, bro. There was a massive cone blocking his. His exit strategy. Yeah, listen, he's got that truck driver Christ haircut, and it is a traffic cone. Yeah, it's, you know. That's what they're designed to do, slow him down. Floppy had to push down towards B just to note that. So they got the man advantage, full map control. Floppy not overstepping the mark here, wants to make sure he doesn't give up an AK and open up the access towards B bomb site. Fucking crazy. Even a passive as well. No one has to get. People really do just self report here. these days. You don't have to do Your anything. Hasn't been recovered. Jason oh nice come on oh good damage though the dink is found <laughs> Oof, in oh, more okay. ways than one a couple of them now <laughs> he just walked into that one oh that is unfortunate but it's not just fortune that's going the way of complexity here they are they're showing up very very sharp again there's always that danger we have to keep bringing it up because if, if you've been watching the majors for a very long time like some of us have in the past, it's not uncommon to see the teams that are coming in fresh Place to the stage more than one be a lot colder true. than the teams like Pain that have had to fight their yeah, way to the no It can, and it has in the past, been an advantage to have played all those other games. But today, that's not really been the case. I mean, in the last game, maybe, yeah, VP didn't do so well, but... Uh, never mind, good luck with your wooden coin, pal. Oh, no. Right now. A bit of an aggressive move here, and Big Wazira finally Man, that's stupid and that fucking I should make the oh, difference no. here on Pain Gaming. He's an absolute Oof. superstar. He's only got two kills so far, but get on the board. Start to get him warmed up. Their spacing in mid was so whack right there. What the fuck? Why was he so... Mm. Uh, I mean, we well, take those, cool. Yeah, that's We take those. Zantara has dropped a 20 bomb on them. Turkish Terminator. Come on. Holy. What a way to kick things off here in Copenhagen. Okay, well, they know the Grim is in here, right? They're going to throw up a grenade on top. It'll make him almost dead, but they don't have another HE at the moment, so they can't get rid of him. He's still a little bit panicked, and he starts to oh, run out. Oh, and they're ready for floppy. Also, Halser got another, though. Round nice. Bigos here and Lux have found a couple of good kills. Oh, my Halser. Come on, bro. Bigos here to fall down next. Two Fuck versus yeah. two. The bomb, they might have a chance to plant it here, but a Molotov right on top. Oh, that's really going to soften Wait, why no NKC. nade? Why no nade? They'll make it oh. out with the grenade. Not going to catch him here. The best chance yet that Payne have had to finally pick up another round. Oh, that was the moment, Elise. He'll be kicking himself. 
And it was a really good opportunity to bring that down to a two versus one in their favor. Horzerk, AWP, two bullets in the magazine. Not sure if that's going to be enough. Dizzy, thanks to the 513 sub. Thank you. Yeah. Floppy getting doubled. Round, trying to help Alicia's sandbag is where that round Finally went pain sideways. Finally, in the best of one on Vertigo. They'll post a first round with two players surviving as well. The sandbag set up is a, scrappy is a finish. strong one, but Thank man, it can go goods, sideways and shitty clap, real quick. And they should survive with both as well. So there it is, five to one. Might have a game on our hands after all. Not going to be a complete blowout after a couple of confusing rounds on the Brazilian side. And I, th I think in this round we saw a little bit more of some of the aggression here that Complexity maybe feel a bit emboldened to try and go for, and it kind of backfires a little bit. Not a huge deal, but it's worth keeping in mind that they can yeah. also play Oi, more. Don has he had VP and Vitality is 3-0. Um, and then we had players stuck oh, by the sandbags, no. made it out, couldn't really retreat. We'll see if they can stabilize. Money should be absolutely fine. TC chiming in here. And yeah, make sure <laughs> they don't let this one develop into more competitive game. No, you don't want that. Who? A shit poster on Twitter. Still a very oh, good shit. lead. They still have everything. A minute 30, minute 30, minute 30. Fuck. Only Somebody should have spam told me, guys. They can Fuck. lock out pain now right away. Guys, Before why didn't you tell me? Really make this work. Floppy's still at one kill. We've talked about Floppy yet. Base 3 is sus. Any 3 0 is sus. Oh, yeah. What, what 3 0 really nice is not team. sus? That's the problem, though, is consistency with him. Yeah, it has been. Yeah, in the past, you're not wrong. There's been some questions about that. If he's on, he, he's red hot. He's one of the, the world's best riflers. If he's in top form, uh, he, he's excellent. But um, you don't see it every game. Oh, I think so. I, what are they faking? Oh, are they going to be smoking the middle from? Yeah, so I think NQC might try and smoke the middle from this position. Yeah. With the liege here with the sandbags, they get the kill. No one can rotate in from the A bomb site. See that smoke Come landing? On. It's going to bounce Let's off. Let's go. Oh, fuck smoke. that flash. There it is so landing good. towards the A bomb site. Huge plays. Elige goes down. It's bigger zero on the opening, and they're just powering their way through. This is sick. Holzer, and he is going oh, down. Oh, bigger oh, zero. Oh, he's back with the Okay, vengeance. well. Yeah, I think it's time to panic. I don't like this nice at all. I don't like this at all. Dizzy thanks to the five. Fair grief thanks to 12 months. Do you see how potent that flashbang was? At least I had no I'm chance terrified. to avoid it. It was in a pretty nice I'm terrified. spot as well. Unfortunately, just that fan mercy. Guys, they're the not scared anymore. So blind. And they need the smoke and push through it themselves as well. JT not ready for it. And a uh, lovely shot from this. To they got over the nerves. things out as well. They're fired out. That's a very important round, Anders. That absolutely destroys the fire. I'm nervous now. And complexity. It's a full maybe Elise is too fucked. Uh, yeah, it should be 5-3, no problem. What have they got in the sleeve, though? We're going to have three players. Probably two some with the gift to Jojo DJ, era. thank you. We'll be challenged momentarily. You're going to have to bring a lot of people if you want to bring down Vigo Zero. Okay. In the, the chance, last stage. Though. I mean, he's, he's been so sick in oh. last stage of the tournament. Here he is moving forward. Halls are actually will find him. They're going to just run B after Halls, because Halls are usually AP. mid. Oh, dear. They get this kill, it's probably all for nothing. They should be able to claim the B bomb side. The bomb's making its way back. Nism not able to find the headshot quite. Some friendly Damn, Floppy actually got in. out of there? What a yeah, fucking no, rat. Though, oh my god, wait. Oh, all these went down, though. One, floppy, though. Honestly, Didn't good round. HP, all the to work very there, good round. Still very uncomfortable Three kills, and he made him sweat a little bit. Pain gaming, I'll write they know that was a little scary. Scrappy towards the end. Bigger Zero, not necessarily happy of that round. A little bit too close for comfort, but they deliver the goods. Mm. That's all that really matters here. That was the full eco from Complexity. They managed to get a few kills, though. Back into Rifles and an AWP for Horzak, who's currently sat at seven kills. His Legion's at the very top with ten. Floppy still yet to really arrive. One and three. He's the B bombside player, though, bear in mind. So difficult to get a mm. boatload of frags. Round nine. Picking up the pace once again towards that A ramp and boosted up his Grim. Oh, spots one. Guaranteed kill. Yeah, you, you have to check that somehow. You really do. It's hard because there are five other positions you want to check when you're coming up at that ramp on the T side. They immediately go into a secondary boost. This one, you just need a little bit of help getting up here. But it means you can sometimes look over the smoke if they go far enough back. And also just hard to read. Big Zero, though, if anyone could, again, I've got to say, I think a lot of the 
early stuff here for Payne is going to revolve around Big Zero, and there's the headshot. Damn, Big Zero so locked in. Yeah, you can say that again. Best player in the last stage of the tournament. Ready for that sort of angle, Floppy. What have you got? Oh, nice, us? Floppy. Oof. At least gets off one single kill. Does damage nice. to the second as well, so that's important. They've got a three. Nice. There we go. On one advantage now. The Orpa NQZ last player remaining. A minute to work. Three v one. He's got the bomb to be better to him, so we'll let him go. Losable. What can he bring Losable. to the table? Smoke down to provide him some element of a chance. Nice. But, uh, it's gonna be and they kept three up. So the out six to three. As complexity go back to the winning ways here. Shutting down the streak of rounds. Floppy, good damage towards the B steps there. The nice plant uh, follows the final player in towards A. Job done. Uh, Round 10. Couple more to go. What's the cash like on the T side? It's absolutely fine. Yeah. A few concessions. We have got two Galils here to make sure they get all the utility required. NQC has his AWP, though, and we are back into it. Yeah, only JT has to be worried. He's not got a helmet. It's not a big deal. It's the only one there, but um, you never know. Yeah. The Liege going to get shot down. A grenade might do a little bit of damage there. They stacked on top of each other. So at least they bring Nissim a bit low, but a yeah. four on five. Floppy's 27 HP, though, so he can't hold B by himself. That's a real problem. He'll have to call for backup from Grim. Which means A is going to be a lot weaker. So Hauser can't play back on the bomb site. He's going to have to play oh. heads up here with the AWP. Floppy pulls on back. That's Nissim going down by virtue of the incendiary. Four and four. Front it is close. Flush out these close range positions. Hauser is happy. It's clear. This he can now risky. focus his efforts towards the A ramp. And I think they maybe have to take a risk here with Floppy being low. Just want to make sure they dominate one part of the map at least. Good flashes though. Or send complexity packing. Good shot from nice. Yeah, that's really sick. Oh. He will get taken down. Damn, he just three versus three overreacted with that adjustment here. a little bit. They're going to burn out the back of the sandbags and set up for the rest of the execute towards the bomb site. Two people here from the complexity side of things. Also taking a bit of an angle on the short side, NQC. Thinking about wanting to challenge this one. They're going to need to get rid of this. Grim is holding his back. If he dies, then maybe Holzer does as well. Yeah, the pressure is on. And yeah. they'll trade it out. Yeah. Kawa is able to bring him up. And Floppy, you said it's already very low uh, on the start of it. Might same, not brother, be much yeah. he can do on this. Nothing he can do whatsoever. He'll have to just give in before the clutch even begins. Back he goes. He's going to see if he can just recover an AK-47 potentially. That's about as good as it gets for him. And there we have it, Paint Gaming. Adding another round to their T side tally. There's the AK, at the very least, quite a nice one. And it's up to hold towards the B steps. So, let's have a look at the replay here. JT, he gets away after that one. Maybe they've got Thank a, a you. Thank you. There's the 38 month reset. Thank you. Appreciate you. Beast, isn't he? Every yeah. shot seems to have so much conviction behind it. Shouldn't they switch angles? Uh, uh, he's in second place. No, it's, 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 it's fine. Both are strong positions uh, for really you, you could either or. Pretty decent you usually let your upper go where they're more comfy right there for them on the as well. Vertigo, but uh, we'll see what kind of cash complexity you have to offer going into the next JT one. JT should have had that second ramp kill. AKs it would have helped a lot. It's it's always so. a tricky one Actually, because what, sometimes people scale player, fast up. Probably worth this equaling for the last and round here. Like peaky yeah, with two people to, right there, so I think he might have been expecting anything, something yeah. like that, or maybe he just kind of whiffed it. Like a bunch of things there. The AK, a couple of flashes. It's not impossible to win this round. A few upgraded pistols here. Horzerk is very good at the Desert Eagle historically. I'll try and bait Elysian towards that corner and middle. Boost uh, the B side of the map because Zara goes Zach, up. I don't know. He just spams the same thing every time. precision throughout this T side campaign. Oh, they really hate. My man's just got one line. Cowboys will be trying his luck here. You can see Elise. Oh, you can see him, bro. You can see him. Take him down. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that spot never works, Elise. I'm almost betrayed by his own eyes. You, you got to get scary baited for her. Your booty one. just sticks out too much. He is exploded by that AWP and QC finds the headshot with it. I think that's pretty much giving the lowest kill player floppy. the AKs, hmm? brother. He the saved the map, it. Trying to get up behind. I mean, theory, the other players sure cannot the afford to buy our kill. There's somebody to work with, but barring that, it shouldn't be happening. Holzer gets taken down. I think now it's better to save the AK. Mm -mm. Get it into the next round if at all possible. I've gotten a pistol ace from that spot, Flam. So fifth round for pain. This, this round is entirely game. different. It one, two. Shut up, Zephyr, your bot. They were beating them up at the start of this one. But now it's back on again. Ego zero. Couple of rounds. Okay, peace. Took him Bye. To warm up.
But now that he's here, you can really tell the impact that he's having. And Nisim as well having a good game. No, we're not watching the phase. For a fantastic match. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. This one's going to go down to the wire. Put myself through the pain, no pun intended. We haven't really had any blowouts on the bee stream so far, which is what we love to I'm see. I'm skinny. I love when you lie to me. Stage of the tournament. Round 12. Final round of this first half here on Vertigo. Complexity up 6-5. to five. Starting to lose control of the lead, though. Could split the difference and go 6-6 six, six here. Also, we'll have the AWP. Poor Sethi, dude, he didn't deserve this. Abnormal, thanks for 13 month reset, so thank you. Back into a default, players in towards middle. Throwing that smoke towards Gab. We've mentioned it a few times on his stream, it's very meta. Bullzag pushes in towards middle, expecting the secondary player as well, and he'd be right in thinking so. That's an early five on two, Anders. Well, that is a quick way to win a round here. Complexity looking to try and take the lead going into the second half. I mean, it's... Probably quite seven necessary. Would be I think incredible even at seven here. to five, Pain Gaming can shrug off losing this last round and say, you know, we still have a great chance of doing this one. Complexity, it probably would sting a bit if they were to lose this one and, and tie up the game evenly. Tall Zerk on that AWP, definitely a force to be reckoned with. Thank you, Cian Lux. Hoping, I think. Maybe a bit desperately at this point that there's going to be a mistake from Complexity. I don't know why. Sammy, thanks for your 24 month level, reset. Thank you. Beautiful. Never Appreciate see a Complexity you. Team move forward to look for fights in a two on five. There's no reason. A little boost up here. They've tried it on the other I side of, uh, briefly of the saw world, it. but um, Luffy's, it was like that. You know, like you read something yeah, on like your phone read, the very first thing in the morning. He's got the right idea. I was in that state. If he keeps that Sammy, energy, thanks for your reset. Thank you. Very well. Pretty wholesome, though. Isn't he? He's still checking it. Well, let's hope. Oh, no, it landed up there. Oh, oh, no, it, oh, it failed. It landed well, um, in that little window instead of bouncing <laughs> off the wall. What, what a disaster. I was going to say, take those being disasters flushed, out. whatever happens, but no, you're right. The trick Rest shot. Rest of the 52-month reset. Thank you. Before. Okay. Well, there it is. It will be complex, Still ladies and gentlemen. Gold, right? With a slight advantage after their CT side campaign here on Vertigo, they go 7-5. and five. After a flying yeah, start, it has you. to be said, but Big Uzero and the boys managed to piece together five in total. Nothing to be sneezed at. It's actually pretty decent, considering a um, pretty shambolic start. They looked like, as even Elise put it, they were nervous. They were running into the bomb side with the C4 in hand, making a, a bit of a fool of themselves. But good recovery. Solid performance in the end. This one is still mm. wide open. Very important pistol, as it always is in best of one MR12. We'll have a look at the buy for complexity, see if we can work out what they're up to. JT with the utility, the secret source. He's got that Molotov and the smoke grenade in hand. Do we have a P250 in the mix? We do not, so Kevlar otherwise. And, well, also continuing his domination from the end of the first half. Yeah, that is a wild beginning. Cowers has managed to sneak his way down. Could be a good position if the rest of his team could even stay alive at this point, which doesn't really look like. Because here I had one flashbang, that's about what they had, and he didn't even get a chance to really do much with it. They are just getting Fuck steamrolled yeah. at the bomb Fuck side. Yes. Bomb planted right away. And Guys, it's me. He was that late flank again. Maybe could Fuck have been yes. fun if his team had actually lived. He, but he wasn't even he, he wasn't even the flank. He Come was on. the scaffolding player. Yes. And he was just hoping that, like, okay, I'm going to get a duel eventually. Someone's going to get me. And he just wasn't anything to do with the round. <laughs> like, just, uh, they just kept, look at the momentum they got. When they got this kill, they just didn't stop. They just, just kept pushing into the bomb site, catching all the CTs and roads and yeah nothing that can be done he's just trying to be part of the fight and uh five players survive complexity can't really get a much better round than that so it have to be it's gonna be to the primary yeah, thing you could this round i'd vertigo <laughs> to imagine a world where you win these sort of rounds i don't know i would have gone for the eco here but it is very kind of depending on team dependent whether you force by in the second on the ct side five sevens an mp9 no utility against a very well equipped complexity. Like, you do very well to win this round, but it's a good opening kill. Fuck. They brought it back to a four on four. Catching JT out of position. Might be able to do the same with a couple more players here as well. They've upgraded to at least a rifle. Continuing to apply Golden pressure. Golden Kappa well. from earlier, careful. chat. They could be holding his tail That's here. That's 46 gifted and from that. To transition over towards B. The CT's aware of this prospect. But good shot. From nice here. shot, Graham. Yeah, that was clean. Oh, they're clean up with it. Well. Okay. He can't really do much here apart from go for only one tap, Sanders. That's all that will do. That's all that can save the day if he gets a couple of 1D catch shots. 
It's asking a lot with the amount of grenades down. Yeah, I, I think mean, you save the, the fog you of war is truly here. <laughs> I can't see anything. You're gonna get a MP9, a Mac 10, a Deagle in the next round. I think that's what you really can do. <laughs> They're not gonna plant straight away just because they want to make sure they take these players down. This is actually quite smart. Like it's a liege, just making sure. Like we don't have to rush this one. We just make sure we can yeah. see what they're up to. And also, who knows if there's like a weird double HE or something or freaky happening at the end here, like exactly. some, some trick, like you just don't know. Not going to be the case. Finally, a bomb's planted. The rest just of them checking some of the matchups right now, chat. Let's see. So we got, yeah, Spirit yeah, Cloud Nine should be phenomenal here in a bit. You, you Phaser Heroic really should be good. It's going on right now. You don't need to take them down. If they practice the run boost here, pain gaming would be the sickest way to finish it. Definitely the more popular match between the two right now, but I've never seen anyone do it. At I, had, this stage I gotta watch full pain, right. you know. Pretty fun with the Mac 10, especially just to get an extra six hundred dollars. Yeah, just fly in there. Doesn't seem like they're setting up. Um, complexity are they're walking with this map right now. I'm impressed. Nine to five, the score line. Yeah, I think we're gonna watch. What do they need get, to get back here? I mean, apart from money, nine? I guess. Henry, apart from but... money, yeah, that would help tremendously. <laughs> yeah, it does. So on the Make other difference. stream, Anders, if you're if you've got two well, monitors, actually, on, ladies and gentlemen, or a tablet, I think a phone, G2 a TV, Fury is gonna you know, start before. <laughs> um, yeah, there's Phase versus Heroic going on as well. Another bang every game. They're playing on Ancient right now. It's currently 2 0 but, for Heroic. Nah. And they've got nerds in their team as well. One of the, the best ancient players. Really fuck around on March Madness. So, uh, I used to a lot more, it's but. It's a lot of fun. Eh, it's all good. Fury on Only so much time of the day for stuff. You know? Pain Gaming as we back into the action. Not yes. much in this one, I'm afraid. It's round 15, and they'll save a Mac 10 and MP9. Be an absolute disaster. In term, the yeah, the Americans went from five slots in the major to seven. We gained two slots. Asia also gained a spot. Right you lost the next one. Uh, those spots to both regions. JT continuing to open it up here in Vegas Zero, just like last time. It's a Deagle. He nice. needs like two or three stunning Deagle headshots and doesn't even get that sequence rolling. So two versus five instead as the bomb gets planted. Complexity going to make their way to 10 rounds here. They've got everything on lockdown. Lux, alone. You know what I hope, Henry? I hope that someone has a video camera on Jason Lake somewhere, because he's one of the more entertaining you know, owners to watch whenever his team is playing. You know he's going to be invested into it. Been some great, great footage in the past of... Mr. Lake on his feet, yelling yeah. at the, I'm yelling sure at the monitors. He'll be, be pretty cool. Cole looking right very locked in right now. It's the opening game. They're expected to win it. They've got a nice opening scoreline here. The second half is going swimmingly. I'm sure he'll be on the broadcast eventually. Oh, yeah. I, I hope he'll, so. he'll make an appearance at some stage. Big Uzera feeling the pressure. This one's yes. slipping away now. The second half hasn't gone exactly how they would like mm -hmm. him. Jason Lake's cool. I think Jason, I think Jason Lake sent me a really care package or a goodie bag. I don't know if I can show you guys yet, no but I think building. there hasn't been a long string. got to the mailbox yesterday. Pain, just gonna go grab it. Enough that it's put pressure on complexity. I don't know what he been sent, some dude. Odd bursts where Big Zero, where Nizam has been playing very well. Dude, if he sent me the Quizner the jersey, I'd be, that'd be it lit. Just be those those one-off rounds where they have a couple of players exploding, <clears throat> doubling the scoreline of Pain Gaming is complexity. They need just three more rounds here They're on the T side. So now they finally have a, a supply bit of copium, the finest copium in the land. Just barely make their way around the corner. He could have been dead in that moment. Really could have been. That was dicey to say the least. Big Uzera though limps away with 58 points of health. They have got the AWP of NQZ. There's the flash from Orzark. He's going to try and set them up to swing off this one. Flashes. Molotov's going in, and oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, here. nice. The orb has to deliver. Holds like a yeah, that molly was, GT. it got triple and a little bit of double. Though, and now taking even more damage, incredibly low down to 30 points of health. And they can reset this Wait. round. No, oh, I don't so like the reset here, though. Uh, actually, they have more utility yeah. than I Smoke thought, thought actually. Side. Or right side of generator, I should say. But the problem is when you do that much pressure and then you go quiet. They have time. They have the grenades to slow it down. They can do whatever they want here. Get an NB through mid. Okay. Let's see if pain are feeling. I fuck with this a little bit. Halzer's got to do something though. The, map. the middle of the map here, quite open in fact. Because here is kind of nearby, but 
You can lose this battle very, very swiftly, especially when you're already tied Guys, why are we he just pop? Two people on the Poppy, other side are waiting, but he's good for the first one. That is actually a nice little yeah. kill. This one might have been even better. Almost a free kill coming in from nah, Tyler. I didn't like that. Uh, I'm game, sticking with my initial great death. work of this little slowdown in the round. They find just the kills they need to. They're going to come out They actually had people. such a nice that progression of that hit, and then if they canceled it because of the op. For pain to maybe pick it up. This I think, I think they just overdid that they one. Come out, four people alive. They have some money now. They can start to build. It's that shit was well done, win. like fucking it price didn't start of too well for them, taking a lot of damage in towards B, but NQZ holding on. A turret like AWP was enough to fend them off. Funnel them in towards A. They got a little bit discombobulated and started getting picked off one by one. It's a very, very important round, but they need to find a few more. Pain Gaming. Three players towards the A round this time. We have battle to kick things off with the flashbangs are deployed. You see them tucking themselves in behind the girder as well. Oh, that's really scary. Good Fuck. Here. Couple of good kills anyway, but he had a grenade out when they were just about to peek him. He did get the kill on. Yeah, that's Leige the battle of the A round. Sometimes, I think. Fuck. Two versus dead. four here, and yes, he's the gun barrel. No problem at all. Floppy having a hard time getting off the ground in this game so far. With Only way they had a chance to JT won that battle at Sandbag. It's going to be 10 to 7 here. I don't think Holzerk is going to be able to bring back a 1 versus 4. I think that's a fair assessment. You put yourself on the line there, but it's okay. You know, I like to take some of those bold positions sometimes. <laughs> put myself out there for the public criticism. One minute remaining. It's going to be a long old a long mm -hmm. old round here. Let's just check in with the, uh, the other game while we're here. We'll see what the, the scoreline is with phase and heroic 4-0 heroic anders so after vitality okay. losing to eternal fire phase keep it going down to the hand of the danes as well these they're, they're really fickle matches these early ones the best of ones this amount looking oh dear misses the shot and now they're getting fired up a little bit. You're starting to see some of those shouts that you expect from a Brazilian squad. Mm -hmm. They've been muted. They've been a little bit quiet because they haven't really had much to celebrate in this game so far, but it's changed. Shot the HE right at their feet. It's really awkward timing for Payne as well, but it did work out for them. Here we are. This game is is right back on. This is it's anybody's game at this stage. Oh, absolutely true. Uh, you can see that reflected on complexity's inventory. Now they've got eagles and tech nines. Mm. This will be a different Elias, round. Can you do some of that bald eagle winning. shit real quick? No Kevlar to speak of, and no floppy as well. He's been removed early. Floppy yeah, is having a horrible here. vertigo right now. Let's see if they can find a shot. They've got a bit of a boost on going on, so they have a trick, but it's see pain out. Would anybody unimpressed. be surprised if FaZe loses the opening match? While I have FaZe 3 0, I would not be surprised if they lost any BO1 or a BO3. Work. Also, class one but they had one of the higher seeds. So it's just kind of like. Pain really started the wake up. This is getting a bit scary now. It really is. Yeah, well, no, I'm, this is I'm worried. It's exciting, and this is what we're here for. Uh, we don't want to be blowouts. No, here. no, no, no. I want to blow out. victories. Fuck you, Henry. We want to be tested the very limits of their Chad, ability. Me and Henry are cool, but their fuck Henry. fortitude. Who can hold it together when the pressure is applied? Five AKs here for complexity. See if Floppy can start to sink his teeth in. This is one of those performances where you just like, where, where is he? When's he turning up? What's he got for us? In towards B again. Taking some damage is JT down to 77 to kick things off. Yeah, 3 1 3 is too much pressure. Still a 10 8 lead, but the money's no, I mean, it's just hard. Yeah, so they like, got a nice buffer of, of cash. They can take a few more risks. Caveman okay, high seed hurts in the well. initial matchup, but after the initial 30, matchup, for example, phase if they beat her, cannot play there. spirit. It's locked, so will be. Now, I'm not saying this current system is good, but that's why they changed it. Looks to be a B finish, Anders. Might just be a full on execution here. They've got the control. I mean, when you have three Molotovs, you can burn out almost the entire B bomb site. So 
Yeah, as the river of the, flames. Yeah, you get the real estate outside. You, mm -hmm. get the you played here yesterday. How did you improve so much in a few months of Mythic? Uh, he's just playing forward, scrimmed a few so times and yeah, they've just, already used one grenade to try and yeah, see if consistently they can playing together because we're practicing a little bit. Positions. It wasn't quite the one that he was in. He's going to put down I can tell people things in a scrim instead of for the first time in a match. Forty-five seconds left here. I can now they're all congregating on that side, even with just like the little Kao bit that we've played really like forward. if he I know takes people one like step, to do no that no what they're good at that'll be a big giveaway floppy once again the early man out he's really had a hard game 30 seconds left Henry I think this might be going nowhere yeah they, they seem like they're floundering I don't use that word too often Anders. are we floundering and that might be the nice. case Elisdo is cracked up in this get a nice entry flash here one more flash good flash what they're up against another missed all shot gets some sort of access in towards the side nice Two versus two. Complexity are pulling it back. The flank is... Ten seconds remaining. No. Can they get the yeah, plant down, though? Yeah, the flank is though? so quick. The flank, Thank the you, flank, the flank. The mark. Apparently not. Very aware of all this position. Can't quite finish the round. But Damn. they certainly can overall. We'll be playing gaming Fuck. with the defuse of round number nine in total. That got a lot closer than it could have been. But it was red from the start. Nobody had checked the bottom of the A ramp. Towers knew he could call in. They had four people there. The fact that it even gets that close is kind of remarkable. It says something about the potential for what they could do at the B bomb side if it wasn't red that early on from Pain Gaming, who unfortunately for Complexity knew that this was coming. And he was right. having it's time to panic. a real impact in this game once again now. It's time to completely fucking panic. Yeah, he's upset that he, he lost the hero. It would have been one of the best finishes to a round we've had all tournament if he hit that final headshot it would have been sick oh yeah but they still win the round it was worth going for it he understood his teammate was there ready to trade out that's 10 Fast to 9 this one is slipping away from complexity so the problem right now they that Cole's having chat and so why they're stuck is look a bit B feels more accessible because they've been shut down ramp twice but the problem is payton has been see, starting just 2A most of the time in a row on the CT side they just, the pistol. They're they've been shifting now, a lot and Back they've been two and two a lot, a partial buy. but they're not getting the hero, past the two A players. AK However, they the shifted three A this time. Smoke. Makes things uncomfortable. This could set them up. Pushing through on the gray screen here. It's a B execution, Anders. Yeah. Listen to defend. Can he find the opening frag? He certainly can. But nice trade, nice trade. Stay alive, stay alive. Nice. Good. They're Again, in the they site. Almost had last round. Why not four try to do it one more time? This time, a lightning fast bomb plant. Even the rifle stolen here. And for once, Floppy actually gets to live through the first 20 seconds of the round. That's something that he hasn't really tried before. Grim, oh, he gives up on the angle, but he had it with the Deagle. Otherwise, I think Holzerk's still holding it here, and he's going to at least spot that the flank is coming in. Pain Gaming, if you lose this round, that's going to be really upsetting. Just up against some forced pistols here in an AK. It's Beagle's here with a good kill. Grim, he'll take one in return. They're going to need more. Holzerk, easy shutdown. Back in two. Another two versus two. Grim is good for it. He gets that one, and they will finish off the round. Ooh. Complexity on 11. They nice. steal Fuck one yeah. back that they should have had no business winning. That alleviates a lot of pressure. Gonna be completely like honest. Chat pain overcooked the fuck out of that round. In a row for pain gaming. They Thankfully, were in a two-on-two two like they've been the every AK. round. And for whatever hands, fucking reason, and, uh, Grim, God himself whispered into one of the pain players' ears, base, and they, they played three fucking A that round with from zero presence on Grim, that side of the map. Giving him enough space to deny the I don't know well. what the fuck pain was doing, but we will take that. Money though. No there problem. was nothing. There wasn't a ramp smoke. There was nothing. They were just three on A because yeah, they, they really I, had an I mean, itch. That round, you're right. That's going to give them hopefully a little bit more space to work with. They still need to beat some of these real rifle rounds that are coming nice. out. Nice. Come on. Powers goes down. Nade? Double nade. Oh. Locks. He is practically dead already. Can anyone even help him out? I think, just leave him. I don't think it's worth sending more people in here. He's going to die no matter what, and he will. JT, the one to find him, who lands himself at 18 kills. What a map it's been for JT. Yeah, JT's Five been playing great. Three. I mean, honestly, if you're going to close out and win this, everybody's now. been phenomenal right now, and except yeah, for Floppy. Nice. I Look don't know why shadow. you're going for that at this stage. Yeah, they don't have any money. You have no way of winning the round. Come on. You've got no money. You're just giving that up. What was the intention? But Nick, like, no one's going to be covering the frame. Thank you. On three? Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. That's a wild decision from this then. That might cost them the game. It's a probably, I mean, presumably it's one of those things where like, you're, you're dreaming of being the hero. You just wish you could, or they're going to lose that as well, though. Dear. They've only got second stage loss bonus after this one, which is $1,900 they've lost. NQZ, the orb's gone as well. Yeah, hunt him now. Look for him. Take him down. 
That heroic of the last round, the fact that they won it, it's completely, it's pulled the pin from, from pain. They're looking really rough. Okay. They're going to have to take a tactical timer. I think they've got second stage loss bonus. I might be wrong, but I think that's where we're up. So, yeah, so 1900. Floppy does play you some of the hardest positions. However, yes. was that flank he about? himself threw himself under the, the bus. Case scenario? When complexity was made the Sydney Nobody's run and was making the playoff no runs the for those three tournaments in CS2 no at the start, around, like, that's ambitious. Floppy wasn't just the second that's highest um, rated player in complexity. He was literally one in the, the top 20 just of all CS kills. players in the entire world. That way. They've made a great so, case for themselves. while I am, uh, I, I can say he can have like quieter maps for sure. There, there's, yeah, there's no, there's. That momentum that was he's been in the first half undeniably game, playing a lot was worse. Finally, there on the second half, like they were really looking rock yes, solid. Yes, the him. coach knows as well. They've just and thrown I'm, away that I'm just that using game. his own performances they against him. They had a chance. <laughs> they saved three guns, have some discipline, but they've given away way too much. And yeah, at nineteen hundred dollars, you're you're looking at pistols and one rifle. So two of the famas. Look at who's fragging. Elige, JT, Grim even, Holzer. Yeah, Floppy's had a rough game, but the rest of them but The are fact that four, four of the players is stacking those sort of numbers, I guess it doesn't matter too much. It's a win-to-win yeah. win at the end of the day. I look powerful at the moment. Man, they just need one more. You could see there the weapons picked up on the pain side of things. They're running this into the only M4. To hold. They have to try and do a Vigo Sierra's here. He swings. Good trade. But traded nice immediate. Grim. Huge double kill for Grim. And that's and that could great that trade, dude. That's two dude. players down. You know the site's open now. That's an open plan against two MP9 to the Famas. Should be GG Anders. I can't see a world where it's any other result. Yeah, especially with Leech. This angle that he's being held cowers. He's never going to be able to check this one. Shot nice. in the back and shut nice. down. NQC and Lux. You need more than one miracle to get this round back. At least they pick up an AK. Taking a deep breath before they try and enter the bomb side. Lux and a big double. Nice, makes Grim. no difference. Four kills at the end for Grim. Hey, it's Cooper, you bald-headed fuck. Fuck your pick uh, Not the most exciting game, but it's certainly had its moments. It was back and forth, I suppose. Like you said, Payne just didn't have the, the best and first half. They fumbled dumbass. so many awkward rounds. I feel like they yeah. were nervous. It was their first game of the tournament and uh yeah i get out it just felt like it, it one went really and up for ryan it. One they all them did onto the site with a bomb in hand that was my teammates are dumb as fuck it's okay well uh fortunately for phase able to dodge all that goodness and now this one should be a certainty first frag found Second, almost from Ray. Cooper picking against Bald because he feels done. threatened. Shush. One HP. Tesla's now down to 17. <laughs> Chat, there's an ad running. Rain. I'm luckily it's an eco and we just switched, so it's all good. Just want to give you the word. Throughout. There's one of them. There's another. Rain showing you the jumping accuracy of the MP9. Nice little demonstration for everybody playing at home as it is all five staying alive. And just one more round. It's got a similar air to it uh, as that hot start we saw from Ecstatic. Yeah, actually, I'll put it in the WhatsApp. Yeah, slowly the mouse back series, away. right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll literally, have, I got uh, you guys. Spirit coming up next. Donk at his first hey. You guys can't see him, but Chad is genuinely like, a child on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck well, your this is the thing. Obviously, the bar keeps getting moved idiots. to Donk, right? Yeah. Winning Katowice is uh, qu quite, a, quite a high one to leap over, but now coming to his first major. Mm -hmm. So uh, excited I'm to see that one unfold on our screen. I'm even them so they actually uh, all get... little game crash. Oh, so we'll get yeah. this one back. Oh, yeah, they're going to love that. Don't you worry. But there is, there's just so many questions. Isn't it interesting just how much of a... Uh, you know, divisive presence Donk has been in the scene. There are some people that All are right. just kind of almost like waiting for him to disappear and fall off. There are others that are already kind of putting him in conversations that he's probably not supposed to Had to let to him know, yeah, Chad. Had to let him we know. We love to... Um, it's the same conversation as we have with, like, teams and eras and everything yeah. like that. And I also think because of what um, Astralis did, right, or because of what Simple did, yeah. or because of who Zywoo is, mm -hmm. everybody has these cutouts of what they expect the next player to be. And when this kid is the all TK ones in the next game, right? Ryan screen, literally knifes me so, without you know, like, having needing flashy. a reason yeah, all the time. He's doing so the basics right. Like this he's isn't just getting new. a multi-kill 
every round, essentially. Chat, well, press one, one if you've ever watched the game and seen Ryan accidentally knife house. one of us in a match. How consistently he catches timings. Um, you've, you can watch, there's a lot of people that do the breakdowns of that, but the performances he put in on Katowice where he was just so consistently finding the time, and that's through his perception, right? That's through his understanding of what the expectation is. Motherfuckers high as fuck just stabbing people all the time and spawn. The window of opportunity where they avert their gaze, where they swap to their lane, where they're oh, looking shit. somewhere else. And <laughs> it's, it, obviously, it's facilitated by great team play, <laughs> but it's just to do with your individual awareness as to what your opponents are expecting from you, so you don't meet it. What? It's all right, they already have one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a just it's in just case. A orb. But uh, that'll end uh, the Chad and Alex glazing of Donk for now. We'll yep. return to that later. We'll Donk we'll glazing, dude. Donk's uh, pretty fucking insane, though. Like, goddamn. This could be the normal. Bar, thanks to the 29 month reset. Thank you. Holding that ledge angle. Past tense. Uh, he's he was holding the ledge angle instead. A more passive hold. Carrigan's going for a jiggle smoke defense. If he gets caught, oh, that's enough from that. Thank you. Bangs. Do limit some of your options as a CT. And I'm intrigued to just kind of take stock of how they're approaching this uh, B site defense. Alexi B got, got me 10 points, round. chat W. Yeah, one of the keys is rain not Great start. cave spamming. Actually, high B. value. Oh, God. He is going forward. He wants to just get a one and done. Set his team up for success as they're lining up their nades. He tries to catch the timing. It's a good flash. Oh, it's a smoke instead. Now they go through, and it's going to be Kicks and Nikodos just collecting. Oh, the oh my down. God. Oh, what God, the it's gone horribly fuck? Wrong. Horribly wrong. Robs tries to stand in the Molotov to try and catch him on the cross, but it's not to be. This round ripped by force out of their hands. Good find back from Robs. Tracks Tessa. All right, well, time to go really for it. Like Holy with. shit, no, broke his ball. to go for this one. Now, sure, it's only a 2v4 situation. The bomb's down and already somewhat ticked. God, the smoke was so telegraphed for the push. Do you think it's because he didn't like his hair? Trade. What have you got here, Brokey? Nothing. A helpless round for the Orba. He nails a oh shot my. to Shush. Wait, that didn't even say it was a no scope, what? Right? Long too far gone. Nikodos nose goes wide. Heroic will lead into the second half. Yeah, it felt like they were probably worth seven with how the half started. Yeah. I think they managed to So really, to Heroic their, was their carried by Shush and Tessas all along? I was saying that the other day, bro. I was like, they lost. One was hear to me out. An A main push with a couple of pistols. The other was to a Brokey Nova. They were actually the star players, and rocks. Stalin and fucking Yabby so are just the, the frauds. The type of rounds that FaZe were able to post were definitely not the most convincing, but they've given themselves enough to work with. I would say that that's not the half they were dreaming of. I six, wonder six if Brokey did, because I think Brokey dyed his hair, chat. I wonder if he didn't like it been. anymore and he's just like, fuck but it. But considering Heroic had such a great showing in the opening stage, they're warm in this environment. FaZe have had to come in and try and slow them down to kick off their major campaign. Yeah, hold on. Let me permaban Caesar salad real quick, chat. Hold on. Shot there from Kixon to completely secure that B bomb site. In game leader showing that he can pack a punch. As well as pull the strings as we do start to see the buys take shape. Nikodos looking to give Romps a taste of his own medicine. Mm -hmm. Zeus brought out in the hands of the Danish sniper. Red smoke, <laughs> some leaping phase members, and no. Of course, you would ban a salad. Sits rain down. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming his way. Shush well aware that Dunn's right, right. uh, occupied. Well played. Hold on, where was that? Oh, that... Drops away from him oh, that... now, but he's getting swung upon. It's Carrigan. Carrigan needed that. He finds oh, no, the head. Yeah, have, a, have a sub on me. Chad, are you 45 gifted? On the retake. Nurse has found himself too. It really hinges on. Kicks him down to Frozen. That was good. He's that the was second good. test is testing. He has the smoke. And he needs the headshot. Can't find it. Frozen keeping his cool. Tracks in nicely for a multi. That's one. And that's exactly what they needed. I gifted Phase them a sub, Chad. Individuals yeah. aware of just how important that pistol was. <laughs> in a best of one, and you're down 7-5, it had to be a phase pistol. Oh, shit. That was good. That caught me off, dude. That caught me off. not too happy with that one. Feels like he could have done more. I feel like he did more than enough, to, to be completely honest. They didn't really play together, did they? Uh, like, I understand that Shush got isolated in main. That's a kill that, okay, fine. He couldn't get anything more done. He was pinned. Nerd's got a freebie through the smoke at the start of the round and grabbed the second. It, it felt like if they had played more as a unit right there, Hero, they would have had a better chance. So, mid, definitely their focus. Hey, man. 
I'm down some weight right now. And actually, I fuck with oh, Caesar salads a lot. <laughs> You've heard at least two or three. Yeah. My problem isn't that I don't eat salads. My problem is I just eat everything. So you can see I'm backing off because they could be at the left or the right of the doorway. So having to completely relinquish control means that he can no longer be a... Oh, Tesla's heard something there. No longer be a forward piece. So they've... Drop back red, drop back donut. Sounds so unsatisfied. Nah, nah, good Caesar slaps. Nerds with a smoke to block passively. So it's not going to be the first leg of donut. It'll be the second. And Shush doing the same over towards main. So they can stall them out for 20 seconds or so. Also, if you guys have Cafe Rio, like their salads go crazy. Just skip the tortilla if you're actually not trying to be a slob like myself. Shush just gave Nerds his smoke. So redeploy. Let me ask you the small since I watched last year. Yeah, I'm down uh, about. We're almost at the 15 pound mark for this year. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? That smoke from. I like started eating a lot better last year, but um, I wasn't really like in any sort of deficit. I've been in a nice little deficit for a while. Cave against five sevens. Or kicks and smoke. That's a big frag, though. Carrigan opens up the mm -hmm. threat from the back line. So we're, we're moving. In an awkward position. He's worried about everything. Carrigan will find it. They overrun the site, and there you have it. Phase. Whew, they were made to sweat. They were made to work. But I think Carrigan's frag suddenly got that those dominoes toppling. Uh, you definitely cannot fault Heroic for the way that they used their utility in that round. They paused phase out all across the map, timed the utility to near perfection, and still got pulled apart. So FaZe, you had to fight hard for that one, but you will be able to secure seven and tie things up. And Carrigan on the hunt, one of the Danes. And quite so a legacy Dane. Bad for you. It all just be depends. Loving it's all the relative, man. To waltz out onto that Royal Arena stage Anything can PGL. be bad for you. Copenhagen Major. They would go absolutely wild for Mr. Finn Anderson. And he is the showman. Do you think the walking pad helps me? Uh, I was losing weight before the walking pad. I just think... I definitely wouldn't have wanted to be in that Um, It's more about just moving for me with the walking pad rather than like some sort of weight loss goal. With, specifically with that. Yeah. I, I love the way it just helps Hiroi maintain the deficit there. rather than in a really tough spot because yeah, like, I already lift like five days guy, a week okay, you know well, let's put, let's like I don't need to yeah. take a bit of a risk but um FaZe found a way and took everything away I don't Heroic need like yeah it's just it basically just helps maintain a deficit if I eat more in a day or something like that yeah but I mean Robs this is uh it's not gonna be the first time he's seen this on this kind of round he's got the weapon for the job would certainly be flush for cash if he gets the majority oh, oh of these. Uh, Chat, you didn't see that. Eco you didn't players. see that. <laughs> Full focus, always ready. It's Robs. He's got support. And with Brokey, Robs putting their heads together or make it just Brokey now. Yeah, he's got the bomb, bro. Doesn't want to get caught out. And cleans house. Clean. Happy with that one. <laughs> Don't know how Carrigan's monitor is shaking so much when he's in those engagements. Well, like... look, for in game leaders, Alex, when you grip your mouse, it's a little Speaking bit more intense. Maybe time to go for a walk. Yeah. I am feeling a lot better. Not Although me, I need to clean up my me. fucking desk, dude. It is time literally just sword. water. Yeah, okay. He's seen enough. Drops, Second time out. Well, monster and Coke Zero. Important moment shit. to do so. Getting the first gun round under and your I got belt beat here juice on the everywhere. for heroic. Fuck. To keep you battling back and forth in this. You lose this. It's well, a fucking problem. It's going to be nine for FaZe. I've been getting They're it though, dude. Another I've been getting investment. it. Call it ten. The guns come back out at a ten to eight scoreline. You lose that. Well, the game. Quickly. Oh, for sure. I've been six and one to start. Bro, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I kind of been streaming a little bit. I... It looked like it was going to be 6-6. Six, six. Mm. I left the, the office away. after the oh, match, and I was so hyped when we won. And as soon as I, like, the, the adrenaline dump into the, uh, how tired I was, it's time for that time I just, just like, passed out in, like, Heroic five minutes. Firmly in control for the first half of our first half. But now we're into the guns. Well, something that you noted was phase in the early stages of this one, having heavy presence towards middle. Not sure it will continue on the gun round when you know that there's going to be mollies and HEs. Oh, they are so trying. at least considering it. Double mollies. So they've gone elbow and close. And then the smoke on top. So mid control completely under the remit of Heroic for now. Yeah, one sec, guys. One sec.
Trish is very confident in this. I, uh, we've seen him do it multiple times, but this time up against a rifle. So he, he is sort of good feeling that he can get away with this one. And yeah, Micro can. jiggles. It's just, yeah, it's, what are you going to shoot at? His fingertips? <sighs> Tess is making no secret. Yeah, it needs to be very careful. How the fuck are they doing BO1 still in the Just major? To, do it again, you can see to make pickums harder, punish, obviously. So uh, step ahead. Here's the cross. Deliberately audible by Carrigan. Puts him into this angle that then they can double swing from Rain. Oh, he's ready. He knows how these fights work. Very comfortable in them. Kicks in, running out of bullets, but he does control just enough. Conserves his ammo Fourth. to take down Carrigan. Yeah. You think Carrigan should be trading? I there, think he yeah. thinks he should be having that one. And now really hinges on Rops. He's not ready for this. Shush, too clean with it. And off the back of their timeout, Heroic return to a heavy man advantage into the first gun. What damage can FaZe continue to dish out? Oh, Roki had a spot, had a chance, but chipped down to 30 points of health. Two Molotovs will buy the eyes. Frozen. Wow, he had the jump on Nikodos, but the clear... And now Brokey just looking for the save. Worst case, he goes down after time. It's not going to happen. Gixon spots him out. And Brokey does go down. Wow, that is a dream for Hero. Just the one casualty. Tess is the only one to fall. Yeah, it really felt like Hagen should have been good for that trade. Yeah, uh, it would be very frustrating to not be able to pick that one up after Rain oh, gets like a goosh through, through the timber. Yeah. And able to convert this first one. Yeah, the fact that kicks and look, he's on 44 and down to eight. So, yeah, Carrigan just wildly coming in with the MAC-10, thinking the movement would get the job done for him, and Kixon even finds another before the round ends. So, there it is. First gun round for Heroic. But it was a bit of a up, bonus he's for up, FaZe. He's up, he's up, he's up, Interesting up, approach on mid. Frozen smoke. Yeah. Brokey was blocked there. I think he was trying to get back through to not sustain any damage from the nades. And they clearly have a couple of moves that they want to use to get back this B lane control. Ooh, Carrigan playing with fire there, and it forces Kicks to throw out the incendiary nade. Ooh, not quite on the money. Kicks and gets away. Tassis' is warbangs applying a lot of pressure. This is a high stakes game of counter, and still looking well drilled on the CT side are heroic. This time, Carrigan passes his test. He actually provides the opening. 13 frags and counting. He's definitely not lagging behind, even if there have been a couple of uh, missed opportunities. And they tried to bully him within that first they half did. as well. They really did. So standing his ground. Looking to start strong. The first major on Danish soil. Nikodos. Flirting with aggression here. They know where he is. That nade hit him. That's going to be an unfortunate turn of events for Nikodos and kicks and smoked off, unable to contribute. Should call it off. I think that's the plan. Okay. Well, lost bonus will facilitate another buy as long right. as they don't Save get time. Cleaned. Hold on. Let me do this real quick. And Shush all having to hold on to these upgrades. Jam time. Kicks and still hanging around to make sure he can buy a bit of a buffer for his teammates. But they definitely need to hold on to their goodies if they want to contest into the next. That loss bonus will be 2,400. It will be enough to put them in a position for a buy. But Carrigan couldn't trade in the previous. Finds the opening this time round. And back and forth we go. We'll be keeping all five alive. Oh man, it's cool, isn't it? It's so cool when you get to look under the what hood. Did you say ledge yellow move? The ledge something move. You yeah. said ledge. Yeah, okay. did no ledge. And uh, David, uh, which I obviously we discussed. Yeah, he's frozen. He's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> he does seem to be selling him nicely, frozen. doesn't he? Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a big role to fill. Yeah, he's. I still think there's uh, some proving to do, or yeah. someone else has to fill the void because what Twist did in big games was have impact moments, like clutches or yeah. crazy big rounds that would change the tune of a game. That's fair. This is interesting. This is Frozen's own design smoke that he'll choose to walk straight out of, and already a lot of control. So under ledge. It was the the double mollies in middle there. So you saw that one was used the jump throw. I think. Uh, 
Nada here highlighted that to land a little bit deeper. And then another one in towards the cutout. Gives the CTs nowhere to stand if they're not forward. They have the full mid control. Is that my AK? What the fuck? Wait. Blaine, you have full mid. Whose AK is He's that? Into the orb. He just looked away. Oh, hey. great shot from hey. Ekidos just before they get the molly out, Carrigan. Who did that? Has his head blown off. But Who's Frozen got will my take AK, the space bro? regardless, yeah. which is important. Hold on. The orb repos into Donut. Frozen stole my Brokey. shit. Has the bomb, Alex. This, uh... Gets you worry, doesn't it? Most definitely, considering the reposition from Nikodos is the. I swear the casters just study what Flom says. They always do. Hello, oh, you're talking about the twist take that he just had? Rain on the rifle. But Brokey seems rather convinced there may have yeah, been. Yeah, no, I thought that was kind of funny. I didn't say anything because I was putting on my walking pad. Back. But 30 seconds. Yeah, and the bomb's red room. Brokey. It's important, and he's nailed it. Down goes the Orpa. No, you know, it's a shot for me. Knowledge it. I was putting up my walking pad. Position. I honestly the didn't. The CT might catch a beautiful flank here. They're not expecting this one. Straight out of the temple. Backs are turned. Bodies are dropping nearly onto Rops as well. But the round is done. Nerds, make sure of that one. And 9-9 nine, nine, tied right back up. Yeah, that was huge from Shush, wasn't it? But I think for Nerds... Bro, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Frozen is stealing my skins. Sponge is stealing my takes. I'm just going to go fucking cry. Free in their rotations. So Nerds, once he was committed towards that right-hand side of Donut, just got to sit and chill, Shush with some impact. And as you mentioned, back and forth we go. Really well played by Shush. Finances still there for FaZe. They're going to call their second tactical timeout. Neo, an opportunity to get on the mic. Brokey can there get into another There are 44 of those AWP. AKs in existence, bruh. Okay, buddy. AK is available for the rest. Yeah, but I probably did it first. And the opening to the round... We're very close. I'm at least top five. Carrigan would hope. Said good against what they're doing, and it was. They were able to get that mid space. It was more about the finish. Carrigan gets picked off. They take the red space. They try and split A. Just one too many players over towards that side of the map for them to deal with. Here's the opener. I think it was just with that little... But AK? It's just the... It's just the... Ah, fuck. I called it the conspiracy. Rain has to push the smoke. No real choice. It's the Vulcan with London conspiracy stickers. One of these two teams... Can look to get control of the economy. 1900, the loss available for either of them. Mine mine was not a designed craft or something I was trying to do to look cool. Mid, but no follow through. No, it's actually quite passive. Lore behind mine, Shush. London Conspiracy was looking to pick and up a team and we were wordless at the time. So I baited Reddit and so putting a bunch of LC like stickers on my. Opportunity to shut down Carrigan's AK and my op, and I called my op play. the Conspiracy. That's more than an info play, Alex. Look at all the bodies. They were hoping this for an A finish. Good call. How diligent are they on their approach? So I did that like super early on. Um, it just Carrigan happened that it looked really three. fucking it cool. It worked frozen. out really well. Nikodos already being here. Makes it absolutely yeah, worked, position. by the way. It, it literally worked. Because that used to be how like you could figure out if people were going to join yeah, teams. So I bought a bunch of... We, we actually were talking to London Conspiracy as an org. How much of B lane have we lost? Back then, uh, before we signed the Luminosity, well, and it was, yeah, lane, it was right? like yeah, a red it was, smoke, you have it no worked. info on mid. Uh, they're going all the way back through T spawn. I think the fact that Rain is through is good news, but they're not going to be. Oh no, here you go. They are going to be noise bouts. Because like, Rain's through, you can see nobody's forward. They should know that they can make a few sound. Does cues. Rob's fake with all the smokes? Maybe, but how how scary is it going to be? I guess the because temple. Because it's an Orpa, could... yeah. How many smokes does he have though? Three. So if he smokes off temple, then oh, only, it's two. only two. Okay. Okay, well then, yeah, the temple and smoke not being present. Does it? I mean, Nerds has definitely Nerds rotated through. Kicks him now realizing it's all on him. His teammate. I think Tessus the fate worked. I think it was there. genius. Hello. Oh. Say goodbye. See you later. There you Too go. easy. Comfortable. Well Tessus comes heroic. through. And through, and heroic will leave Oof. with the tenth round. They take the lead. They take control of the economy as you prophesied. But that's a limp fake. You know what? We've got to work dude. with. Sign that's not uh, fully functional. No, sir. No, sir. -y. Okay, yeah. I mean, you can see that they were trying to find a solution, but it wasn't particularly convincing. Not with the amount of time on the clock because you're fully committed to that type of a play. And, and Nurse, like, thrusting himself uh -huh. close A main, I guess he's also secure. He's like, hey, guys, no, seriously, 
There's nothing, eh? I'm Fun fact, of actually, I'm my Vulcan, actually, I don't think this factory now has been where... So Kipson Maybe this factory bides his now, time, remember. denies the plant, Tessa swings into action as well, and this was the opening exchange. Carrigan's round removed, and Carrigan in the last two removed early. So if you're looking for your player to take the risk and get you some map control, he's dead. Nor uh, normally it's him and Rain. And now look at this type of a buy. Mm. They are frazzled. Face could be falling to heroic. We just had Vitality lose to Eternal Fire. Seeing how this one goes, because it is going to be a bit of an orb head to head. Brokey got a lot of pressure on his shoulders. With only a Glock, you'd expect Carrigan to kind of get that info. The Shadow and Fire connects. They're not ready for both of them. The setup noted. Good work from Robs. Needs another. Nikonos stands his ground. Need another. Whoa, Rain manages to get the double on the Glock. Headshot. For the plant, that's important in the grand scheme of things. The nade, the spam, it's perfect. On to Rain. What have you got for us, Brokey? Around that Brokey box, now backing away. Kixon and Tessus up against Brokey. Can he find the impact? This would be exactly what the doctor ordered for FaZe as they are starting to hemorrhage rounds. It's going to be cleared. Quick scope, oh. impossible when Kixon's hitting the first bullet out of his rifle. Heroic edging closer to causing the upset to start off Phase's campaign in Copenhagen. No, no, we're getting fired up. You've got uh, enough money for residual buys. Phase are scrambling <laughs> right now, and Carrigan in three consecutive rounds has given up the opening death. That was one where he didn't have a gun in his hand, sure. But the in-game leader, being the land oh, yeah, of the <laughs> so he can be a martyr and start to establish at least some inspiration for the remainder of the team because right now it was pistol conversions uh, but it's been three think, consecutive no, I, rounds I, I for think there's now. Valid, two more on the trot and this one is all like, over phase will go down to I don't think it's bucket. Yeah, wrong to say the teams them. that have quote, been quote, playing quote, in the initial up, stage have a slight advantage in the opening oh, matches pushed. rain is getting pushed look at the flashes they've all run past oh my god they ran by this happened and now from behind, Nurse should go down. He's just holding down Mouse. One, this is chaos. Utter pandemonium. What Tessus pushes fuck? back through, wondering how Rain got there. Down goes the bomb. Carrigan could Cute. be the victim. Shush is locked down oh, mid. A triple on the spray. Three there. Oh, and FaZe, they had a way in. They had oh, an opportunity, well, there but there no, goes my three pick. On Rain, Shush towards Red Room. Baited oh, out, smoked and towards the boys. Red. Might give him some room to stretch his legs. Raw, thanks to the 47 month reset. I knew there. FaZe would fuck up a B01. How God has he gone down the way? They take B lane control. Rain has a power position. Nerds gets one. I just didn't know who else but to pick. Shush is triple. They're playing retake B, and Rain starting to magnetize towards the second letter of the alphabet. You take another plant. 2900 loss burners. Just frustrating because I just didn't know. Who final oh, round. So dude. if he's able to get this down, I even we'll said it. I was like, yet another buy where FaZe can have grief, some form of but, rifles in their hands. Uh, be so worried about anybody hiding behind these pesky corners. 35 seconds, and as you mentioned, that retake setup will give it away. Now, if he gets it down, I see he's so worried. He's clearing everything out. I hate so the he three O's, dude. I hate it so fucking much. Side, he walks into the hands of Kixon, and they do not get that bomb down. It's only the lost bonus coming through. I'm telling you, they get the bomb down. It can be Galil's and AK's with Util. Now it's going to be messy. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little. I mean, can't really fault Rain for being convinced. There must be someone. But, but Kixon, his kind of uh, proactive reposition really caught Rain off guard. Gave him enough rope to hang himself yeah. right there. And yeah, I have no idea how they come out of cave and they don't see rain. I understand there was plenty of flashes Smoke going on, flash. but the CTs, I'm not sure how they would have been blind. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Shush, the hero of the day. Here it is. So rain just on the cusp and... <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Actually ridiculous. Yeah, and yeah, it didn't matter. It didn't matter thanks to Shush and this beautiful handiwork. He doesn't get three if he doesn't have the M4A4. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> weapon for the job. Better gun. Just that's what they're saying, more expensive price. That's point. what they're yeah. saying. Oh, thanks yeah. to the forty-seven no, well, month recent. Thank you. Yeah, I can't say the same for Phase. Look at this one. Uh, you've got you've got enough. You can, you've got enough, your full five smokes. You just don't have the flashes to facilitate all of that info. Well, what, well, this is the thing, though, right? So let's talk about just the standard round that you'd open up with on the T side. If you want to do something where you vie for control early, you're going to smoke red, and you're maybe going to smoke off Some the red. Some two of your smokes gone. Sexy streamer, if you want to harass middle, so nerds just can't have free control, hey, you're going to double gifted. H -E or molly, right? You're either mollying up towards heaven or double hing is push. All right, well, we don't even have all the nades for that right now. They take B lane control. We need a flash over the top. We probably need a molly pocket. Oh, also we're worried about a B ramp push we need to molly that at the start of the round 
Okay. Um, I don't think you have enough nades for that phase. No, you don't. So Neon you have to broke slow. you into the so same bar. Slow, that's they're going to establish control, and then the orb can post up. Nikodos has that firmly in his grasp. They've got uh, a couple of AKs in the mix. Oof, yeah, I mean, you know, you, it can be the best call in the world if you don't have the weaponry or the utility. It's it's bleak. Time it's to bleak. hit some shots. Yeah, it is. It's time to, to really get into the AMDM. You need three rounds consecutively, otherwise Heroic are going to throw one hell of a first punch in their campaign towards the top eight. Why is it in the announcement? And it, it has, you know, once we recount the rounds and the, what, sure the desk is going to do it once we get to them, which could be in a moment's Fluffies time. But the gives type of rounds that the phase will win work through individuals overrunning pistols you, or Fluffies. shotguns or SMGs. As far as the gun rounds are concerned, I think Heroic have done a better job. I tend to agree. When you talk about it, there's Nerds doing exactly what he wants. Full lane. Carrigan's going to try and punish him. Oh, he's there in time. Nerds. Down off the one. Trade, That's though. a big trade from Frozen. He keeps their hopes of continuing play here. For forward by the flames and rain. Another compulsory frag. Tessa's dead as well. Nice. They've given okay. them the frags. They so desperately sought oh, after. Oh, the mollies were sick. They, they mollied Cubby and, and Pillar that Beast yeah, that rain. forced that fight. Unprepared for the orb, but that's information. The loss of the Norwegian Shush the six and his primer, thank you. on either side of the map. Uh, and one of the keys here is the duel between Shush and Rops, and it's more about what territory has been given over or who's going to push into it late. These two play quite similar. Shush could ruin the hopes and dreams. Oh! Steps out, Rops down, 2v2. That's impact, baby. Back-to-back -back rounds from Jeez, where Shush, Shush man. has given Heroic the weaponry oh, and them. the frags they need. Smoke's trying to get Brokey across. He'll miss the shot, but they're going to try and walk on him. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, Nikodos is not expecting this. His back is turned right now. Oh, and there's Frozen. More impact. Oh, Nikodos. That, that was little, just... And now the one will go down. It's just the disconnected. They know he's the A anchor. That's not a wall, homie. Picks himself up a smoke. He's good I mean, I, I want FaZe to win this, but that ain't a that's wall, the dude. They've got money. He can give this one a go. And he's looking to end it right now off of his own handiwork. I'm really surprised he let himself stay well open to that. Like, Shush, and it's so deep that he's going to be walking through Grace. It was quite the... one of his own to change. Oh, hold that. on. Flash and go. Maneuvering through the smoke. And it's Frozen. <laughs> That's one hell of a round from Frozen. Chad, I mean, it was ballsy Sometimes from Frozen, he's not but like. Impact rounds when they need it most. There's an example of Frozen doing that. Just that, that was and the very. Punish from heroic, right? I was not even close to being unlikely to happen. Let's put it that way. Keep coming. If you're going to put yourself in the crosshair of phase, they can hit the shots. And this was on display. Bob, so your pick ums are boosts. Only betrayed by Frozen. Rain gets one of the kicks. And talking about yes. Screen. Tessa looks desperate. Nikodos is going to be punching his death. I need a stat for how many people watch YouTube leg. videos well, actually, just muted. You know, that leg is a kill. That's their round. It's a 2v1 situation. The game is done. Now it's heroic into their third and final tactical timeout. They've just exhausted the bank balance completely with their buy. Their loss bonus going into what might be the last round will only be 1,900. FaZe might have put themselves in pole position to take us to overtime. I didn't understand. Can you explain? It's because you didn't actually watch the video. You just looked at a screenshot. So stressful. You probably skipped my YouTube video and didn't watch it. I didn't want to talk over Eternal that. Eternal yeah, Fire wasn't a pick. It was a placeholder because the game right? weren't literally over yet. I had to use it as a placeholder. But God, Counter-Strike is a stressful game, isn't it? You're just, you've got no margin for... I watch most of your things. Ironic, considering you just responded to what I just said. Every bell, whistle, and weapon required for this. To finish here in round 23, Heroic have got plenty. Carrigan making no secret of his arrival. Molotov off initially. Being very loud about his presence on A main, hoping to <laughs> oh, that's a reaction. It's a good reaction though, because if they just sat so far back for the entire round, they would have had no info. They've just oh, they just flashed and cleared out lane as well. So I'd argue a heavy advantage. Who'd I replace Heroic Eternal Fire point. with? Mongols. You've heard a lot of action A. But so far, looking good. Ecstatic and Mongols are both 0-1 right now. A passive hold, hoping to go uncleared. The bait from Nuts is perfect. It does damage. The nade is landing. Church not going to be cleared. Oh, this is dreamy. He's got the opportunity to end it. Frozen will manage to find the trade. Stops the bleed. Into A. Brokey to plant. Nuts tries to line it up. He denies it. That is massive. He has really turned the tide of battle. 
Kerrigan in a hard angle to clear, but Nikodos does it anyway. Two frags away from Heroic. Picking themselves up the win to start off here in Copenhagen. But my 3-0 pick is the elimination shot. stage. Robs finds one Unless... back. Unless... 27 Run and counting boost. two towards the donut position, but it's just frozen. Oh, what oh, a peak! What? He's finding every frag he needs. Maybe there's a clutch available to Rops. Maybe? Holy frozen. He's only got 16 seconds though, Chad. He needs to find and isolate this jewel not being given to him. Fake plant and not temple already. Nine seconds, Kixon. Donut finds Wait. the frag. Maybe he can do this after oh all. Oh my God. Charging at him, Kixon. He could end it here. It's Rops in the clutch, but Rops is what a oh, shot. Oh, well done from Kixon. Good heroic start with the win. Not All right, well, one I pick that everything. Yes, the indeed, it drew resources back. They couldn't worry about the rotations in and kicks in the lead of the desk. We're discussing one for the future. Well, one for right now. Oh. Heroic picking up their opening game of the elimination stage and phase. Put down a notch. They joined Vitality in the 0-1 bucket. What a showing from Heroic. This is the type of counter strike we want to see. Yeah, the type of Counter-Strike we want to see if we're not face fans uh, <laughs> or have pickums or anything. Bronze coiners, rise up. Uh, Heroic, keep doing it, guys. What's I, up? I am, I'm very, very, very impressed with what I saw from Heroic over here. This is mm -hmm. some phenomenal Counter-Strike coming out. Nikodos as well, someone we've been pointing fingers at, saying, you know, he's been kind of quiet for this team. Yeah, he well. comes alive. Shush putting up just a mascot's performance. By the way, Tessus was virtually nowhere to be found in the server. Despite that, they get the win. Brilliantly done from the side of Heroic and for FaZe and for a lot of these teams now that They can just stay here and say, all right, that's fine. You, you take that side. Beautiful display by Heroic. We said it coming into the segment as well that it's a team that has some sort of the, the old Heroic DNA. It, DNA sorry, it's, it's not a team that relies on individuals too much. It's not a team that relies on someone popping off or a D2-esque situation. There's so many Nico things to hate about what I just saw. Two hard hitters. Mm -hmm. They rely on synergy. They rely on team play. They rely on setting each other up, mm. outplaying the opponent, and they did it in this game. You said Nikodad had a good... Wait, let me just gift the subs first. Hold on. How you guys 45? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Christ. Any primers, prime forgetters? Before I have to fucking watch this shit. Like I said, he could do a lurk smoke. I don't think that would have saved them. It would have maybe given them more of an advantageous fight towards the pits, I suppose. Uh, but this is, this is very Nico still has wired. more kills than the entire Furia team right now. Yeah. yeah that makes Him sense, along. I suppose. <laughs> no one's really getting any kills on the T side. Kaiser at the very top of three. Thank you, Flam. No problem, man. Thanks for being here. Thundercuck92, thanks to the 27 month reset. An ad is starting, but I just gifted 45 ad blocks, so don't be mad at me. Let's just walk around the map and see if Fallen can find a pick. Yeah, once again, reduced to. As a person from Missouri, you have the right to not watch this. No, no. Okay, lads, when we have. Absolutely no Let money. Let's just get fallen on the orb and we're seven nil down. Like this is not planned. This is just like Let me with the gift of up to Uncle Fucker. Thank yeah, you. Hoping he can piece something together here. But he's against Monacy with the AWP. They're not giving anything away. It's a very passive setup. Hoping when you should be spitting, Henry. Bullets. Yeah, exactly. We're back. It all <laughs> it's long-winded, bro. So it's a lot easier to tell somebody nice okay, cock, well, you know? We're going to go towards the B-bomb side. We do have Hooksy ready with a Molotov in hand. So he's just jiggling that corner, ready to throw it down. The bomb's in second middle, though. Bombs in second mid. That Can is, I uh, unsub and watch an ad instead of in this inferno so game? Towards middle, it's going to have to be an A finish. Oh, we have shit, zero, you man. One smoke. I was about to say, zero utility or one smoke. I take it back. That is hoping like a mistake is presented now. Like they're not anticipating an AWP, I suppose, in this round. Yeah. Maybe someone will over challenge. It could be Nexa. That's true. Like you, you definitely not thinking there about it. Is. There we go. There's the mistake. Nexa not ready for it. Monacy still good with one. And Hunter on the double. Monacy is still up in the graveyard and alive. And he will absolutely <laughs> shut it down. This is where he lives and breathes. Three kills for him once again.
Well, what can you say about this one? Oh, Swift Meat Pal with a two-year reset. Days thank you. As you know, thank you Stop so much for your 54 months reset. Nice cocks all around. One. Vitality and phase are down in zero one. David Dab, six to seven month Furia. primer. Thank you. Momentarily. Prod, thanks to the 500 biddies in chat. I'm looking for hot girth through oilers oh and I'm matching all yeah, gifted think, again. I think Fury, they are free And I'm looking for any no member mommies on, this one. on YouTube. Yeah, now the money, the money is just bamboozled again. Like, you... You got no plans out of that. with the five gifted. Nice talk. Thank you. Why is Fury getting players. destroyed? I don't know, bro. I just got here. Galil. But it's Fury, so... so... My quick well. analysis Fair here enough. by just looking purely at the kills, it looks like Nico so has found his mouse again, and so is Hunter. So now G2 is a good down. team again. God bless America. Bare minimum here would be three rounds total. Yeah. Jeff Jaff with the five gifted. Nico nice fucking here. cock. Thank JDR you. Appreciate you. Your ten gifted. Good morning, Hav. Uh, what can we say? What can we do with this? And CJ, thank you very no much for your Fury Twitch Prime as well as the fight. What the fuck? It's so comprehensive. Wait, no. I still want to highlight how many of the, the primers were won by G2's Slim Rick with the five grenade play on, on nice so many different Rick. instances. I think that's really worth highlighting because that's something you A can do. Combo with the over five gifted. Again. Thank you. That was appreciate just so fun. you. It was a lesson in how to play grenades, CT side Inferno. Good flash here. He oh should have no. had that kill, Yuri. That's a, that, that was a good setup. Yeah, they they actually did it very well, but it's three CTs. I guess it'll yeah, be a little unlucky for us, but at the same flash. time, it's very a guaranteed effective. point as well. But ultimately, that's one of your rifles gone. At least it was the Galil, I suppose. There's another early five on four. Difficult to really get excited about this one. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're a G2 fan, you can, you can revel in the moment. And just enjoy the victory that's not that far away at the moment. Putting out the Molotov there, Hunter. Pog champ, no Andy. Thanks for the Twitch Primer. Thank you. Well, I'm about to be picked up at the bottom of Banana, I think. Nico is a lot. Thanks for subbing, though. I've never been here. You look great. Maybe he's more of like a personal challenge. He's like, let me see if I can kill all of them by myself. <laughs> Dan, man, thanks for 13 month Primer. Thank what? you. Appreciate you. What just happened? <laughs> Just got double dink. <laughs> oh, what a wall bang. But here's the problem, though. They're kind of running out of time. Here's one good grenade getting it down. Oh, it doesn't blow up in all the smoke. It's just so thick. There's the blow open that they were looking for, but they're not finding the kill. There's actually a way through for Furia. Looking to pick up that first round and getting rid of Nico with the double. Oh, with the get, double oh, dink here. It might have been possible. Nico's dead. How did he get Chow out? able to pick that one up. And now it's a four versus four. Okay. Super weird round. But the bomb is planted. Could be the first. Baldwin will cover the M4. Next up. Not sure what he's waiting for. Going to see if anyone oversteps the mark here. But the, are they just saving? Yeah, I think they're just saying we'll try no, and I know. I, them in. Fair enough. I knew yeah, phase 3 0 was bottom of banana. not good, oh, but I. Like so much I just didn't know who else to pick, man. Yeah, yes. they do, but Furia don't. <laughs> so they're saying, yeah, we might have the money, so maybe we go for it. But the fact is. Oh, it's gonna die here as well. So they uh, win one round. I guess you're right. They're gonna get thirty five hundred dollars per player now. So everyone's gonna be oh. need four K after winning a round. It's, it's most... such a hollow victory <laughs> that you're just like, oh, is it even worth high fiving this one? It is. You have to you have to pretend to be happy because you won the round, but are we still homeless? It Always. wasn't really the gift that you wanted. The parents, yep, your parents got we're you slowly the climbing back up to like, ten thousand like, subs though. A couple slowly. of generations <laughs> away, but I have to pretend. <laughs> So yeah, like look what they're left with. Mm -hmm. Mac tens, a galil. Eight is all they get. They really Nobody gets more than yet. eight rounds in a row versus Fury. I think we've seen five AKs. CT side of Inferno, nobody. Fury, there's always been some sort of weird concession, and after winning a round, the same story. I'm gonna have to make the SMGs work again. It gets a fully equipped G2. I guess they just wanted to hold them to their AKs, the AWP. Like they're dominating right now. They can afford to give up our round. I think. I think it's true though. Like. Saving that round does make it very hard for Fury to celebrate anything, although that flashbang is devastating. Burn the eyes out of Hoogsy. Good counter grenade coming out there, and I think Kesaranto is worried that there's going to be more grenades raining down upon him. Missed opportunity, maybe. Nico is still here alone. The truth is, if he dies, it's a wide open round for Fury. I don't know how, but this oh, haircut this makes Monacy look but, uh, even uh, younger, dude. Also very tagged up already. Three smokes on the T side. He's aging backwards. Rotation back. Monacy's here. Yeah. 
So this will be I mean like execution. he's already young as fuck, but like goddamn, oh, I don't know what have to do it though. I guess that haircut just makes him look a lot younger, I guess. They're gonna be swung on and it will be Nico trying to defend. He's like 15, yeah, low. he's super young, but I'm telling you, he looks even younger now. He can't find the frags, needs to be careful here. Flashbang, he's gonna push for the smoke potentially. They are so a wizard. tagged up. This HE, if it's time to imagine modesty and like that ends them. three years, he just has a full beard. Holy shit. He can't quite see it and fallen. He punched in the ditch. Look at the HP on everyone. But a lot they of it's unconfirmed damage. Sure chat. Every single member of Furia below 30 health. I wonder if G2 know about it. If they don't. They do. Like three of them, they don't know about round. Another one, yeah. Another very strange round. Like it looks like Fury got nothing to do in this one, nothing to say, but just unable to just find those clean kills. Honestly, though, credit to Fury for understanding that how low they all were. They send the only high health. Young Doug, thanks for 30 month primer. Bomb. Thank you. It's a massive risk, but the problem is. Troll, thanks for the, the tier one forward, sub. Thank you. Do appreciate you. One of those grenades that blow open the smoke could have blown open the entire team. That could have been like a triple kill with a nade. That's weird. And now they've got rifles and four players surviving. They actually have a gun round, Anders. The first one of the half. Yeah, is I that their audio or mine? Get anything. Yeah, so this is this is looking better. They've I think it's theirs because it'd be the voice too, required. right? Gifted a couple of rounds here. Some really weird finishes to the round. You hear it? Yeah, it's theirs. Just yeah, no, the, the, lion's den at the, start of the, the round. casters it's sound perfect, but oh, no. He's tried it, what, three times and died. Chad, are you 15? Yep. Start of every, time, every, every encounter. Um, probably just give that one up. Well, especially because it doesn't seem to be even a requirement for them to win any of these rounds. Like controlling the bottom of banana has not really been necessary so far. It's very yeah, so well known. known. Yeah, they're very well known. Eight to two is the scoreline. Two more rounds left. I mean, if Fury get up to four rounds, what a... I <laughs> mean... Like, no one could have seen that coming. They're genuinely After probably one of the so most far. popular teams in CS. Maybe just not with you so or your region, but... Getting a little bit more interesting. They are... G2... By far and away Surely the most popular the Brazilian team. One player again, but they are sending three over to this side of the map. I missed Blazing don't Lions one. I literally don't see it. Hold on. Ah, I, okay. Yeah, stream elements doesn't show up, but I see it over go. here. Same result. Blazing Lion, thank you very much for the one gifted. Yeah, okay. Thank so you, appreciate you. Very tagged up grenade around the corner. Art's got to be careful. He made his way quite far away, so he gets to live. One for one trade. Although Nico's I call him Lion. Dead. He's sticking around He's an for the onion, set up but Lion sounds on the other cooler. Side. Has only got three kills so far, but this one is a huge But I remember the frag. first time I read it, I called Lunacy it Lion, so I've just kind of, of quadrupled down at this point. The old man still got it. I'm going to have to ask for well, here we go. Man advantage. And Nico is incredibly low. That grenade might catch him. Not quite. It's in the corner. One minute remaining. Round number 11. Penultimate round of this first half. Looking like... A perfect first Shut up, Jeff Jaff, you idiot. Starting to unravel somewhat in the dying stages Thanks for here. Thanks for 22-month reset, thank you. Literally one HP. I'll go towards top middle instead. Nexa and Hunter lying in wait. Deadly duo. AK-47's in hand. But actually rotating back towards B, they... have given the A's on pretty much over this stage. Nexa will push with the smoke. Under a lot of scrutiny, and that's going to be round. All right. Three on the board for Fury. Maybe Fury can so get to four. Just to set up that kill on Nexa. Just he didn't get into the swing where he could take Shut individual up, fights. Idiot. I don't know. Do I relate with Fallen? No. I mean, you is there anything like that? Like, Fallen's we, good looking. I'm not. Fallen's that's not fat. A conversation, I am. Right, at some point. So. Fallen's one, not yeah. one, but two it, majors. It doesn't seem to be working out. I've not. Just a standard hold. With He's kind of good at counter strike. Now and then, and. Me not Maintaining so much. control is absolutely fine, but losing your in-game lead the only thing I got doesn't seem ideal. But well, beat on his hair. Taking the advantages and running with them, fallen with a nice shot as well. Like they had a pretty decent setup of modesty on the half wall. That's about it. Fallen hit an absolute banger. It looked like his hair had come back in, but now the when they game, got him, it looks like one so half is fucked. <laughs> the they have to hide it away. No one's allowed to play it. Yeah, you go in the confession booth and say, I, I'm a source player. I'm a source. Um, I have to admit it. <laughs> Please forgive me for my sins. I'm so happy that we're over that stupid rival. Best so six in the 15 now. month yeah. Yeah. We can't 30 yeah. seconds left on this anymore. camp trip. <laughs> we can't even say. Thank God. Mm -mm. We're out of there.
It looks fine. Round I don't think it looks bad. But no, his hair low key literally I'm came back when one more round. to the point Somebody where some people are saying he's got a transplant. Anyway. But now, feel like this should I don't be, even but... care if he did or not. But one That's side beyond. looks like it's like they're working as hard as they can right now. Not good. So yeah, this is an eight zero start. Got to commend. I don't know what happened. Getting back into it, it looks like Hooksy will not be pushing down Banana this time. I, I genuinely, I truly convinced yeah, myself that Fallen was losing his hair because of and North American Counter Strike and his time on Liquid. You don't want to be boosting like, I, I, I really believe that. Deep grenade and Fallen takes a. Because when he joined Imperial, his hair came back. I'm not even like exaggerating. Like, okay. Fast six to the 15 month farmer, thank you. They're going to pay a heavy price. Art sticking around to send a couple of AK bullets. I blame North American Counter Strike chat. The much stronger reply. A cannon on the other side just absolutely smite him. 8 3, 12th round. The last of the half is a good wall bangs onto Hunter. Yeah, you want to get out of there right now, but Monesty is still cracking the I'm shots. I'm super Fallen down to switch to Cloud 9. Ready for more. Spirit when it's on, yeah. Sacrificing oh. all players. Monesty on the quad. And now it's just K Serato left. Monesty ace it. They Beautiful motherfucker. Let's go. Young superstar again. Three, two, He's one. For the Bang! And he will well done. Up. Well done. Well, that's a classy way to close well things out, Monesty. Shit, bro. After giving out well three in a row, they confirm a very promising well half. Nine to three. Monesty on the ace as well. This kid's Beautiful so cracked, stuff man. there. A little bit He's touch so and go cracked. towards the end. G2. Wanted to give them a fighting chance, it seems. Everybody else get worried when Anders gets like that? Like the major but for spirit this is going to be our first look as to what they're bringing in form wise blazing so the gift of the blazing the, line uh, thank you the double jewelies I, I have seen it um kind of be in absorbed by everybody everyone loves this idea. I that's what i'm saying dude i feel like he's about to pop is a very vogue right now well it makes a lot of sense as we do have a technical timeout one player has just left the server we'll just give us a moment but oh yeah, good i'd rather sense, wait the technical timeout than watch one more round of g2 fury on inferno right so the julius gives you 30 bullets the ability to try and uh, slow them down in that type of an assault and uh well, we just have a quick little game crash. I believe it is Hobbit who okay. we've lost, so well, it shouldn't be too long. That gives me an opportunity to kind of pick your brain a little bit about uh, where you're setting your, your expectations for this matchup. Cloud9, no AWPer, and then you're up against one of the most dedicated AWPers in modern day Counter Strike. What do you, yeah. what do you I think? I use 16 well, Gifted, hold on, Jeff. Dizzy's old team uh, is always quite fun and, and uh, probably an extra motivator for both sides of the server. Uh, I, for, look, Ancient is a map where I think the AWP can obviously play a decent role, more so on the CT side, right? Being able to use it over towards like B long or using it over towards A. Yeah, so to pick my brain about the uh, upcoming I, matchup. I don't think it's going to necessarily be the end of the world. For I think Cloud9. if Shiro uh, has a strong performance, to, to more so than Dong. These two teams, uh, well, when going toe to toe, I think six that it will ago, not even right, be relatively close. Art Frost was on the roster and Shiro is still playing for, for this Cloud9 team. I think the also if Dong decides to do Dong things, I think. It won't even matter, probably. Uh oh. The fuck? Shit. That one broke. Hold on. PGL. Let's open this shit up again over here. I'd open another tab. That one tab broke. We're so bad. Weapons or, or high expectations. I'm kind of sitting on the fence a little bit with it. It's just this is a team of very talented individuals. Some of them show it. Some of them don't. Axile probably being the one who uh, falls into the don't category. But what they're able to, to do with the level of experience, you've got a major winning core in the team, right? You've got Electronic Perfecto and Pumich. Uh, you've got Hobbit as well, uh, another major winner mm. uh, from quite a long time ago now. But uh, there is a lot of experience on this team, and they understand the job that needs to be done. Yeah, it's weird. going up against the talk of the town at the moment of spirit and it's about seeing how far spirit can really uh, I, I guess raise the bar of our expectations of them because mm. a lot of people probably coming into the major with spirit as one of the favorites alongside of phase and vitality I would say those are the three teams who people would have as their front runners uh, phase and vitality though Alex in back-to-back -back games just lost their best of ones yeah and i mean those best, best of ones, ones baby we love that show. path here i was just looking at the teams they've beaten it's uh you know the legacy uh squad ecstatic and soar in a best of three yeah so in terms of uh household names mm. yet to face one mm -hmm. uh, and look at him alex look at him there 17 years of age what were you doing at 17 What's, he, what's the song he's got in the beginning? It's like... Uh, I don't know, dude, but don't... It's over. Based on this... I don't know what it, I like... Yeah. yeah. 
How disconnected from his world do you think we are? Oh, we are in a different <laughs> universe, bro. We're in a different solar system. Yeah. <laughs> at least. Um, Poach Penguin. I, I love that I get to observe Thanks his so world. Thanks for the you know? five yeah. gifted, nice fucking it really is, Poach uh, Penguin. It's a joy just to see the, the, the kind of the embodiment my of ass. the next generation. You. Though, I mean, you've seen the videos, haven't you? The eight-year-old. But it looks like yeah. a, the mouse pad's the same size as him. Zontix as emotional uh, as ever. Running around, hitting headies. And, uh, and now, of course, finds himself as one of the hottest prospects in Counter-Strike. 17 years of age. And the last time we were casting Spirit Chad, I'm sure you remember it, it was over at uh, the IEM Katowice 2024, whereby he broke all of the expectations and records that we've seen in a 3-0 against FaZe Clan. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. A 1.93 rating in that final. Uh, I want to um, just return to one of the conversations we've been having so far today, Alex, and that's about teams coming in warm mm. uh, from the opening stage to the elimination stage. So if you don't want any spoilers, I, th I think you need Bro, to... Bro, this guy's still trying to get right scammed. Do you remember the guy that came uh, into the chat earlier? The guys, guys so listen, he's talking to me on goals. Discord. He's in YouTube Navi chat saying so he's talking to me now. against warm. That's cold winning. Yes, cold, uh, cold one. Stop cold trying to get yourself scammed, dude. Okay, warm get one with Imperial over V. Yep. Warm get another eternal fire with eternal fire over vitality. Two, two. So we're two two tied up. Complexity coming back in for cold. Oh, cold Shall three two. Back, and uh, then heroic. Well, ah. they slap back in for warm. So it's guys like yeah, this so stream we're all tied might up. not be yeah. here. Hold on. Well, Cabal, here that we go. That could be a scam. Twitch Time stream. for the, the difference maker between C9 and uh, and Spirit. Said, but how oh, warm okay. are you when you just do, I got to use the restroom one sec. Oh, is that another conversation? That is another conversation. Uh -huh. Yes, that, that's another conversation in itself. Uh, and right now, everybody cooling off as they wait for Hobbit to get his phone out of the box and log back into Steam. Anyone else feel like Chopper looks like he's getting younger? Like, you know how, like, stress makes you look older? He's now, like, he's gotten to this point now where actually... He's, he's Benjamin buttoning before our very eyes. Really? That's what you think? That's what I think. Is, is the shaved head? I think it's the shaved head. I think so. He just kind of looks like he's full of life. Full you know? of life. Not okay. that he didn't before. <laughs> I'm not saying he was like a zombie. I'm just he's saying. He's a chopper. He's full, of, he's full of life. That's what I'm saying. He's probably hanging around with these teenagers trying to, you know, keep, keep track of How old is them. Chopper? Good question. I have a guess. Oh, do I want to? Yeah, take, take a guess, because uh, you said he's aging backwards. 28. 28 for Chopper. Well, I will find you officially. He is 27. Oh. You were close. I was close. Yeah. But he's, yeah, yeah, doing great. Average age of this team is 21. So, uh, yeah, he's definitely well, the one that's bringing that average up. Yeah. Zon Zontix, uh, Shiro, Magix, and Donk, all quite young. Magix has been around for a while and still only 20. He's just chilling, isn't he? No. Oh, oh. Hang on, he's coming back, boys. There you go. Straighten up the back of the chair, get himself situated. Oh, he's getting a bit too relaxed. Oh, I'm intrigued. I'm so intrigued to see how these two teams clash. I, it, it, the desk was saying Perfecto is going to be orping. Boom, which has recently gone on the record saying, you know, I'm going to be inconsistent on the orp. He had a bad one. Of, oh, I mean, it kind of goes without saying when you're not a dedicated orper. We've seen him have some impact. It was more on overpass than any other map, but... Gonna be intrigued to see how this one boils out as it's Shiro against his old squad. It's his old squad against Shiro. And it's Donk with his debut at the Copenhagen oh, Major. A little bit of a tease. Just hit us again. A uh, little bit of a tease. We were close. It is another uh Cloud Who's using the Navi spray? Tactical timeout. Interesting. What are they saying? Hobbit had money. Hmm. What's that got to do with the price of eggs? All right, well. That's all right. We'll let the admins work it out. We're just the observers. No. I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not falling observer. for this. I'm not falling for it's it. It's not live. The time's going down. No, it but... is live. It is live. Okay, let's go. CT start for Team Spirit. Cloud9 on the attack. What's the plan? Boom. He's got a smoke, as does Electronic. Two flashes between them as we start with the 3B2 towards A setup. Rather standard division of labor for a CT pistol. But it's Zontix and Donk, dude. Get past these boys at your own peril. And just like that, Zontix reveals the dual Berettas. He's looking for more. Don't connect. Another from Zontix. And immediately, Cloud9's pistol plans have been scrapped. Torn up in front of their very eyes. Yeah, no way you're finishing A, or at least in the way you had hoped. Electronic and Perfecto. Last two remaining. Plenty of time. Oh, there. That's why you send these two to hold A. Oh, it's going to be clean. Zontix is here, starting as he means to go on, and not even a slight raise of eyebrow, not even a wry smile. It is four kills to start off his campaign to Copenhagen. He might even be the individual who started the Steam Group D underscore Pression, uh, because Zontix, I don't think he knows what happiness is. He just knows what winning feels like, and it's something he loves. 
Tom's just a supporting cast. This yeah. is a Zontic show. You don't have to talk about me. I want trophies. I don't care about anything else. Oh, I, I don't care, feel. I don't feel any pressure. I am just cold-blooded killer. Yeah, well, uh, what can you say about this one for Cloud9? Not a single player has uh, yet to feel the sweet, sweet taste of a successful frag. Zero, one across the column. Can't say a lot about a round like this, can you? No. You can say that I find that fam ass a little spooky. I don't like it. Plenty of eyes looking back at you. Yeah. They follow you across the room as well. Well, we can uh, look at Tonk's knife, his famous, his player cam. Um, Hobbit hiding behind the box. That's kind of, that's something to say, isn't it? Yeah. There he is. No, but seriously, maybe uh, you don't watch a lot of Counter-Strike. And for those of you who do, I'm sorry. You're fed up of me, I know. Uh, me too. But uh, right now, they're allowing the, the round to play through, allow the CTs to limp through the utility, so they have to reinvest it into the next round of play. And hoping there that maybe one. somebody gets a little bit aggressive and they can pick up a free kill. Because right now, on a full eco, they are waiting for the loss bonus to come through into the next, where they will be bringing out the AK-47s. 50 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, and in an ideal world, after you, you've, you've run down the clock, you run into a FAMAS instead of an SMG, which is exactly what they're doing here. Donk will find himself his own 4K and Magic's puts the uh, cherry on top with the 600 buck kill reward. So four for Zontics on the pistol, four for Donk of the easiest variety, unarmored Glocks. We're not giving you those, Donk. I'm taking nope. them off your score. They don't count, young man. Sorry, Zontics, four, Donk zero. Uh, one. He got one on the pistol. Come on now, that's not a replay. Hey, what? Uh, Come on now. Yeah. We ain't highlighting that. Put it in slow mo for you. Shiro has an AWP. He does. Okay, well, let's see if they're going immediately going to be uh, made aware of what they're lacking. And Shiro, he is one of those, as I said, one of those AWPers that, unlike the Nikodos we've seen right, earlier, you got to shit, you got to shit, you know? In that conversation. Just how it is. Salas from the 18 month reset, thank you. Can. Okay, now Magic's, that is there a, was a very aggressive clip. solo maneuver down the ramp with the smoke to allow it. He doesn't force the issue. He's got Shiro in support of him now. This gets You missed the FAMAS 4K from Don? Yeah, yeah, as long as the orb stays Oh, posted. that would have conflicted the fuck out of me. I'm so glad I didn't see that. Are you kidding Crossing me? back should be a death sentence. And it is straight away. Shiro's orb. Okay, so safe to say, see, I lost this one. So I wonder what, what the matchups lack. are after well, that's this. the B prong removed, right? There's nobody now to apply any B lane pressure unless they jump up Tetris. Spots him. Don gets his info. Flash and fall. I'm kidding. Not going to throw that smoke without confirmation of presence. See you later. 20 seconds shaved off of the 50 that remain. We saw how this happened. G213 is three. Good. See, I knew when to turn it off. So, could we back into Shiro's AWP if they test red? As they heard, creep forward heard up Pete, the stairs. Heard Pete, you're making the comeback. Glad to hear it, Running dude. out of time and running Let's out of options. Make sure you're getting on that walking nine. pad, though. Yeah, let's get that ass Next moving, PD. Shiro. Hey, you're doing the advanced qualifier, right? Shiro's not going to react. Electronic tries to bait the shot, does so effectively. But with 20 seconds left, where do you go from here? Cloud9 left wanting. They're walking into the orb. Finally, a trade. Oh, a double from Perfecto keeps us interested. It's Axar with an important frag onto a main, and they're somehow miraculously going to get so this bad. bomb down. Perfecto timing. Could deny. Oh, Hobbit just about gets the bomb down in time. Evades the potential from that push of Chopper. Cloud9 making an impressive last minute. Molly could be good. Not quite. Double elevation. He knows where they both are, but Magic's realizing yeah, it's an unwinnable that back. round. Well played. There's an AWP well played. available if he goes back towards spawn. Maybe Shiro's just piped that little bit of information through. He could be able to scavenge that and get that in the hands, but they're trying to hunt right now. Yeah, you can see Hobbit coming for it. Going to constrict this. No chance for Magic. Ooh. Oh, maybe there is. Yeah. Ooh, Bomb is huge on Ancient. He only has 20 HP, so retrieving the AWP might not be on the uh, docket today. I'll be honest, we don't say this often, but Donk should have traded. Terrorists win. Yeah. Yeah. Donk should have traded. Perfecto won that round. Right? That it was the... Donk should have traded. Oh, couldn't. Famous for a Galil. It's, yeah. it's, an it's, it's, it's an upgrade. Up, it yeah. is an upgrade. Yeah. Just. But uh, that right there, right? It's the sweep out of 
red that was the issue. So Shiro gets one, Donk swings, it goes down as well. Yeah, Perfecto did he did Perfecto hit a banger, but Oh absolutely. But still, Donk, that was a required trade for that round to, to fall in your yeah, favor. Because at that point, Zontix is left with absolutely no choice. Do I stay up tree or do I try and take some space? And he tried to take some space. He got punished while doing so, yeah. but he had a difficult choice to make because then he starts pivoting around. Well he's gonna be open to one angle and that's already forced a timeout from Spirit. Halley, the deep voice. It's a chance to converse with Chopper and the Don boys. Dunk washed already. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, interesting one. There was like a little glimmer of hope on Chopper's donut fight, but by virtue of catching Perfecto just after he threw the molly. This is the shot from Perfecto. Yeah, yeah, really good I'm one. I'm not saying it was easy, but I'm saying that that's a, yeah. either a position where Donk sits back and waits or he makes the trade and was unable to do so. Let's go. Shiro paying a heavy price despite his early contributions. Cloud9 with a very convincing recovered T round. Yeah, that was a 4v5 for the majority of the round. And it's still three of them without a frank. Isn't that impressive? <clears throat> this one with a bit of a different flavor than the last Ancient. There's not the early battling for middle and B lane. Both teams just... I've taken shits that smell better than flum. You sit back. Okay. The CTs have sprung into action and have some information off the back of you get that protein, no dog. What the hell? Next team answer the 53 month reset. Thank you. This man clearly doesn't like eggs. Cloud nine. There's the push highlighted. An off angle from Magic's currently is mid is the biggest issue. As soon as this space is no case, man. In fact, I find it hilarious that you Magic's tried to bait in YouTube the chat immediately got shit on by Madfish. Won't be able to have much support whatsoever. Skill issue, but how do they address it? As a red smoke deployed and now rerouting around the world, back through the murky waters and Boomich has called them back into position. Magic staying forward. I need a couple of kills here, Magics. Yeah, a lot riding on this. He has the advantage of the shadow. Yet to reveal themselves. Here comes a ooh, big one from Boom. Nade might finish him, but he's ahead of it. Pushing into Shiro. That 5-7 will finish the job. Magic started. Hobbit very low. Still yet to see a frag from Hobbit, and it continues thanks to Chopper. A three versus two, though. They have the sight. Donk, quick across. Into ten to long. Ooh, and Perfecto's got him twice. So far in the head to head. <laughs> okay. All right, Perfecto. Perfecto's on one. Uh, just He's on one. Five bullets through the smoke and down. Well, if anyone is uh, going to do it, it is a player of Perfecto's caliber. I think one of the issues I have with the conversation around Cloud9 and the lack of Orpa is they more say what? what it takes away from Dunks the washed, solidness dude. of the type of players they have. Right, when you have somebody it's like not my a fault. I didn't predict this. Up the orb or a Perfecto doing the same, it takes away from how good they can traditionally be. Whereas Boomich, that's where I think it, it feels okay because, well, actually no, because Boomich likes to be an aggressive disruptor of a player on the T side especially, but regardless... As Pim mentioned on the desk, that's a conversation for another time. This is the Cloud9 we have no, now, and this is the Cloud9 that have leveled things you. out 2-2, looking good for the third. Spirit on an eco with an A main push. Oh, don't commit to that spray, or maybe you should, because Axel oh managed Axel. it to perfection. Okay, safe so to say Cloud9 won this, guys. Controls his uh, okay so let's spray. look at the matchups, yeah? Many would fault that, but he controls it. Karash Davai. The only words I know. Have you you saw that uh, overpass clip of the Axel spray? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think he's probably been hitting the DMs. I don't know what happened to Axel. I don't think anybody knows. I don't think Axel even knows. Yeah. A mystery. But pants the stats with four. Well, they've gone insta double door smoke, sorry, B door smoke, and elbow smoke for the defense of this one. Is this just up? It yeah. is. It's Mac 10 and it's charging. A pace change. Defending their honor was Magic's. Oh, fuck. Wait, they actually lost, Hobbit. though. Good one back, Chopper. That was a That's huge good kill, though. One. He's alive and kicking as well. Shiro playing ahead of the molly. Oh, there's a chance here for some real impact. He can deny it with the wall bang. Axel lucky to be alive. Brought low. The USB can finish it. Another bullet connects with 5 HP to spare. Axel alive. Dog! It's dog quick to kick. And now Hobbit. Dead to Zontix. It's going to be Spirit's round. I wasn't even worried. Where it's due. The double from Chopper. He holds fast on the B site. Yeah, that's one of the most horrible positions to find yourself stuck against the rushes behind Dunk's that pillar. Back, right? guys. Can't really Fuck out. all the haters that doubted him. Uh, this game has 102k viewers like already. Like what? Wait, what? I appreciate that. that yeah. And maybe there's a couple of words that would sneak through in uh, Counter-Strike oh, language that we could latch on to.
Dead good game. start from Chopper. Important for him to slow down that assault on towards the B bomb site, but there's more than enough for a spirit bite, and it's going to be the same in terms of the B door smoke, but it's missed. You can see there, not hitting its mark. Goes for an aggressive maneuver, and he's gonna go wide on it. How is no one covering that? Perfecto will be likely mad. But that's come so easily to Chopper. At least Hobbit and now Electronic have found the B defenders. That's 133k on from Dallas. Oh, yeah. Dallas is always like 150 and three fucking of Cloud k. Nine outside his front door. Donk to activate. Buff. Smoke still up. Can't on even imagine what he just had for that three G2 game. By Hobbit. I play with tracers on, I do, yeah. Four, Probably like 180, nine, 200. Remain the case. Yeah, no, the, the collective the total strain. CS viewership is always Stop gnarly, the man. And yes, Boomich this time to catch him. Forced him to look away, avert his gaze, shot, hit. Zontix advancing now for Axel on the cross. He's got Ooh. two. Cloud9, oh. individuals are hitting safe. shots. Sure, what are you looking this could be a full team if it wasn't here. for Perfecto. Empty handed. Hobbit. Not going to find Shiro. He's giving it a look. They, Two they, of them are already hunting, and Shiro's it's still it's battling. It's Shiro. For the they think he's going to save. He doesn't have a kit. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But is one available? Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. I believe that would be J Raz. Still, it's way too far gone now, so Shiro's probably going to lose everything. Just, uh, I guess, hoping to do some more damage or aware that they've already cut him off of the pass. Regardless, Shiro down. Axel. Yeah, I don't know what Shiro's doing him. there, to be honest. And Cloud9 to back into the, the lead. Both Four to my three. Three dead. Now, we need to we kind go. of address the way that Cloud9 are approaching these rounds. And they're going for a heaven smoke. So if a team likes to do the full mid press and they like to really harass B lane through that, it almost negates it immediately. Slim right? with so the if you're going, you're going with for the mid control, you can't jump God up heaven it, unless you want to hate you that smoke. And at that point, on the fade, anything is possible. So by throwing that, it's forcing Spirit into a different setup. And then that has echoes into future rounds. Then do you start playing heavier towards B? Chat, and then five. you don't fortify middle For as much, and then A becomes a little Thank more you. susceptible. This is the second full eco that we've seen from Spirit already. Oh. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's a bit wobbly from Hobbit there. All good. Lost the site, boys. Let's battle on over and see if we can do some damage. Finances, nothing crazy for Cloud9 just yet. So if Spirit can find a couple of kills, that'd be all right. Oops, oh. perfectos, but one into electronics. Unexpected casualty. Oh, no, not the TK. <laughs> Team kills oh, no. the only real problem oh, there. Big smile on his face, no problem. Chan <laughs> adds running in 30 seconds because I'm a fat piece of shit. Heads up. Game it's going to be 90 seconds long. Okay. Total. Three to Wait. five. And I understand we'll do why Ali's taking another timeout because this is the CT side of Ancient. Two rounds in the hole compared to the five of Cloud9 so far. And the guns come out once more. Can they get banned for Team for Kills? Shiro, but last no, time he had no. it, he found the opener. He found a follow-up and they still dropped the round. Cloud9 are doing are a very really good job. This is the no. thing, the T side of Ancient. I don't think the AWP is an integral part my, of it Do my all. viewers count towards the total viewership? Quite yeah. Proficiently without it. In terms of the yeah, type of heads up Jules will be looking for in all versus all, what boosts on the box I don't know to monitor if they do that. long or going A main. Like right so now, we're at like... Uh, without a primary almost AWP. Almost at 6k viewers, which is pretty lit. Across both platforms. Available for a Cloud9 buy if they are to lose this one. Pretty insane to think about, to be honest. You two to be juggled by through Halley's orders. Again, you can see the door smoke being lined up. Mm. Two middle, two B, one A, standard hold. Yeah, no cave smoke this time. Okay, electronic. He tries his I think like off elbow last major fight or the. Will find an I remember I chat the major and for final. I was like around four thousand viewers. You know. To get away with two, and now we're getting that for like group stages, which is pretty so sick. Now a clutch, taking shape. Like, pretty fucking yeah, cool, dude. Catch there. You can see the, the ledge 
left open for business and immediately it's yeah, punished. It's punished. So I appreciate yeah, so you guys uh, watching. If you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to follow. All that good shit. Keep it growing. Not the case. Sub on YouTube. This is where he does his absolute best work is in the clutch. But this isn't a position that he's been able to snatch, right? He's not mid-sight. He doesn't have an opportunity to plan. He has to work his way back in from scratch. And now that the info has been played for, give it up. There are so many eyes bearing down on him. Mm, no fun here. He's going to try and smoke his cross, or at least was considering it a flash instead. Lovely. Clean conversion. I'll be very happy with that one. And uh, yeah, the fact that Zontix and Donk leave with a double as you try and t test their uh, mid, it's probably going to change your game plan. You're not going to want to be ending up back there again. <laughs> Chopper mm. looking up while well, we'll thinking see if they go back and listening literally just like looks like he's like, like I said there was going to be Jesus. enough finances for another buy. Boomer Simric with the gift and stuff to Windows. To go with the uh, so liquor, on thank you very much. Appreciate aggressive. you. Always knew you loved Windows. Might just be a full commit. Red smoke lobbed. Maybe it's just going to be another one of these B rushes. Uh, they're starting, yeah. They are starting 1B. Magix is in a lot of trouble. It's played amazing, but Palm, you played so well yesterday. Sure. Seriously, you must have killed George five times. You must have been so He's mad. Give it up. Maybe. I don't know. I've just been. Well, I'm not up the ramp yet. Chopper's managed to get over my and thing. find the first. Magic's in combination takes down Hobbit. Problems now. Big problems. No one from Cloud9's got anything done. There's only one for Perfecto there. Starting Chopper. 1B. And only losing one player, defending B. Yeah, well responded to, right? You were using the uh, deep position of the death cube just to post up and take some fights while Cloud9 is still worried about Cave and the other positions in the site. So well handled while under pressure, and they've broken the finances of Cloud9 there, just Slayer. at the right time. As an IGL chat, would you find that call landing so flat as a kind of take the wind out of your sails, maybe knock your confidence a bit when you've kind of called something, you feel responsible for it going so sour? I just think considering the type of buy they had available, it's it's just such a all in. I, I and now you're straight into an eco. It's if you only had tech nines or something like that, and it was a half buy, okay, try and use momentum. Yeah, but when you still had a decent buy available, it just feels. Desperate, okay. right? You're trying to clobber them. It's a bit more momentum based, and in a game where you've, you know, been having some success, it, it just feels like it's been thrown away. Spirit with the opportunity to get seven within the half, but five for Cloud Nine already is pretty damn good. <clears throat> they have a hero AK on Hobbit. Who's turned him up? Zontix has been... He's aware, isn't he? So aware. Covered nicely. They have hit some shots that enables Boomish onto Zontix. Bomb plant would have been nice, but not to be. Duncan Shiro making light work of the situation. And down he goes. Ooh, yeah, Spirit getting it nice and comfortable here. A triple kill for Shiro this time. All of their stars nice, nice, nice. having their multi-kill moments this time. Just uh, hoovering up three for Shiro. And it was, you know, a threatening attempt in the sense that Hobbit had the AK-47 with nothing at the end of it. Six to five. True, Hayden, true. Can Cloud9 keep it level into the next half? The Molly Cup, the Cubby. Extinguish and go. Donk needs to get out of there. They're chasing him down. Flash back. Perfect from Zontix. He had that ready to set him up for the fight. Axel only the one. Down they go. A lovely hold from Zontix. Stepping up and just as easy as that. Convincing on their CT side. Oh, man. It was like Do Donk was the bait and Zontix had that flash ready. Whenever Zontix and Donk had, like, heads-up fights available Seven, to five, them where pretty it didn't decent, have to be but thought about too much, they just got to stand like, and bang. I feel like they was owned looking them, right? Even from like the they were going to rally Zontix there. Four kills with the dual Beretta's we'll aggressive see, main. So quite a few rounds can be attested to the uh, Bash Both brothers. Both are content right now. Locking down at Cloud9. But five, still a respectable first half. Seven for Spirit as they switch over to the also, attack. Also, Fum, you're not kidding about being ready to play new last night. I was so ready. PGO Copenhagen Major 2024. Mm. This bumps. Signal that we are getting this one underway. Only one pair of jewel Berettas. Here it is again. That flash perfect electronic just oh. spraying and praying, hoping it was going to be enough. And then Zomtix 
Finishes off what Donk couldn't. Magic's with a nice easy one. Julius for electronic. Couple of flashes, smokes, kit. Three towards B. Donk gonna slip in towards pocket. Chopper outside middle. Zontix dealing with an mm. A push. CT set up. Two players in donut. One red. And two lock down the B play if necessary. So the effect is giving them answers. Bro's so gotta be tired of this out. point. Which I is am surprising tired. that they're still staying two donut. I haven't missed the lift though. Or surprising I haven't missed the, the lift. Still staying. I've red. been playing one, one of the matches. Two, right? Somebody feels like and I won't up. lie, I've been a little late for these co streams. Although I was only like, only missed like You're two rounds today. And Boomich and Hobbit. Or getting it done. Although I am going to fucking pass the fuck the out today, dude. Arrived. Holy. No. <laughs> Hate was like, you guys are a practice, bro. I was like, go fuck yourself. For the fight. I'll have a look. It does catch Chopper. Oh, it's like, hell no, dude. Here. Some support from the ledge. And actually, Chopper bailed himself chill. out of trouble. We'll go down after one. And I was one. fucking yeah, sick to start all this the bullshit, was, bro. Done. Oh. Yeah, and Hobbit has an opportunity. Oh. What a second shot onto Magic. Damn, the second one, though. He has his moments, does Hobbit. And he set them up for success now. Kit on boom with a smoke as well. The retake package is perfect. Shearer is going to be hard pressed to stop him. Low oh. HP on the defuse though. Maybe that's enough. Maybe that's wait, enough wait. for the clutch of Zontix. Running him down. Audible Boomich needs this chance. He's got the timing. Oh. And he's going to oh. take it. Boomich oh. with 9 HP well secures it for Cloud9. Honestly, you can see so Zontix so well scared him, that he was just sticking the defuse. It didn't matter, Kit or not. Just think he's lost him in the source, lost him in the smoke. Zontix starts spamming at what could have been a massive one on three. Boomich pulls it off. Yeah, it's really smart. I mean, if he's got a smoke, he's got a kit. It's a likely assumption. Oh, yeah, Zontix, understandably feeling the pressure of that one. So loud about it. Boomich has to hit this shot, though. Otherwise, it's an immediate flick from Zontix. If he doesn't nail the head. I think it was out of ammo. Oh, yeah, he did swap to his knife, right? didn't he? Because he, he had to Touché. use a lot of bullets to deal with those players over towards the long side to even draw it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. But the oh. plan's through. The buy's there. Hell, yeah, man. Go get it, dude. That's a big one from Boom. He's only got four frags, but that one has given him the leg up. Interesting scenes, interesting indeed. Donk on an AK-47 regardless. Maverick, don't talk in. You feel like an A walk when you're upgraded into rifles. Contact I'm the world of Imperial BVP. So let's As see if I Cloud9 said, account for this. Quite a few times now, like... Redeploy Imperial is scary because they Three really do look like a good team. For their defense. It's Axel with... They are not lot on his plate over towards main. Furia winning off the fruits of fucking case work, the dude, and they're not. Yeah, they're not they're, they're just a really and big Uzera, right? Is only going to take pain so far. Being lined up, in my opinion, get that bomb out of his hands. But Imperial impressed me, man. In in the now, donk. not in the RMRs because it was hard to us? really see what they were doing, like because they just won so convincingly. It's hard to see what teams are made of. Does identify but in the, in the opening stage, I feel like I was actually seeing down. a really good team. But they are congregated in main as well. Rotating now at Cloud9, they've just I, left I didn't put them going through, but I definitely saw people putting them 0-3 and was very confused. The donut smoke. One from Axile, but the rest fall. One more on the site. I was Rotation very, very, very temple. confused. Plant will go down. Oh, actually landed it. Forced him off of the plan. Boomich, yeah, makes a meal of that on I think people Shiro. tend to boost up teams more where there's strong individual performances because it's easier to latch on. Spirit of handled business. Dude, into this wow, one. Big Uzer is playing so well. Pain looked great. But Imperial, it, it's. Job done. It's not yeah, as sexy like that, leave, right? It's not as. Uh, upgrade away from the MP9. There's players playing sure well, but it's not the the that, like the focused CTs. around one player You're as much. You're going to get the mid loss bonus next round. You guys actually need to hold on to what you have. So trying to punish, decent damage done, but Chopper will be able to get away. Uh, I'm worried if I'm Hobbit because they've cut you off. It's rotation around the world. Shiro coming through the B site. Perfecto might be the one to be copping the bullet in the back of the head. Bomb goes off. Perfecto and Hobbit touched by the bomb and the hunt. Yes, Donk will <laughs> remove it. So just one gun saved. The better of the two, Hobbit with an A1S. 
Cloud no, nine. No way has been. No way I heard had a phenomenal map. We didn't in. watch the game because I'm not sure. What I was really not going to watch VP like Imperial on Inferno four, chat. We have very very light but, on. Finances but in general, available. like I'm just uh, saying, like you've had, you've seen. Uh, it's really tough have to come crazy up with an idea in a round like this of, of individual you, games. Like they've all played their part. And those high eyes of Boomich is clutching the pistol. Immediately comes oh tumbling God, back God. down to reality. The God, I just streamed for four hours without coffee. On the microphone as well. Look Can at I get the five uh, intensity of his gaze. You wonder how, how high level of a uh, chess game it is that they're playing between one another. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, did it. Although the, we're breaking that we now, have, I'm getting the coffee now. The God bless. We watch the demos, and we can see what the teams like to do. But when it comes to the head-to-head -head and what tendencies they look for, I have what a caffeine addiction. To try you know how hard that is. Exploit, <laughs> that's a whole different game, right? We're, we're essentially doing a bunch of patchwork. When you're actually we just torched because you're fucking burning yeah, well, at both ends. Though. One aggressive middle. That's the CT start. Oh, an interesting start. It seems to be at the moment the right call. Two ahead of the molly. Chip damage land square on the jaw. Dog down with empty handed. It's a boomage double That's with ridiculous. just a CZ. How has that gone down? How does That's that That's the five gifted. Nice fucking now. cock. Thank Chomping you. Thank you. Thank you. To get this one converted. This would change the dynamic of the entire half. I will say, watching this Yoink. game, it so fucks with me a little Crash bit when I see Shiro because I think he's for Cloud9. Shiro still. gives him quick spray more where that came from though electronic next victim shiro racking him up chopper tries like, to finish only, him up only this matchup is weird down. for me Boomage doing it all here triple kill from the igl like when he's in another game all good but like when well, literally well, c9's he, in the game it's Boomage hard not to could still be think the ice. he certainly could be chad four kills he was on four doubling Big, his kill total juicy in a round they really Boomage. didn't have too much of a leg up in single save rifle some pistols around it and a cz double onto two of the hardest hitters of team spirit down goes hobbit oh, one on one. it has to be the ace now it has to be the clutch and up against zontix again his rival from that pistol one on one they lock horns once more round 15 now the pressure's on zontix bomb on his back with 25. I think he has to finish towards B unless he starts okay, high now through mid to donut. No, he makes the same thing every day, and um, I don't know if I'll ever change. Didn't so hear the iced Americano, so but the bomb she should go down. Press it like a drop. Cuban coffee. So Smoke, she takes brown Gumich sugar and then edge to be able to rotate presses in it on the espresso quicker. puck and then pulls. Head to head. Oh, Zontix oh. is actually anticipating this play. Boomich is not ready for this. Oh, and Zontix, he takes him down. A bit wow, of a dude, you know that's got a sting for Boomich, man. everything right. His teammates couldn't even give him one to work with. It was four in that round. That's the bigger frustration and one that would just settle in moments after losing the clutch if you're Boomich. It's like, I just got four kills. I, I, the first two with the CZ. I don't even know how I got away with that, but I did. Boys, I just needed one to help drink. us get Got over the line. Look at Groove, straight on the mic. Same, a lot to say. Back-to-back -back timeouts. I'm thinking about the, the killers that Shiro found. They felt quite but pedestrian. But also, I like, like ice because it paces me out. And he was isolated. Yeah. He was I love very espresso, isolated, dude. Right? I can... There was the smoke doors. Chopper I'm was the trying to help. He was like, after hey, I'm here. Nice I'm shooting. Like, don't, don't just go for Shiro. Still picking up a couple. It's fucking like two hours before I want to go to bed. And I'm ripping a double of espresso just straight. And I just love how it tastes. pushing in front of that Smoke like, I'm doing straight. it for the back flavor, not even one. the caffeine, dude. But he said he doesn't like, feel nervous. Oh, yeah. And, I gotta... And, uh, he's given us more the evidence ice to and back the, that up. Just the way that he can... Ice and the water in the Americano. Sure some people I don't like do it yeah. to right. dilute the espresso taste. Yeah. I do it to slow me down. hearing him say that and just like, yeah, nah, it's all good. Yeah, so everything's fine. Just I gotta be careful. You know what I mean? man. Well, clutches like that will put hair on your chest. Yeah, well, uh, let's see how many magics can I drink decaf. No, I don't have, I don't do that regularly, Chad. I'm saying that's just Farmer the type magics, of, like, they call him. I used to do that a lot Farmer more. by day, butcher by night. Oh, yes, indeed. And I don't have caffeine after 3 p.m. anymore, but. Oh, I bet the atmosphere in Cloud9 has been soured after. I would do when that sometimes. It hits so nice. Spirit are up to 10, three rounds on the trot after winning the pistol, after having a 1v1. In the and bro, third, be quiet so we can hear the, the stream. Bro, there's away, a main stream where I'm not ego, yapping at all, and you can just spam. click out of the X well, and just not type the about three it. You know? front runners, right? We mentioned helps. Vitality. We mentioned Faith. Right, like, thanks to the 44 month primer. Thank you. Best of one openers. Mm -hmm. They just Top literally ran it down being got a bunch of eco kills. Sorry, we didn't talk about it. They're quote unquote cold in our 
timeout uh, maths. Well, uh, G2. Motherfuckers G2 really just old as fuck, but yeah, actually young as hell, doing the same thing all the old people do, yelling at the radio. Change the channel, dumbass. Let's see. Do we have many rounds left in Ancient? Stop your fucking complaining. and let me yap. Yeah, thank round, you. The elimination stage. Shiro's orb train flash and <gasps> no fire. The double Ooh. kill. It's there for Axile. He controls oh, the spray shit. again, Chad. He will get run down, but donk down straight Axel away to the flame. Three, Tell man. the bait. Four on two. I will say Axile's looked way better this fucking major. Not, not old Axile still, but... All that juggling. Yeah, a bit of a uh, trash man right now is Chopper, making sure not too much is left over. Want to save the orb for Shiro if they can. What up, Jazz? But that was great from Axel. Please, and sure, please, 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 please Japanese. But still made the most of that alley -oop with the flash. One hell of a flash, right? Uh, the, the, the two threats white screen for three seconds like you had no problem it felt like cloud on had a good idea it was giving me an a play as well because once you saw donk just desperately try and push through to find the trades there were so many blue dots that were already up close and personal are they giving this a look i wouldn't think so but i've been wrong before yeah. i'll definitely be wrong again <laughs> four of them have got plenty in the coffers could imagine if they won this uh, i don't think boomich is interested in uh, considering that but imagine. Yeah. Magic. He's good for the orb shot. Activate one. Boomich will close. Boomich has bailed him out. Could have got awkward. Could have gone really awkward with Perfecto hey, Electronics. Thanks for the gift so of the Lonely Spunk. Thank you. That would have been a plant and a 2v2 retake that I would have probably backed Spirit in. Dark Horse for the so playoffs. Far off of making a round out of that. To well, make playoffs or to do well in playoffs. So Perfecto wielding that. Third I guess maybe at this stage, just Spirit. who Ali is the Dark Horse is to make playoffs. Aware that the finances will be run through after I think a round right like now, this, wanting to make sure that they stay out of hot water. Teams that are Keep scary out. So let's just say not Spirit, not Phase, not Vitality, because I've Mouse kind of just said that those are the... Miles a minute. Next up is probably like Mouse is pretty scary as both a team. Teams, AWPs, both they teams, AWPs. They struggle in playoffs, so all the YouTube, all the goods. not really a Dark Horse, but... It's weird because some of the names that I think are Dark Horses are large name orcs, right? Yeah, lovely. I think Thanks Heroic right, is scary right, right now. Flames. Finished him off. Um, I really do oh, believe... Now, 10 kills after only three within the first half. I've had so much copium that known. Elise's level is so insanely high right now and consistent that anything can happen with the complexity roster because it actually just requires one of them to start playing the game again for a good measure not not even to a new level just a level that they previously showed steps up to the plate for the fight magics gets away undetected that's that's it's like you know what i mean it's they literally have such a open right now but they have one piece of their team working so well that if any other piece decides to finally show up they stalled out they can beat anyone the harassing spam of donk i'm not saying that will happen but i think that's a very scary team for anybody to run into uh sir sam squanch thank you so much for your fucking five 10 gifted can we get some nice ones in chat for sir a silent retreat from electronic now dealing with a 50 seconds left on the clock spirit haven't really done anything so far but are now working on b lane control and late middle so late mid utility uh cut out molly a red smoke uh, i think he was looking i think i think he's looking for the reverse boost shiro into a shot 35 though Pressure onto Team Spirit mm. mounting. Have enough three for on the execute. Uh, you see this? There's only one incendiary on Axile, so this uh, three they on A defense convinced. is going to be in the wrong place. Hobbit and Boom with a lot to do. Smokes will land. Full 5v5 retake. Boosting. Flash and erecting the boost. Oh, they were noisy on it. Yeah, they were. And you'll start you spamming twice about it. Very with these. cautious. As we're gonna have a I don't think he can. I don't think that retake. works anymore in two at all. I think that only works in go. Maybe I'm wrong, but engagement is Hobbit with a necessary trade. Double on cave. All coming in from the death side. 
on speed. Oh, some of them it works. I got That's you. a big one back. Just trading blows. It's Axel who tips the scales Man, in Axel favor again. of Cloud9. Need another from Electronic. He overlooks the position. This double cave setup has paid off. There's no time for this one on Perfecto. He has to just get out. He's going to be run down. Donk's got his Perfecto number and 11 man. for Spirit. Right. Only a couple of seconds left when they get into Editor the starting cut that to me down. saying that Good if nobody out of the can opt and output it, they the same as here, they will just lose. Nice. Thank you. Puts them in a position to close. <clears throat> Cloud9, money in the bin. Couple of them could go for some. Perfecto op and why? Because C9 Perfecto doesn't need an opera. They just, every single map, one of them opts. It looks like they will... Actually going for lighter weaponry to facilitate utility, but yeah, five on five B site execute wild scenes, and it's really that one, isn't it? Yeah. Electronic so glued on trying to hunt down Shiro. It's Donkey should have been worried about. Cloud9, you don't win this. It's essentially the game. Sir Sam Swan, you thank you again back. very uh, much for the 10 gifts. Another one of those Appreciate crazy. It. Thank you, thank you, thank easy you. Easy starts. Feels like Spirit have just kind of whittled Cloud9 uh, down. Yeah, Corey. I mean, it's hard to say, Corey G, just because a lot of things were working That's for wrong. me before I even got the one. Oh, oh, so it just kind of goes down amplifies. to the Galil. It's already falling apart. I'll be able to get it back. Interesting call. Cool. What do you yes. make of this? Well, they're going to have info as soon as, yeah, now. Right now, it's already yeah, I mean, they could but, be behind the doors, so I'll acknowledge, but. They still could be back here. They all the way back. It's not like they are rotating so much as they're okay. anticipating a re-clear. But this bad info. Look at this. They're all rotating away. The bomb ah. is just waiting outside of the door. Yeah, they're so just they holding. For the mid control, right? Get the. Uh, oh wow! Molly, this is actually smoke. so sick from Spirit, bro. And that is the red smoke. Bro, you, you take much. cat control early. Oops. You brawl, then you walk back and let them re-clear, and then you just hold. They're just going to a default. Just the same job. This is like default squared right now. For it, though. Such, that is literally this spot, is <laughs> a low wolf up against if they five. clear this oh my He's god magic call out the bomb spotted need another if you really got it in he takes half health onto dog oh they will my. start to exec into b and it's Bro. wide open it's wide open chad do you even give this a look oh in? they missed right oh you're saving what uh, one m4 at least hobbit should try and hold on to that for the final round to defend their honor it's amiga 2400 bucks what up, Phoenix? Good morning, dude. Looks like they will be falling short for the first round of the elimination stage. And look, Axel, we can critique him, but he's had a decent showing. 17 kills for him. Don't the miss. only one else in the double digits Don't has been Boomit. Perfecto started strong. He snuffed Donk out in a couple of consecutive rounds. Play Diamond's came in. There has been a conversation the about Donk Thank and you. Zontix, the two of them at the tippy top of the scoreboard, and Shiro. On 16. Oh, so the three. <laughs> who are the star power for this. <laughs> I was roster. like, dude, I didn't miss. Using the power of the year of the dragon. And getting themselves up to 12. How am I picking this right, well, again? Everybody, I'm sure, is Face standing by, lost, eagerly but, waiting to see what the next round of matchups are going to be. Uh, but I'm not like. This, I'm going to call it. I'm going to. Uh, I, I, I didn't down. know who else to oh, put in the 3 0, dude. Break this down. Oh, right. And then they're going to uh, have the results come through and talk about the next round of matchups. So don't go anywhere after this one ends. You want to be glued to your screens, waiting to see what the 1 0 and 0 1 matchups for the elimination stage are going to bring you. We got Richard, Pimp, and Blair to break down all the action. Let's see. Maybe I'm a little bit too far ahead of myself. Cloud9, final round. Good nature damage. They run boost across, so Perfecto's there quickly. Leaving A completely open again. He's yet to be punished. Sorry, chat. Somebody just came over. Silence Doggos were just alerting map. the squadron. They've got full B lane control. A resmoke mid will slow them down further. The problem is they're just trying to hold them at the door, but uh, Spirit don't care. They've already operated late within the rounds anyway. It's like, yeah, take B lane control, use all your nades mid, up, chemical and then we'll come in late. We'll smoke off red, we'll molly out the choke points, and we'll just clean house. The biggest bonus for Cloud9 right now is there's two to three players in quick response of A, potentially. They know it's not B, they've got the full press. And here comes Donk, you can hear him coming. And he's actually gone down to Perfecto, his chopper that sweeps a double under the rug. It seems like Cloud9, their hopes 
We're seeing another round of play. Dwindling, Shiro got a nice shot. Puts it all onto Boom. Shiro can finish it. Ooh, he lands a tag onto him further. Chopper maybe going to be overlooked. Yep, back is turned, and Spirit will do it. A convincing one to start off here in Copenhagen. All right. Ancient, no less. Cloud9, humble. Spirit handles their business. To the looked a little state. spooky yeah, there for a moment, but... Spirit starting the major Holly campaign just with just a victory. Run around the, the map and do whatever the fuck he wants. For the of Donk and Zontix and their first like, victory at once. So this is... The showing that I think many as fans out there were hoping for. Team where Remember another what I just opera said, has kind of the output. Break it, this kind of output. And then we'll be bringing you all the matchups for the next round. What is going to be 1 0? What is going to be 0 1? Well, let's send it over to Richard to break it all down. I don't know. I haven't Thanks really so been hopping uh, at all. Okay, well, so I don't we got know. one. Uh, game but every time I see it, it feels a little weird. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can even see as well, by the way, how easy that was for Spirit. How Spirit just the reactions at the end. There's no screams, nothing. It was just, yeah, look, we. It's the game we're meant to win. That's kind of what we expected, right? Coming yeah. into this matchup, Spirit yeah. being the better team. You know, we talked about the AWP presence of Shiro obviously being on the server. He showed up in a couple of. Just seeing. Do we have a game going on right now? No. Okay. So, wait, do we have the major matchups now? One sec. We should, right? Yeah, round one. Legends. Okay. So, yeah, we're all set. Spirit Imperial. Dude, you know what's funny is yesterday, Vinny didn't know he played today, chat, because pre every previous major, there's always a slight break. And he was like, yeah, we don't play tomorrow, right? A couple days. And then <laughs> and he was like, ah, fuck it. We play tomorrow. Okay, I'm down for whatever. He's like, fuck it. Let's just play whoever. Let's play Spirit. I'm down to play versus Donk. And now he gets to play versus... Dunk. Why does it always happen when somebody says, fuck it, I'm down to play Donk? They immediately have to play Donk. It's like, God's just like, oh, yeah? Are you sure you want to play versus him? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Mouse versus Eternal Fire. Cole versus Heroic. Navi versus... D Man, these are some great matchups. The O one. one Phase versus Fury could be, you know, as fun. Fury is going to give Phase a game because nothing makes sense anymore. But, like, because of that, it makes total sense. They literally fuck up, like, everything all the time. But now that they're supposed to get blown out of the water, they'll make a game. I don't know if they'll win, but they'll definitely make a game of it. I could, I, I, I'm telling you now, dude, this is... Yeah, still. So sec this is the second round of BO1s coming up, chat. We're still waiting for them to figure it all out on HLTV, but yeah. I want to give it up for Team Spirit and say yeah. that that was a great performance from one of the best teams in the world coming into the tournament. Mm -hmm. I also think this game was a realistic measurement of the strength between the two teams. Mm -hmm. I think we expect Team Spirit to be a team that can go all the way into the grand final, potentially even win the major. And I think if you asked everyone in this building, most people probably don't have Cloud9 going into the playoff with the way things are right That's now. Right. So okay. in terms of the scoreboard, in terms of how the game played out, maybe we just got a game that made an awful lot of sense. And here he is. You gotta be seeing this guy's picture a lot at home. Just get you. <laughs> do it it is the donk show it's always the donk show you know at the what moment. That, that pisses me off a little bit because i did say you know he didn't have a, a standout game or a game where he blew up the mm. server but a normal game for donk where he's not blowing up the server is a hundred plus adr yeah. that's how Wild good he is it? right now that's how he's made the standard for himself look like this famas spray as well ridiculous to control the famas like that he's always in your face always going for the duel yes. and you can always count on him to make a play and i love that sometimes when you find yourself down in a 3v3 and a 3v4 donk will find a way to put you back the Fucking glazing is wild. It's not glazing, bro. He's fucking I mean, shitting on everyone. What do you mean? Because a man has absolutely no fear, right? Just running on in straight up. They're literally just deal. saying and what he's doing. Four rounds that are able to accrue on the CT side for a spirit. Because again, reminding our viewers, it was five three. He's not wrong. Nine. That they that performance look, didn't play scared. I meant, it you might see, even be uh, under his average. It was, uh, it was Donk and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Zontix towards mid, just taking those deals and yeah. just heads up. We're gonna outdo you. We're so not gonna be just simple when he's the best player in the world. I think posted the highest rating. 
million ever chat agree with you. for the it's year at 1.25. Okay Let me see where Dong's at. Top fracking in the server. That's it was 1.25 right, well, for the year. I want one. you to look so at this. Let's take a look at the results from the secondary stream. We'll talk a little bit about these guys. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, obviously we've had some interesting matchups today. Like it's just, it's just. Uh, I'm trying to think. We you guys one don't of them understand. It's literally not. That is his average, guys. You and you can see right there at the top, Navi. 13-10. Not a dominant this performance there. This is his there, average. On. Well, to be fair, I think uh, Mongols Do you completely realize cracked how better fucking the very end over there. This, and this, is. Is, this has been a trend I've been seeing with this team he's every time they're going up against uh, you know, a top 10, a top every round. team, so to speak, where they have them kind of on the edge. It's a 9-10. It's an intense situation. Sure. And then some of the decision-making, double lopsider coming out, Senzu completely crapping the bed as well. Uh, some issues which needed to be fixed, but that like, being said, just... I think Navi did a pretty good job. JL woke up and shut it out, but those other results, man, like it's BFB. Like, what happened there? Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's the big one. No, it's just was like, great. people are like, the glazing is like, bro, it's not even glazing. Like, this, shit, game VP this is was literally something we still have not server. seen before. I think a lot of people have VP as uh, a dark horse, potentially, to, to make a lot of upsets at this major. So for them to lose that you know, best of one against Imperial, we're still Imperial, relatively who, early, but let me see, what are you posting now? Not in that fashion as well. To me, the biggest surprise of the day. I think it was like one of those two rounds in a row or something. They just ran over So his average is 1.54. It's not like they were just getting outplayed. They were also making so many uncharacteristic <laughs> mistakes. You, you might say a lot. That was about a below people, average game for him. Too many mistakes. In no. fact, they play so safe that the bloody <laughs> that literally the lowered his rating. This was, uh, some very curious <laughs> plays being made by the individuals on the team. And just quickly, because I like to leave it all out there, you know, when we're doing these broadcasts. <laughs> I have this recurring nightmare. You ever drop 100 ADR and it lowers major, your stats? It's like, you know, the, the crowd are all chanting Hooksy's <laughs> name, and then he just holds up the trophy. <laughs> oh, and all about my dude, major it's today, like... <laughs> my life's just over. So, Prepare for it. Very sad to see I'm like glazing, you know. We throw that term around a lot, and I get it. It can be exhausting sometimes, but dude, I still just don't think people like. Nightmare was taken Grasp over there. It. Uh, yeah. Team Spirit like, Cloud9, we just saw. Uh, we know that uh, Heroic did beat FaZe Clan, score that not there at the moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, the real surprise was the Eternal Fire Vitality <laughs> one, I think. Eternal Fire getting a win over z -Woo's Like, I know sometimes people saw. have to, like, build storylines and we kind of get that's gonna put exhausted of it, right? We get, like, you know, position. like, we get it, he's like, good. But with Donk right now, he's genuinely playing at a level that has never been seen before in, in any version of CS yes, it does suck and he's peaking in ways that nobody's well, come close and he just started in that 01 game it's gonna suck more for me than it is for them I just he just to started repeat of Paris Richard and he's, he's doing it in a role done, that nobody you know has what, in the past it's a, rifle it's a bit of a rude awakening right if you compare them to other riflers it's hilarious right wake up and I think we're gonna be seeing a Zywu and a vitality activate I think we're gonna be seeing absolutely getting pissed off and being like all right no more losing we're gonna win it's gonna be okay yeah you just have to get there that's the key part so it doesn't really matter how you do it at the end of the day uh these are going to be the games that we've got coming up for you now this is going to be over on the secondary Pink Nico is pretty scary uh, so Pink Nico peaked it <clears throat> Donks beat Furia. his peak with I mean, more you know, maps Faze played at Katowice and then he immediately one. didn't perform so to even be here. not poorly Looked he didn't perform poorly but he was like a 1.2 Cloud9 versus Ecstatic a 1.15 incredible still incredible Ecstatic Remember, they should have won that, is that not one. A they could have beat Cloud9. It really hinged on one round. And it was the best it's one just, as well. It's yes, a exactly. whole nother level. So it really is. Interesting to see. I wonder if Ecstatic are going to maybe make a correction. Mm -hmm. Virtus Pro versus Pain Gaming. Virtus Pro not having a great time against Brazilian opponents yep. in their first game. So that's one. definitely one to watch. And Vitality Mongols. So again, Blair, uh, we're talking about you guys. Uh, I, I actually going to make me wait that long? I feel real bad <laughs> for that because, listen, I'll tell you something. Zaiwu's not going to be taking it easy on them. Neither are Sphinx and flames but yeah uh, at least for vitality it's a it's a it's an easier opponent so to speak so maybe they can kind of wake up there obviously it's a rude awakening for for furry as well they went 0-2 in the opening stage fought their way back we saw them win yesterday they were happy we talked to Guri. oh no they have one kids for them. They they, were we literally about go all the way back then, yeah. for the playoff and now they find themselves in an 0-1 situation going up against face clan it's a, a rude start to the day for for furry once more yeah um and obviously we've got more games uh coming gonna be on the mainstream these uh, we won't even well we'll be in the building but we won't be on sure. 
sure. Dazzle we'll Ball. be watching. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we will be watching them. Um, so they're going to be with us now. There we go. There we go. Uh, right. Uh, and you I'll can see we're going to about like Team Spirit minutes. to play Imperium based on what we've just seen. Which sucks a little Probably bit. Probably comfortable favorites for that like one. The, but then it gets they give a little, a little bit of a break because now teams can at least go look at like a little bit, prep a little bit. Was it Furia being bad? Was it G2 being legit? I think it was both kind of actually. But this is the real test, right? Because Navi definitely did wake up. It was a closer affair against the Mongols. Glory to you with the 40 month reset. Thank you. Appreciate you. I think the clear favorites here has to be heroic. They looked great today. They mm -hmm. had to lose a, a match of this major. They went 3 0 in the opening yes. stage. They yep. won the first game right here. Now they're going up against complexity in a best of one. I agree. Heroic on paper right now are my favorites to win that one. Again, Mouse versus Eternal Fire as well. We saw the building in That's Turkey, spicy. you know, with the, was it the cinema where everyone went absolutely crazy when they yes. first That is first such game. a cool thing, man. That is such a cool setting as yeah. well. Going up against Mouse, who looked a little bit shell shocked against the static in that first game by no yeah, means. Perfect. They had to play a lot harder than they would have wanted. Listen, that's a perfect opportunity for Eternal Fire to go 2-0 and give themselves a really, really good shot at making the playoff. Which game. would be historic for yeah. Turkish Counter-Strike. Yeah, yes, yeah, and again, you know, we've talked about you know, how they've been having so much better. ventilation problems. Oh, Started yeah. today, there was none of that. I None mean, of that, no you know, they had to dig deep to beat Vitality and they found it, so. it, it. In fact, I was even more impressed because, you know, you go to that 1v2 from, from Major where he we, we kind of feel like he got a little cs toot a little bit there, missing mm. the shot. And even when mm -hmm. that comeback happened from Vitality, they didn't waver. Yeah. That, that, that mental strength, it was rock solid. And once that happens, I have to echo what Zantara said, is that when we are all playing 100% with no mental you know, weaknesses whatsoever, we're one of the best teams out there. And I think they're proving it here. Yeah, so a lot of surprises and upsets potentially to come. But here's something that isn't surprising. It is my love of this plate. Oh. And we've mm. got another one again. Let's get it, this Richard. is actually, this is fire. Colorful. Yeah, Bro, that actually looks like nice. That's much it, it, It's like some like Sakura. But anyway, for those who don't know, and if you just tune I in. Like the image. This play like also sponsoring us at the Major. And by the way, every time I hold one of these up, there's a million memes made of them. Some of them not fit for broadcast, to be honest <laughs> with you, but whatever. Uh, and you can go to displate.com uh, slash PGL. If you buy one or two, you get 22% off, three or more, 33% How much does it pay PGL for this? And Hopefully it's super easy them, amount, man. obviously, all using magnets. And it's not just the official, you know, CS artwork. Uh, they've got, like, two, over 200 different kinds of artwork from movies and mm. books. And but magnets. Yeah. Hopefully they paid them a fuck ton. Well, hopefully I, I they're happy with what PGL is doing. Need to get a, what is it? Insane. You don't know how I'm meant to be. I for one welcome more and all sponsors in the scene. I have one. It's just a James Banks in my living room. And he's just as as not <laughs> looking down on me. And I pray to the patron saint of eSports. So say James Banks save me. So anyway, do support them for their support in the major. And for now, we're going to go to a break, guys. As always, it's been a pleasure working with you through the day. When we do come back to the desk, I won't be here. It's going to be shocks maniac and moses so you will get their thoughts and we'll i hope we'll see you tomorrow but don't go too far bye mm. level I buy one? gaming space okay i would like to have a bunch of shit for behind displays. me like right paint more displays in seconds swap them whenever you like get official art from your favorite games bye, Richard. On a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is mm -hmm. here. Ivan, thank Shop you for continuing your gifts and stuff we got from Summer. Thank you, man. And Gloria, you still smell like shit. You ain't getting your money back, idiot. You weren't able to bring that neon sign back, were you? Uh, no, I haven't. It's, there's a shelf with a bunch of cool shit right behind the webcam. I used to have it behind me. No, I brought it back. The world is changing, but one thing. The really guys the that gave me the Vicky's LED sign of my name in Cologne, they made sure that the battery could actually go through security. It was like a small enough battery. New additions to the XL series. Both are using fast TN panels and newly upgraded DIAC2 technology. Fast Hang it back up. Panel with it's just its tough, guys, because it's, it's time, only works with that battery. So, like, I gotta have like a cord. Flashbang attacks for IPS like, panel. More overdrive to the battery. You know what I mean? Enhance response speed, leading so to that's a little bit blurring too based. due to the panel's inability to handle the load. These new monitors integrate new dynamic accuracy technology, DIAC2, 
The upgraded dual backlight design no, that's what I do, Mocha. FPS Usually. players with clearer visuals at dynamic aiming and spray control, but are also more friendly to your eyes. Moreover, built in the monitor panel. I don't go get a shelf. No, 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 we don't necessarily need a shelf. Doesn't require any sync with PCs, ensuring no impact on game performance. Excel like a standard USB one, Morty. Auto game it's like feature. a travel Besides battery. Download, save, share your settings. You know what I'm saying? Auto apply different it's the only way they could put it on, on there without scenarios. it getting fucked up with security. Outlook of the latest monitors are refreshed. It has incorporated industrial grade bearings into the height adjustment mechanism, allowing easier and smoother adjustment to the exact desired height. Chat, we've already watched four miles today, W. The new monitor series continue to evolve, refining details to ensure players can perform their best consistently in games. I don't know, Will. I, I actually kind of despise the AI reading. Of the new XL monitor. It's fucking exhausting. Us if you have any questions. It just sounds like somebody subliminally trying to pump a fucking ad into my brain. I mean, I know that's what they're doing, but now I'm actively aware of it. It's popular, it's loud. And this is Asone's commercial. But Asone spent all the money to make the headphones good. And they got no money Give me this. The Just make Launder's AI. Fuck it. Someone needs you to head to Asone IO. A C E Z O N E. Yo. Code PGL. 50 euros off. We got some headphones. Hey, Balance. I appreciate you. Thanks for showing up now each time, man. Sex sells, baby. It's your favorite ad, chat. You never knew they could sexualize a chair like this before, but now you do. You're welcome. Paulus of the 14 month primer, thank you. Becoming a professional Counter-Strike player certainly isn't easy and everyone's got their own journey and how they go on it Why would you so change your chair out at this point, bro? It's a meme. It probably it? works better than the ever Where did you grow up in Romania? Were you always from Bucharest? I was born in Bucharest no. But then uh, around six or seven mm -hmm. I moved outside of Bucharest, but not for a long time like I think I came back around 12 or 13 because of the high school because we didn't have like better schools wherever wherever we moved yeah for you though where say school times were you a very competitive person like not just gaming i mean like normal sports in school yeah oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> my favorite thing was was fighting sports oh really and okay I, what sports football basically football yeah so my thanks for the gift so to my mods alt account Kinda actually nice. your first time of playing video games of any sort how old were you then i mean i think my first game ever was halo 2 Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Hello my to parents base. bought me a PC and then it was from someone else. Mm -hmm. And then they had Halo 2 in the PC and I was like, oh, let, let's nice. try it. <laughs> and I actually liked it. How old were you? Pizza thanks like, the 32 oh, month recent, thank you. 10. I'm not 10. sure, yes. Okay. 9, 10, 11, somewhere there. When did you get into Counter-Strike? I remember that I was in school. Some of my colleagues was playing uh, 1.6. Nice. I'm matching all gifts. And then I was starting to play 1.6. On Twitch and, and YouTube. Thank you. I'm not sure if it was the same guy or someone else that played CSGO. CSGO was already out. Mm -hmm. And I started to play CSGO around 2013 in the middle of the year or okay. something like this. Was this a home PC you were playing on or did you play home the internet cafe? No, okay, PC. nice. Did you have a good PC at home? Mm, nah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Like I have an interesting story, like I was playing for Nexus with mm -hmm. 100 FPS and I was playing in rank S back in the days yeah. with 100 FPS. I won the first place and that's how I bought my new PC. <laughs> well, that's good. That was a good investment, right? Invest in your future. Okay, so you start in 2013, but you didn't join Nexus till 2018, right? Something like this, yes. What what happened in this time between? Like, did you just play matchmaking with friends? Then, I mean, I, I was playing matchmaking a lot. Mm -hmm. Young thanks to the one. Thank you. I started to play Face It around, I don't know, something in the middle there. So how did you find Face It though? How did you go from matchmaking to Face It? Probably like everyone, just a random guy in TeamSpeak or it, it was TeamSpeak for sure, not Discord. <laughs> uh, saying, ah, oh, let's play that tournament on Face It. And okay. then we played the tournament of Face It, and then we see that there is a matchmaking on Face It, and we played there as well. What did your parents think though when you start to put so much time into Counter Strike? 
they didn't have any problems okay because we 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 had like a rule that it was not a rule basically like you can play you can do whatever you want but you don't miss classes no okay i was never missing a class not even religion or something like this really you just went all classes full like so you were good boy the one gift to thank like, you was it always come home play school and then counter strike okay pretty yeah. much yes did you have some teams that you played in with these guys yes i had like a, a team I, it was called vamavec we're just playing tournaments we're losing every time 16-1 16-2 but we're just playing we didn't like go up together but we, we made like eight nine until it's level 10 together so it was okay good. so you grind it out yes you were learning the competitive side so we had a hub in Romania, a hub for only pro semi-pro minions like all of them were, they were level 10 they were like more than decent even nexus were playing there and then i think i won the first tournament of that first season then i got second place in the second season or something like this then okay. i won the third season or, or something similar i don't remember correctly Did but you get money for this yes so okay was this the first time you made money from counter-strike uh, kind of yes so how much was your first like big paycheck rank s like i said and how much would you get for rank s then it was first place so 1200 1200 dollars yes and what did your parents say then i think i, I just told them that i will uh, i want this mm -hmm. i'll buy a pc <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't care i've got my money i need better pc i can play better yes. Done. that was it yes but did you always want to say like i'm going to be a professional player did you have a goal not really like I, so what were you thinking of no no yeah, we don't remember, speak while walking usually, ever. i don't like to set goals at all like i just go okay. like moment by moment mm -hmm. year by year and then just see what happens you, you can set like small goals like okay i want to do this but now you can i have to do this. i must do this yeah yeah because okay. if you don't do it then you're gonna be full disappointment then maybe you lose motivation and stuff like this i just don't want to and i don't like it interesting and, uh, yeah i think i just playing the flow like i said i was playing in that hub and then mm -hmm. uh next to saw me uh -huh, so this is what we get to next time. Yes, then they, they put a good word to the second best Romanian team. Mm -hmm. Then I went there. Then from there I went to Nexus. And you at this point, how many hours a day are you playing? A lot. <laughs> a a lot. lot. And did you get a salary <laughs> at Nexus? And no. Really? Yes. Back, no salary? Yes, back then at the, at the first time we had no salary. So what did you Nexus. get for joining? Nothing. We were just getting the prize money. They were already playing for two years, maybe maybe more, maybe less, mm -hmm. without salaries. Then I joined, and then after some not not that much time, they started to give us some salaries. Okay. Did you have a contract though? Even though you weren't, so no contract. No contract. So technically, it's kind of good because you're free and you can go to somewhere else when another offer comes along. Yeah. So during Nexus, was this would you say is like the most serious you'd got? Yes. Yeah. And was there like full practice schedule? Yes. Did you finish school to the end? Yes, I finished school today. Yeah? Okay. So when you joined Gamer Legion, yeah, you just went as a free agent, basically? Did they have to buy you? Yes, I went for free. We were playing the Flashpoint. We are in close qualifier with Nexus. Flashpoint, dude. Not gonna lie, we were playing good at that mm -hmm. point. Gamer Legion contacted me. Also. I said no first time. Mm -hmm. Then they bring Dobo. Okay. And then after the second time, whenever they, uh, they asked me to come instead of Dobo, mm -hmm. I said yes. Okay, so you came to Game Legion. Yes. Now you're talking real contract. Yes. Good salary? Yes. I don't need to know numbers, but like a good salary. It does good, yeah. And you can now live and play comfortably. Yeah. Now, go to the Paris Major. Three now, this for three on Paris, thank you. Things really change for you guys. A lot. But is it just because you changed leadership, your IGL changed? Was that the reason for success or did it just all click? What do you put it down to? Team progress, basically. So he came with his ideas. He did a great job doing uh, IGN us, but also like Aiko came with his experience. Yep. He helped a lot. He was speaking a lot uh, mid round as well. Kyo. He was your most experienced player though, right? Aiko. Yes, yeah. yes. Kyo as well, he came, he had like a lot of energy. You put up one hell of a show, but you were the star of the show. Were you always <laughs> thinking you'd He's be like, in a star yeah. rifle <laughs> position or was this just you hey, making sure you could perform? What was the biggest difference here? I don't know. I just played my game, to be honest. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just playing my game. I always hated this, uh, this free star rifle. Mm. But you were demolishing people. You were running through yeah. tier one teams. You were just yes. pop, 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 pop. 
True. And it, I, I can understand your team might set you up, you might go for a play, you might say you want to play, but you played better than you'd ever played. Yes. What was the difference? What Because like now, right, you must feel that people expect this of you. Yes. I mean, back in Paris, it was full on the floor. Like we were feeling confident. Mm -hmm. We are uh, feeling like we can beat anyone. What was this whole Paris experience like for you? I'm enjoying right? this interview. You had nice. so much more media attention. Everyone had high expectations because of your performance. Everyone was super hyped. Everyone was like, Ima, Ima, Ima. Overwhelming, I would mm. say, because everyone was cheering. Everyone was uh, hyping. Everyone was uh, nice. Yeah. Pretty much overhyping, to be honest. Overhyping. <laughs> yes. I would say Overstepping that, you know, like, dunk. <laughs> Okay. But then Navi go, hello. Hello. We want you. Hope you're not on speakers and have dogs, you chat. Because you go Nexus, Game Legion, which is still okay. But then Navi, this is yes. way different. Yeah. I think I can say that Game Legion wanted me to stay so badly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but they, they couldn't hold no. me. I, I got like a lot of offers, but like, and a lot of interest. But you chose Navi. So why did you yes. choose Navi? I mean, it was the most obvious one, no? Yeah? Yes. But like, you, did you know what players would be there? Did you know like Alexi would be there yes, and stuff? Uh, whenever Andre, Andre contacted me, mm -hmm. he told me the team. He asked me if I'm interested and I said, yes, <laughs> <laughs> why are you asking? <laughs> so what do you think right now of how your journey on Na'Vi has Slimmer, just begun? It's early start, like, it's just been just over six months now. We started good, like obviously we didn't start at the best because we are not winning constantly. I think it's kind of understandable, not understandable, because we still need like more time with uh, with Wonderful to to, yeah. to put up like a, a more structure, like to know basic gaps, to have fast solution to unpredictable uh, stuff. You've gone very quickly to the very top. Did you imagine that it would happen like that? It's not that quick. No, no, not in terms of, but if you look at it from like, you didn't go Nexus to Game Legion to like a lower, you didn't have to go through like a lower tier team. You went straight to one of the biggest organizations. How do you view it? I don't view it like you. <laughs> I see it like uh, I play a lot in the Lord. Tired teams, like for example Nexus. Well, you spent a lot of time in both Nexus and Game League. Then People I only recognize your accomplishments, yeah. accomplishments once you're there, lot. chat. Remember that. Uh, so you're very loyal. <laughs> yes. And then, Not saying they don't respect your grind, but they don't recognize what you're doing until and you're and there. Enough, so I think it was like a hard work. Mm -hmm. That's like that uh, with anything, path. I assure you. You can say that it was lucky because Paris Major, but... Uh, no, you, you performed, you played you played really well. Yes. People want to You're going to put in 99% of the work and then when you finally get to the 100%, you nobody will recognize the 99% and only see you at the 100. did big numbers on it. That's what everyone was hyped about you. And if a team like Na'Vi can see, okay, we want that. That's obviously very positive. Later, Kevin, take it easy, bro. Do you have a goal still though to win a major? Like, no, obviously. Yeah, there we go. I mean, okay. I, I mean, I got the second place. Now I have to take the first place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And just if you had any advice to people who watch this and they want to become a professional <laughs> gamer, you went through playing for teams, play, well, playing with friends, playing with teams, the face it way, and now you're here. What advice would you give to young players that want to become pros? Because everyone's so young now trying to start. Yes. I mean, the best advice that I will get is have patience. Because okay. people will start being, I mean, not a pro, Pe people will get to tire one, mm -hmm. maybe at a young age, 70 years old, 16 years old, 18, but people are getting in tire one at 24, yeah. Yeah. like me. So you never know. So if, if you don't um, give up, mm -hmm. your chance will come. I like it. Well, thank you very much. It was very interesting to hear your story, man. Thank and you. Best of luck for the major. Thank you. It is time for another CS2 Fantasy Draft here at the PGL Copenhagen Major. Fantasy and Draft. Title contender Wait. Shuhei over here from Mouse Sports. Look at that face. Okay, man. You ready for this? To be a GM? To build yes, sir. Yes, your sir. ultimate team? Let's spin the wheel. Let's go. Let's All right, it's my it team now, Shuhei. Let's my team, Shuhei. Who you are gonna All right, fine. I'll go back to my see spot, chat. Your mind is going to work and how you're going to pick. I'm walking down here. And the first team you start with is a team that didn't get very far. All right. Apex. Give mm -hmm. me. Oh, God. Let's go sense with the IGL. Okay. So I like oh, young IGL. God. Young IGL. You're keeping the DNA of where you started from. I see how that works. Same mentality with this one. Oh. Give me dog. Well, mm. spirit. <laughs> 
Surely Chopper, yeah? Just another idea. I'll make yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, let's take uh, Mr. Donk here. Okay. Um, I think he's a good addition to the team to keep donking on the opponents, so and we, can, we can take Donk. And if you're GMing this team, you already know how to stop him, so you know you can stop him from being stopped. True. Mm -hmm. I like this. Oh, well. Well, Ooh. you. You got yourself, basically, but you don't want yourself, maybe. No, no, no. Honestly, a donk and a gym hat duo. <laughs> that's, that's huge. That's that huge. That is huge. Let's go with Jimmy here. Jimmy coming into the team is uh, this. This is already super team material by far. You got like the youngest and team so ever young. with uh, no, yeah, like over twenty right true. now. Yeah, this team we can't drink. Virtus Pro. Flit or fame? Oh, we go with uh, Sir Flit. He's a, yeah. a very aggressive player as well. Yeah, I think it would be a good addition. A little bit of balance. Okay. Now we need a... Nah, fix it up. And Yimmy, that rifle core yeah, is well, not. But we need the AWP. Yeah, you're missing an AWP. Well, well, obviously we take Kerrigan for the AWP. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You, I'm taking Kerrigan for AWP. Do you remember TSM year old? days? Okay, 33-year-old AWP. We take Kerrigan for AWP. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is great. So you have one experienced <laughs> player in the whole team. Yep. And he's not Kerrigan even could literally be three of their dads. More. Go, go back, roll back the years, and up again. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, question. This team, will it go through to the major? If so, how far will it go? It'll win the major. the major, what do you mean? Ooh. Kerrigan's second calling, helping sense as well, if you need. I think it does go to the major. I think it goes pretty far. How far? Elimination stage, playoffs? Maybe suddenly quarters. Okay. And something happens in semis. Then somehow, just, you know, teleporting into the finals. I, th I think it's got potential. Potential. I like it. It's a bit wild, but I he like can it. Buy the wild. Drinks. People will be True. confused. Unless you carry on an all, probably run away as well. As long as he doesn't team kill someone by mistake when just you know, not able to handle it every now and again. That's a pretty solid team. I like it. I like it too. Well done, Mr. GM. Thank you. See you soon. We're going in to the opening stage of the PGL Major Copenhagen. Eternal Fire has been on a huge rise and looking very good here. Madra is the man in charge, the IGL, rocking it. How are you feeling, sir? Okay, I think we're feeling good. Coming through the RMR, right, you go 3-2. Um, and I would say, looking at that, right, it was a good performance again, but I would say some of it is still times you look sometimes shaky even against the good teams right i compare your phase games from katowice right to what we saw at the rmr what has it told you about where you guys are at how eternal fire are performing right now five oh, miles watch it not bad it was okay because we play like g2 and phase yeah. then we play falcons then we just play bed boom for the last matches to go to the major here and we just win it 2-0 with the uh, we show good things. We just miss, I think, when we play like teams like FaZe and G2, I saw that we miss uh, something to win against them. No, I, li I like it because what I'm seeing from you there is an understanding that there's small gaps that you're having in these games that you can't get away with against this level of team. So it's something you focused on now, yeah, before coming into the major. Because the objective, for, obviously, is going to the Legion stage and play against these teams. But with what you've been working on, did you boot camp at all before the major? What did it look like His from the Eternal wet. Fire schedule? Nah, it's just I'd the lighting. Like he might off, have oil in it, though. Starting practicing, but not boot camping, because okay. we can't. But we just did, uh, like, boot camping from home. Yeah, just uh, the lights, just give him a little the demo that price we, we play, try to fix the mistakes. Uh, it's not easy on practice because we play with eye pings from mm -hmm. Turkey, four people, I play from France, I, I, I don't have this eye issue. Now one thing that's interesting is you haven't played any officials, you just mentioned it, practice is not the same. You haven't yes. played officials since the RMR. Yeah. Does this worry you at all? Uh, in practice, sometimes in officials, something different can mm -hmm. happen. Here we have favorites to go Zyra's through. Are so glittering? Yeah, that's why I think it's the light. have this mentality, like we have favorites, so we need to play good CS, focus 100% because the teams we is gonna play are really uh, eager to win. Now, one thing I'm noticing, right, from the team and how it's different from last year, 2023, I saw Eternal Fire, every qualifier, every event, every online event you could enter, right? You guys were playing so much. This year, RMRs. Iron Falcons at the Major, because yeah? they suck. And now you're here. 
Only 23 maps officially played so far this year. Not so much, yeah. Was this a decision you wanted to have? Is this a change you wanted to make? Maybe we're targeting some tournament right now, but uh, we have ASL Pro League after that, after mm -hmm. this major extra. So the thing is, to be honest, to answer to your question, we're playing from Turkey, some online tournament, and yeah. it's difficult. We have we are not the same level as we have on LAN, on online, because the ping, we're playing like 16 ping sometimes, four people, three people, yeah. and some online tournament can be dangerous, Which you know, you can 60 like, ping isn't the, the match, end of the world chat, but you gotta keep really in mind they're playing versus people that will have... can lose confident. Five. So I think there is a strategy on that. Okay. Uh, we need to focus on whole uh, team. the most important tournament right now is the major. Yeah. And like you said, that comes of the So before someone goes, sure. 60 ping, I play with the... Shut like up. The favorites here. And I think many people consider you guys to be the favorites here. Yes. Is it a strange situation to be in? To go from being not the favorites, people not expecting you to do so well, to now you're like, Oh, okay, we, we should be going through. Yeah, obviously, like <laughs> all my career, I was the outsider when yeah. I play. I always playing against I open it because we are always T1 half and T2. Wouldn't mm -hmm. recommend my How Elijah. How does it feel for you to be back here and to go through this again? I feel great, to be honest. It is the best tournament that uh, CS can show. A really good feeling to be here, to play here, to have his stickers, to be honest. You had a very specific way of always getting ready for the team. We used to be going down for breakfast. You'd be there on your own. Mm. You'd have your notebook. I you'd be remember. doing some extra work and you'd be going through everything else. Yeah, I'm still the same. I like, I, I think before the match, I always watch like three or four maps. I just, sometimes I'm thinking too much. <laughs> uh, in the night, I'm doing like overthinking. You're just doing it. You've always been doing it. And then yeah. it's looking pretty good for you right now. Things are coming together. I hopefully, hopefully <laughs> it would be better. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. Let's yeah. see how it goes. Good luck Thank in the you. games, man. Thank good you luck throughout the competition. See. Game starts soon. Uh, 24 minutes it starts. And welcome back to the CS2 Major live from Copenhagen, Denmark, as the shift has been taken to watch over. The interviews? Thank you, Richard, no, for a great I'm just start. I just don't have anything today, else right now I'm trying now, to do. Uh, it's my turn to take over. My name is Shox. I'm not going to go pretend to be interested in the stickers right now. Guide us through Mouse versus Eternal I still haven't looked at them yet, but I should do that for a YouTube video. But yeah, I don't know. I, find, I actually enjoy listening to the players. Let me first get a temperature check about how much did things go the way you expected in the first half of the day? You Generally. Want take, you want to take that one? Uh, it didn't go really well in the Vitality <laughs> camp. I knew I was going to be yeah. put in the blender at some point, right? We can address it for, from the get-go. That was a little bit of a disappointing Notice your absence in the green room for yes, that game as well. There to watch. I think it's in everybody's interest that I not be in the green room and Vitality is losing. I disagree. People, this guy over here, has he has a certain love for poking me when yeah. Vitality is losing. Yeah. And I because I value him as a person, as a friend, and I don't want to hurt him physically, I thought I'm going to remove myself from the conversation because, you know, you, you poke me a little bit. And for me, it's like a height of friendship to be able to really get under your skin and give you a little jab in <laughs> not, the back when things are going your way. Can do that. Yeah, you I, can do that. You know, it's, it's love, really. That's <laughs> what it is. It does lead us into a, a great first talking point in terms of if the results went the dynamic. way we think. And I want to take a look at good the vibes. schedule for the last of the day because, of course, that will tell us who lost and who won. Here on the A stream, uh, you will see all of the winner matches on the secondary stream. You will see the teams that would be up against it, starting with Vitality. Hey, Wait to go, Zephy. Hey, Zephy, also I dare say is a very dangerous one to be in. Purge your ass yeah, too. I think the Mongols are a horrifying team to play against if you allow doubt to creep in. Mm. And I think this is what we saw a little bit with Vitality in that first match against Eternal Fire. Granted, it was a great map from the Turks. Like, I think it's the, the least we can say is that Eternal Fire played beautiful yeah. Counter-Strike. It wasn't just the Vitality Crumble show, but now with the Mongols, I feel like they have <sighs> an opportunity, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, it's a similar kind of style of team, right? That Eternal Fire, you have those like really so... sharp shooters coming in hot, like really aggressive, taking some taking what some plays, taking one? some peaks. And yeah, if you let them get into the game, they can steamroll away from it. Virtus Pro looked really Mousy. ugly. Eternal fire. That was, not, that was not a that was not a cool complexity game to watch. heroic. If you're a Virtus Pro fan, I mean, if, yeah, if yeah, you, you already know. 
We do see a little bit of a trend, of course, between Vitality, Virtus Pro, and FaZe. You know, heavy hitters that you expect a lot from, but who come into this tournament cold, respectively, comparatively to some of the other teams. And FaZe generally comes we'll into these tournaments this. a little bit cold to begin with. Like, know. you know, they, they kind of always have those slow this starts. This would be a more popular game, game viewership-wise, but the environment for a while. I'd rather watch tough, Miles tough Eternal matches. Fire. We saw a lot of them struggle. Even, even some of the and teams that won actually heroic. started their games out a little bit slow. Miles had to mm -hmm. kind of come back against Ecstatic. That was looking a little weird at times. Oh, um, my So, yeah, just all the all these kind of teams that you have as quote unquote favorites there's there's some Yo. tough games out there yeah i'm a little bit on the fence i know one of our narrative is always hey the teams that have played here already they have a little bit of an advantage you know they have momentum they know the tables the setup and all but a team like heroic who won 3-0 they've had time to cool down like and that, then, that too. how much oof. can we actually put on any sort of momentum and can we not just value mm. at, at face value what they've been able to do i don't think they were just i want to see they're what vinny and the boys better. can do yeah, yeah, like but certain, certain the others i would like to see what they can do right phase didn't definitely yeah, exactly. Not to the level that we would have hoped to see from them. Yeah. I'm super Sorry. curious if I'm <laughs> coping I think, I think or. It could be interesting, actually. Chat and ads and coming. I forgot to give a warning. Right down the road, so it was nice and easy. Must be nice. But other teams get to just kind of roll, roll right in, and especially when you have the excitement of qualification. Should I be worried like, I for my boys in phase? Yes. Fury has not looked scary, really, but they are still scary. I don't know how to describe it. Game you sit down for, and it helps kind of get through that first game. For sure. Phase and majors and groups is a keck W. On the A stream because I put them 3-0. You know, uh, they were playing because I didn't know yesterday in terms where else of into that or who else round. to put they there. Won their opening game, and now they but like even when I put them there, I yeah, straight up said like they well. they just yeah. fuck up groups all the time. Yeah, that, that Dude, really nice phasing groups kind of is, is also, and then this, this is just really you got to be concerned. And Furia is so random that like yeah, you should be worried. You honestly should be worried. Playing Spirit is kind of a luxury in the sense like nobody expects you to win. Nobody expects you to win rounds. You can go freely and i really think they keep on impressing us like you can talk about how vp and their playstyle are supposed to be equipped to deal with a day one here at the major but imperial just completely rolled them if, if you want to talk about a mentality that you have to go into that match with though if you're imperial you got to be like thank god we have them right now in a best of one where why not mouse maybe rather than you know what do you mean a best what about, three down what about for qualification or for elimination whatever whatever might happen through the rest how of the stage i wasn't at talking about playing them now where it feels like it's it might be an easier chance that you can just and he gets a hot game and just rolls with it you know you never know what can happen it's true. Uh, anything else you'd like to dive in from a holistic standpoint before we get a little bit more nitty gritty into Mouse oh, Mouse for three zero. Mouse for three zero wouldn't have been um, troll. Really. I think. Uh, I think that would have been a good one. I just think they're good enough to I for sure go through. About the journey in their first yeah. match because it is so like if very you representative swap them with phase, I think that's when you carry over a certain. Yeah, that would have been. You have a good start to a good game, educated you guess. Allow your yeah. to come back in, and this is where I feel like the conversation resettles. Once you get to ten ten, once you get to eleven eleven, with the Twitch primer, thank you, appreciate you. Yeah. You welcome, welcome. Before, Any other primers, prime no, no, forgetters no, no. out there, chat? Reset and the experience kicks in. That was a, a sad example of that for the ecstatic fans, but obviously they're not out quite yet. Yeah, I actually think it's particularly frustrating for them because uh, remember when they started their campaign here, they had the, that match versus Cloud9, mm. and they got so incredibly close, and there is where you can really point to these are players that are new to these types of games specifically, and even if you don't see it throughout Yo, the game because what they up, play Dust? phenomenally doing, boo -boo? and above their level, it is when you have Scott to clean, for the 62 uh, month primer, thank you. Thank you, thank sometimes you. it gets more difficult and oh i i, I mean they show yeah, so I'm much doing a little bit better so it's frustrating that sometimes in these games against the teams that wake up at 4 a.m for playing matches for ecl until 9 10 p.m so oh, wow. it's a little really tricky cool right now and i was absolutely fucking stuffed and i was sick to start the major but i'm good um they can still be dangerous surprisingly you know that was a team coming into the major i didn't really expect to be able to do much and um you're in an ambulance elements of danger wait what down mouse is nice oh they were right there yeah. Uh, the, the, my pet peeve is when you have a team in that position who tries to play perfect to close a game, that is such a trap to fall into. And this is where teams with a bit more experience will allow oh, you're freedom an EMT. to Lit. 2v1s, 3v2s. If you know you have a duel, and it might not you be the me as an the EMT. Book, you take the duel. And I saw them give a lot of space to opponents, trying, <laughs> by all means, please. Somebody that's friends with two of them and grew up around them. And this is usually the gap. That actually makes sense. That doesn't even. More experience. It folded them. Thinking a bit, you have the right a personality bit for it. About it. Uh, I'm also very much looking forward to the Navi versus G2 matchup. I think that could be spicy. Get Nico's Navi. major. 
What? Get Nico. Ambulance hooked up to the Kofi. Is this like your tagline for today? You've been saying that for many, many majors, haven't you? You have a line of t-shirts or something? Ever since Boston. Boston, I didn't want him to win. That was really the only one I didn't want to win. Oh, you're the gift to sub to dust. Thank you. Everyone since then, I'm like, yeah, just give it to Nico. I have another person that comes to you, Savior, is currently watching a flom stream. Yeah. That's really going to be, is Nico going to completely settle into CS2? Well, I think there's two kind of stories with with this G2 that we saw earlier today. One is when we've seen them at their best, you know, winning winning the Katowices and Colognes, it's been when they've had that trio of Nico, Hunter, Monacy. All three of right. those guys fire on all cylinders in their one map they've played today, so let's not get too excited. And then the other one is, we all know, and there's no reason to shy away from it, there was a little bit of a struggle, especially for Nico kind of transitioning into CS2. The early days of it, you could see stop something Nico. Was a off. Same with Hunter. We're really used to the Nico's game. Nico's looking to kind of get on board like he's powering up into CS2. And again, it's only one map, but so it's not the start of CS2, Nico looked like, like he literally dropped his mouse and didn't pick it up. Stage, catching fire, catching momentum, and those guys continue to play well. But he is then trending then, then, then nicely really right yeah. now. Yeah. If you're G2 fan. It's fam. just one map, but also it, it's the last it's game the of the hope. RMR against FaZe where he plays to that level again, and you yeah. start hoping, you start mm. being ready to be lied to again. Yeah, by you Nico let yourself and believe. The K level yeah, can't I, even I can pyramid. Look at this bot. Like, I'm ready to believe once again. Oh, what come Nico with me, Matthew. Come on this train. Uh, Forget uh, about Vitality. Forget yeah, about Yeah, K level, you think about what you did. I have enough love for many, many different players. Yeah, do you? I do. I do. I have a big heart. Yeah, but speaking about, you know, Vitality, all eyes are on them, the major winners, the current champions, even though it's now CS2 instead of CS. Yes, right, and uh, but as you say, it's only one game. So I think at the end of the day, we'll be able to talk about it. Most of well, Nico. I don't think it's only I one mean... game. I think it's symptomatic to <laughs> oh, issues that have been deeper in the vitality. Actually, Don reminds me enough. more I of Yekinder's rise, to, to, to be honest. Major. But I don't think that's the case. They might be the reigning champion in terms of play style. The first yes, game they played, yes, but in terms of sheer impact in the server, Nico. Power list that you would make. There are deeper issues that I think were masked a little bit by the euphoria of the end of last year, which was completely out of control for them. But we saw it a little bit at the Blast Group. We saw it even more in Katowice. So why would I just play pretend now that this is a perfect team that's rolling in with confidence? That is just not the case. Yeah, there's been some concerns about how Mezzi is kind of acclimating into this it's team not still. Even just him. Yeah, yeah, it's not just him. And uh, you know, I think too, like the, the, the fact that I think you're right. Like some of the successes they had last year, well, fall off as fast as are do. super impressive, and that might have kind Winky of shielded them from a little bit of potential criticism because it's hard to do that when they're actually threw still winning into events. A situation, when Mezzi comes in, I don't know if you're taking those trophies. Um, he they, wanted the, to the coach coming in asked as well, to do it. Who, they're working with Apex, yeah. even though but regardless, I think as him well. there's going to be some questions and changing what he was trying like to do and try to take on more really fucked them up. That's what I love, actually, those questions. Shrekin, thank you very much for the five-month reset. Thank you. Not just to kind of laugh at Mathieu, which I I never do. That's that's a win-win, right, Jason? That's what we that's the only fun I have at these events. In general, though, uh, you know, it's really exciting. So let's get into our first match on that we have here: uh, Mouse versus Eternal Fire, winning their opening bouts. And who would you think it's hard to show the highlights? For who has it been more surprising that they won their first game? Because the games just happened. I think it was. So like, even if these guys wanted to come. Yeah, so it leads us actually seamlessly into like, this match. Like, to talk here. about certain things, it's hard to so pull all of that. <laughs> how did they beat Vitality? Yeah. Um, there is a, a very short list of three names that we can mention in different topics. One is the IGL skills of Major that came through as well. And if there is a chess match to be figuratively put to the test here, he beat Apex. I mean, in my book, he completely beat them uh, in right. the calls Love that he made. brother. I'm Most not really part of like this. Like, then me and Spudy are boys and we make content with our group, but I don't know the other groups that well. Although I did gamble. That to with me the Smitty crew when they're in Vegas. Sort of a coin flip for Eternal Fire. We know Wikadia, his ability to penetrate on the T side and have impact, he can do that, no doubt. But when you have to have him a bit more stable on the CT side, sometimes his struggle was not at all. He cleaned up on the A side. Nora, are you listening to the stream right so now? Yeah, you have these three factors coming in. That was enough to beat Vitality. I think I would right, even... Jason, they, they beat Vitality, right? I think it was Vitality, yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, I would say there's another fourth factor there, when, which was when, I, when that game started and I looked at it, I was like, they're really going to play Eternal Fire on Inferno? Yeah. Vitality are supposed to be good on the map too. Like at some point sure, the map pool, man. the map pool shrinks. <laughs> Come on. You know, it's like what you gotta do is like, well, listen, I'm the reigning champion. But, uh, Inferno is a good map for me, but she I'm not gonna play no. it. Like, at some point you have to make it. I'm gonna, right? yeah, I'm gonna yeah, order food. You down? Let's go. You down or what? See, this See that's what, what he does to me. That's <laughs> what he does to me. Already pop it off. I'm down. Um, 
Anyways, uh, there, the was fire. A, <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of excitement. I just want to get to this because this was really cool. I, I'm sure you guys saw it on social media as well. The watch party uh, in Istanbul for Eternal Fire. I told fire. you, Chad, I was going to uh, get that Taco Bell. That was like five day. hours ago. Yeah, this is Hopefully. so much. They have two of them from what, I, from what I've heard. One's yeah. in Istanbul, one's in Ankara as well. So, I mean, they've, they Eternal Fire set this up. Perfect. Look at this crowd. Look at this. It's this awesome. is great. It's beautiful. It's like the that's meme, you know, sick. when you're in this bar that's and actually watching so something sick. and everyone yeah. erupts. That's exactly what it is. Like the DVD thing, you mean? Yeah, that's the one I have in mind, yeah. Listen. If, if French oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to wake up, you With have to the imagine bar. has been on the lookout for the bar. for a long yeah. time. And they knew what it was to be frustrated, to have interesting players left, right, but not really together, not getting along as well, having a revolving hey, door. Fun, num, num. Now it's you? finally clicking. They have a reason to be excited. And the beautiful thing is some of the players on this Eternal Fire team were part of those teams in the past that were knocking on the door and that were getting us excited. And they never made it past that point of where they could be more than just like a best of one upset team. That's they right. never made it past the point where they were just going to ruin somebody's group stage and actually yeah, go for the, a deep the thing with Holzer is it's really, really hard really to cool find a replacement. Well. They struggled in the opening stages. They had some. They had some He's in that losses, spot losses of an well. opera so where that helps them put them in the mindset and the, in the mind frame of being has like, we got to focus down. We got to be ready for these problems to where yeah, you wonder absolutely because um, if we he even should be the long term off. But he has enough impact and peaks to make it really so that there's not a better option either. I agree with you, and I also think this is why they are a relatively friendly team. So it's that's yeah, I can see him being there for. A while. And I think Halls or Costa brings a, a good energy like to that squad. Away from them. Sometimes double edged sword, but. To it. Uh, and I think it was Zentaris who had a very interesting interview on HL TV, and he sort of described word by word how the communication can break down in hard moments. He says people are not listening anymore. Everybody's looking at their crosshair. We're giving information, no one's reacting trades, on it. We have gaps team or defense, not, his no individual level has undeniably been worse. Sometimes trying to quantify when we say, oh, they don't and have And that comes from a big OC stand. details, they definitely have a lower floor than a team like mouse for example okay. even at the worst i think mouse yeah, I, I still think oc is really good but there's really no sugar coating it best of one i don't feel like it plays that much of a role it's, it's actually kind of cool because i think when you look at mouse you'd probably be I and like, like with you, that you, you say, definitely uh, like if you're complex you know, you're not like, like yeah let's get oc that's not a clear upgrade there. by yeah, any yeah, means yeah, you know and i think calls are plays in a certain way that leads him to be quite frankly more impactful if he is on like major when you give an interview and talk about the team like i've heard him say like we are kind of like tier one do you, team. We're like not okay, really ready yeah, to be yeah. the tier one team, oh, and that kind of falls into a similar category where you see these two teams coming in at a similar level and a similar like level of play at the moment. And as you said, the the floor for Mal's is higher yeah, than the floor yeah. for for Eternal Fire. So like outside of a disaster oh, game, this this should be a very very buddies. tight clash. Yes, but Mal's slightly edges out, of course. But the team that they played initially. Um, I hope the ecstatic fans won't be angry, but less impressive than a vitality, right? If you come into it, because it was ecstatic. And uh, Mouse did have to mount a little bit of a comeback. They started off mm. pretty cold, but then they brought it back, and Brolin was at the center of uh, what happened in that game. Oh, yeah, absolutely, we have the numbers right there, and, and I don't think they even obtained the full picture. The impact that he found late into the game and having crucial moments. What I do like about this scoreline, although it is probably closer than what you would like to see, is that Mouse started the game with an intention to be active to be proactive to try to dare they got slapped they got punished a couple of times but then they stuck true to whatever they thought was going to work and they were strong enough mentally to not just do a 180 completely and become passive at all no 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 they realized hey this is why we're losing the rounds we're in the right position we're missing our shots it's gonna be fine everybody keep trusting in what we're doing not everyone is capable of doing that and that's how they were able to sort of pull back on the CD side of overpass and bro you got to give credit over to Brolin for for stepping into the shoes of frozen in this fashion because he's been really good in miles ever since he kind of stepped in on, on loan as, as a stand-in situation but like when, Fro when frozen leaves this team you're just like Oh, what, oh God, like th that's a huge piece of the puzzle yeah. that just departs the squad. To have someone come in and be able to, obviously you're not gonna play the same, you're not gonna match everything one for one, but for him to be at this level and having, you know, impact that, that allows them to not feel the sting of losing Frozen so heavily, that's super impressive, man. That's I know. all credit to Brolin. I know, but I cannot chase this image in my mind of like watching a B movie, someone coming out of jail, that's Brolin <laughs> yeah, walking out of an IP and be like, oh, the fresh air. That's because the that, first was the burger is like, that was the announcement, was getting him out of jail. That's exactly how it feels like. So of course he's embracing life you know everything nice just looks yeah. amazing smells amazing everyone is nice that's the moment he's in now and then and then you see him walk into a team and it's got one of the most promising young in-game leaders in the scene at the moment I you play know, with Shui. yeah I everyone wants to play with Shui. Yeah, that yeah, Pat, old jimmy's like playing great he's a fantastic player to have in the team he's been just rock solid he's you know he 
he's, he's been super impressive coming into this team, what he's been able to prove pride. Uh, Exertion, I think, is maybe one guy you'd say has, has another gear and another level that he hasn't hit recently. Big playmaker. But, I mean, yeah, the playmaking ability out of him is off the charts. Yeah, I spoke to him in, uh, in Katowice, and he was saying that he wasn't really that happy with his last year, even though I think when we think back to Exertion, we think about very high highs at times, right? Rounds where it was um, a 4K, a good clutch, a big impact, but overall, was left wanting even to his own ability, he feels like. Yeah, well, listen, he puts himself in risky situations too, I was gonna right? Say, yeah. yeah, he's like the targeted impact player. Yeah, you can, there, there are ways to pad your stats a little bit if you want to be a bit selfish. You, you know, you let your teammate go, oh, sorry, just please go ahead, I'm going to trade <laughs> yeah. you. I really don't think Zerzhan is that. I think he's getting ready to get stuck in in many situations. Yeah, yeah, almost back. it doesn't work out, but when it does, mega impact immediately. Okay, uh, I know we also wanted to speak about Brolan specifically in terms of the situation Stakes. that he finds himself in and the quote that he gave, right? Yeah, he gave a very powerful quote to HL to be talking about his future, you have to realize he's on loan right now, mm -hmm. and we love the word stake here at the desk. We say, oh, the drama, the consequence. Medium this rare. man might actually be playing for actually, his Actually, you know what? And I could remove I'll the right back. He is playing One for second. his contract. I'll show you he's the webcam situation so you guys right can now. see my He's trying to make a case that he fits yeah, in that team, that they would both benefit perfect. from back. continuing on their path. What a best way to do it at the major. The glasses, I mean, have been great so far. I think, I think, I'll be honest with you, I think he's he's already earned himself a contract. Maybe not with Maus, but I think that's what the major's about. But he wants to be in Maus. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a spot in Maus. Even if, if you, for whatever Jeff, reason Maus don't sign him, someone else is going to pick him up after what he's shown stepping into this team and how well he's uh, how well oh. he's done. But obviously, Maybe Vitality you want to be in Maus. You want to be on that team that's knocking into the top five. Absolutely. Yeah, but you see it there. It was on the quote. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this was a, a breaking point here where I really wanted to shine some light on what, how Brolin plays it as well. A lot of game sense in here, a lot of movement. But this, we go back to this. This is uh, the space they're giving. Yeah, him. the space you're getting because people don't want to make the mistake. You don't yeah. want to do that overpeak. But then he disappears and then he plays it absolutely beautifully. He knows that he cannot just wait out. He goes for the 1v1. He makes the right deduction. Here's the sound. And from this moment on, you watch the, the clutches and you know he's got it. Yeah, you, he's in a supremely confident and comfortable position Ooh. at this point. And uh, yeah, even a little sketchy at the end of the fight, but that's a big win that's at 11, a very 11. important moment. Yeah, uh, that, that's, it yeah, could you know, be you destiny know, defining. Better. It, absolutely. In in a world where now he, they are looking at a 1-0 in the best of one scenario, that clutch right here is the difference. It is the difference. And I think when you look at Maus, uh, you're looking far past this this elimination stage beginning. You want to be in the playoffs. You've managed it now two events already. You went 3-0 and zero at the RMR. So I think the expectations are exceptionally yeah, high still here when it comes to this first or the second rather opponent that they're playing uh, in order to go 2-0. and zero. A moment like this. It's probably not going to happen, right? Eternal Fire, they are not the team that is going to give you that space, I feel like, in the late rounds, or am I incorrect? No, I mean, look, it depends on which Eternal Fire we get. The one that's, that's having some communication issues that Matthew alluded to, that Zantaris has spoken about, or the Eternal Fire we got against Vitality, where they knew the the the, the stakes of that match, of how big of a, you know, quote-unquote, dis whatever disparity you want to give to Eternal Fire versus Vitality, that's going to get the team hyped up and focused and communicating well. And if they come in with this, that same exact mentality, like Maus is a tough team to mm -hmm. beat, which I imagine Majors have them prepared to do. I feel like Major seems the like the IGL who's going to pump that into their brains. This isn't, a, yeah, I think I think this is an Eternal Fire that's not going to give you that same kind of respect yeah i agree with you i think if you are internal fire you have the same hunger mouse yep. is almost almost being the operative word but in the same category as vitality right they're one of the big teams they want to the playoffs team and if you're ef these are the, tar the targets you want to be able to take down uh, i do think that we're going to see the veto anytime soon i think yep. there still is a little bit of a unhealthy dependency on major and i know it sounds a little bit weird because the talent individually is definitely scattered all across the board but he has so much to do in terms of organizing and being a maestro of what's happening in internal fire and when I feel like he loses track of what's happening, nobody else is ready to take over. You have moments where your leader can just you know, sink. That happens. They're human beings like anybody else. But you need someone else to be able to do micromanagement, sort of be a lieutenant. And I feel like this Dude, sometimes a bit missing. It's why we always put such an importance on people we consider and when we've heard are like the secondary callers or the mid-round callers for team. Those guys need to be able to take over in those situations because you are going to... You heard Major in the interview leading into this as well during the commercial with Banks saying, yeah, I, I spend an extra time watching three extra demos. I stay up late at night. I'm second-guessing myself. When those doubts creep in and they inevitably will in live match scenarios, you need someone else to pick up the baton. And I can tell you, I can't name who the secondary caller of Eternal Fire is. It should be Zantaris. Should From the conversations, yeah. Yeah. I think it is Zantaris. He's that second voice currently uh, in the EF camp. How does it work in Mouse next to Shuhei? 
Well, I, I'm 100% certain that Exertion has a big voice. Yeah. And just the way he plays Counter-Strike, just the way he feels the game and how, he, again, he calls his own number in a lot of situations, it would be criminal if he wasn't trying to build a team around him in these very moments. Based off the plays he's making. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it is the, one of the hardest tasks there is in Counter-Strike. You, you have to imagine, you have to simultaneously be focused in what you are doing, which is a high-intensity moment, and at the same time, communicate so that the rest of the team is ready to either pounce on you or trade you or give you a U-turn. And this is why at times he can miss a little bit because it's super demanding. Yeah, you have to recognize and be able to like foresee the fight that's going to come, the kill that you're mm -hmm. potentially going to get, and what opportunity that's going to open up based on where your teammates are in the map. And yeah, that's a very yeah. distracting thing to do when you're trying to make an aggressive play, try to create space for everyone yeah. all at the same time. Yeah, that's a lot. But uh, in, in seeing their games or in the studios, you do always see that he's incredibly vocal. Well, oh, he's looking at us in the graphic. <laughs> Does he not like the picture? Or he's looking at us on the side as well. He doesn't like, yeah. doesn't like the picture, apparently. We have to... <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll <laughs> okay. Come retake it. <laughs> oh, right. There we go. <laughs> he's uh, he's given the thumbs down. We still don't know what he's actually mad about, so. Yeah, we have to see. If I had a microphone now, I would just chuck it. On the, well, we're gonna yeah. have to guess. That's gonna be a question for the. I the haven't made much. Uh, That's a flam sub. That is a flam sub. So, uh, actually, Eternal Fire beat Mouse in the uh, online, of course, the qualifier for the RMR. <laughs> That's great. Go back up, he's yeah. now. We walked six <laughs> miles. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, it's a little more than 10,000 steps. So. I don't really care about online once we get to land. Yeah, exactly. I, it, I take it with not even a pinch of salt. I just literally use the entire shaker of salt. I yeah. just drown it completely. I don't Screw really... off the top, leave yeah, it for the next exactly. round. Exactly. That's yeah. what I do when it comes to online results. I think we're blessed now in Counter Strike to have way enough land to go around and to kind of feast on. So, yeah. Especially with these two teams. Great. Yeah, yeah. There's some teams you kind of got to lean into those online results a little bit more. It's the best of all. I actually, oh, the complexity game? I was like game? waiting for the first two maps to come in. <laughs> the cum <laughs> game. We're not. Weird. This is why they're called cola, oh, not cum. I mean, eternal fire anyway, and removing overpass. No, I don't think they're rubbing his head. Allow mouse to go there. Go Thanks for the, the five super mm -hmm. chat on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, again, we, we have the, the camera shots of eternal fire right there. You're talking they about when the they ability did. to use your firepower in a, a logical way. Wycadia and Zentaris. These are two people who are going to come at you. Oh, good thing I double checked chat. I thought I. Attack, dude, you guys ever do this chat? You like, put in your, fight, and your order for delivery. Too much, but that's, and that's part of the deal. We've seen you leave it at the very, like, you, you forget, like, the very actually. last part. I don't, you know, I don't think this map looked especially strong for Eternal Fire, but it is a map that historically I feel like ever it really leans into some of their strengths. With Santer's making plays at a ramp on the T side. He's almost as did that, dude. I would have been fucking hosed. The overnight outs are doing their work, but I'm definitely certain. To get hungry. Fire. Doesn't mean they're gonna win, but I think it's great, great for them to be heading to this map. Okay, but I should eat now so I can eat basically. a little bit again before right. my lift today what, what at three. What is the latest game you have in mind of Mouse on Vertigo? Like I, I have to be, I have to come uh, clean. I'm like blanking. That's why I focused on a yeah, fire. I, I understand yeah. what you did here. <laughs> I, I wanted to see. I was gonna I'm leave Mouse for you. No, I'm kind of blanking on. Yeah. Okay, Ninety seconds in coming chat for this map. They beat Spirit online. No, that was no. that must have DRR. been online. That was at the RMR. That would have been great, though. If it was See, online. this is why, because my brain sort of decided that I cannot take this result seriously. There's no way they actually beat Spirit, and I compared my life. I just dissociated watching that game, like the penguin meme. That's exactly what happened. I knew well, that I from the think, top of my head. I totally did course, not. Of course, from the have top of my GP iPad. Yeah. Open, exactly. I mean, That's uh, a good resume to have. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, time's up. Let's get into it with Scrawny and Launders. Yeah, damn right, it's time. Time to dive into Mao's Eternal Fire. Yeah, they're the doing such a good job of yapping. Yeah, they are, right? Is Professional anyone talking know where... heads over there. Nah, no idea. Uh, and where the Moses, are from. for someone who's supposed to be a caster, what a dirty way to set up the other analyst. Yeah, true. Left him to talk about Mao's on Vertigo. And he has let's... no hair and no spine. Yeah, let's talk. No <laughs> okay, hair and talk no about Mao's spine. On Vertigo, shall we? <laughs> uh, a recent win over Eternal Fire within this, and then, of course, that win over Spirit. Yeah, that's right. That yeah. happened. Spirit falling to Mao's at the RMR. Over just gave me ads as the game started. I know, just because I was putting high. down my fucking walking pad. The hearts Here, are pounding, and the Counter Strike is well that and guy truly said. underway I do here feel in Copenhagen. Bad. It was a mistake. Top sixteen. Ooh, very quiet. He's gonna back up right into the shot. Ooh, okay. Yimpy stays alive. Keeps his head down. Torzy toying with the thought of a ramp peak. It's two sets of bread. Listen, on the ramp. listen I just lost money on that ad. I get like 10 cents, you know? And USP. I gift to the sub. So all good. Solo B set up. Nah, that's, hey, ramp that's gets not actually true. <laughs> Does that flush them forward into Yimfat? He takes a shot to the face. Not ideal. Off the team. I know, Skinny. I've been off my game in. a little bit. 
but now next CT up is actually though it looks like it ended Tenteras before a single kill went out so we're in there but at least that opening should have afforded the bomb to cross over but no plant just yet and oh Zersen's on their Zersen heels tries to get on the bottom of it Brolin connecting T's flushed forward because oh, of that is playing this well right Zersen now didn't but have to make his play already but he decided to and we get the challenge over top of construction. We get the That's close one with the, the duelies are so good, but then oh, when you get into those extended fights, it's like fuck. Wish I had a USB. Major is just holding this, hoping, but they might have forgotten anyone could be this close. They saw him peel back a little bit. Pete comes out. It ended right he as the kill went out, right, Skinny? Man, Major is so, just yeah. locking this one in. This is gonna be on Brolin, I think, to clear it. I don't think Shuei's thinking about it. There it oh, is. Oh, the Calix. Oh, He's got oh, both. Four kills in the round from Calix. He is the guy who gets gym fat. He is the guy who gets the jump up from Zertion on the flank. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, Exertion came up quite, I mean, they decided to play with pressure that whole round. Yes, it did. So they really okay. okay. In the sorry, school. sorry again, guys. I would guys. say I'm this just is actually pretty well played round today. from both teams because there are a lot of layers to what Mel's were doing, how they were executing it. Ooh. Oh my God. And it honestly came down to hard Just so shots. we all know, and I'm saying it out loud. Wow, that was The next one runs in 41 kill, minutes. Man. However, I'll get a five minutes news in 40 minutes, so it'll be like to watch. 46 minutes. But we uh, got. now that we've got this team all together in Wakadia as the youngest piece has come in, it's really rounded up. The oh, that's kind of tricky. Way. Nice gap spot from Calix. Yeah, that was. Ooh, I don't think I've seen anybody do it. Calix just did. Toppling three. Looking like the that was a nice way of spotting that. Fire will have to deal with. So that's an AK, actually. That was Eternal slick. That was slick. To a strong start. Yeah, so I mean, they. They probably both knew that Vertigo was going to be end up being the last map, and obviously uh, Eternal Fire, last time they played, this is the one map that they couldn't win. Torsi on full bullets, on four bullets, obviously. On the sun, yes. Oh, Ancient Anubis oh, also bad. Win. Vertigo only good. That's not a bad second New map kill. to me. So Others are just too much. much to work with. Couldn't ask for Somehow this guy just like course, speed ran the worst the take of all time on every map. What the hell, Corey? What the fuck are you doing? To the major, but as. Moses kind of got the wires crossed. That was the one that was online, mm -hmm. not the spirit result, right? Spirit result more recent. He will die. Oh my God! Listen, that's that. you yeah, stun locked yeah. me. Their there's no. Yes, you want to fight about it? Honestly, the there's no like saving you. You're fucked in the head. Was in Mouse's back pocket. No wonder you're fucking so to your sub to me. Lines in every major is, you, you know, are how fucked much do the in the head. Team power up versus the teams that just hop into legends. And while this, oh, okay, hold on. Great opening kill here from Torji. You are fucked. Quick to it. I wasn't timid for a moment. And he'll also catch Wakadia trying to <laughs> Almost get three years says it all. So guns make a oh. world of difference for Mao's immediate five versus three. And a pretty consistent three nice match last night, my guy. Thanks, man. These fights from the pistol until now, early A, which our analysts alluded to, could end up being Zantara's playground for now. Is the defensive hold yeah and keeping the smokes open is awesome i mean obviously even throwing your own smoke and keeping those smokes open is a really effective strategy damn did you see him or did you just spam roll in you can tell they would love to hang around a little bit more if that means they can keep the information but eventually eternal fire will win some space back at the minimum i'm bring back some of Tom alex the they are <sighs> totally fine to play so much to see a thief streamer all right Actually, no, he's However, lost in no the sauce. He doesn't know what he wants to play right now. Eternal Fire, don't seem worried about sure it Toddy, either. boys. I was playing CS2 with Todd at the start. Well, and Alex is playing. He's just in advance, and he plays. Yeah, he's on a late-night right? schedule, dude. He's got dad duties, yeah. and he's he's late-night grinder. Able to just crawl along the side of the wall. No oh, yeah, that's right. He's been on the Halo. Brolin with the double hey! kill hold. Insane on A. Yeah. Insane, insane on A. Insane on A. Indeed. no fucking space, okay? Yeah. Bro fucking smack them. Well, let's go. We smack got some em. good energy out of Torji. And uh, Brolin's obviously just the fifth piece of the puzzle. There's something weird about it. It honestly, I don't even, it doesn't have anything to do with really Me trying to tell Twitch chat or like type of player or, or the chat, I guess both from, chats that Brolin just looks people right talk shit or, or try to say shit all the time, like to get their team aside. As soon as he debuted with the team, it's always um, funny because like you literally never get to hear what the pros say or like that, but when they hear Mythic say it or anything like that, you can't say that. Don't say that. And oh, okay. Try that twice though. Pay the piper. Santeres instant headshot. Ready for it this time around. They aren't being respectful. And Torzi's hype from the last round is very quickly cooled off. Yeah, they didn't know how excited he was, but that's like the perfect guy to kill in a situation like that. Although what he said to his teammates was, oh, yeah, no oh, I got you. Beautiful. And well, Eternal Fire will come back at that ramp looking for vengeance. They find it with the two kills. 
and a comfortable looking 5v3 here for Eternal Fire. Shuhei still sits around, and he, on an individual level, has been playing some great CS, one of the driving forces in their victory over Team Spirit, but right now, what was considered that solid A play, that of which got Mao's hyped, has come to a quick end in round four. And they'll pause on the ramp, but this time from a place of power. They've got the player advantage, and uh, they know that Mao's are already letting the incessant thought of saving seep into their minds. Now, I know what you were just bringing up, speaking of, you know, Brolin's inclusion for Maus, and if we look at kind of the trajectory of his career, right, he's this young Swedish prodigy that gets to play with what was at the time the best Swedish players in order to all elevate and come together, right? Mm -hmm. What we have now for the first time in his career is playing alongside four other young upcoming players who, as, as far as in the server goes, don't have that legend or experience to point to, oh, right? Yes. These are players that were all on their journey together as young men, and with Shuhei and Mao's NXT, okay, took yeah. over from a young point. Man, that was, was actually such a sick run from they EF, just, though, chat. Holy fuck. You know, they are bit by bit, clean. piece by piece, using the We Play Academy League system to gain LAN experience, and from the get-go, they were a group of professionals. Mm -hmm. That is what always, you know, made Mao's stand apart for me. Our experience with Mao's NXT and Shuhei's line up there with exi uh, with uh, exertion with Torji you know and the the whole former lineup was that they were just so much more mature which team is uh, the underdog here the eternal fire would be the underdog but eternal fire is in a really like nice, nice and they, you know they so much they, as well. yeah, they've been I mean, surging that's, that's a beautiful spray down. by the way pork chop thanks for your three month primer they've been they've been surging a lot of money here for They've been playing really good Even CS. They are more than capable, especially in a BO1 of beating right? If you go and watch Mouse. Big's interviews with JDC nowadays, you just see how well-spoken he is, how professional he comes across, and he just has that, you know, professional mantra about him as a, as a, as a player. And it's a testament to what that group has Eternal Fire is my O3 pick. Need them to, to lose. To Praise. Brother, this is round two. They already won. Gang of younger men who yeah, you're already fucked, have but results we can so point search at here for Mouse. him to be you know proud of he hasn't posted them with them yet but it does course, feel like the primer, right thank you if you were to tell me brolin was always an nxt player and that he came up with them on the <laughs> oh same this is terrible news it. yeah it's the same story though for, i appreciate like, you we saw from i brolin appreciate you so much the game started where it feels like this tournament is where that real all the success at the start of this year really matters uh, no nah, some people like i don't know get like angry like i appreciate major, that response more than you know I, to the elimination that's incredible <laughs> is awesome but it's a result here oh uh, shit this is terrible news than anything else that you've done <laughs> everything else is preparation building confidence showing results and uh they've laid that foundation now it's just about executing and achieving something that he never felt like he could it's okay at least you're lineups. not one of those people in my youtube comments or coming to my twitch stream after Let's ef1 telling me how stupid i am well, for putting right? them 03 the last six months because of my pickums video before the stage ended confidence. to put the and team i really wanted as 03 i had to use the them as a placeholder and i said that Oh, nice double you name. could be one Their of those people. So good. I mean, we saw the flash e execution. I mean, it's not the flash that's difficult. Mine was ass. The difficult part is ass. Ass. corroborating ass. that with your teammate who's running up the ramp and making sure it pops as you turn the corner. <laughs> and that part is harder than it looks. Obviously, it's a matter of dry run and preparation. But when people are throwing counter utility at you, they're swinging on you, doing short pushes and things like that. That's when it becomes the hard to execute versus teams at this caliber. And we have seen from Eternal Fire that they're looking like a great team because this composition of players looks good, but they're obviously, their practice has been very sound as well because their executions and defaults have been very thorough. This round with zero ramp pressure as well, right? That had been the consistency from Maus so far on this CT I mean, the side. random button on the pickums maybe isn't the, the worst thing for oh this stage. God, oh, hilarious. nice shot. Jesus. He's so on point. He oh, that corner, gets yeah. Himself the second. Feels like well, Zantares is here, Chad. Zantares is here. Up. They're going to hold for a second. My give themselves God. a little pocket to play this behind. guy's locked in shots out of him fat don't find his mark smoking off short could keep calyx out of the equation it's and now we're getting down to the sketchy 25 second mark oh this is a crazy play i mean he could find a pickoff but you know he's risking it right now because of numbers yeah so he gives it a shot and uh, no. as cool as that smoke was desertion playing on that side of it would definitely risk getting flanked if he takes shots so he'll have to peel back Chad, from did this, so a, or did or again. check my uptime here how many times do we see teams get really nervous when shots come through a smoke, they get tagged? Because we know how valuable that sound information is in CS2. And yet, uh, they're really good about not firing back, not taking every single battle, and just approaching. Mm -mm. So it's an incredibly strong start, of course, for Eternal Fire. But Mao started the day 
um, six one. Well, no, I woke up at four a.m. I went live at five. It was on Mirage. Yes, sir. And they came back overpass, and they came back into it. In fact, they came back into both of those halves. Yeah. Of the one of the one zero matchups. This is maybe sometimes if I'm late getting out of bed, I like yesterday I didn't shower. Until these, after the stream, I was just Turtle fire proved so much through the first stage. Mouse proved so much. So many people were complimenting my hair. I didn't have the, the heart to tell them chat. And in, in the process of that, but today I woke Mouse up the at four, so I was able to grab a nice shower, hop on. Who has defeated Spirit in a best of three? Yeah. You know they've lost maps elsewhere, barring of course the blast groups at the start of the year where Spirit had two stand-ins. Those, yeah. those don't count in my books. That's when we uh, like when Mouse beat Spirit. We're like, man, Donk is just getting too old. Yep. You know that's when we thought. Yeah. Times are retired. Yeah. I mean, my East Coast, no, I'm West Coast. We really felt like he was. Uh, if I'm heavily now, caffeinated, but... now I am. Yeah. I'm fucking. He found the fountain of youth once I'm again. Go, He's still baby. back. He's still here. I guess it's the best way to put it. My food's six minutes away. God bless. You know, I was quite surprised to see the amount of doubt that started to be thrown Eternal Fire's way after their struggle versus Heroic in the opening stage of the Major. Because Eternal no, Fire are a team that so many people were comfortable putting 3-0. Finally ordered that Taco Bell? Yeah, the Oats held me for about yes, four hours there. But Heroic. after my six One miles that I walked, I was like, yeah, I could. They could exchanged do maps in the following sense, but if we were going, say, and putting hype on Eternal Fire, Gotta eat to break now so I can get 16, one more meal in before I lift feels like later today. Saw's shortcomings rubbed off <laughs> on the doubters of Eternal Fire. Otherwise, they'll just be too fucking cooked. Their for next the chance to move into top 16, they seized. They didn't waste any more time. There was just that massive streak of rounds they weren't able to win. Did that explode on his head? It, it looked, like it. It looked like it did, yeah. Head. I think he's, he's right. Out here. That one M4 in the back of the site, not finding anything to shoot at just yet because this weird smoke that pops in the middle of everything. My God. Exertion will pull a single This is definitely an aspect site. of Vertigo I don't like, but sorry, this but does happen on other maps too, so. Maybe it hit, hit the floor right after. Maybe it hit his head and then on the box. Maybe he's, he's just got such a hard head it counted as a floor. Fire Mythic decent all of a sudden. We started fracking a little bit. What the hell's going on? I don't have to call as much. Rolling floating here. Well, like I'm calling, but like I don't have to fights. micromanage, you know? Four or six with two month primer, so moment, thank you. We're talking about a 5 1 lead for Eternal Fire. We're talking about a consistent A ramp take that started well for Mouse, but has been stuffed ever since. Mm. So, like, really now I'm more like steering the ship or managing the ship rather than like plotting the course for it eternal fire while we're in the turkish ship lineup obviously if they they've been on a full turkish lineup this is just now them impressing on their full turkish lineup and then we have you know big who zentaris used to play for they're on a full german lineup right now as well no longer and babysitting i, I mean still it. a little bit like a, the video posted by the but you know it's just on, we're not doing Twitter. things for we the first time in matches people i think i, was, I think you know, everybody on the team it's not that there. People are dumb. I just think team. people understand Moses what said, I'm trying to do parties going on a lot of the time and what I would like so to like, do as a team. You know, well, two big cities in Turkey, which is yeah. good, and right? Like we can all have correct answers. You know, I say it all the time. You can have multiple Turkish correct answers in CS. Deep. It's just making sure that everybody has the same one. Finally refilled. We get the M4 is out and Brolin is going to contest the ramp again. Now, Santeras has been the bane of their existence. See the, the approaches are being so much more careful on the ramp this time around, but they are still scared. Oh uh, yeah, Corey, they do. Arcadia comes through oh. it. The lineup for Brolin made easy this time around. That's no, I haven't played Thunderstorm yet. I, I want to though. Arcadia with him. Yeah. No it, W for Eternal Fire this round. This was the. This was a time where they needed the flash. Hong was up but, five uh, two on the T side it. of which map? Another five v three situation here. You upload for your Mouse. POVs. Yeah, all Best my matches, dude, are on Flom Clips CDI. and Highlights, the third YouTube channel. We post on there a lot, dude. A lot, a lot. You guys are... Are fat again. The last time they we tried try to, to leave like the bigger stuff for the main channel, and then we uh, and tries to fight it. Caught out in the open, Molotovs over the top, Zershin. And then we pretty much daily kind of upload There's on the Clips and Highlights channel. That are low, mm. And Zershin's gonna make sure he cleans up a couple, a trio of frags, a total stoppage, and finally Mao's second Mao's round. desperately needed right this shit, there, dude. They were... That, that, that's a play that makes me appreciate Jim Pat because he obviously he's a, the flash that's the main reason he can't lock down the spray but falling back to an angle in the open that's still a good angle to defend against that choke point gives exertion more space to do this right if he had fallen back to generator that was sick from exertion, exertion man been, that guy's a flom sub chat actually just getting hard cleared 
that entire time. But instead, oh, they're on his nuked? teammate's okay. face decided to go try to go one for one if possible. And as a B player, it can be tempting to play retake. But how many times do we see teams play retake on almost any round on Vertigo and simply lose? Again, this time Brolin opening up. You best Zantares. That is the key to the A site of Eternal Fire. No, 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 Frog. Zertion is actually a farm sub. No, the hit clutch was nice. Shown their resilience in the opening best of one, and they're gonna have to bank on it. Well, I think the round is basically two over, biggest actually, rounds, like for me, I, that stuck out in my head in the, the comeback. Is there was one round two where risk, so before we were in overtime, me and Hate two v five them, and we've seen that Eternal Fire are usually not faking. Like it was like a couple runs in, the ramp, and they also haven't been when I came out of door, What's this and then Hate was still outside, and then we squeezed many and shit. They think it's they're stacking the wrong site. That Molly comes down in front of it. The rumbling's on A. CT's now scrambling Ooh, they might over. Lost, they might have lost the timing right there. Although, because oh, yeah. Eternal truck, Fire truck take ended a little them time, yesterday. at least Maus do arrive I before just, the hit comes out. Who did we beat? Nouns. You would think they're going to start watching their flanks now. We'll see. Opera saw the barrel cross. Nade's going to go for the jump up. That's easy damage nah, we, we lost map one. And then the Opera's exchange i mean we had a massive nades, comeback on nuke but does find a home i mean this wholeheartedly bars down if we were more locked in we we really should have won mirage like, going to start get activated 25 seconds time is of the essence here and Sir i mean like get that flank going great flash oh my but god what is it guys oh my god they didn't the see him posted back sight and then zertion's flank comes out calix on the recovery one kill and 10 Ooh. seconds all he ends oh up oh my getting. God. I can't believe that Major doesn't see it. I would actually like to go back to the side was rough. Our CT side, side was when they're trying to plant. I'm genuinely exactly tossed by or individual Major, poor decision flash. making oh, that were like him boosted up after not, flash came in. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes there's tough on default rounds. with no wall smoke. We're like is unless Major was also no, we, we threw like two no critical rounds that torched our economy that sent us into a really rough spot. And we lost both pistols. Bananas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's open to CT as well. I don't think they had a smoke down that had bloomed yet. So, I mean, I don't think males care, though. They'll take it. Take what you can get yeah. on the recovery here versus now pistols in round number nine. Yeah, we see that round's worth two, maybe. <sighs> Steady, you know, it's not my birthday. Shut up. And they only rotated in seconds before the pressure started to come out. Brolin will catch Wakadia towards ramp through smokes. Brolin is making a name for himself. That's, the, that's like the aspect that I weapons. still just like watching. I don't like watching Vertigo. It feels just all, like the, the A ramp. Uh, like playing it. I mean, nobody likes dying through smoke, but playing it, it doesn't feel as bad. Heavily, unless you're the one dying through the smoke, but fire. watching it, it's oh, kind of. Oh my God. We used to call him Turkish Nico, man. He's got that deagle. His aim is so ridiculous. You got to be careful at all times. You got a player locked into Tetris. Molotov to make sure the boost can't come back up. 50 seconds to try and milk this round. Nah, I don't think this map is as a simulator heavy. I just don't like Look, that. Pack grenades left over. Just some smokes. of the rounds just feel like you got unlucky. Eternal fire looking for that. And, and, it, and it happens in. more on Vertigo than others because of the, the, the battles through smoke at A. Gaps where they can do it. So some to consider. Rolling, making sure nobody's allowed anywhere close to the top of the ramp. Zertion's angle could certainly catch somebody off. Zantaras will be looking for the head back site instead. Oh, actually, he's dropped by... No way, it's only two, Lajero, but... Mm. If you guys are on YouTube, like the stream, it does help. And, and make sure you sub, thank you. The, the Lacey takes for 86 months. I hope you've been good, yeah, bro. They're definitely winning as a team. Good uh, good setups to get the kills. Ooh. They're hey, getting, chat. Uh, High My yield. food it's is here, and I am these setups on the fucking ramp. hungry. I'll be kills have been definitely going the way the CTs. Give me a second. Enough times to justify more. And that's been actually the real trouble for teams to figure out how to get a ramp control because CS2 smokes are so fickle on Vertigo with how you can blow them up that can bite back at you. But we're actually seeing that this is working out more for the CT side um, with the HEs. And they're approaching in the same way as CSGO. You know, high-low setup on the ramp, one player ready on short side, ready to peek, and then just timing when they blow up the nade instead of Eternal Fire using it to find a pickoff on the crane peak with an op. Oh, no, that is definitely what unlocks answer. vertigo right now for the CTs, because you can't, you can't really just play retake on either side. I think that is the, that's the tough part. You've got to fight fire with fire on this map on CT side. Ooh, 
teacher decides not to follow through. I think I think Lander's take is kind of meh. I, I always hate the always takes. This is a round that features less vertigo. You absolutely can play retake, but it does depend on the situation. B setup, right? We see the op posted down the steps. These and eternal fire is starting to move faster than they have in rounds prior. Yeah, but a full blown exec here could really find them in a post plant with still a lot of tools to close out, a lot of bodies to still be standing. That looks like a pretty apt call. Torzi moves over in time. But a dangerous game if they're going to start pressing out against this. Eternal Fire looking for the execute. Yeah, they would have heard Torzi moving up. They've got the skill. wall smokes, and they're juggling oh, right nice. now. Oh, nice. So they're going to the major? major Fuck yeah, dude. His. Let's go, so bro. They've gotten to the top of ramp, and they've stalled out here. Uh oh Missed off shot. Webcam off chat while I eat my food in peace. But a constant activation on the primer. flank as well perhaps could end up being pretty important. Woxic met by smoke and still without a kill. A little hesitation as the CTs stall in sight. Brolin decides to go into the smoke. And we'll see what Torshi can do here. He's pressured. Brolin comes out. There's a it's player right behind. Wicadio can recover this. They've lost track of him. But he is all that remains for Eternal Fire. So many players on the site. Ooh. So many, in fact, that Mouse yeah, will hang on. Yeah, there was Mouse a, rallying but it was right a matter now, of man. timing for Mouse to get back into position. They were playing jump up in that 5v5 with a rifle. And uh, Eternal Fire almost couldn't believe that they didn't take any ramp fights. And when they didn't see any opponents, I think they got a little scared. Because if they had gotten down to a 3v3 or something like that, they were low utility for the rest of the hit. Then I think they would have felt more confident about coming in. But they really expected Mouse, who have shown that they're going for aggressive CT ramp <laughs> control, to be there at some point. Appreciate it, Andrew. Them. I think the game plan... I'm not sure, Gravy. For, ...for Major... And not finding the nine month that they transposed into the site hit. So there was a timing and a good call in that. But it was also you try a different browser when they didn't see that, they didn't have a second layer to the game plan. What's the reaction now that we've gotten more space than we thought we'd get? Need some more conviction in the calls. Make hay when the sun shines. Earlier today, of course, we had the Eternal Fire versus Vitality game where the experts were praising the calls of Major versus Apex. Now it's Shuhei at bat. Easy pickups for the rifles inside of the B sites. No entry allowed. And that has been the case for the majority of these B attempts. Early on, they got through with the pistol. But from that point forward, Yimfat, Zershin, locking this one down. And Woxic's first kill has been nabbed. An AK comes with it. His own AK comes back to him. What more can he do with this one? We've got layers in the site. That decides enough's enough. Over the top, he'll go. You are indeed looking at the very last CSGO MVP after the ESL Pro League and Malta was locked down and won by Maus. A group of players who dreamed of one day winning a CSGO event and in their final chance to do it, mm -hmm. did. There was so much poetry at the end of CSGO, that Nico getting Cologne, Maus winning that Pro League finally, Vitality winning a Paris, I was getting his chip, and... Yeah, lots of uh, storylines got locked up. Heroic winning a tier one land. There was. Nico still no major though. One. Early damage is great. Mm, no shade, just kind of sad true to think about. To the wolves. And this is this is the game that Eternal Fire won, right? Mal starving them a bit has worked out quite well. Calix having an excellent performance too. Tie game on the cards. Pretty low utility as well for Mouse to just try and close out with. Op shot oh. hits, but it's a little late with Kadia tracking him on the tarp. No shame down to that. <laughs> they were ready for his swing. Into the 3v5 we'll go. I, I would say, like, Mouse really haven't had the reads this half, but when they finally get the information, they've been really good at the setups. Now it's the first time you see kind of a hard gamble here. It's blind and it's 5v3. It's the perfect time to try to do it. But, uh,. Let's see if it's red or black. Yeah, it's also not too characteristic of Eternal Fire throughout this T-side to be going for fakes, but here in the final round of the half, they will do exactly that. Santeras with the wall of smokes. <laughs> the amount of times that boost has worked. They'll see nothing else. Uh, too many guns shooting back. And Calyx can be given a nice long lurk. 
Bomb will be planted on the B site, confirming Mouse's worst fears. But interesting, know, yeah, he's gonna uh. stick around a little bit. Who right? did I he put out three? Terras is on his own, maybe because of the two smokes. And sure enough, wow! Now Mongols, they have yeah, I'm this if they with beat enough Vitality. time to go for a bit of a desperate retake. There's two mm. kits in the mix: Molotov, smoke, everything really that Mouse need, barring a bit of a lack of time. But with Katie's position, it seems like they sense him, and they're gonna come through now in the man advantage, falling forward. Woxic locked in against the wall. Brolin has done so much. And all he has to do oh. is try to close the clutch, but Mazur's going to tap him. Yeah, nice one. Beautiful. Ooh, thanks for the five minute primer. Thank making you. Making the most of the 5v3 to tie What's this game. What's the score right now, up. Chad? Oh, we've we been blessed with a lot of great games, and uh, this is a, another good What's start. What's the score in Mongols Both Vitality? How fucked am I? Brilliant place here in the first half. Lots of good individual efforts, and. Uh, no telling who's going to be able to win this game. Vertigo is a known quantity between both of them. I can only assume, you know, Jim Pat watching the flank that intently in that situation is because they were well prepared for Vertigo. And of course, Cyclone also the coach to get the call up from Mao's NXT. And, um, uh, and now they've got Zipix, who is the assistant coach. Who, of course, you would think Zipix, you know, who could, why would he be an assistant to anybody? But he hasn't done any coaching. So, I think it's a really good setup in terms of keeping Psycho in his position and getting some new perspective of course. on how to become a championship winning team. Few know better than Zipix. Yeah. And, you know, anytime Shuhei has a chance to praise Psycho as his right hand man and coach, mm -hmm. he'll do it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Gravy. That sucks, bro, but. He's also stood in a few times and fragged out. Mm -hmm. It player, might be like hardware Excel or something like that on Chrome. Definitely has what it takes. If it's working on pistol. Firefox and not Eternal Chrome, fire picking up their T side like that's pistol usually win. the culprit. You know? Okadia solo, and don't forget Mao's recovering from what was a one-five deficit. Even despite Eternal Fire putting the cherry on top of the T half with that last round win, Okadia on Tetris with Berettas and no support, Ooh. nor ahead. Insertion right into him. And they'll find that all of this is for free. That deep Molotov on construction followed by a smoke. Excellent utility usage for the few tools that they had for this job. And it'll be a matter of hanging on. We've got a flashbang for Calyx to try to get the retake going. We've got no kit, though, in the mix for Eternal Fire. So this flank... It's gonna have to hit hard and hit fast. Walks it, kicks it off. Zershin tries to push through, giving the Berettas back over to the defense. Flash to get the green push going. Yimfat losing teammates, and it falls on Shuhei. 1v3. Holy can't shit, get this went sideways so quick for Mouse. Stuck into the bomb site. Defuse coming out from Calyx. Has to be the 10 second stick. And oh, Shuhei the line. delivers two. A three piece 1v3, wow. like it's wow. nothing. Wow, it's a cherry on top to have that second kill come out at the exact same second. Nicely done from Shuhei. Definitely finessed him, trying to pretend to jump over the half wall and put together an all important clutch in the situation in a tied score line. This could definitely tip the scales. And you would have felt bad for Miles for losing. Kiwi, thanks for your nine month reset little muffins. Thanks for 27. Upgrade into an open site and a plant versus a team who had no kit on the retake. Well, I would have felt bad, but I also would have been maybe looking at Zershin for pushing out through that smoke with the Berettas. Uh, I don't think they, I don't know if they had a flash to get that aggressive with. And it's not like Major's flank had instantly worked out. Not yeah, sure. I agree on low utility. They could have doubled up on uh, stairs, for example, and held yeah. down the most important retake spot. Um, but you never know what the call was. Someone was flashing for him. Yep. Not going to push blame without a top-down view of what the hell was just going on. Sometimes it is fun, though, to just fire indiscriminately. Of course. Shoot first, <laughs> ask questions later. All right, I'm done eating. Hold on. Three MP9s featured in the buyback from Eternal Fire. A little stack of grenades, a cache of utility. And Zershin as he will be on the entry. Sprays down Madger and gets into the cover. But uh, they have just whacked the beehive. And they are soon to find more CTs where the first one came from, clearing them out with ease. Mm. Shuhei, it's a double <clears throat> kill off his Galil. Joining up nicely, Mao's will but I have start to establish a lead early on. And you can see Exertion. Taco Bell. He is feeling himself breakfast right now, 14 trap. and 5. The sausage one. Really good. And uh, a fuck ton of breakfast. I think someone who I squeezed in my incredible. top 20 list last year. Um, in Whoever's like in charge of the salsas over at fucking and Taco Bell really is fresh in the game. Because he has so many deaths. But uh, for me, 
you know, you take the good with the bad with exertion because when he's having his on games, when they played against Spirit, if you remember the Mirage match, he's the one who killed Donk and Connector every round. You can't really do that unless you've got the kind I'm of Taco Bell fan, but really good is overselling it. Uh, I mean, it's my favorite breakfast. Someone who like has no fast food now. Right? No reason to even believe in himself. To the same nice, level dude. As some of the players that they're going up against. Without him, this team loses a lot of their identity uh, because they could only supplant, you know, the aggressive fragging to like Shuhei or Brolin, for example. And uh, this, this is driving me nuts that, that exertion had. announcers slower, pronounce names different. No, stats, but I don't know if you'd have better impact. <laughs> Glazing Taco Bell. <laughs> he oh, he said something nice. Yeah, way to glaze it, buddy. Off. Didn't mean that he lost his identity at all. We're going to get the Beretta's Roberto's breakfast burrito greater than uh, anything else in Vegas. By. None other. Problem is, is Roberto's dude sometimes is incredibly well, good, or just I swear, dude, MP9 somebody that's working there that day is just the mad. Rug. And that's just we'll ass. Mm. Ooh, if fire can do anything at all. Little Glock burst in the middle of it. 9 6 posted out of Mouse, and this T side starting to hit the flow state. Oh, yeah. Jack in the Box breakfast slaps. The only thing Jack in the Box the breakfast wind. slaps is my fucking to toilet. Start the elimination I get zero problems with Taco day. Bell. I know everybody likes to say, oh, Taco Bell, the toilet. Dude, no. Jack in the Box, literally, I will. Eternal fire look for that that shit no here i won't go probably knowing that it was coming up in this veto again that that stuff is a time out now to try to claw back a t-side but that shuhei pistol clutch that was big yeah that makes a massive difference i mean even the near retake in the 3v5 the round prior could have been a mm. mouse round if not for the other jack in, in the on screen now who clutched back his one bx <laughs> Well done. I was from the YouTube chat. That was good. But an MR12, best of one. Those close rounds mean all that much more. No doubt that Shuhei 1v3 leaves their ears ringing. Eternal Fire, give it a chance to get back on the board with the weapons. Taurus, he's going to go hunting. Oh. shot wakadia playing a dangerous game oh, there massively yeah but he also eats his teammates flash so now no held angle Rod, thanks for the 500 the videos not looking too afraid of this pressure quizza thanks for the the There's 41 one three so thank you the top of ramp pat in the depths Ooh, that was a good You're timing for that there. flash he just like didn't want to go with it the wood wall could have very well cost him his head jim <sighs> fat the crocodile down beneath I think a lot of the belief in yourself for eternal fire comes in this round the thought of having to save again versus 10 rounds can be devastating i think it's a great i have no no you said hi earlier but hello if they shave them down they could be at an advantage next round win or loss draw their utility make it expensive talking about timmy's Nah, I grew up on Timmy's. It's in the U.S. Only if you had Timmy's it breakfast, time, is right? But it went downhill. A few seconds extra, still scouring sites. Still decent Nothing. though. Good Timmy's for the price is pretty solid. Just took a look. <laughs> Unannounced, wide swing out of his position. He's like, it's a bit too quiet for me. Torsi's trying to creep on the approach. Zershin has to end up going through smoke, but he changed places with Wikadia, so it ends up costing him teammates. On top of the Zantara's headshot, there's Wikadia's challenge and finish. Nicely done here from Zantara's. He's in here to tell me to watch Valorant. Right, those internal timings from Eternal Fire. But he's not watching. They clicked as well as their headshots. There are times and he's for insulting people calls, in chat. That's and, crazy. Um, I actually think Mouse called the correct round here. Again, just trying to make it as, as expensive as possible. But even in the situation where Mouse are looking for, where they shave down three players and make the money tough, even if Eternal Fire win, they don't get that, but they don't even get the kills. And it's actually not that expensive at all for Eternal Fire. So this is the best possible win that they could be looking for. But they know there's still some money to chew through. And still a lead here Can't force Mouse. myself to go to a chain restaurant anymore. I mean, chains are, I don't know, they serve their purpose. I like chains. I like eating at local place. I like it all. They've been looking for Zantaras with these nades. 
waiting for Woxic to have his big moment. Oh, Brolin wins that duel. Uh, hello? And What's then Torzy uh -oh. gets the better of his counterpart. 5v3 for Mouse. Oof. You know, they've gotten close to site. Okay, okay. EF cannot afford to lose this, man. If they lose this, this is like... What's the move here? This puts Miles this on like a level. This definitely keep 1B very often, or you go and search back information. So they're reclaring mid. This is good. They they're going to just be able to then focus site. on the retake at A. There is utility left on Double the CTs nades. as they go back to check flanks. This buys them time. So... We'll see if it's early or late, but it's still past a minute. And Trade restaurants are like chilly. It's a fast food place. You have to leave a tip, to be honest. Here to be done yeah, the except the key thing is you get to sit down. Somebody CC cleans up your mess after you. And honestly, dude, chilies is cheaper than some of the fast food places now. questions for Mao's. Nate goes a little too far to take more than 30 off Shuhei. Like, I don't actually, even know if he's... not even close. And that opens up the door for Mao's to go deep CT, right? Off Madger's smoke, Zershin decides to take the position that he himself has offered over. And we'll see if this comes back to haunt Eternal Fire, as suddenly their flank has also been cleared out. Zershin wins the fight towards Shelf, and this retake never had any legs to stand on. Yeah, it, The it only is. thing that kept them close was Kallax's kill on B. They're sitting outside, like you said, their own smoke, right? And so Fuck. they're in a 3 4 Yeah, they, they like had to give that a try, Shaq, because of where they're at, but... And instead, lose players in the exit after a round where they showed that they were keeping their economy in mind, winning all their <clears> trades. I think you get like an appetizer, an entree, and and a and like a, a drink, like a to take full advantage. Adult beverage, I think, for like twelve bucks or thirteen bucks at Chili's or some shit, chat. And this kill right here, that's that's huge. Mm. Chili's is mid. Yeah, but it's not, it's not meant. It's not trying to be. Keep you know, money on the line, it's fire. meant to be a place where you could, ideally, fucking, especially if you got like kids, you take the family, you don't have to cook or clean that night, into this scope. and it's affordable, and you can just like, you know, There's the challenge. have There's a meal. The next. Folly, Wakadia forced out. Smoke goes in. He's locked into this position. T's flooding out towards him. Oh, Torsi playing with a gr what? A pistol? Changing guns? Well, he had the molly up, right? So. Oh, Nate. Okay. There's a molly right in front of him. So they they were trying to scale from the ramp, but Zantaris had him covered too. Damn! Talk about a pressured situation for Wakadia. Flushed out, burning, burning, still able to get in behind the pillar, and a wonderful 2K to try and put Eternal Fire right back to a place where they can compete. The response from Mouse is the B-split. Bum Molotov, CT challenge. Dude, the oh way no. they just fought. Oh, wow. Coming back thanks to the double up in Holy middle. Holy shit, Wikidia the way they just fought out of that position was Walks crazy. He's going to have to pick up slack. He's got Jim Fat in front of him. But he's found good timing underneath You know what I tell you, like chemistry and shit? That's chemistry. Seeing him and this... This is a recovery right, you're not, you're not calling what you're watching. Near impossible. You just understand what Shout each other both need to do and what's headed. happening. They covered everything. No trades back for Eternal Fire. Even if one trade fails, another one goes down. It's still a great situation for them. So that shows you what kind of fight that Mouse have right now. Is that Mouse just... And that was sick. That was so fluid, sick from them, man. Slightly ahead of the Eternal Fire rotations. I'm not even sure how they get over that was being down and recognizing like, where, where the there's where one the opportunity you could create you chaos Just and potentially like reel it back in from, from exploiting that timing whatsoever. and then understanding in well, the very a, moment the to watch when you hit the timing right? what you, everybody needs to generator. do and then they have a rotator who comes through so they smoke the rotator out okay. and they came up into heaven so you see well, this is what but are you cooking too much again this as well with their smoke so they smoke both players and watch their smokes Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Floofy's actually, I just scrolled up. What the fuck? Oh, it's going to be a tough Jess, to swallow. Jess clapped you on that one, Floofy's. Jess is lurking. Thanks for the 420. That's how you know you fucked up, bro. Yeah, they can't get lazy. If they if they go for rounds, like the 3v4 retake, they lose two players, and then they get a situation like this. So they have a massive... Why you got out me? They finally get their money Mostly back. because I don't want Floofies to cook anymore, Jess. And if I tell Floofies that you're the one that bopped him, he probably won't. Walksick now has an auto shotgun. It's like a reign of terror thing, you know? Safe to say not ideal. No utility yeah. to go with it. Calyx only the Molotov, presumably for the bottom of B.
now is to have positioned themselves. Into the four round lead, two to close. Really cooking right now, pasta. Not given that chance. Don't you look at Madfish's mod comments? Let me see. That Waxic mid hole is literally an auto Fire shot. Fire three. It on boxes, just hoping somebody steps forward. Calix, he did use the Molotov at the very start of the round, so now he's just banking on an MP9 and the few nades that his teammates still have to work with. They're not bad. Even back into apply pressure. Nice and early here for Mouse. Knowing that if they can win this one, it oh, feels shit. like the CTs are busted. Hey, he's got the alligator, though. Or the leaf blower in mid. Oh, oh man. What? Oh, okay. Zantaris has always been there. That was uh, an amazing trade back, to be honest. But uh, as we've seen already, they need much more than that. Yeah. No doubt. Smoke grenade from B site. Maddie with the 47 month reset. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Bronze pickings, here we come. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Fourth time's the charm. Yeah. No way Calix heard that, chat. No way. They don't know I'm here. Second seat. Like a mythic boost right there, chat. And we're going to get this pack of mouse players. I'm slipping Jimmy. Look at it slide through. He got through. Sure enough. I mean, you could hear the scrambling. Scrambling. Oh, my. It's all good in the end. Right. Light as a cat, baby. Yeah. Shoots better than he jumps. I'll tell you that. Nice boost, bro. Nice one, jump hat. Nice boost, bro. You know, there's some weird inconsistencies with jumping right now, so like I don't know how much I want to grill him. He was just trying to pull all the rotators early. Oh, that's what yeah. it was. Yeah, right. that's the only way you get this sequence. That's true. Like Naf said, you know, nobody makes mistakes. It's always on purpose. Damn. I think internal. Did we win last night? One one. About this ET side. Matty, thanks for the 47 month reset. Thank you, Cresta. Thanks like, for the Twitch Primer. Thank you. Pull back this game, but right now Mauser. You know, going toe to toe with them in some situations, but more X Factor. I think they're playing more responsibly, and uh, they have a good read on Eternal Fire here in the second half. Yeah, all their setups have been flushing out the right players. Nate's landing in the good spots. There's been a couple near misses with Mao's and Shuhei's calls, but even when it felt like there was going to be an issue, they act fast enough. Why not be a three moments. instead of playing? So uh, two matches. Oh, flash. I'll explain more. Deegan, God Cali damn it, he's back. Beautifully with the flashbangs. Eternal fire not done yet. Jim Pat, neither is he. A second three versus five would be backbreaking. So jumping, Jimmy. They're gonna make sure to put <laughs> That's him down. what I thought I was safe from Deegan. I mean, I love money, but God damn it, you fucking well, psycho. Katie, don't, don't, don't knife him. You know what I mean? Don't knife him. <clears throat> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, Deegan with the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 fucking gifted. Yeah, that jerk. No, you don't understand, Zorp. At that point, you have to commit. I had to give this guy speeches to stop because I have multiple mansions, and he just, like, yeah, he just lights that shit on fire. We're just at that point. So, Torsi looking like he just saw a ghost, turns around, and there's a knife in front of him. Degen? Yeah. No, I can see how you're getting confused with the names. Very solid utility. Thank and you very much, Deegan. I do appreciate it. Even though I still Alex think. Slash major behold. You're. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, because Mao's very fond of getting out to the bottom of stairs early. Staring at the skies. And not to mention when they Deegan, first got there, they saw the those 5, 10, 15, right? 20, 25, 30, 30 so 35, 40, 45, 50 gifted very again. From major and impressive calls. Staying active. You see, like this is what this is in a high pressure situation as your opponents have five map. I think mean, you just encourage them to. If you say anything, you do it. You're yeah, just, uh, I don't four. know. But uh, they've got walks gone and up, but they don't exactly have him on four. So I'll right? just say thank you, Deegan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Impact coming the way of Torji. No more matchup. speeches about how I have multiple mansions. And of course, Sertian 20 and 10. Just here for the weekend, high, the bro. Again. Wow. It's Thursday, bro. From the same spot, not his first. That's Ladies and thanks for the one gifted. Half, thank you. Actually, to pull that play off. And Wakadia has fought for it, coming again behind the Molotov in that previous round. They definitely have a read on the way Mao's want to approach the ramp control, and mm. it's uh, it's it's doing pretty well for them. I mean, he's died a couple of times. The other times, Xanteris has got the kills. 
Bomb when you're that rich. God damn it. You literally alley ooped him for the scam train. All right, I owe 50 gifted. You fucker, prod. Fourth player leaning back towards elevator. Good up shot. Good nade as well. This is prod. Thanks to the 500 bitties and Dean. Thanks to the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 gifted. I owe you 50 gifted. Yimfat on his own has gotten two kills and a bit more damage, confirming two CTs to the left side. Torzi not on the trusty off. Elevator peak about to come in, and that is where this one gets maybe shot. Maybe down. they bring this it back is here. Eternal fire with an excellent back-to-back -back response. Yeah, and this will be a right, thanks to the, the 500 bitties of eternal fire to see if they can put one foot in front of the other. Because I think this is game a game where clearly, like I think the round ac the round score accurately describes who's made less mistakes. I mean. Even if we go to the Shuhei 1v2. You see what I mean, though, the, now Chalupa, at least? Is, couldn't they still have swung him together to get the kill? Prismatic, thanks um, for the one gifted. Thank you to Blake Dog, A51. got outgunned a little bit. I don't think this game comes completely down to him. I think Turtle Fire have kept up in that regard. Maybe there is the uh, Waxic, Torhei, uh, uh, sorry, Torji difference. Lay but thanks to the 5 month Primer, thank well, you. Where mm. Waxic hasn't even been. So there it Good is. Good read from Waxic. Bit of a rare appearance, but uh, never too late. Oh, well, the game is still live, so... I think it comes down to mentality. And Eternal Fire's mentality has been strong in Copenhagen. They've been fighting tooth and nail. And they've been through it. You know, there was a... The, the game... There was a series, I think one map on Vertigo, where they really showed that they were not themselves and the pressure was getting to them. Mm -hmm. But they bounced back from it. Yeah, thanks to the two-month reset. Thank you. Yimfat's open the door towards B. To lose this one would be rough. Okay, thank you. Oh, no. So, luckily, nah, they I start to matter. stop the Wait, bleeding. maybe timing. Shuhei... Oh. Whoa. Oh, him and Zantares. Oh, he oh he made noise though. Yeah, but then he made noise the other way again, and then turned back. No way Zantares falls for that. Shuhei just ran back a second time. Yeah. <gasps> Zantares. Oh, oh okay. my! Yeah, that was a sweet play. Down to a it, was a, it was a sweet play. It was yep. a sweet play. Yep. Desperate times call for desperate measures. That's quick thinking. Shuhei. He didn't see me. I can bait him. Trying to flex that brain of his. Eternal fire at the moment, flexing the muscle because they are indeed clawing this game back. This is three rounds in a row, two more to push us into OT. They could do it, man. CT side Virgo, they've had some very convincing rounds. Walksix op to try and take off. Curious to see. We saw him drop I feel like Miles has actually had a lot of success on BM. I'm curious the what they're going to do on, on this round. Do you want to like use that to your advantage? And to open up a little bit. Afford in the follow up. That's what they have to Please join the 30 month primer. Thank you. And a site has been slightly problematic with those Wikadia short pushes. He's trade places with Sertion once and just got two straight up 2Ks on his aggressive peaks. That is three rounds that I, I don't even know how much that is. Wikadia's impact. Is this D on YouTube Can now? Him? Especially if they want to keep coming A. I think Deegan's you technically just don't have donating to money on you YouTube to. now. I don't know. But Eternal Fire are growing with strength I, on both sides a little bit more. And 112 USD. To keep presence here. This motherfucker's in both chats. I think that's Deegan. After they go God damn it. 121 US ramp. dollars. Thank you very much, man. They've done, done a good job. They've done a good job. He's just going everywhere. That flash. Yep. It's uh, delaying the reclear on the ramp. So get on TikTok so they give you ice cream and shit. Major goes back to A and I don't need any more ice cream in my life. Look now at me. Now they realize this commitment's coming into the B hit. And Calix pressed against Green sees nobody in sight just yet. Finally, Mouse players flood out. 30 seconds to make this work. And Waxic delivers. But Torsi clears Green, tucking into the corner. As the bomb is looking to go down the mid oh. denied. Zertion's gonna get nothing. Great recovery from Wakanda. Dude, Excellent they can do this shit. From Eternal Fire, but bomb down He's gonna put him on 11. And on top of it, damage is done. The retake Shoot to keep this to the five, four round streak rolling. I you 10 on YouTube chat? A clump of Eternal As Fire well. players in oh, from CT. What? And Zantares on the off. Then the spray from Shuhei, not enough. Wow. And so four straight. From the Turkish team. <laughs> was that a lineup from Zantaris or a flick? The left side of Quad, I thought that was a perfect way to play that 2v4. Zantaris off. He might get one or two kills and cause an Don't absolute tragedy. Chat. But instead, it's uh, Mouse who can't They're feeling the pressure right now, man. Plant because the pickoffs keep coming in. So I would say a rare well, situation Deegan, thank you where again and shoot being thank forced you. to play retake can still go your way if you play it calmly enough. You know, I think the back generator player not doing anything until Walksy takes the first shot is important. And uh, he actually ends up dying. 
in this situation, but it it comes with information as they try to push forward and take over ma more map control. So this comes down to round 24, folks. After a tied first half. Mad Monk, thanks to the Turtle five gifted. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you. Getting smarter, getting stronger throughout these rounds and setups. But Maus have the advantage of being able to collect some data. They know what doesn't work at this point. They've been doing good Yo, the on the front as well. Oh my Walks God. in the same place at the same time. With a flash I don't know if he, though, I don't even know if that works. Shot, I... <laughs> Shumei takes it right to the chest. The chase is out. Sir Shin gets oh! the second. Now there is this rotate the back around KT, but are they going over the beat? One HP? Jim Pat wins oh. his duel. Oh that should my have been the God. The bomb drops and tears the bomb in the sub chat. But that mid lurk from Sir Shin. Who's laughing not, now, no. dumbass? He's just going to be able to come in from behind. Huh? You'd think. You guys were talking a whole lot of shit bullet. a second ago. Of course, he's looking at his teammate's screen. Has to stay focused as Wikadia comes around. Caught out, but still able Ooh. to win that fight. Zershin then getting the CT spawn into the back pocket of Mouse. Oh, Four rounds in a row, and now Wikadia going to have to get the fifth. Working with 19 HP, two Ts posted. Ah. Mouse will survive the test and move forward 2-0. 2-0, right. baby. Another 13-11 victory. And uh, Mouse did great with... 10 on YouTube and 56 on Twitch. I think being as good of a team as they needed to be, as well as having slightly better individuals overall, I think oh, that 58 game comes on down Twitch, to raise right, because we have the two individuals. That's right. Because KT gifted, one and, gifted one and Prismatic gifted one. But they did get outclassed Ooh, in the more that? important And Blazing moments. gifted one. And Wait, uh, no. that's when, again, we amplify and shine a light on, you know, the 1v3 on the pistol from Shuhei as well. Yeah, a huge clutch that just I'm in looking. the end, in hindsight, makes a world of difference. Absolutely does, and we talked about exertion nope, uh, before, I'm and looking. also in the cast, right. it was mentioned about how you can't always see it necessarily yes, in the sir. stats because he tends to die a lot because he takes risks. But then he can also play rounds like this that avoids them having to go to OT and closing out their game and giving Man, them the 2-0 today. Man, are definitely impactful on this last round, and it encapsulates it all of so the qualities like, like that we were talking about. Time. When it comes yeah, to what up, complexity, right? big fan. Daring. There is a Molotov. He knows I what's think I got your care package, by the way, complexity. He closes that gap, and after the second kill, he goes goes through the smoke to the right side. This is the vision that we're talking about. Players who are willing to take the extra chat. risk. And here, obviously, he's a beautiful closer. 13 to 11, a game that has delivered massively. Actually, I thought he did good, pretty good on both sides of the map. I, this, this game was super interesting. The first, the first like six, seven rounds of this game, it felt like it was all decided on the A ramp. Everything was decided on the A ramp. You either had the entries from Santeros and Wakati on A ramp, right. and the round was done, and Maus couldn't defend, or Maus got those kills and shut them down, and then there was no way for Eternal Fire to get back in. I actually think the key to the first half, that and actually the key to the game that allowed Maus to recover convincingly, was they started playing more passive at that bomb site. They stopped giving them those fights like from like round eight on. They were like, we're just not going to fight you on A ramp. You can have it, and that's where. They activated exertion. He got a couple of those mid pushes going yep. down the ladder, pushing down the stairs, getting tons of information, getting fast flanks. And that more passive defense like that, that switch up into that philosophy was great for Mouse. And I think we can rightfully maybe fold Eternal Fire just a little bit for that because they had a, a pretty good start to the uh -huh. game. And you're, you're usually not in a position where flanks are going to affect you when you're in the lead. And that's why I get a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. They play slightly too much together, the wolf pack mentality that we like to talk about with them. I think Zershan exploited it as much as possible. The amount of information he was able to get her on the CT side and let his teammates be very comfortable where they need to be. That's because the, the flanks and the lurks of the T side of Eternal Fire aren't doing their job. You're supposed to know what, where the fog of war is, when you can punish. Haven't done that. Actually, an apt quote from Zantares uh, to HLTV just yesterday. He said, we have mental issues in the team. Sometimes everyone focuses on their crosshair a lot and we don't get all the info. That's what was in play today. It's yeah. crazy. It's like, it's what we talked about in the pre-show, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it all comes together. It all oh, circles back. It all back. circles yeah. back. Here we go. That does mean, though, that for Mouse, we have, uh, you know, a great streak of games when well, we've seen them right from the RMR to now, two and zero on the day. I think what's really cool about bo both Mouse's games today is especially I mean, the first one, they started out in a little bit of a deficit, right down zero to five. This one, they weren't like losing it so heavily, but they were kind of getting punched in the face by some of those entries. A little bit. And they found, they found things to switch into, right? I mentioned in the green, I'm not sure Cyphron gets enough enough credit as a coach, and I, I, there's no way for us to know who kind of called for a change in philosophy, but obviously this team has come into this very well geared at a couple different philosophies, a couple different setups that they were able to execute in the series and switch into when things weren't working exactly the way they wanted it, and that's super impressive to me for, for a Mal's team coming into this. That shows they're, they're just well prepared. Yeah, they are, and, and I like that they keep on going with what I call the gambles, but a really well uh, intuition, if you will. Like, the, the decisions they made on the CT side, coming back into it, was one of a team 
team that is very much connected and activated just mentally in the game and not lost at all. And we, we sort of celebrated Major and what he can do as yep. an IGL. Well, here I think Shuhei deserves a little bit too because he, he placed his pawns the right way. Oh, absolutely. He also had a couple of uh, clutches or yeah, situations that there. were hard to win for him. Yeah, well, that, that I mean, that was kind of the story of the second half is Eternal Fire ha was in great <laughs> positions multiple times in that second half to not even, not even like the comeback is fine, right? The four rounds in a row as you're kind of coming back, almost forcing overtime, fine. But you lost a 3v1 in the pistol. You mm. lost a five on three later on in the half. Brolin gets a nice double kill, executing a mid split into the B bomb site. And like, these are the moments, especially in MR12, you don't get a lot of time to recover these kinds of mistakes the way that we saw teams able, you know, used to be able to. So Shuhei wins this one, and that's brutal. That's it's, backbreaking. That's a pistol round as yeah. well. You go on to have a really, really, really slow start in the second half and the game is kind of out of reach. It's such a beautiful week, such, like the way yeah. he plays it, the way he jumps around. Like, it looks a little goofy, but there is a logic to it, right? Trying to grab information, make sure that you get that extra shot, shoulder peek, you can analyze, locate where it is next opponent. And then, of course, as time is running, while the whole madness is happening, he knows someone's going to stick the defuse. I just have a duel to win at the end. Exactly what he does. And the understanding of the, like, how much time you have to play with without, no. without a kit and all that. Yeah, it's great. It doesn't get a whole lot of praises from an individual perspective. I think right. we always mm -hmm. talk about Shui as a maestro and this well, there's, new there's gen pretty leader. exciting people on this team that over I know, we, we, can, we can always talk about everything, but I do think every now and then individually he shows us what he can do, yeah. Just not just about mental game, but also the skill-wise. Yeah. yeah, when it all works, when he has the calls and he can trust on those heavy header, hitters, rather, when they're all online to, to make it work, then it's beautiful to watch. And then they look uh, kind of flawless at times, even though this one was... It wasn't easy, right? Eternal Fire did find with the dysfunctionality that they were dealing with and some of the heartbreak rounds that they were fighting against, they built up in the end um, 12 rounds here. So we need to give him some props in terms of contextualizing them, also beating Vitality earlier and now mm. going into that one-on-one -on -one pool. I agree. Ab absolutely. I think it, I think it's a pretty good day from them. Uh, I mean, you, you got to be happy with this one as well, with the Vitality victory. Obviously, it's not going to feel good after losing this one to Mal's, but you, you see some of the reasons of why they're a dangerous you squad. You take that, for sure. though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you take it, of course. Not that it means anything specifically who you've beaten to no. be in that 1-1 pool. It's going to be uh, not easier at all from this point on. But I do like that even when this sort of... Uh, comeback was happening, they they didn't fall into what we saw against Heroic or Gamer Legion, which is becoming super passive and not having being yeah, destroyed. Yeah, Gamer no. Legion one from the opening stage yeah, where it just felt like they disappeared. Here. It didn't happen yeah. here. Even when the scoreline is 12 to 8, you still see Major and Calyx working in unison, flashing for each other, being active, finding these moves. That's how you manufacture a comeback. You act as if you're winning. You act as if you have the momentum, and that's what they did here. So props for giving a good try. Props indeed. I hope the fans that were watching live aren't too sad. They got a one in one day. We get to watch them again. There's more games coming in those, in those little watch parties as well. Exactly. Many more of those. But after the break, we will head into complexity versus heroic. So mm. stay tuned. Mm, delicious. Go. Smoke. Flash. Second. Flashing. Up mid, up mid. Boom. Boom. Get it to be. That's not dead. Slow side. Slow side. Nice. Let's go. Nice. 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 Tell you can pick from me, guys. It is yeah. one behind, one HP. Nice, nice. 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 Level up your gaming space right. with metal posters from displays. Paint your displays in seconds. <laughs> BK, thanks for your 34-month primer. Thank like. you. Get official art from your favorite games. On a unique John V, thanks for the 19-month primer. Thank you. And choose Bike, thanks for the 31-month recent final with my job. Join so. over 3 million collectors now. No, it's okay, man. Is here. Shop now at display.com. Oh, Bike, bro, you're, you're good, man. Sub for a second. Sad to break the screen, crying face. Thanks for all these answers and more questions. The world is changing quickly. The world is changing, but one thing remains the same. Victories with one expect.
Yeah, let me make sure. I got a gift from complexity, chat. I can open it. I would assume so. Not yet. Not yet. Is it? Is it till the? Okay. It's is it what he DM'd me about? Versus heroic NA versus EU and the sole North American fine, representative of the Americas. Okay, fine. Moses, when they show them. Can you contain yourself? I Jason already spoiled for me, though. Kind of fucked See, up. This is what's wrong with NA Counter Strike. You have no passion for your team. Like, what is this distanced attitude? Would you let me be like that with Vitality? No, you would poke me. You would force me to be out there. And here he is just looking smug. Like, it's fine. You are what's wrong with NACS. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like so a bit of a match. It's Inferno again. <laughs> Oh, Maybe we went overboard on that. Yeah. Maybe a little. We just but stay here. Anyways, then. Uh, Complexity <laughs> did come into uh, this stage. Uh, they got to start in the elimination stage and they beat Pain earlier today. On the other side, we have Heroic who took the scalp of FaZe. So kind of in terms of the teams they beat, I, I bet Heroic is feeling really good about that. I definitely I'll, watch, I'll watch a couple rounds here and we'll come back. Chat, that game starts in five minutes. That means we'll in this. two minutes, I'm running a Pro large bomb size we'll ad to finally get my ass back. in gear with these ads, okay? Or if it runs back into the woods. You know, we've we've spent a good bit of time down in Brazil. We were even there when uh, when VP went on to, to win the major there. And, you know, something you'll you'll see about the Brazilian fans is usually... If I got you, is, Legion. Like, Gravy, shitty, thanks for your four months, Risa. Brazilian squads. A live cup of Joe, thank you. Murder, the, thank you. James is actually someone Vaseline, that is, thank you. And the, the post, like thank you for your primer. And they might love him. <laughs> if, if VP give up, uh, give up two wins to Brazilian teams today... Let's see what we get here. You tell out over towards B. Is that a is that a miss smoke? Yeah, it is. That's a pretty devastating miss. So uh, part of this exec is missing. Coffins was supposed to be smoked off, but they're going to go take it dry, a pain. Holy yeah, fuck. That's what it feels like. Well, I'm going to go down. VP might save right now. VP on the big flank. They've got a kit. They're prepped for this. They know what they're doing, but... Don't miss the A stream. I'm going back right now after this pistol. Flash. We'll just watch this. Oh, finds that reswing and oh damn nice as shots well. it's a four on three low health as well on these two pain players smoke stick is not a bad move for vp but they need to provide the cover how is still at the back of the site that's a massive headshot now coming through the smoke as well Double oh for my Done. god it's jame too far away won't be the last time you hear that jame time Jane wasn't but, even but trying like, to go for the reason. There it is, Chad, there the it roster, is. Still playing good, and then we've seen like a slight drop off. There it like is. All these pieces playing on? well. That's the point. Yeah. Right, now you can say, I open you say it? Grim is a second star. I'm not exactly sure whether the new Jersey has fully embraced the idea that he is the a black second star. Because I think back. he should be. Okay. I think now I'm allowed to open my passions and he has the resources to deliver. He does. But when Elish came back, obviously a lot of space was given to Elish. Wait, wait. I gotta run the ad. I gotta run the ad. By far. Holy shit! I almost forgot. He had a massive drop off from Grim, and now he's getting slightly bit more important in the roster and I think it, it shows. I mean, this is also why she saw me like a little, little backed off and casual at the desk when this all began when she hyped up the air right, angle because it's like, I don't, know, I, don't, uh... I don't know what this team... Oh, has shit, you even put like my fucking alias on the back. That's sick, Jake, man. Jake, 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 I know, it had my head. I was like, yeah. when, I look at, when I look at games where they're playing well and causing an upset, it's like, JT's up there. I'm like, I, that shouldn't be happening. It's great that it is, but it's weird. There you I go, wouldn't describe it as hyping up. I was just egging yeah, yeah. you on yeah, okay, that's to fair. start. But no, but they deserve their powers if they do play at a high level. Level here today, they won their opening match. There you um, go. We mentioned Halls oh, are there. Yeah, Let's we're back. a little bit on the other side as well, perhaps. We're so you didn't back. Want to. Well, well, I just wanted about? to mention, there and also complexity is in some throwback <laughs> Even through right my now. name on the back yeah. of it, I appreciate really it, guys. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. That's, that's all I wanted to know. You're not giving me a lot to work with. You, we're you so back, dude. Yeah, Talk it's for the throwback jersey. Talk about fashion. Please, dude. Oh, my God. No, don't say men. Take Jason. All right, give me a You ain't seen titty for free. Hold on. All right, Matthew, talk to me about these uppers. Well, interestingly enough, I think they create controversy and 
different ways, right? Halzerk, of course, just from his level overall. And Nico does because if you are an aficionado of the purest AWP style, then sometimes he doesn't live up to the expectation. But there is rifling skills over there. Yeah. And it always creates a debate, a conversation, whether or not this should be how an Alper behaves or what are the pluses and the minuses. I think against FaZe, we saw that the rhythm you game. can have, the, the rhythm you benefit on your T side when you have these rifle skills coming in from Nikodos are absolutely instrumental. And in that case, that was definitely the plus. Yeah, I think it's a take I stole from that cast particularly, but it was interesting about like kind of theorizing how for Kixon there can be more opportunities because in any given round, you can use them in, in, in a myriad of ways. And also financially, that's that's the least yeah. of an investment, right? You don't Silver always lining. have to have that eco for the AWP. Vertigo again! If you want to talk about offers though, Halsey, Halsey playing well puts this Halsey. complexity to me. Halsey? Like that? I like that. I like that. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have to get that anime mouse pad wow. out of here, but it's, 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 it's all right for now. Yeah, him playing well takes this team to a new level. That's uh, he's just one of those offers that like finds impact. He's not like your textbook offer, but when he's when he's finding his game and he's finding his impact, taking confident peaks, he's going to change so the nature of the game. So here is my issue, uh, Jason, because... We might I need to talk about the sleeves a little bit, but it looks good. Days. days. So we're rolling. You're the one. Rolling. You are the one. I was the one that was a fan club. It was a three. I had a couple of friends with me here. But the problem is now, I feel like he's been playing for long enough in the complexity. And I have to drop the narrative of, you know, just give him some time. He's going to warm up into this. I do feel like we've seen the maximum we can get from him. And I think there is a little bit of a frail... Frail? He's frail. Frail? Frail? Frailty? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, I think Mentally, so. he's got moments where he disappears. Uh -uh. So I, I think he is who he is as a player. I, I have to come to peace with the it's limitations of the I don't think that's going to make my, no, my arms actually, smaller, well, brother. It's how much I'm I see Matthew is sending for Halsey, as Moses likes uh, to put shit. it. So let's Halsey. head over to our caster, Scrawny and Lowey. What do you think about Halsey? Dude, you're God like damn it, dude. Thank you. I love money. Job. Thank yeah, you, Deacon. I mean, not Jason's best work. Um, Thank you so much for the five. The bar's low anyways. 10, 15, 20, 25 gifted. Thank you. Oh, it looks shit. Like being bald is contagious. <laughs> Complexity and heroic oh, walking hearts right. and a best of one to go 2 0. Who could have thunk it? Of course, Complexity opening up versus a regional matchup of Pain earlier today. Heroic, it was the big one, right? The upset over FaZe. That's why we're all hyped on Heroic Juice at the moment. And uh, Vertigo, I'm interesting now, yeah. now because Fishly we've seen, the roster, of course, boys. Yeah. a little bit of Vertigo from both these squads as of late. What other jerseys do you have? Honestly, Syria. the only other jerseys uh, I have are my Exertus jersey from way back in the so day, my the Luminosity jersey. I wouldn't call it the best map for Deacon, either thank team, you again, you fucking degenerate. I appreciate it. Ren, thank you much for the 57-month resub. Thank you. Cold, all things considered. Skipping the first stage of the major, and controversially, because the America's team in Furia, who beat them at the RMR, had to come in at the opening stage. Complexity get this free ticket to top 16. That was a big talking point. And now they've got to prove that it was well-deserved. Right now? They didn't have the retro jerseys ready, so they had to get those ready. That's why they gave them the spot. Nice. Oh, oh like they, nice. Yeah, well done, well done. Yeah, JT. Hell yeah. Imagine running into a bowling ball. You'd never beat Mario. Leash. Ends up catching <laughs> Shush 2 on the fallback, so this is looking good for complexity. Oh, no. Tantalizing 5v3 retake. There's a frag grenade for Nerds to try and do some damage here. There's a kit, of course, on JT. He who threw those nades and nice. got... Damn, Come on. complexity coming through in this post Woo, play. It's go. a flawless pistol for Fuck NA. yeah, let's That's fucking it. go, baby. <laughs> for NA, so yes, it is. And South Africa, of course. And uh, a little bit of Norway. Throw it in there. Yep. Though, but most importantly, Jason Lake. And I think there's actually a heroic watch party in uh, Copenhagen yeah. right now. Yes, sir. I don't know how there's many there are in the There's a fucking complexity right watch party in here, motherfuckers. About, so. Shout out to you guys. At At McKellar, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, McKellar. Great bar. Great logo. Great logo. Uh -uh. Quintessentially Danish uh, brewer. Okay, so complexity. Well, we saw the strength versus pain. They're playing together. The leaf is going crazy. Uh -uh. And Grim, I think, stepped Oh, the up MP7? Back. Oh, God. Those are a few okay, things well, to look for. Trade from the grave. All good. You got yours. Oh, Nothing. fuck. Test test. No! And kicks that in with the max 10. Pain. So that high horse, the complexity we're hoping to ride ah. in the round two. Just that it's like Dude, the Vertigo spawn so like that round brought to you by new Vertigo changes, actually the retake, though. Liege hanging on to the smoke grenade, but met by another. It's crazy how much you can two. contest a fucking ramp now, Refresh man. Smoke wall. Like you just get so much ground Nerds. so fast. It's a long hunt. Ooh. 
Chat, shut Obviously up with your fucking so pain fun, jokes. <laughs> it's just about Indiana if you made Jones a pain joke just now, I swear to God, you better have three kids be and they better be in college. But, uh, also, just denying them from exiting B. So, oh, sorry, uh, Corey. Uh, it's the only way you're allowed to say shit like it that. It was nice while it lasted. Perilla getting right up in their grills with the Mac 10s. <sighs> nice charge behind the fire too, right? Really keeping that pressure on Halzerk, making sure that short was compromised. JT had a hell of a chance. Fifty-six for two hundred bitties, thank you. But he died with nothing. Yeah. That's what let the bomb go down. That's what caused the liege to be smoked out of sight. I keep being reminded there's a couple of Danes here on heroic, you know, because the team got so gutted. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they they have survived and thrived. And I, I keep wanting to say the kicks in again, man. I mean, he's been a great IGL, but I think even as an individual player, he'd be an asset to a lot of teams that we're watching play. His rifle work is superb. So that's one stolen back. Fluffy six for two hundred biddies. Uh, going to be fun for complexity, but uh, I think they're God damn it, Fluffy! Right Crash thanks for the two-year resub. Thank you. Telling you, Heroic Spirit three zero. They could. The I mean, Heroic has looked really good. Ability to play the rifle. Screw the op. As far as he's concerned. That's maybe worst Before case scenario start for complexity. Winning pistol and losing the next the round with the Colts as well. We'll see if they can make some magic happen here. The solo pistol player pulls back. Oh, Pulls look out, JT! Empty -handed. Ah, man. They might just save it. This might see be safe time. We'll see. Going. No, sir. Yeah. Predicted by Shush. So all looks this good is here just for safe time. Body jam hitters. time. It's gotta be jam time. <laughs> Not quite. Have heroic exceeded From the peak of the mountains in Norway. <laughs> Have they exceeded your expectations yet in Copenhagen? <sighs> Blown them away, man. Oh, yeah? Blown them away. I mean, I was thinking about having them go through 3-0. Like, that thought was coming into my mind. And you know what? Is it even that crazy at this point in this 1-0 matchup? Like, they just keep... They're just exactly as good as they were before the tournament started into winning as much as they should into all their players playing as well as they should. And, I mean, even seeing Nikodaz, you know, finally kind of back to his form from flames like in that last match Nikodaz was critical as an opera so I think things are going extremely well I mean I've been liking for sure what we've been seeing out of shush oh, there we go but uh when in doubt flop it out through that I think complexity, <clears throat> especially after the pain matchup I'm like I have a little bit renewed more renewed confidence at least for them in this stage as expected chat because Jason Lake playing a lot better so get at what he does I they're also running a sale on the retro jerseys chat issue with figured I figured I shout out this isn't an ad I just saw it so I figured so I'd floor. Okay. support so them as well if he can have a, a good threshold send me some free shit here it's very important always good to support an NA or looming cloud as well around all of the teams coming in for top 16 and starting at this point and I think that a lot of the community would have put complexity as like the number one I just retweeted on my Twitter if you guys want to find it cold start yeah mm -hmm. you could argue playing pain was an excellent way to kind of kick off yeah flam on run. the back yeah 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 I showed it uh, earlier if you want to peep the bot you missed it right now that Halzerk scout does indeed find impact if you guys hear anything in the background, no, you didn't. It's just my jet. Heroic on the opposite side of the map is looking oh, good. oh yeah, the full B hit here comes. Great yeah. full exec. That's the one with the lane open in the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, right? Loves with this peak right here from Kickstand. If those fires were still burning, he'd still be able to have vision on sight. No number, no number, Nothing just like the name. A little utility evolution to remind you that Counter Strike is king. Yeah, and also, no point in inventing. Just steal. Mm -hmm. That's the best Don't way to sell on these jerseys, only the other ones. Uh, I, it might be a separate link because no it's like a new promotion they did. But if you go to my yeah, Twitter, I retweeted like where smokes, it's at. Okay. Steel, steel, steel. What is yours is mine. Hopefully that helps. I know I'm running you around a little bit. But what is mine is hopefully mine. that helps really in if, they, if you're actually Mikasa, interested in Mikasa. checking it out. The entire shop is 15% off. There you go. Do I think the in game economy. Is going to make adjustments at some point. Honestly, I don't know if so they will. So, what do you think is going to win the game? Do you think it's just? Do you think it's going to be heroic? Or? I believe heroic. Yeah. Win this. The yes, more so, I watch, yeah. the more I personally I, um, play. I, I admit I, I, it I feels bad. No, no faith in complexity, but I really I do. Think I think it, it feels like what I saw. Definitely challenging. Game, so, it feels you know cutthroat. Team, that even just not even. And like, some of those situations that you can get into feel horrible. But I also feel like that's what almost anyone we've seen that over the last few months for sure. Just about doing it 
doing it a lot. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think, I mean, Heroic are just having a great 2024. <laughs> I don't the signs know. signs of their ability I'm not saying I'm opposed on. to them, like, changing. I just... You're sat here being <laughs> oh, impressed by I don't know Heroic. If they will. You think, well, surely there's going to be some cracks now. Yeah. That that momentum can't be followed forward, yet here we are at the second stage lot, of the bro? major, and yeah. they're on the brink of going 2-0. Still frying. So, and like, on top somebody's asked nice my opinion. Oh, fuck. They went 3-0 in the first segment, a couple days off to get some practice in, but right now we've got their hands full as Complexity try to fight on ramp. It'll cost them two and the third. Nikidas doesn't matter what he's swinging with. His guns hit hard and heroic. A 3v2 to try and follow forward with. Alige pressuring with the flashbang to get himself out into the sights. But he doesn't take the full chance. And holds off. There will be the question of the retake. Floppy getting a glimpse of the bomb site. But they could all peek him in a moment. And the trade potential is high. Him and Alige joining up on Jesus the doorway. Going to try to get the retake yeah, going. Floppy takes the front end. Oh, Alige Christ. looking to support. That's two positions confirmed. Oh, Nikodos, though, could catch them all off guard. They clear the planter. Nikodos still oh. up close. <laughs> catching Alige on the end of a reload. And forcing Floppy, who can clutch, to come forward. Time Look is of the, the essence. He's going to put that smoke on top of Bomb and fake it. A second fake, he gets his frag, oh, but there no is no kit for the defuse, and so heroic, it's a costly fourth round Damn, win. Yeah, that was yeah, really it's close, expensive, but... but it's worth it. Worth every penny. Well, uh, he can run with a the gun. They've got the four rounds here and an excellent start. There's no chance that FaZe went 3 out. I don't know why so many people Bird picked him. Bird I picked him because, just being quite fire, honest, I, I didn't know who else to pick. Same way. The CT I knew there was the a good chance that FaZe would fuck it up, but... There wasn't somebody sitting there going like, like in my mind, I wasn't down to who's just more resilient, who's got the better. Floor. I just that's the like the bo ones paralyzed me, dude. I'm just like I, I don't. As you bring them up, that was a nine round T side that they were able to post. Anyone can then, fucking beat anyone in a bo one MR12. I swear to God. So there's a small question mark around their defense. I felt good with Spirit. I do because well, the their individual level has just been so consistent that. It is looking you can feel pretty good about that course. one, but everybody else, not They're so much. They're concerned about Alicia's spot. Oh, oh my crouch. God, he's still got the kill. For some Come reason, on. bo one spirit doesn't feel scary, but everybody else did. I know Alicia. He's pissed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how mad you can be. Crouching he, under the deagle. He probably would have got him on his next bullet, you mm -hmm. know? So. Yeah, yeah. No, sharp shooting from Kixan. I mean, it, it's no coincidence he crouches. That's exactly what he's trying to do. And then he gives us the 180 flick around, so showing us that he can call and kill. Been mind controlled by Flom to thinking it's bad. And that's really been something I think that has been an uptick since his inclusion in Heroic. Back on Apex, Oof. we knew the calling was strong. We'd see glimpses of his individual level, but I feel like he's even better now that he's on Heroic. He is fragging harder. Yeah. In interviews, he said his confidence has gone up as a caller, but he said that he feels like he can do more of whatever he wants. I mean, of course, he accumulated so much experience on that old lineup, learned and had lots of mistakes with them. And sometimes it's great for an IGL to actually move to a new team every once in a while before they become veterans and figure out their style. Because as an IGL, you have to make lots of mistakes. You're going to make mistakes managing personalities. You're going to make mistakes figuring out what your play style is. And while that all happens, sometimes your teammates can lose faith in you. Or sometimes you just get into a rut that you can't get out of. And all you need is a change of scenery. With all that experience you take from the past, you leave all the mistakes behind, all the baggage behind, and you come through with a lot more confidence. You know, I think like in Kerrigan's career, that's happened to him where uh, in the early days it was a lot of and so many people just weren't around at this point to to remember that but there's a lot of choking a, a lot of like teams where it felt like the leadership right. wasn't strong enough. and now of course like look at him like ever since this lineup where he won hey it's andrew hey andrew was thanks for your roster, fucking primer brother losses, thank you thank you thank you like my captain I, I support you and everything and everyone stands behind him in such a massive way and he's a guy who's just used so much experience and gone through a few different lineups and come out ahead every single time because he's built on it. They have a South mistakes. African coach. Cool. I think that's the hardest thing. To uh, yeah. I remember JT is uh, also South African. They came better. It was like a full South African team. At one point it was it's, Sonic. Uh, JT. Really TC was the coach. Had a lot um, of years under their belt. Fady. But, uh, when we look at Kixan, we just look at someone who's learning fast. Somebody who has a great mind with him to help. Right? And one other player. On the coaching role. When we talk about the aggression in this one. Straight up into the boost is Grim. SS is looking for this. Keeping his head on a swivel. 
Not to mention a gap on the smoke for Nikodos to try and get around. How long do they hold this? And a question as to whether it can come back to haunt Super thanks for three months reset. Thank you. Appreciate you. Departing towards middle. And the T is creeping up without being spotted. Little utility pressure from Tess. Nice. He let his guard down. A spot nice, nice, he was nice. watching. Comes back to get him. Shush activates and takes Floppy out right before getting burned. That's yeah. a nice kill from Shush. Shush. So annoying for that. For Shush it's actually so smart from Shush. T and CT side. Yeah, true. Man. Need Floppy no to come out alive though one time of that exchange. Of it's good that he, he the the at least prevented him. My opinion. So, yes, he knows. He knows all the gaps as well when it comes to the T approach. <clears throat> Definitely a threat as an individual lurk. But Complexity have found themselves in a very favorable spot. I mean, it's 35 seconds. They have retake utility. They have a kit in place. They just don't have any HE or Molly to slow down the bomb. So we'll see how aggressively they want to play this defense. And, oh, Grimlin, nice. come, someone come up on the side. Ooh, the trade comes down. But then they let that guard down. Halzerk able to track Kicksan as he jumps over. Nertz, it's a 1v3 attempt, but Nertz, known for a clutch. Makes it a second time to elicit some kind of a peek. JT doesn't give it to him. Now Elise starting to make sound. It's a third fake, and it's one that Elise will oh punish. My. No bomb plant for Heroic. And I think you painted the picture perfectly. They had all they still needed to hang on with. Yes, okay, no utility to do damage, but the guns shoot straight. Uh, Maggie, they yeah, like, four month primer, like and then they the 51. Was it was a good round. But that short peek into his reaction was nice. His aim was so good, and it, you know, you don't really want to plan to have good aim, but with someone like Grim, you want to, like, you do want to assume they're going to out aim people because, like, that's the kind of guy he is. It's a big uh, round to win for Cole because Heroic defaulted day. and they kind of shut him down on it, so they he's might go for. Fights. And yeah, that, that situation, if they had a. There might be, like, more of a set advantage they piece here from Heroic. Back and delayed for time, outlive smoke. And Elena Panda, thank you very much for the two fucking the years. Thank you. No My Snorlax. Playing within smokes is great, just trading down into the exact position we just saw where Nertz is in a 1v2 because he has no room to plant, no smokes down. No Veronica, thank you very much for the Twitch Primer. Thank you. And the time on the CT side. Yeah, fun. They feel nice, honestly. Great to see the old school jerseys be honest, play here. The only place in the jersey or anything like is weird for me. Well, is, like I said, just the arm. Jason Lakers like, just sort of bought back the team and owns it himself. Mm -hmm. um, but everything else, I can do no, whatever sure. he wants. Death taxes and Jason Lake owning complexity. The three constants of Counter Strike. Where did I get that? Complexity sends me. They go for this aggressive mid setup. Tess says, wow, man. making sure that smoke stays honest. But a liege there and supported. But with that mid presence, check this out. Heroic. They're anyway, to buy it, I retweeted. They're they doing a sale right now on their shop. A -ramp, right? This is not an ad, but his job. they did send it to me pick. for free. Just so the you middle know. players separate, leaving Halzerk as a solo op in B. This sandbags play. Well, he doesn't like support in NACS. Real no? close. Grim swings, Woo! and that'll catch the single uh -uh. player from Not tax Heroic advice, but maybe maybe he can claim it as charity. No. The wood wall. Halzerk, <laughs> not tax advice. Not tax advice. And no teammate here to help him. If he can drop one, that would have been great. But yeah. he loses his head to the first I hate that position Shush, who we tried from Halzer. I'm going to keep it real. Player for because of that boost, it it's so hard to the deal with for the opera. And shush. Multi-frag. And it's so common, you know. It's like... Spawn. And forcing him to try to piece this one together. Now, there's no rush. Link doesn't work on Twitter. Yeah, the smoke really? out. Grim goes for the peak. He sees him. A sliver, mm. a shadow. Oh, can he get any damage off? I don't know, but he knows that he can push through the smoke behind Jenny's clear. Sir, that's positioning. That's positioning on both players. So he comes out looking for the quad Works player. For me. Grim getting close. A silent oh. All right. A tip Fuck yeah, of baby. Info, let's go. And he cuts them both down. That's good, man. Grim is cooking today. That's a good clutch. Obviously, with the information that he had, he played it perfectly. Aim does the rest. AD Sonic. What monster. you want to see out of Grim? Oh, okay, okay. Fuck yeah. Great presence of mind. No, Daniel, I did not and join complexity. Once more, sharp shooting. Over towards that A play coming out of sandbags. Gets himself the instant. No, Jason shot, Lake made it very easy for me to be lazy and, this is and keep also still honest. support them. So at least I can do a throw on the jersey. Money in their back pockets, but Shout them out, you know? The bee, I appreciate that. All of a sudden, you thought that round could have been done. Shush, burnt oh. to a crisp. Mm. Burnt down to a quarter. That's some 
crispy Christmas pork right there. Halzerk no longer playing with the off. <laughs> Bad heels. Honestly concerned about Tessas, understandably. Over the top of Xbox goes Nikodos and down to the hands of Halzerk. Showing that both these offers can swing with M-Force. Yeah, true. Extremely well done here from Halzerk. Saves the situation. Look at the CTs. They would have been no position to retake if he had died. Needed to get both and got him. Peeling out this A site to see if they can get the opening. It's going to be a long ladder flank. Oh, but Halzer, okay. his third kill on the round. He has done everything inside of this A site. Shush barely standing. He's just going to try to get that plant down. No nade except for Damn. on Grim. Couldn't prevent so, the plant, but still know, great round from Halzer. Great mill. And Halzer's shots not too far away from it. The nice flank, flank is fantastic. And Shush, it is desperate times. Whoa! Which call for desperate measures. <laughs> Overwhelmed crazy. by that pack of players. A beautiful quad out of Halzerk. And he had to pick up that slack because remember, he lost his teammate with that climb from Shush over Xbox. Yeah, both kills on ramp means that his teammates don't have to rotate, frankly. He said, Mumford, they're, they're, they're bringing it back and they're this. selling the jersey right now. So they're promoting it. Father, thanks for the 54 month Spiritual recent. Thank you. American member of Complexity. <sighs> He's been playing in the region for quite some time. Not as long as JT and Coach TC. I am curious if Jason and Complexity plan on bringing it back full time Definitely now that they're to be one of us. separated a bit from Game Square, and I mean, obviously, it's not—it doesn't work that quickly. But I wonder what it'll be. Made a name for himself in Swedish Counter Strike, playing with some legends. Yeah, that was a crazy opportunity that he had with, with Dignitas to like garner some experience. Mm -hmm. And he always seemed like a character back in the COVID online era. He's become himself proper in complexity. Alish, hands full towards mid, double peak. Almost and guaranteed redesign after the Kixan. podcast. Yeah, Cut I didn't get a chance to listen to all of it. I only sure got about 30 minutes through. There's a hole in the defense here, and it's going to be dealt with by the elevator rotation. They pulled two players off A because of the forward setup on short side. Oh, man. Oh, Floppy didn't see anything right there, but uh, oh, his gun might shit. betray him. Wait, no, he didn't seem like, yeah, Shush not see him either. Shush is cautious on the approach. The rotators come in, but now they could still fall victim to Floppy. He's been spotted out and softened up. JT, a double kill. Well done from JT. Headshots. Molotov's thrown towards oh, Floppy's Floppy. Oh, Floppy, that was nice. The test to see that. Oh, well done, doing Floppy. So, Let's go. And Moses brought this up on the desk well prior to the game going well done. live, right? This impact that we've had from JT as of late. Nice job. Nice assist from JT. See Powerful two kills. Fuck yeah. They're all here, ready to go. Oh, oh nice God. No flick, though. Holzer can flop. I'm not going to lie. I was terrified after control. he did that. And JT with a highlight moment. Yeah, that was a well-functioning B site. Um, of course, Floppy is is spotting periodically, but he doesn't want to show himself because if he does, then he gets mollied and he has to use an aid and then he goes into like a turtle setup where he can't really fight back that well. So he's just hoping and, and just making sure no one can walk up onto the site. His teammate dying is fine because he's set up perfectly thereafter. Uh, they get that flash so he can transpose to push forward, fight the B steps. They keep that man advantage to keep the flashes going high and over and they never really lose control of the B site. Well, there's been a lot of action uh -huh. top ladder here between Elysia and Nerds. What are you made of Elysia's CS2 performance? Because Where's the treadmill? I walked CS2 six miles player. today, and I'm already Obviously lifting later on, today. Leave me to alone. About, wait those results. <laughs> yep. But man, he has been consistent. Cleaned up shop at the America's RMR. Good day, sir, Twitch Farmer. You're late is Ooh, the problem, dude. GT giving us another one versus the pistols. But yeah, I thought, you know, Elige departing Team Liquid, joining Complexity. If you're Jason Lake and Elige becomes a free agent, mm -hmm. you well, have well, to jump on I had yeah, initially Taco I was Bell like, breakfast, oh, man, they must have shelled out sausage, like, crunch so much crap. money to be able to afford, you know, what Liquid could offer him. And he said, nice. well, no, actually, I took a pay cut to come to Complexity. So not only did he take a career risk mm -hmm. leaving an established team, awesome you know, that... Yeah, uh, I was losing weight since the year began, even and before I got the walking The only team he's really played on at this level. But he kind of, he moved to a team that he knew we're hovering around 15 pounds lost since won. the start you know, of the year. A little, wow, a little, little bit before the start of the year. He's himself with star players that are going to teach him the game. He realizes moving and grooving. at this point in his career, there aren't many players in NA, if any, that can teach him uh, about how to improve. And so he, him sharing 
uh, trade secrets. Honestly, from when I was doing the, the heavy lifts, I think shave, 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 you know I'm not really doing any like be a champion. I think he body composition tests, but as a cross to bear, I would imagine going to complexity. And he was willing to go to the challenge. And also, he rose like to the not challenge. dropped as much and weight just because when I was then, lifting heavier, coming you know second to I added a bit, Sydney you know, was sort of the best result that they've had on this roster. You do have to be careful with the amount of times that you get close because it doesn't mean uh, that you're going to get closer and eventually win. You could just fall off. And um, uh, Complexity have not actually achieved the result of getting that trophy. The cursor stays roster, when you're in full screen help. Maybe wiggle it again and well just slide it down. And how much effort he puts in every single round and how consistent he's been in this game that he is there for the right reason, playing to win and getting Complexity on the right track. Yeah, giving them a taste of near victory. Comes with confidence as well for the other pieces. I think one of the best things about the complexity addition of Elige was the level he got out of floppy Today, originally. A like a lot. Like a lot. It's helping, but Every some days it feels like I feel like I'm Semphis, I swear to God. To and chase the dream of hosting trophies. Especially if they're from Boston. Yeah. <laughs> I want them MVP medals, a couple trophies. Uh, put them in a the case, John. Back it up. Let's get some oysters. <laughs> Is it happening? Ovi, Ty, and Gretzky? I, hate you. I, I mean, let's crack a brew with old Halsey over here. <laughs> yeah, I right, mean, it's ready. still like, Will Hunting. <laughs> while it would be impressive, it's still hilarious. I, I would like, like it, when you look at everything, it's just not even close. Man, if Complexity hadn't lost the second round, no, hey, I love Ovi, by the way. It's just curious how many heroic would have ended up getting because it's been activity from Complexity round after round. Look at this Elyse flank. Poor Shush is going to walk into his own death, never sees it coming, hit like a truck. And now heroic's execution into the A site, all that they have left, has been read like a book. Double nades from JT again, and he is Fuck here yes. to clean Come on, up get the with seven. Alzirk. A hell Fuck of a recovery yes. from Complexity. Well done. They go down five. one five. How yeah, I was going to say five one. And just sweep this that CT That was side with right pistol back. loss, no dude. It's never too late, man. They, they that means they essentially lost one gun round. Played some great CS there, and they really slowed heroic to a crawl. That's not even possible this time. Yeah, but to me, like that's not even that. That isn't Gretzky's like impressive. Right after the first five rounds, there's just a lot of other shit. Could take some shortcuts, but then they started losing their individual. I'm not trying to shit on Ovi. It's just respect that complexity were ready ready to fight that it's hard when you compare them. you know I think it starts mechanically right you have to stop a team that's going to run at you very fast win some hard duels you're not supposed to win then you earn their respect then you slow them down but then we went to the next level where they leveled up as a team as well and stayed consistent all the way through so great climb back for complexity but you know we know it's not a complexity game unless it's close so classic game certainly not over I mean, yet. by the stage i think and comparing across generations right and now. stuff is stupid Feels like and impossible to, the to, to do that our region has had to deal with and trying to cheer for complexity is so i just try to appreciate like up. each one for what it is things feel close but like when this you start to compare to it's like i mean fuck, like, throughout 2023 you're off the stat like my god yogurt thanks to the 27 thank you richard thanks to the three something special but weren't and that's why we stopped talking about it Get it over the line, or go home. I just think comparing stuff like across different generations is, yeah, you're you're getting into it. You can't quantify it. You know, it's it's just kind of how it reads. Oh, they're slowing him down so much. Looking to stuff him on the stairs, Oof. which they are. Two kills for heroic looks real good. Ali's trying to recover with something. Oh, that's so frustrating. But the lurk in place from Grim, he could change things. Spotted out. There's two here for him. He will bring one out of this. Yeah, that And then works. they're going to go for the boost on the B steps. Elise looking to re-engage. Nice angle from Nerds, oh, but Elise, the way he approached that. He's reopened this bomb site wonderfully. Kicks down low health, gets oh. his answer back, and it's going to have to be JT, known to be a demon with a pistol. Best Deagle in our region, but the Glock Best doesn't Deagle in our region. the same punch. Mm -hmm. Two enemies still ahead Truck of would like to have a word. One on low health, and it's on the reload. The mm. Tessess smells blood in the water, chases him down, and with that Fuck. smoke Broke up smirk, both pistols. No, God damn. This is heroic's chance Wait, to no. bring back the game. Complexity yeah, then, got you know, pistol, that's right, then got like eco. Keeps, keeps Correction, my bad. Him. Like, they're ready to chase down that's friends if they need to. Shush has shown that he is a two-way player in the sense of being able to play slowly, play quickly, aggressively, and defensively. I didn't know that, and, Mike, uh, but that is cool. on the same page in that regard. Um, they definitely evolved perfectly with the old pieces and the new ones. Don't be sorry. Be better. And, my uh, bad. My well, bad. The second pistol means 
they're going to be right, smiling man. from ear to ear about being Jesus. able to play CT side, especially on this anti-eco. Tech 9's barreling towards them. Grim shut out of it real fast. Wow. Fuck. And then a little pressure from Tess to clean well, up with the SMG, shit. make some extra money. <sighs> All is good. Man, so, you know, that last round was a really good way to exemplify when you fight a little bit versus, versus an execute that's coming in, that can mess anything up. Like JT's execs from the stairs are perfect, right? All the mollies they have for the site hits, everything they What's need the to scale. What's the status of my O3 like pain pick? I'm busy working. Comes to a JT uh, and if a timing is blocked gonna... because someone's on the Good. half ball or peaking or not dying, suddenly the flashes you throw are completely useless. The mollies will expire, and then you are left with players who are unarmored. Yeah, pain, no, uh, pain seemingly uh, way too no reliant on big over, users' individual level, exposed, which is kind of so how it felt. That was but... just such a good way for Heroic to defend in that last round. But also hard when so the guy literally posts when he's the best player in one stage of the tournament, hard to also yeah, want to go yeah, against that as well. Again, the teams that are strict, I think strict has really fallen out of favor. I wouldn't call him strict, by the way. I'd call him thorough. But moments like that, full execs, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's really good to play by the front door on full execs instead of playing back. Ooh, they try to go for the ramp hit. Kicksan taking that one up. Dropping the chance. Now, this MP7 no idea is that I, don't, I haven't really been doing any like crazy tracking. Not too Listen worried about it to be honest. I'm like following it, it, but I don't have a goal because I'm just nothing more. Like, the goal is to be healthier. I'm not tying it to wait. Minute mark. You've got to re clear things. If that makes sense. Still looking down, prying eyes here from above. Ooh, oh man, nice and Nikodas, he has been making his M4 look like an op. Yep. Laser Fuck. beam and fully focused. Damn, I was really hoping he would get give that it back. Rotation back from the teammates, trying to scramble into the A hit. But Complexity have to be a little cautious on the approach because for all they know, shorts compromised. Sandbags could be preoccupied. So they'll get that ramp control. With this volley of utility, try to puncture through in the 4v4. There's a few lesser weapons for Heroic to deal with. But Sight Control, the name of the game. Halzerk, he'll catch Tessess through the smoke. And Nikodaw is going over, doesn't stop the plan. He gets the fight towards short, queued oh. up, killing Grim. Halzerk next up with the answer. And as he tracks Halzerk. through smoke, Ooh. it's a multi frag from Halzerk, not the only opera who can rifle. Yeah, that's Come true. On. Once again, answering back like so many rounds back and forth. And nerds who oftentimes can on, be Detroit alert. style pizza, my favorite. It's my favorite. Hanging out because there's a better gun sitting here on jump up. Look at me. I love all pizza. Oh, but, but they push the elevator. Detroit style is my favorite. He's done. Nice. Oh, okay. Nicely oh. done. Halzerk thriving in the chaos and keeping Fuck majority yeah, alive. Let's yeah, go, baby. Great to see Halzerk. It's great to see Grim earlier today. These are the two players who I think are sort of putting the floor in question for complexity. And on the biggest stage, they are showing up. No one came. I don't even want to know what is in your algorithm. It's actually insane that they did that after having to walk through a smoke at the bottom of a ramp past a minute mark into the A exec and uh, Nikodos gets another kill. What is Detroit style? Um, through from you need like a specific pan basically, but think of like high pan pizza. Uh, where And then like the crust is basically risen to the sides. If you know what Sicilian style yeah, is, it's, the they're very similar. Sicilian style and Detroit style are very, very similar. It's actually just kind of, of like time. order of operations. Detroit style is like Little Caesars. However, like, you know, you would say most Dude, things. I would not. Stewie, bro. What yeah. you okay, okay. I'm not really trying to, you know, I would say that's the baby, the best version. Oh, whoa, okay. Punished. Nice recovery. JT tried to get it going. The boost oh, man. denied. Shush is not going to let you take this bomb site. Maybe so pugs, I think, Mumford, but Wonderful not really. third kill from Shush. Just Shit. Art. Dude, Shush okay, has the way been... That he plays this site. It's beautiful. His positioning is just Shush perfect. has been locked in. Oh, oh my. On the Come recovery. on. Come on, Halzer. He's been posting multi-frag after multi-frag. Even despite not having the big green, Kixan behind green. Holds, flash, misses. Oh, Holzer he saw the flash, well. dude. Nice try. Yeah, that was a good play. I mean, 
The he, flash he, was set up right, of course. He had his chance and he did miss the shot, Ringo, but like, oh. Two, cuts it down. Come on, Grim. For the second swipe yeah, the you side. know where he was. Oh. Closes nice it try. out and Heroic nice are going to tie this game up at eight apiece. They better bless Shush for that one. A triple kill hold after losing the player through the wood wall. Mm -hmm. How easily that site. I would not say Chicago and Detroit are very similar at all, bro. I'll be honest. To be studied. Completely different. Really, then you're losing. I mean, he can play that perfect balance between someone who's too passive and goes quad every round I mean, and I someone like, like Donk who's yeah, always Yeah, no, they're just very like, different. Look at how his sort of zone of traffic is just, just oh, yeah. one line in the back of the site, and yet he's covered all the time by double stack on one of the booths. He's ready to take an unfair fight versus Chicago the Chicago pieces out that great. The As I always have so to educate Twitch chat, to Chicago deep dish isn't really the main that's one of the most Chicago open sites in the game. And then also it's just some very more kind of like side. obscure ones, so it gets a lot more hype. Tavern style, really like Chicago way, pizza, is what the best players are playing the site. If you right ever now, been to Chicago, and, uh, that's what is at most places. Go for swings, uh, behind, hot, behind hard cover, where they I like deep dish too. It's always weird to me when people like and yet Shush manages to have his cake shit on Chicago pizza as if deep like dish is what everybody eats there, and it's just but not. He's really hard to find. Beautiful uh -oh. balance of elusiveness. But it also, like, just tell, like, if you think like that, like, I just know you just haven't been to Chicago. Of being a or if you like did, Shush. you literally had somebody just do all the touristy position, things for you and you haven't, like, an aura enjoyed it, you know? And he gets away with a robbery. Elige over the top of the Xbox. He knows there's a second player short with an empty mag. Oh, oh, oh. And Elige and JT oh my will God. just churn through that JT said fuck it a ramp and they said fuck it we they went into it they took the first swing and they get knocked on their ass in round 17 oh yeah bro a strong punch with a great follow through right there site gets trampled bomb goes down no chance for the retake again yeah, i'm from ohio no i live in uh, as a rotator and shush with nothing i live in vegas he's gonna be as good as he wants but they know that he's going to be on b i think the question is like can you know how many times can they go a they're willing to do it no, I mean, it just depends, Gibbs. I mean, it's it's still, I would say it's really, different really depending on, like, here, what you're talking about. Side. There's still New Haven. Then you have, like, New York. With the money as low as it is, it you got any chance to fight got a bunch of shit, dude. Round. Otherwise, complexity would Detroit, have their way with it. I Sicilian, think this is turning into the Neapolitan. game where goes, you take it to the B site, and then A site on all of the full rifle rounds, and then you just dress it up with a fake at the end. So you, uh -uh. you pretend that you're willing to go B, but you really only do it versus weak buys. That side of the map is tough to deal with, but right now all of Heroic's problems are truly on A. Man, Elise, take a bow for that one. In the chaos and pressure of the short push with the spam on the smoke, he comes in with those two kills, climbing over my the O3s. And Mongols, I he get caught with the crane swing, right? That third piece of Mongols the defense, zone two I right now. Maybe catches him back, Static gets the trade frag. After this, the right? Pops open and Elise still wins a duel. Ever been to Copenhagen? Nah. I've got an interesting question to ask. Only place, is, only they, place they I've been in the Scandinavian countries CT. is Stockholm. But I've been three times. Yeah. I was doing stuff for uh, a company really I used to like, be sponsored by. A leash to be in. No, no free promo chat. Demanding, aggressive, frantic positions. Very far pushed up on the Except complexity because they sent me a jersey, so we give them some love. Look what it and they support them. NACS, yeah. so we support they, them. They, they, they do have a gun. JT's on... playing lights out today, man. Look at this guy. Well, actually, Shush is, Shush is on MP9, obviously a little bit more viable on the B side, so Nikodaz will pick up the M4. No, Riker. No. And I think they have to ask themselves do they think they're going to find Shush on B, and do they want to use this round to go there to sort of check him because they need to put his confidence in place? Yeah, yeah, nap. Look behind my head, dude. On one hand, this would be the round to do it. This would be the buy to punish, but ramp has been going so swimmingly. Almost magnetizes you back at it. And Elise wastes no time whatsoever. Locking it into yellow, timing it perfectly. Kickstand here is locked in. The smoke pops. Uh, and the Nikodaz oh. support is exactly uh, what they needed. Settle, 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 settle. Oh, yes, he quick that switched moment, the gun out. It gets cleared out by JT. Oh, come Just on. Just when you think you get come an extra tool to work with, you walk into the middle of the road, and JT hits you like a truck. Now, shush. Excellence on that B site. Can he contest it? Oh, he gets the kill no and way. burns him. Oh. What a 1v2. Uh, Are you kidding? He can come oh, over and put a cameo God. down on the A site. He can't just play B all this time and let the A site get taken over and have nothing to say about it. That's an unbelievable clutch from him. 
with the gun that he he gave away his M4, took the MP9, and still had some utility in his back pocket for a rainy day. That was a beautiful round out of shush. What a humble king, man. You can run, but you clearly can't hide. Yeah. Oh. He will hunt you down. And that poor bomb planter had nowhere to go. Yeah. That was... Fuck, you dude. Know, just as we left this perspective. That's I like, I'm not even mad at complexity. Either, right? It was like just a nice play from him, but fuck him, dude. The ramp on a headshot angle with an MP9. And as we can see, it's both kills for one right there. That's nuts. Ray, thanks for the Twitch primer. Thank you. Oh, that is a spicy round. Oh, man. Round uh 18. Don't forget it. Because the implications are money back in the hands of heroic uh. full buys. Oh, that is brutal for complexity. It just like tore through that. And that is a tremor. The complexity still have to waddle through. Shush. Who else? NA Slayer. Tucks back into the B site, his safety uh. net, but without early aggression down to the steps. It's just three players kind of stuck into the B half of the map, right? You can't depart. And if complexity can find a road over towards A, in contrast, this could open doors. But that pressure out from mid recedes into top middle. And then they come back at this. Heroic clearing out mid at a moment where complexity could actually get active and maybe clip their wings, maybe catch the mid rotation. They could shut the door behind them right here. I mean, even a smoke to wrap. They just don't know where the CTs have gone to. This is a heroic esque round. This call, mm. this call is excellent. This is JT letting them leave, get out of that bomb site without knowing everything, and now they're gonna have a genuine 1v5 versus Nurse's MP9. He takes one, but that is it. Wow. Falling off middle, ensuring that complexity can't be found okay. as heroic go to clear. Mm. Because early nice. contact. Stay alive, stay alive. Nice. 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 Spawn, Crazy. Come on. Them. That's yeah, actually that's, fucking look huge. At that. it's Careful, look out, round, look out. Right? The round is Fuck, my bald eagle. Nurse even makes contact with anyone. There's no Got way he gets five kills spun. with his MP9. So that one is one in prep. So good round, though. set up and stage perfectly. And they get heroic to their honeypot on the A site. There's nothing there. Ain't no way one of you said info death. I hate you. Okay. Interesting. After, after losing that last uh, anti-eco. I mean, that would... That's a, you know, we play a lot of Counter-Strike around here. The beauty of CS is every round is always a little different. That's a unique one. Early showing in middle to get heroic, to go find you. And your decision to give away map control you earn for free has them trip over their own two feet. I think Scrawny actually just sums up there, Morph. Yeah, that's a big gulp for Heroic. Great it's the, I'm JT. over Good here, staging. and I'm just making a Good little composure. bit of noise, but I'm dead silent. Situation. Don't make any noise At whatsoever. this level, sometimes when you don't do anything, it's, and it's your... And Nurse is actually a lot of trouble getting into this it's game. It's the best strat. Sort of getting out done by a liege. Uh, sometimes it, you need to condition side. like that rotator, into existence you can't just like start playing the game that, that way well. usually but unless they overanalyze so you and for they know you do that star and actually been delivering consistently but, but essentially by doing shush. nothing sometimes you can You've got like bait a team exactly into trying to, to maybe get through this oh nice come on nice nothing jt catching the rotate complexity on the highway to 11. yeah they had half a buy right here and now their rotators can't even come in. That op is going to be saved in this round. Complexity will get to 11. Hard fought, well earned. Are the jerseys running a bit That's small compared to a t-shirt? Uh, I don't know. I cleared out? I only have my own merch. <laughs> Nurse is looking for something. <laughs> yeah, finds uh, the gun. And we'll be able to I'd fall say back slightly. and say, okay, this game's not over. We'll be back. You won the battle, but not the war. Another great call here for complexity. Full B exact taking over the site. I only have my own shit, so it's hard to say. Terrorists win. Looks like I filled out my drink. Yeah, I filled out, dude. Complexity yeah, you like that? The, win with still five like said, the two, arms, right? the arms for me are like a little heroic. You know. And we've seen the threat of their pistols and half buys find mm. success in but games still like here in Copenhagen. You know I mean? mm. You know, Heroic is a team that always makes you believe that little bit more when they have a half-buy. 
because it does feel like they still have mm. the remnants of heroic, right? Where they can thrive in chaotic moments, where they can cause carnage. But right now, they can't touch complexity. They're going to go for the boost with the M4, right? This is the M4 Nertz was able to save from the smoke. Worked hard to grab this, but doesn't make much happen. Oh, nice, JT, JT doesn't Come shy on. away from that fight. Oh, good name. JT just dukes uh, it out with Nertz and his teammate in this bomb site and feel how uncomfortable they are. Nertz just stuck here on this nice. line. Elise comes climbing over the wood wall. Nika Dog with the off having to oh, do something my special. God. His teammates fall. I, I honestly thought that could have hit. Nice. The peak, can't Come nail on, the baby. And with that, bomb goes down. Break Complexity <laughs> on the brink of confirming a 12th. They arrive in Copenhagen. Marred in some controversy a team that gets the one america's legend spot despite losing to furia on their road at the rmr they show up with critics calling for them to possibly fall out 03 and instead they will have three rounds here to go 2-0 with a phenomenal first day of the very first cs2 major while draped in those legendary complexity colors yeah, absolutely and it is a half investment for Heroic. They were hoping to win this round with that tactic. They couldn't figure it out, but they still have enough money to put together a buy for this next one. In a three round game complexity, have a massive opportunity. But again, how many games do we see like this that get too close for comfort? They know that Heroic didn't fully invest, so they're going to be half happy about this. They realize that there's still a full buy coming in. Would the America's and, Legends uh, not be two two one plus I don't, I don't know how the Legends to overall slots when this burst works. Apart, I it's so don't want to lie. <laughs> You're, the guy underneath you is running. I know and we falls. technically get to keep it as a challenger shooting, spot no matter what, but I don't know how, like, double stack. what becomes a legend so spot if you add more spots on top of the challenger spots. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. We know that Nikodaz can swing that M4. Does my jersey say Flam on the back? It does. Back Liege, looking for the fight. They were just here, and they're ready to come back. Humphrey, I've Nikodon answered you like three times now, dude. I said I don't know. I think he's just bugging these. Short side. His rifles has been so yeah, sharp. Right, like, I... And it's additional damage for Floppy to feel up, but Elise is here, and Elise is the difference maker for complexity. Tessa attacks from the short ah, side, fuck. takes him out of this one, and fuck. Floppy with a little bit of health is waiting for support. Grim gets no. caught to CT, and yeah. Floppy goes down. Heroic double digits, not done yet. Yeah, I don't know if there's an op to pick up. Hauser didn't have one this mythic round, days, right? bro. I know so it was like it was just yesterday. We'll see if they even want to try to buy it. People again, thanks to the 17 with recent thank you. The M4 on the ramp. That's been a key spot for him over and over again. He's gotten so many multi kills in this half. You can see Kicksand sitting up straight. There is an opportunity at hand to make this comeback possible. I think the one massive weakness that we've seen Complexity exploit is inside middle. And the B splits are starting to work out. It's aggression fast. Trying to take it to Shush. Floppy on the entry, dies out. 5v4 looking great for Heroic as they can just lean into the site now. Yeah, I think they just, they wanted to try to gamble right. one frag in that situation. If they take Shush out early, then it's just easier to the form with Farmer, thank you. Not a good start. Floppy's dead, but listen, Floppy's been kind of having a rough day, so like, time around. if one person's going to get entry, this is all good. Go. for Nerds to slide in behind <laughs> Tetris. It's all good. You said it earlier, it's not a complexity game unless things get close. Yeah. And every risk is a calculation. Eh. Just because you lose on that, there has to be another layer to the plan. You cannot simply give up because it's 5v4. So what is it, JT? Because right now, they're staring at the face of three CTs inconspicuously posted up in the B site, ready for an exec to come this way. And we see the intention of complexity right now. Yeah, they're walking into the pitfall. Trap's been set, and they're about to spring it. Nerds flushed out of a couple forward spots. The flashbang from the CT spawn soon to come out. Nice opening from JT. He does what Floppy couldn't in getting that entry. Pressure towards Quad. They've got a player stuck in that smoke. Nerds is known. Meanwhile, so many other rotates that it seems the CT should be able to hold. Oh, Holzer dodging nice. these gun Hold on. The assistance comes out from Grim. No, oh, fuck. Again in Wait. with the double. Oh. Grim gets stopped. Fuck. Is this guy an opper or the best rifle on Heroic? Because oh god. god damn, it's consistent. Oh, yeah, he doesn't, I mean, you give him as much money as one. He could just get him for as a drop him. 
all half long. It's crazy. It's not even a feature of the CT side at all. That's unreal work by him. Not only this game, but last map too. All the time. Yeah, that's a close round. And uh, complexity nearly fought their way back into a 4v5. They got so obsessed with Nurts and the smoke, and they knew that there was a chance to get him spamming as he was running back and forth, and they had him so low. But it did slow down the scale. It did a give time for Nikodos to make sorry, his way over towards the site. Doggos and now, round 24, to me, sorry. straight back in. Tess has the angle. Oh, oh, Elise wow, gets the kill, did, but now he's onto the sidelines. We take those. And complexity, having to forego a bit of control of ramp early. Oh, nice. You run back that last round. You can't blame them for getting concerned of Nerds and Aren't Smoke. Aren't you guys tired of already went for a walk and everything. Just like now, posted on the gap of middle. Okay. Awaiting this, this walk out. is 5 and 16 on a good angle. Gets his first and his oh, second frag as no. well with the bomb down. It looked so bad needed. to start, too. All rounds lead to this one. Fuck, man. Of course we got to go OT. Oh, of course. Of course we have to go OT. Surely pushing Heroic into overtime. While Halzer creeps up onto the A play, he's yep. lost his teammate towards B. The bomb possession still on the other side. But look at this situation we have. He saw him. There That's it is. all they need. Yeah, Had they not shocked. spotted that, things get weird. Instead, it's heroic. Supposedly. Call it, Connor. Call it. Supposedly locking it. in OT. But they've also given away the bomb. They have. Halzer has had high highs and low lows in this complexity jersey. Distance in between the three elevator, players elevator. Left. He gets oh, another headshot. Okay. Flight, flight, he is flight. halfway through this 1v4. He has time to go back to A. The player sits inside of the B site towards Tetris. He can smell it. It could be a costly mistake choosing B. Not that he gets to know, but a Molotov. That's perfect. Perfect for the Tetris oh. player. He was MC, piecing it MC, together, MC. but heroic hold on. Whew. And of course, it's not a complexity game unless it gets close. Unless it gets close, baby. That's just the way it is. Man, that Nerds was 5 and 16 and got the 2K spray down in mid. And again, I love the idea from JT because that's where they got some of their more, most dangerous rounds out on T side. Jeez, Hauserk was very close to being able to win that. He would have known that the last player was waiting on the flank probably for the fallback at ladder yep. or inside of mid and uh, really had a good inventory of what he had to go up against on the map with the right utility to do it. But doesn't win the trade, of course. Shush, put, Shush puts up another good hold. But gotta say, they were formidable when it came to dealing with Shush. No, no second stream. Just also brave stream about it. going back towards him. To you know, after that great defense that he put up earlier on on the half. They didn't run away from their problem. But we are also now in overtime. Don't grab any of that stuff. And immediately wow. into their only timeout wow. as we get into overtime. And you know who brought that one over? I get it. You want to start off right, and you are also on T side. <laughs> Did Elise get some sun, or is he about to explode? I can't tell. Such close situations. Jake Care, thanks for the five month reset. Thank you, Dread. Thanks for the four month primer. Thank you, and P Bomb. Thanks for the seventeen. If it wasn't for absolute peak rifling for Nikodaz in a couple of moments, this game would be over already. I love the fact that we've been talking about Nikodaz on the rifle, and then we get this clean attempt out of Halzerk in the last round as yeah. well, right? His HSP on the AK has been solid. True, they've both been great. I on can't the rifles. make fun of anybody for having that complexion. I mean, Which isn't really if I even look you know, at the sun chat, Holzerk I just floor, immediately but roast. But trying to match up to his counterpart in this head-to-head -head with Heroic. Nerds, so active. Oh, man, this is, this is oh, an amazing fuck. idea, I think, to try first. If they, if he, it's all or yeah, nothing, Yeah, right? this I mean, is actually so sick from them. Of and Grim missed ladder, it. But he's letting oh, him go by. Uh, Grim, fuck. Grim leaning back, right? Uh, someone's going to die because of this, you know? Unless someone gets lucky and watches the flank, Nerds has sort of free reign to catch people off. But also at the same time, really waiting to make this move. He's now starting to get active. It's a long road if you're going to make zero sound. But because of the and utility it, usage it, outside of B, you don't want to do, you don't, if you're, <gasps> let's say you're going B, right? You don't want to throw too much utility oh. in this direction. So people are always facing forward. Damn, Grim went to A, though. Let they're going to die B. Rest. Floppy and JT are going to be the victims of this. Grim, unfortunately, Flank. letting one slip through the net. Now, Nurts, he's going to wait to see what else. 
gets oh. himself both. Wonderful rifle work from Nertz. What a time Damn. to get back in the game. Three players left on the A site, 45 seconds. They can still win. Sure, but it's going to take a clean execution and somebody to pick up slack. Double man disadvantage. Grim hands busy on the plant. That's an interesting smoke gap, though. Elise, she's in the middle of it all, right? These three smoke grenades creating the smallest oh. of pockets. Damn. But Tess has it, that game sense to shoot through. So bombs down, but it's going to be tough. Nertz still on the flank. Coming back at this ramp attack. Halzerk exposed. Instant headshot. Nertz with three kills to be proud of in this round. And then disappears. Bomb's pretty far gone, but it's covered in the smoke and covered in the CTs as Fucking well. A flawless Nertz, opening Fuck to the CT me. side of overtime. Oh, that's brutal. Thanks no, to the Nertz shit, top Because they had a full default on A, B, and mid, and Grim just got up the ladder late. They used the spawn to their advantage. Take it tight, Nicole. Check PC, listen, it looks check like piss. Genius, but it's also a risk, right? When Nertz come out, comes out this Fuck, quickly to man. walk by ladder, hoping that they aren't going to default here. Complexity have done a good job of conditioning Heroic to believe that they are going to be holding mid in the default, so... But it's the bravery that pays off, and I think overtime is where you do welcome aggressive pick plays like that after a whole half of being very thorough and careful and reading into your opponent to try to flip the table and change it up completely. He's flipping tables and complexity pounding on them because, God, that's got to be frustrating. You're trying to set up this B-fake with two. And all of a sudden, this sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach when the three guys A know that everything is known to Heroic. Mm. A deflating start to their overtime endeavor, but... Two more to claw back. Elige, he's been good throughout the map, but there's also been a few rounds where he gets... He's gonna counter now a yep, little bit. on ramp. This time, gets the contact, can't chase all the way forward. And then that next peak is nice. actually caught out by Halzer. Very so nice. On JT and and Elise was backing out of there. Worst case scenario, Nikodas was getting four. traded. Yeah. That was actually Great super well played right by Elise right there. 5v4, he, and you can the, see the, that he, the recognition to realize that he almost the had the timing, but not losing. quite, and actually having the restraint to, to not spot up in force it. Heaven and wait and watch mid. Actually insane right there. A lot of players make that mistake and chase that side all guy and die. On the map. Pressure on construction. You know, Shush right now, he's very far out of it. Found out in the nice. Site, Elish. Oh, but Shush took out Grim at the same time. Wonderful and they grenade fucking out of got naded ramp. God damn it. This is Maybe three now. Reclaimed by Heroic. Up top, up top. On nice. Come on. From Elish, you expect nothing less. And his Halzer plants slightly off default. Kicks and tries to spray wildly and will not find any damage. No target. I don't know what the fuck was this happening right there, I'll be honest. And Holzerk falling back, catches the smoke. Oh, nice shit, Fred. Elise is making the difference in Fucking this one. Fucking ace it, bro. Actually, no, it's not ace. Holzerk got the but guy around. attempt queued up from Still. Kixan. You've got one stuck behind sandbags. And he is on the hunt, on the prowl, with a kit on his back and a flash in hand. Reconfirming Elise is stuck here, but Elise... There we go, baby. The Let me see Elise in chat. Let me see that bald eagle fly. Yeah, lesson learned. Don't let him live too long oh, here. Oh, From the times they could find him in the opening play of course they'll look back on foundly because uh, a lot of rounds recently alish hasn't been able to get his impact as soon as he is able to stay around into this point past the 30 second mark he continues to frag but they were doing a good job of countering at least complexity get one back tie this up 13 13. What a reaction spray from Elise on the player boosted back A site. But does this work? How loud is this? Just trying to get into the cover. Challenged when he wasn't expecting it Ooh. and recovers. And it nerds on an op. Okay, so they'll have Shush. They'll still give him free reign over the B site. Nerds <laughs> doesn't have to move since he has this op. <laughs> They're not coming in with the nades that inside of his. They're just waiting back and letting him oh, do shit. the rest. Okay. How does Nico oh, go out? It makes no sense. Nikodos is literally the best right player in the server. I hate it here. No. Sets up literally, Nerds just started opping because he that, said, Nikodos, you're so good on the rifle, bro. I'll just op. Never had to move. God damn it, dude. How, how did Nikodos, you know, miss half his spray, reset? It makes no sense. Crafty, thanks to the six month primer. Thank you. Complexity's behalf yeah. as well, right? Yeah, big time. And I mean, those are no chumps down there. You're, you're dueling versus Elise, the best complexity have. Wow. Nikodal is just glowing with the rifle. One and as Floppy tries to get into this B hit, the last attempt of complexity to take a second on this T half. 
It's damage versus the Opera, but he keeps his head down, right. and Shush is going to make sure that that door on the B site is closed. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's crazy that we're seeing Nerts on the Op before you see Nikodos on it, and it actually works out beautifully. And then on top of that, Nikodos goes for what? A deep ramp fight? Yeah, he could have done that with the Op. Miko, well. don't um, talking. Maybe a live evolution of roles. Man, who as is we're that? watching it. That's, That's a and JT right after. No bullets go right over his head. Yeah, that angle when you crouch on it, man, is deceptive as fuck. What a contrast from the round prior where Elise no was looking good deep in the magazine. No kidding. Because when you kill the guy up top, like a, the the fight no on the ramp gets weird it. as fuck. Complexity Indeed. trailing by one. Into the defense and heroic onto the side where they have posted big numbers here in Copenhagen. Vertigo T side has done them well. They're going to start slow and silently. There is nobody inside that B site. Mm. Complexity go for the double lineup middle, and they get fully Molotov off of the site. That, there is uh, nobody T, there to stop T's them. These have to be just no, no, sure same they don't man, get same You can't take P right now anyway. Comes, site hit comes in. Complexity can still don't. pull off a retake. Overthink it. Little Clear mid fully, dude. The CT side and nice. Come Ooh, in. There nice. Is no one. This ominous mid that was a bomb to Nice. Floppy, yeah, that floppy. Good so, shit. Yeah, you lost your bomb. You know strike, that shit was coming all day. Five v three retake. Tess, Nerds, and Shush look to hold this one off. The construction players come in with the first, and this one seems to be going swimmingly until Nerds comes out Fuck. and pulls one back. Tess, it's shit. a double kill. As complexity get corralled into this oh, funnel man. of a fight in oh, the mid. Him. Total stoppage unless Holzer can clutch it. And he's got this last one pinned behind Is box. He, behind he double. knows where you are, Nerds. And Nerds holds, waiting for the swing. The close approach is key, and Holzer will make sure that doesn't slip through their fingertips. Oh my god. There is an air of discomfort when you get a site that is completely open, and you put the bomb down knowing all the retake utility is still around, right? The reason why you default towards the A site, draw out utility so in the late round it doesn't exist. So you're careful about putting the bomb down, and you do. And then you have the lurk come out, and it fails. And then you have another trade within the site that a leash finds, and suddenly Heroic aren't supposed to win this round at all, and then Tessas just starts chopping off heads from the side, and it feels like tragedy is about to strike once again. But finally, Halzerk has his chance to shine. Comes through with the AUG, shaves down Nerds, and pushes Heroic into a timeout. And maybe the frustration hey, can subside does, again I have no a idea. little bit here for complexity. Near two versus five out of nowhere with Tessas pressed close into the retake. Yeah. Because that is the beauty of that closest corner. When there's a lot of guys flooding off of the connector, it's tough to get you out of there. He's got support on the bomb site with him. They come rushing over the waterfall and it almost costs them everything. Complexity tie back up at 14. Anybody's game. And for 2-0 nonetheless, to guarantee yourself three best of three opportunities to fight for the Royal Arena. This is a golden ticket, but we've only got one. Wallbang gets a bit of damage onto Grim, indicative of the numbers that Complexity have put inside of the A site out of the gate. It is indeed four defenders. And with a lot of utility pressure, they don't want Heroic to take this ramp for free. And that opens the door for Grim to take a bit of a gamble, pressing out around so smoke. They, they peeled all the way back. This is actually kind of scary. The T's, they might think they have completely this left. This is really smart from Heroic. Fuck, this is literally, he going to taste your medicine, no, JT, fuck. Entirely. Heroic will absolutely punish after showing so many players and so much utility. Yeah. Complexity can't believe their eyes. Smoke wall goes up. Late lurk from middle as well for Nerds. Cued. That gets Ali cleared out. At the lurk, gonna though. Keep his presence of mind. And nice. deep boost on the backside continues to help the hold. Halzerk on the AUG presses out. Catches oh. them with damage, but they're both still Fuck, alive. Fuck, he was thinking oh two. He killed two if he had an M4. Still, though. 20 health between the two of them. There's another smoke for Kixan to try and set up Shush, who has been wonderful everywhere across this map, both sides. 15 seconds to the clock. They have to try to press this in, but it's also gonna be costly. 
Shush looking to go forward with the bomb plant. It's going to be coverage from Kicksand demanded. There's the pressure out. There's nice! the clear of the point. Okay. And there is Complexity's 15. Yeah, it's a call out. It's beautiful here for Complexity after things go nearly. They went South African, okay, down that ramp with JT <laughs> walking down there to get killed. And then uh, you'd think, okay, well, man, they have the wrong read. They get outplayed entirely here for Heroic who punish and then come up the ramp, but uh, they still are able to hold strong, get the trades. They have the high-low stack on the back of default as well as the back of the site. And the AUG does the rest of the work. This crisscross coverage between Halzerk watching short on. on the site box, right? Yeah. He has vision just over top of the site while combined with the boost on white. Heroic just walk into two separate angles and it costs them bodies, but at least they afford the full rebuy. Looking to challenge and push us to double OT. Again, you can feel this fight just oh, no. brewing grim. Oh, oh, oh. He fucking down lifted. On he Kicks fucking lifted. Nikodos careful, the careful. Up, 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 up. But there's a chance to depart if you're complexity. Grim will lock into this close corner. And now, no longer can he leave. Shush opens up the smoke, goes for the clear, and takes Fuck. it. That is big. That is right back to Fuck a 3 you, 3 Shush. He's so good at that, going fishing. Fuck you. Off the breaking open a smoke into the three-on-three. Three. Anything goes at this point. Complexity have to spread the map. They need to. I think this is the point of the round where you make either the blind gamble, stack towards the site and go for a retake, or you go for the reclear on an A ramp. But I don't know about spreading it just like this. They're kind of hoping it's A, keeping eyes on B at the same time. Floppy's got the smoke. Halzerg starts to come over. This is the fourth attempt that Complexity have had to close this map. That sea of utility bombards the B site. This could be Floppy's most glorious moment of the map through and around, but they pop open his cover. Fuck him, what the fuck? And they could very uh, well take the no. round with it. Halzerk survives the onslaught, but the frag grenade takes him out. And JT, Why can I have anything how nice? much can he do on his own? They've planted their bomb, oh they've pressed up against God. him, but they all do have half health. It's a tough one. It's Nade a desperate smoke attempt, literally killing NA right now. Forward. Close corner could be occupied. It's not. But as he inches closer, that op is already trained on him. One shot, oh. all they need. And heroic, a fourth save <sighs> in the face of a complexity win. And we have beautiful use of our new CS2 How mechanics on display be? with the nade uh, going open the smoke and I got a ramp for Shush to get his first so. kill into a second one to expose Floppy, who was trying to phase it on the B defense in a situation where yeah, they said it to me they today. Obviously what we, they could have just stayed behind it and fought from there, but they didn't expect a second nade to come out when they were trying to scale because that blowing that nade open, that smoke open was optional for the T side to approach. They could have gone in from the outside of the site, but uh, Heroic, again, really playing CS2. Oh, and this really plus two years old. Yeah, they're rocking it, bro. CS they brought it back. Now that Jason like owes it, it can grow game. up. It's on sale. I retweeted that shit. See, beat player kill. Stop it, nerds. Fuck. It's bloodshed top mid. To the left. Grim oh, he's on. Oh Grim, my God, he Grim. Didn't notice no. It. He didn't see. Oh, my God. He this could turn into a full on lurk if Nika does. Oh, Halzerk's dead. This is dead. really dangerous, obviously. Halzerk's walking out right yeah, into the AK. Oh, my God. How did he not see that? Oh, but it still might be okay. Oh, God. Maybe not. Now it's a missed chance. You give away the boost as well, right? They know there's two CTs on lane. He goes for the shot, and they all die with nothing. This is a calamity. I don't even it's think that was 4-3, man. Flawlessness from Heroic. Oh, I don't even think that oh was 4-3. He was so hyper-focused down the ramp, just... Obviously, it was still... I don't even think that was 4-3. Sure. I think that was just... He I mean, he's just walking right by it. that, creating a timing for himself. That got Hauser killed. That is nightmare fuel. Yeah, it is. At least it didn't happen last round. We're still at the start of a new overtime. Ah! And we didn't get here because they're both playing perfect. Fair enough. Chat, I've been snoozing it like a motherfucker, and we ran a fat one before this. I'm just going to keep it real. Nine complexity. minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah you skip opening stage. You, you you're primer, primer, prime forget her. Now would uh, uh, be the time. Just letting you know. Doubt. I'm just going to let it run whenever it runs. Begin the day. I'll try to give you another warning when you know, it gets closer. The first closer. day of every stage of the major is always gut-wrenching for some. Everyone wakes up with a clean slate. <laughs> oh. Wide eyes and high hopes. Next thing you know, you're 0-2 and facing elimination three times. Or in the case of the winner of this match, 
two zero. Please pop us in. Nah, I don't feel think Elise. Some players do, but genuinely, it's probably Elite. gum. I am trolling. JT, oh, bested by Nika Dawes. He just bites wow. his nails and chews gum. Usually, he has been pure value on this rifle. What a uh, ragtag group of gamers Heroic really is, right? The comeback of Nika Dawes. Finding nerds in this lineup was almost like, oh God, are, are, is, he gonna, is he gonna have his potential wasted? Like there yeah. was question marks around this Heroic when they formed. Yeah, but there was also intention. You know, they paid for Kicks End mm -hmm. to come in from Apex. Yeah, Saw handpicked him. Yes, and so grabbing Saw, Saw Fuck picking Kicks End, the scouting done for this team. Nice shot, oh. shush. Elise is gonna get bad. Nope, maybe not. What a flash. Kicks end. He, he, he eats a blind, flash. Yeah. Mid, 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 mid. He from middle. A bit of a labored spray, but he will get there. And now Halzerk's flank may have to be huge. Some really good timing on the flank, Nertz. actually, but what is happening right he now? It. He, he heard, hears it. Yeah, he heard Nerds fall. Easy. No way Nerds says anything about this, but now we've got the two T's in sight on full alert. They're concerned that Elise is still close, but he's given over that space. How will he play this with such low HP? With a fake plant first. He will have to squeeze water from stone from this position to be in the most normal rotator spot. If he gets a kill here, Hulser trying to approach from an unorthodox side, jumping up over. What? Oh, Elise snapshots down. Nikodos, your rifle's been hot, but this is a tough spot, oh. and he's gonna fall. Oh, thank God. I'm so confident. Bring back this round. Wow. An instant headshot from Elise in a position where he had to hit his first bullet. How was Kicksand flashed? When he comes around that corner into Elise, Elise just has a grenade. I think out. he had a team yeah. flash. I mean, it could have been CT or T flash. It didn't say there was a CT assist, so. First but, well, yeah, it didn't say anyone. Turned. That's weird. It's hard to say. It uh, didn't say in the kill feed, does it? Nope. Well, that means he wasn't flash, Connor, so. But his arms are. <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> Counter-Strike, don't lie to me. Yeah, well, I mean, that would be a CT flash right. facing that way. Wait, unless wait. It was like nice real round, Elise. Nice round. And continued to scale. And sometimes it is still best to keep running and uh, not clog up your teammates who are trying to get in behind you, but... Uh, either way, that was still around. Heroic could have won easily in that 2v2 with her HP and two CTs in known positions. Goddamn, with that too, Elise sitting on the pretty 30 frags. Crazy to think that after getting this far into another overtime that this map could dictate your major. Mm -hmm. We already have FaZe and Vitality losing their opening game. I mean, we don't even know what's taking place on the other stream right now. <laughs> or six for the 29 month resub. Spaghetti, thanks for the so Twitch Primer. Thank you, small timer. Thanks for 22. Sorry for the private no jet in the background. We've learned that already. If you hadn't learned your lesson in the opening stage, top 16 has been just as topsy-turvy. He's concerned about the wide swing out mid, which could very well be going down, but there's a Ooh, little timidness. Timing. Opens the nade, oh. but doesn't win the fight. Nika Dawes will come out on top. Seven health left God over. Damn Who's damn it, right bro. now? Seven health, but he comes away with another 5v4. Opening duels for Nika Dawes. Flash in Grim, taking the fight. Tess full white. He saw him, I think. I mean, Grim saw Tess leave. Oh, no. Bro. There's two players here. Grim, this could be huge or... Oh, he walks in right. Embarrassing. Ugh. Another one Grim won't be proud of. JT. Oh, fuck, after man. His one frag. Nice shot. Oh! Second oh, one, it is! Three. Just oh, like my that. God! Everybody top ramp dead. He feels you it. You motherfucker! Oh, Let's go! Torque Let's like fucking a piece of go! Paper. What a spray down for a leash. <laughs> You have to be able yeah. to spray completely blind. That's it. Jordan with his eyes closed at the free Holy throw line practicing. Shit, he said you have dude. to be able to spray completely while blind. My bald eagle, did. dude. Holy. Johnny jabs with three knockout punches straight to the face of Heroic. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that second kill is ridiculous. Look at that laser you, focus. You can't even tell that he's blind at that, all. He is. That is a natural born killer. No, that's a trained killer. 
a champion Holy shit. of practice. Oh, fuck and he me. goes again. A leash comes right back Nerds in. with this op and made it so fucking annoying. And it is just Nerds opping. It's it not even a lot of kills. Opping in any situation so far this map. It's actually worked out quite well for Heroic. So we reset the energy. Double push down. How's there going to good spot to hold this? Oh, he loses this duel. And As no refrag. JT loses to Kicksand. And Heroic looking to take one back. Bomb in front of them. Floppy on the recovery mission. How much room do they give to him? He's concerned about the close corner and that potential sandbags peak. He's grabbed Bomb. But what are the options? Elise wants to move forward. The one player on Complexity who had the biggest individual boost right. when Elise showed up was Floppy, no doubt. And now the two of them looking to combine forces here in the fourth round of the double OT. Elise hits the ground, Nerd stoic on the angle, just sat back and waiting. And Floppy looking for some kind of an answer, some kind of highlight reel moment for him. And as he gets closer to sight, he's trying to piece it together. Good chance, as that short player's locked in 15 seconds to the clock. And Floppy's gonna fake that plant one time, looking for the elevator kill. <sighs> he had the right idea, but it's heroic with the win. Oh man, they kept up every step of the way right there with the opening kill. Man, Into that walk down yellow is literally what they wanted, man. So little utility. Halzik and JT just have to fucking get the kill. Come through. It really just comes down to that. It's actually ridiculous how close this game is in terms of trades. JT's gotta get that one. You know, Halzerk puts himself in a good spot to get the kill, for sure. But then you think, if there's anyone oh, else, that's, that's got to be guaranteed. 19 to win it. Blind. 18 for another overtime. It'll need to be two straight for either team. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if you could predict that at this point. You get a lot of space given to them, but do you want to take this test to Shush again? Has he not taught you your lessons yet? A master of the B-Site craft. A jump up. Oh, oh he my loses God. Dawes. Shush is still in it. But very much alone. Holy Nerd's trying to rotate shit. it from CT spawn. And Shush will not let this site fall for free. Another volley of utility, and the nade's got his name on it. It's a bit of hesitation. As they wait for the second half Come of their on. pack to show up, another fucked Fuck. open nade. Oh. And it is heroic no who way, thrived dude. in those moments. It went back the other and fucking way. Holzerk with the wide swing damage nice. through smoke. You know one's close. Oh, Holzerk! Holzerk pins him to the wall. And with Holzerk now back on quad, Christ. we get this creep out of nerds. He no. gets the best of the Norwegian. And it falls on the shoulders of Grimm, who, dare I say it, has left his team down oh in a God. few of these rounds already. They never got their plant. He will take his ticket and leave. Oh, I feel like his odds go down leaving the uh. site. It makes it so scary. But planting at the same time would have been terrifying, knowing nerds could push at any moment. So much of this match could come down to the way that this is played. And right now, nerds is hedging oh, I his bets. He's Point running retake it. On the He's running. I love it. He doesn't believe that Grim Trust would leave, it, but he Trust has the time it. to do Trust it. it. So now Nerd, since he wasn't followed, can get this plant off and play it from anywhere. Are we going back to sandbags or are we going back to ramp? He goes forward. We pushing forward with the bomb on default. He hears it. He hears it. Late reaction, but if Nerd isn't ready, Grim just hit the headshot. Oh, let's go! A few body spams. All he let's needs go! for him would be around the world. And you know Holy in those shit. moments. That's so, it's so scary because you know you could be followed back to the Jeff, A side. Yeah, it's incoming in 10 seconds. Place. I'm sorry. I can do nothing to, himself, to stop it. I'm sorry. He's right behind the smoke. Fuck, I had to give the it's warning so at least. What the correct Jesus decision is, but he Christ, holds what an entry, dude. That's the key. Hold it's his nerve. It's just auto running. I did my... Is that shit didn't run thing. for an hour and a half. I did my goddamn best. 10 health and four sets of eyes on him, knowing the moments that he has maybe let his team down already in this map, he had to pull up and he will. He's on fucking 36, Guaranteeing bro. 18, a sigh of relief for Grim. In a map where he is still performing, 21 and 22, but that frag right there means more than all the others put together. It's been a forever war here for complexity and heroic in this matchup and... Again, CT side has been favorable in certain spots. Are we going to get the Nikodos 5v4 opener with the rifle? That's been a consistent feature. The Johnny Jab spray down with this AK. In a clutch situation, are we going to have a lurk pickoff on T side? How many ideas do you have left? Jacques, thank you very much for the three month primer. Thank you. Appreciate you. Loss. 
Chalupa, and thank you very much for your four months recent. Before. Thank you. It still just and says ads starting soon. It technically hasn't run yet, but it's going to run. I don't know. Twitch is weird. Laid the finishing blow. Can't afford the added While heroic situation. open smokes, it's Halzer can shoot through well, them. Good luck, soldiers. I'm sorry. A game of cat and mouse. As the smoke comes down behind JT. Oh, he, he snaps gone? over to Shush of all people inside B. And JT's entry could be key. 35 to the clock. A CT scramble out of spawn flashes in the sky. Oh. And it's a leash to snap over Come on! wild blind. Now just two left. Come Only on. Mid play. And complexity who walked into Copenhagen with question marks. Let's go. Oh, and with exclamation. Uh, yeah, with baby. Two kills from top oh, mid. Yeah. As Cole go 2-0. 2-0 oh, oh, yes. for complexity in this stage. And again, after yeah. an absolute journey, what a win over Heroic. They had to go through it all to nearly losing in regulation to forcing it Holy overtime. Holy shit, bro. And clutch after clutch later. Nikodaz on peak form. Christ. Shush with his B-side holds and Heroic ready Editor, cut to so punish any said, mistakes. They still overcame it all. A huge signing, I would never of course, doubt for complexity is getting at least one map worth his weight <laughs> in gold. when a is in this form because all oh, it takes line. is one that other person exactly to show up and Halsrick showed the fuck up. And I'm sure we will be using a lot of superlatives to talk about and Grim did. Um, that performance and JC, honestly, uh, about like, complexity closing it out, but specifically about at least Moses, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, I mean, like, look, you can you can see what makes this guy such an exciting player and has made him so important for the North Come American on, CW baby. team. He's been on Liquid and Complexity being really the only two, but yep. he's got it all. He's got good utility, he's got spray control, That's decision the making, he's a playmaker, you, and you. a clutcher. This, this was a beast mode performance from Elyse, and you had the supporting cast as well, which is where we kind of had some of our doubts in the pregame as well, right? It was like the shakiness of Halls, or what we're going to get, the shakiness Holy of Floppy. Shit. What, the shakiness what a of game, though, Cole. man. And what a actually, fucking in game. In regulation, I was sitting there, I was like, this is actually a cool game because if you're a North American fan, a complexity fan, you gotta be happy at the fact that oh, you're seeing this game. Oh, this game changed that. That's why. Right. Okay. Wing takes yeah, to the I nine. Blurry takes, Blurry, takes Blurry takes to the two. Prox takes to the four. Luke takes to the six. Prod takes to the hundred thousand. One thousand bits. There's gonna be a couple of highlights of spray that are actually mind-boggling. It's the fact that as the game prolongs, the level to five, ten gifted. Thank you. He's the one that's gonna have the snappy transfer multi-kill spray control. Billy Cheese, thank you so much for the three-month reset. Thank you. It's actually ridiculous. It's actually one of his most endearing qualities is when he does something crazy, even he is like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> we heard him shout it out Should in the arena when he got that triple kill spray down. He was like, oh, that's insane. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You can earn it. You can have yeah, that one. You can take it. Holy shit, man. By the snake through the insane. bathrooms. It's classic. Boomich has bought out the orb here as well. Ooh. He's watching with that from inside. Insane, of the man. Up against the pistols, sometimes that can make you nervous. You've gone through. It's in danger of getting overwhelmed. Can't uh -oh. afford to miss these shots. And so oh, exile. Flash. That was uh, Boomich's flashbang. Luckily enough, not punished. Ecstatic. Oh, that nade is going to shred them. Very well played out of Axile. TK in there as well. Oh, I like that Axile's been looking good, man. He has it's been so shot. reassuring. Yeah. Because, you know. But when we were kind of looking at this Cloud9 squad, uh, when it was getting for the dissected... Five month reset, thank you, thank you do appreciate you. ...the players who could go to bring in an orping presence. Really, it was down to two. Yeah. Down to, like, Axile or Hobbit. And Axile's now having a really good showing in the uh, in the elimination station. He's given uh -huh. us some nice moments throughout, even, even in the opening. Hobbit has been paramount to the success of Cloud9, it's felt like. I mean, we were even saying uh, back in Kato that felt like they were kind of playing for their for their contract, for their time on the team. Adios had success over here at short in this start of the streak for Ecstatic, but no such love in this round as Hobbit. Tandem push out through short nets the man advantage for Cloud9. Man, thank you so much, guys. Panda no 6 for 38, with Palmer Will thanks for the short. 3, There's Pepsi no thanks for the 6. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The door was blowing off and the, the, the man. trade attempt never came through, so oh, there's a lot fuck. of info off of that. We had almost 8,000 viewers there, guys, short. between Twitch and YouTube, too. That was sick. That was cool. So you'll see Cloud9 adjust accordingly, bringing a third player. Are you 15 gifted, I think? Panda, thank you very much for the five gifted. Thank you. Appreciate you. 25 gifted. How did you get to 25? Like, did I miss some shit? Prismatic, thank you. A couple of smokes and mollies, but you would love 
Oh, Dilemma to the Hey. Dilemma thanks to the five. Ten gift to the Super Play. Very confidently. Despite not necessarily having a rapid five. Up a couple of good That's maps here 25 the inconsistency from Panda. Yeah. Panda with the five gifted. Right thank you. Boomish hits his back behind the smoke. Hobbit and Axel come flying through. And Queenix is left. Panda, thanks for the one. Nine. Thank you. 1v5. Cloud9. If All right, Cloud9. Like always rather have enough players in Big this Juicy Boomish on the op, baby. Save my pickums. Hurricane, thanks for the four month farmer. Fearful, thanks for the six. Running through that dumpster smoke into truck. And that's surprising considering in the CS2 version of Overpass, truck is nerfed. It's way smaller. You can't really hide out behind it. Yeah, Complexity did out. send me uh, the retro jersey but that they rolled out that's on sale. Right so on not sponsored, but they did send it to me for free. But if you guys want to support NACS, support Jason yeah, Lake and what he's doing, buying exactly. back Complexity and all that good, good stuff, it, try to do uh, I think I retweeted the link if you guys want to check it out. You know, for, for Cloud9, Behold feels very comfortable right now. Oh, we've smoked Monster? Well, they're not going to go through. They've just shown us throughout this entire game. They're not going to look to challenge that. When you think about names like Electronic on this map, he's kind of synonymous with those Monster smoke walks, right? And I'm going to switch to Navi G2 exactly in 10 minutes -ish. That same um, over here. Whenever ooh. you've got a smoke down, it's safe territory. I'll nice. probably will let deal this with electronic finish, the point depending on what the score is. Well, yeah, I'll switch. I'm just going to switch in 10 minutes. They've yeah. repelled the B play. The nades were nice for Ecstatic, putting that pressure on. But the rotates are now arriving. Salazar's shut down, finished off, and locked out. Of any hope of that 1v3. Well, no, thank you very much for your primer. No Fearful, thanks for your tier Just one, six one three sub. Thank you. Just, you can't make them scared. They know they have number advantage. They use it so well. And Perfecto, we say this a lot, but this it probably feels like uh. one of his best positions in the game. CT side, B anchor on overpass. They'll leave him solo at times. And yeah, him and Hobbit lock it down despite the Dude, that's crazy. How does Heroic find a fucking picture of, of my plumber? A nice Dick Skittles, thanks for the five month recent. Cool thank idea, you. Clint, thanks for the 40 month primer. Thank you. Ooh, Wasn't simple to play again here? No, Axel. people were just clickbaiting Shooting subs as if they were playing. He was never going to play. Ecstatic, they need these last couple of rounds here on this T side. Three, sure, technically it's enough, but. Cloud9 are playing very good yeah. CS at the moment. Not to mention it's Crow, like thank you very much for the tier unraveled. one sub. Right. Thank Three you. Three rounds is, is okay. You can do something with it. It's not over if you lose the pistol. You at least have that. Uh. And this is a CT-sided map, but... Yeah, all the people the that were like, oh my god, you guys see this person in the sub? It was just click bait to, rifle round, and you, have, you know, you have Cloud9 impression. right where you wanted them. And since that point, since that initial streak, you've done nothing. And it's felt very dominant. It's not like these have been dicey rounds. And again, Cloud9, three on A. And it's not like they even have the info to guarantee this play. They still have front toilets. They don't have Yeah, long. usually, Roger. And they're right. They're, they're nailing it on the head right now. Boomish getting aggressive. Hits his shot on the sidestep. And ecstatic. Just trying to push the orb back That's all thanks to the former farmer. Thank you. Line on long. That's Patty's position, the one player we felt like we can rely on right now for ecstatic. Have you seen the latest bomb leak? Oh, you're talking about the what leaked yesterday yeah, on they Nuke? Kind of Nodios hasn't been making noise here. He's just been <laughs> sitting and waiting. But that's allowed Cloud9 to have some util to keep some in the back pocket. Look at and that go. comes out to give Perfecto the angle. Ready to deal with the monster push. Electronic now Ready getting involved as well. And there's Perfecto emerging. Didn't even get them. Electronic and Hobbit both there. On the map, four players at B. You just can't pull the wall over Cloud9's eyes. So really mobile. Can't That's weird. And for a team that doesn't even have like this dependable Shiro-esque AWP of the, oh, Shiro, you jump spot A solo with AWP, we'll play quad B. That's not what Cloud9 is doing. Boomich doesn't even truly believe in it himself. He said he can't be a main AWP. In an interview recently, he said this isn't going to be his perm role. He's not even playing it on every map, but he's hitting it when he has to. And Cloud9, a lopsided game right now, knocking at the Axel, door. That is was ecstatic with an opening kill in the last round. I guess he didn't realize he, he misses Molly. Given Never mind. Game has gone. That's why he solid. did that. I was like, dude, what are you doing, Axel? And then he didn't realize the Molly missed. Okay. This is late lurking B again. I just want him to make a bit of noise. I want him to drag some of I think complexity beat Miles in a best of three. I think Miles is playing better CS left. than complexity right now. Once Cloud again, though, I will say this with complexity. You could hit B. Just with the Leash's individual so form, early. he is one of the best riflers in CS2 right now. This isn't NA Cope. 
It is fact. Probably aggro position. It's like it's literally probably mm. donk than a leash. Because they're playing contact, you won't want to spam like, this. That right, being the said, a bit more up tempo and you're playing Miles with pace, is still the better team right now, and they've showed that so far. Just when the Elise first, is playing like that, man, if it, somebody puts up a performance on Cole, they can beat any team here. Head on a swivel, second kill in the round. Now's the time for the spam. Oh, nearly run out, but Nodios is able to contain it. They have a chance. Mm. They have options, and they have time. <laughs> Donk, Elise, and Nika, the best rifle in their decision. I see she did there. Well played. Sat two upper, cemented in their spots. I just, I just think that when somebody, when any individual, whether it's a Lee, Don, a Nico, when they are in form and they are consistently in form and you see it every game, their team that they are on, even if they're the worst team, always has a very real chance. Not kind of, not ooh, no, it, you're just in it. In the right place. Yeah, it's a confident gamble for Cloud9. Chat like the stream. You tell them, Shamus. The like the fucking YouTube stream, boys. Get it going. Won't go down B. They have so much to clear. At 40 seconds, they have to take back connector. They have to check that awkward railing spot on B water. Like it's a re it's a, actually a really awkward situation. Please, Ducky. If Cloud you look great. Short, and they know the ecstatic have no info. No, Halzerk was so playing great. I'm not trying to take away from other people on complexity. I'm not. Great setup for Cloud9. Fantastic CT side. And in the fashion, they did it as well. Seven straight rounds mm. for C9 right now. Yeah, he is. He's just taken away from us. <laughs> Wait, how many gifted was it, by the, the way? Gun. Was it 26? feels like a requirement. Yeah, to say that I need it is, is almost an understatement okay. at this point, man. You know, it's not impossible. Hell, we've even seen Cloud9 do it in, in yeah, this sort sure. of position, right? It, it's it should not, look about it's the not same, Matthew. On the CT side of overpass, it's just not going to be easy. You're going to be kind of constantly close to getting broken. Even if you win pistol early on, we, we saw the vulnerabilities that that still carries for the CT side, right? If you lose the first rifle round, oh no, we're going to lose a couple more. And so you really don't have any margin for error here if you're ecstatic. It's got to be picture perfect from here on out. So let's see what Patty and co have up their sleeve. Double Julies. Flash. No kids. But I think has the second most impactful role on... I mean, Four it just it just really depends. Just like Floppy has been it's rough like so far. He's probably been the weakest on the team. But when Complexity was at their best as a team, Floppy was the second best player on the team. He has the hardest roles though, so it's really like in terms of who should be putting up numbers with a leash consistently. That isn't Halzer is Grim. It should be Halzer. Grim and a leash contributing heavy. All the way up through toilets, not even spotted yet. They're now hearing rotates. That might speed them up here. They know that if you're scrambling bodies up towards upper, that means there's not many in the site. Still, ecstatic get here oh, in good what? timing, but it might not matter. What? Three kills from three apiece for well, Cloud9. They all just, Out of nowhere. just simply headshot them. Comes in. Forehead. Very briefly, that was a five on three for Ecstatic. They thought they had this in the bag. And now it's nothing of the sort. Nodios is chased down. It's just Queenie. Oh, oh my god. And his god nine. can never even get going. What a brutal game this is from Cloud9. You think you have them on the ropes. And it snaps and cracks you back in the face. Cole going 3 0 unironically on saves five. my pickums despite Blink, not picking Cole. Triple kill for Cloud9. Cole going 3 0. Well, well that is, there's no words for that one for ecstatic. Mouse and Cole like, playing each other for 3 0 sucks for me. That means I'm getting one of them wrong. Cloud9 getting hyped. 10 to 3. Efficient as they try and finish this map. 3 0 in the opening stage. 0-1 oh, on a technicality. Not many teams are beating Spirit right now. Confident through the Molotov. Ralph takes the nine month primer, thank together, you. But that's still good info for Cloud9, who will just trap them down in the darkness. It won't take much space on upper. There's still the scout on the site. Ecstatic, this is a good rotation, but it will mean they need to scurry back up to top. So, like, it, yeah, we'll just see who plays who. 
bad mind. But I have Cole Dots advancing, Cowardly and I have round. Mal's advancing, but I don't have either one of them three. We'll however. see where the matchups line up after this. We'll see if Ecstatic want to keep it. 3A, 2B. I saw Lord Rishi. But how many players is enough right now? That's the question with how Cloud9 are playing. The aggroing over towards short as well. Mitch waiting for this. They're not going to go much further than that. Than that. Oh, Salazar so. jump spot. No, oh. yeah, me too. I'm willing to lose my my pick and point to get fucking complexity through for you. Awkward for Boomish. Electronic makes the men. Still Patty floating around in the toilets. Hello. Oh, get able to get the reload off, but can't take it any further than that. Ecstatic trying to flood the site, flood through the smoke. But they don't live to tell the tale, and now it's just Queenix again in another 1v2, second time in this position since the CT side begins. Now they know where he is. They've got him spotted. They've tagged him up, and he's not able to stick the landing on. Crossing and fighting. Oh, we look that player here, G2 Navi. Cover God, from Perfecto. And so I'm not watching this anymore. I'm swapping here. Chat, I do need to blow my nose over back. Drink a whole bottle of mayonnaise, though, so I wouldn't yeah. do that with mustard. I can say that much. What? Yeah. That's a hard sort of bar to jump over, I think. What? It's kind of gross, too. It's disgusting, it's Shocks. Disgusting that one you did that that one time, but uh, yeah. she is from Belgium or whatever, so. What? It's one of those weird places. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyways. Shall we? <laughs> Let's G2, go. G2, Esports, and Navi locking horns on Nuke. That's right. We're going to Nuke. I think it's the perfect map for this one. <laughs> Take to go us down. back. I'm and scared. After the, what did know, I join into? I saw on G2's start to the major. Off of the back of some pretty <laughs> impressive wins at the RMR, and we can't get blinded by RMR results. But today started excellently for G2 Esports, and the promise of Nico and Monacy coming together at the right moment here at the Copenhagen Major yeah. feels like the odds could be higher. And if they, d if we didn't see Furia get better throughout the opening stage, mm -hmm. then we would say, okay, well, it's just Furia. Maybe they're playing bad. Correct. But they got better and better, so. G2 thrashed through a well-practiced and battle sort of battle tour. Yeah, hardened. That's the word. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Oh, my God. Because of shots like this. Nasty little one-tap. Oh, nope. We're not going to jump mm. on Nexa. He protects Nico. Alexi in the vent. Hello. Not going to happen. We do indeed get the double kill out of Emet, but we also have now two CTs stuck back sight. Meanwhile, I think Bomb made it down the vent. Yeah, it's running for the B plant. So Nico starts to hold off on vent, allows one player to drop down, and will forego control of vent. So we're going to get the bit versus Hunter fight. Oh, it ain't pretty. Wait, what? But you both take players any whiff. And a Bit is trying to get his kill here, but it's looking a little rough. Hunter will get oh. the rest of what was left, and with oh. one bullet in the mag, Emes dead. I can't believe Bit didn't hit a shot. He didn't hit one right, shot. I need to use restroom. I need to use restroom. Give him one sec. Ah, he must not have clicked. I that's think that's the, the problem. only way that he could have missed that. Never seen Bit, Bit missed entire mag of anything in his career so far. That's uh, that would be pretty surprising. But remember when the last time that that happened was? No. Kragen. Ah. Oh. And then what did we get? 139 ADR on the map. Life okay. Game. So let's see if that is the same thing that's about to happen a bit. And an inexplicable missed mag of USP bullets. The most pertinent stat, uh, of course, is Alexi B's record versus his old teams. Being up four and zero versus G2 since joining Navi. <laughs> that's insanity. That's a really cool stat to have. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It is it is this really cool aura about him. As you know, far the as, numbers don't lie. And as far as I understand, um, Navi have had an extended boot camp um, after qualifying directly to elimination. We heard from James Banks 15 days of boot camp straight to here, right? No go home, three days at home to kind of digest what's happened and then back into the action, much like a vitality formula. No, they went from boot camp to the battlefield. And while Hunter charges into the A site, Hunter getting back into form will be a welcome sight for sore eyes. I'll say that much. Oh, oh JL comes back. What? Oh, what? He doesn't turn? Modesty is trying to save this oh, bit. Oh, Is in the back of the Ooh. site. Okay, thank goodness Modesty exists. There's only <laughs> six seconds left on the clock, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody chill. You could have tucked and taken that fight on a, on different terms, but 
Monacy hit a clutch couple of kills, literally just walked out. Easy. I guess Nets of Nexa was preoccupied for good reason. Someone about to peek him in heaven. And I suppose Monacy is, you know, hot on the heels of the Zeus push from JL. Monacy just bought a Zeus back. Or rather, brought the... Actually, sorry. Remember that, oh, Monacy Zeus? Never mind. I forgot. Zeus's move forward. That's not his Zeus. He picked it up. Monacy Zeus out of heaven. What tournament? Was that Kato? Uh, yeah, when he, like, jumped out... Yeah, he jumped out heaven door. Went up the ladder, jumped out the back. Mm-hmm. That movement on full display. I think Monacy's top one this year is coming. Really? Yeah. Whoa, big words. I know there's a lot of amazing players playing insane right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, though, we see the top player get bogged down by a poorly performing team. Yes, but it wouldn't be the first time Nicely that they done. still got number one. Hello, Hooksy. Oh, nice shot. Okay, okay. Aye, okay. But then throws caution to the wind. All and good things come to an end. Bit will make sure that there is no more tomfoolery out of another local, right? We were talking about Danes here in the Copenhagen Major. Yeah, true. We didn't get the Astralis boys, but we do have Hooksy, a legend in his own right. Bit all the way back to CT, trying to lock horns with the top main player, but that garage distraction's coming for Nexa to flank out hell. JL is very elusive here, getting all the way back tucked behind main, but it's a G2 Esports 3-0 T-side start in a best of one versus Navi on Nuke at the PGL Copenhagen CS2 Major. Whoa! Almost bent my head off. The circumstances are the only thing that make uh, a game exciting, right? The difference between your matchmaking game, a scrim, an official a land match, a playoff game, a major grand final. It's the same Counter-Strike game, just different circumstances. That's why Connor just had to say all those words just now, because you better believe we're watching the first CS2 major and all the head-to-heads that Alexi B has had versus the old team with success. It's great, obviously. It's a great stat to have. But the one match that matters is going to be the one here. This one here right now. I'm sure he's not even thinking about the head-to-head -head necessarily but simply beating the opponent that's in front of him. That's the goal of Navi, and that is also the goal of G2. Alexi B has never struck me as the kind of guy that gets too bogged down in those sorts of gimmicks. Nah, yeah. You know, I bet you he likes that aura about him, but I don't think he thinks yeah. about it. Yeah. I've always respected him. I mean, no matter how much you talk to him, he'll never really talk down his past teammates or anybody who he's had a beef with or anything oh, like fast, that. Huh? Honestly, right in. You're going to chase down these pistols. You're going to be hit by the Nova. They thought they had oh. the charge. JL, what is he up to? A Zeus kill and a double Nova. <laughs> and he's only got five kills to talk about. G2 chewing off a little more than... Excuse me. G2 biting off a little more than they can chew. Hmm. Tough to chew when you get your teeth knocked out. I honestly thought you were just going to ego rush out from Hut, and that Nova just wallops him upside the head like a baseball bat. There's a chance for Nexa to maybe recover this. He's got the time, but it's the fact that there's still three sets of feet on A. A slowly creeping flank. AK is picked up to boot. And that top Hut player serving up a distraction. No. Navi get no. their first by way of double five seven. Double Nova. Yeah. Uh, a great shots, by the way, from JL here with the Nova. I thought Simple left the team. They still got shotguns on the A side of Nuke. He's still here in spirit. Plus $1,800 in the bank off those first two kills. Damn right. That is an excellent way to just kickstart what was supposed to be a little half One sec, chat. One. Into all of a sudden full-fledged guns and a shaky economy for G2 to deal with. We, again, in a best of one MR12, a round like that, Nico tries to slip through main, eats a flash, still recovers. Gotta know the whole thing blind, that's what Alish said. A wonderful kill from heaven. Emep pressing against the Tech 9's shoulder, but he shoots first, and that's gonna give Nexa all he needs mm. to gun him down. Maybe don't use all your ammo in that situation. We get this walk around outer. From hell to main comes bit with a peek off JL. 
the floor is occupied here by Navi. And Nexa keeping himself crouched with his head off the angle. Can't manage a second kill in this one. JL has been the recovery mission in so many of these rounds already. Bit hanging on. Gets the shadow advantage. And now it's going to fall onto Hunter in a 1v3 clutch. Oh, you shit. get this frag, you fight for heaven. That's his next nice, tool, nice, whether nice. he knows it or not. The player slips down to sight. Yeah, they've got vent covered, right? Please. So. You know, I've been sick chat the last, I, I like. This much is known, days, though, that he like left and went so. maybe squeaky. Oh, Timing. Oh, it's just so blew my nose close. and I can, like, perfectly spotted, breathe through my nose still. now. Knows that he's eventually going to go I'm downstairs. I'm so happy. It's only a matter of time before <laughs> Hunter so dies, happy, Connor. Bro. They've already got one lower. Done. Uh, just man. like that, Navi going to close out two alive for their second round win. All right. Thank you, but, well, I went to take a shit, but then I was actually just blowing my nose for, like... Rifle rounds. Let's see if they can really do him justice in a follow-up. Tell me why Wonderful is a great choice for Navi. Blowing out I the ass and the Wonderful's nose. A, Wonderful's a great player. I think he's a great offer as well. He's not someone who is repurposed to become an op. Um, I think that he's not he's not simple in the way that he plays at all. Uh, but they have talked about picking up someone with a a more Ralph. Perfect, thank you very much for your nine month resub. Thank you. Uh, Passive play style. I want to use that word. Up like shit. Yeah, yeah, I was doing both. Um, in a I was dual wielding. But a more a jame like play style, more shiro like play style to try to work around. I think it's easier to structure for a coach like Bit. Sorry, like uh, uh, a coach like Blade to structure. Eternal around an nine month resub. More thank you. Back. You can play more chess with the map, and I think that's worked out actually quite well. With wonderful. And I think when he is comfortable, they did move the prime button consistent. to make it sneaky. Because Bezos doesn't want to pay up, bro. Is dive into more Eternal, thank you very much for your nine-month primer. Thank you, dude. In structured ways. Tips for amateur coach. Simple, stupid. Himself. There's no doubt he has the potential. That one, I feel like we've seen. Coaching, I think, just again. like IGLing, especially when you're early on, is much more about. It. That is the new quest mm. of this Navi roster. Up, right? Managing people like, rather than. His floor. Yeah. Say he's pretty malleable. He's ready to become and like evolve into a new player which we've seen over the last six months and uh he doesn't miss easy shots so i think all those things are really really good qualities to get into a position with a team that's trying to grow together and additionally in the moments of his career where he has been sent back to a lesser team he has very much made it clear that he is better than that tier two caliber right he doesn't belong down in those depths so mechanically unquestionable Hooksy has managed to get down the fence. He's got a bit to dance with downstairs, but it is a bit of a ruse trying to shake up the Navi defense. How far uh, does he think Bit will go? Uh, though? Thanks for the nine-month primer. You thank you, Eternal. Thanks for the nine-month resub. Thank, thank you. Hooksy's safe from this side, of course. That's why he's holding from here. There's one approach that Bit could use. Let's see if he. No, they moved the prime button, so he said wow. something. So here's my prime. Oh, man, thank you, dude. Him, yeah, man. I don't know. They they snuck it in there. It will it's like enhanced you. subscription or some shit, right, chat? Or I don't know what it's called, but it's now weird. that lower hook. It's taken out of the lip of Navi. They stand on Cat full force. Cat phenomenal emote. Back. We get this Nico challenge from credit card, and he loses the fight to Alexi. Did a ton of damage, but still, unfortunately for G2, it's a three v five from this point forward. You've lost map control twice. Lexi B just going to tuck in behind blue. Hunter cautious to come at him with this tucked hut player as well. Beaches with a four month farmer, thank Emet, you. However, doesn't win the fight, and Alexi B still concerned about Garage. Yeah, actually being very careful right here. Hunter was about to watch. How many more matches? 30 there? seconds yeah. as they do come back for Alexi. He's going to get swept away. But and the now, bomb spotted a bomb spotted at 25 seconds. Oh, it out. oh that oh, timing is pops crazy. Up, rocks dude. Wonderful's world. And JL is going to have to lean back a site to try to stop this. 10 seconds left. Flash goes over top, and they have finagled this three oh. versus five. G2, oh. thanks to Hunter, so bring it back. Yeah, and also Nexus shot inside of heaven. The thing was that even though Alexi died, what if like complexity going two, they're going to go two, three now? Is this it what it's like being an NA fan? Yes. Covered. It's too far away to get to ramp. There's no way they can do anything except go up, or usually that should be the end of your round, right? But instead, Nexa hits this shot. Wonderful could have camped out both Squeaky and Mini, or re-cleared Squeaky with JL, and there would have been no way at all for G2 to win. So, great shot saved the day.
and they send Navi back to the drawing board. Nice to see that level of mechanics from Nexa, because on previous teams with OG, he was trying to carry the tor torch and the burden on himself. And when we go back to the RMR for G2, right, we don't get to see a lot of them, but what we did get to see was a significant uptick in performance from Nexa and from Hunter. And those are the two pieces that suddenly start raising the G2 floor. Yeah, we didn't know if, if Hunter was going to be, basically if he was going to be good at, at, at CS2. At like, all. He was suffering for quite a bit. Um, and it was getting worrying that he really had lost his groove. There, I mean, there was attention on the fact that Monacy was so good, that yep. Nico took a little bit to get good, and we didn't know about him, but then Hunter all the while was struggling sort of the longest. Honestly, kind of both the Kovacs lose their mojo at the start of CS2. And that's some valuable Counter-Strike DNA. Nico has found his footing, and while it took Hunter a little while longer, it seems like he is in that boat now. Or at least he was with a three month reset. What's up, dude? RMR. Looking cool, brother. For G2's sake, he needs to hang on to it. Oh, that is close. <laughs> the smoke popped open, but the T still crossed. Yeah. Now they still might be suspicious of one getting by as Nico. Getting out of dodge and wonderful with the perfect timing on the approach. Top hut player in Emma is full blind, ends up dying. Wonderful. Empty does stop baiting, thank then you. Boots on the ground. Ooh. Outside, they'll lose one. Hunter looking for the trade frag on the low HP player. Monacy makes a rumbling downstairs, but look at this. Hunter and Alexi not crossing oh. each other's paths. Holy Wait, shit, this Alexi. This game is a matter of millimeters, and does Holy he get in? Holy shit, You're Alexi. Joking. Spotted. But what does he think is going to happen? But of now course. The secret player is going to come for him, perhaps. Dude, timing is yeah, crazy. Hunter's going to ramp, so they're they're just going to go lower, and Alexi just has to make sure that he's not up in heaven. It's another situation where Hunter is tailed, and it reveals the setup entirely. Back on clock here is Bit. It's his, his round to lose, essentially, as Hunter comes up on the approach. He should be on high alert, and that's exactly why he is of two minds. Juggling between the positions, Monacy also his victim. So Bit stamps his name on the lower bomb site. You can come to expect Bit to do good things on B. For sure. Him and Monacy, obviously great friends from the academy. CAP, thanks for the Twitch Primer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Having, uh, played for Navi Jr. at one point. And Monacy, you know, narrowly not going to Navi simply because Simple existed. Like if there was, you know, one player that couldn't be replaced on almost any team in that exact role, it would have been uh, Simple. But, you know, they didn't want to let him go to uh, any team. Especially not one that could end up beating Navi in the future. But he's been worth uh, every penny of that 600k. Hunter needs to be a little bit more paranoid. I think it's less that he's not paranoid of where Alexi B is. It's that he knew exactly where he was. He can't chase him, guys. The the Alexi longer so he's elusive. in that position, Outside. the longer he can get timing as well. I feel well. like it's a testament to his right, play it's style. Uh, in that situation, it's no simpleton. I think it wasn't really worth the gamble considering the space that he could get. However, I think what was more weird was that he just didn't consider that he could like to you. be Only known where he was at. This is why you should never live on a lower floor. People just jumping around on top of you. I literally live on the top floor, and when I drop things on the ground, I think you smile. That's my right. <laughs> Looking great, chat. Looking great. Wide duck ass. Honestly, as a Zeus, there's crazy a small to think wide duck ass is literally just me in the shower. But as a what duck, G two here do besides contact explode. Nexa. Ah. Okay, well, okay. Yep, that's what you look for. He gets into main. He's got a Zeus out. Oh. Look at that! Into the AK. Into the headshot. Wonderful has now fallen, and both CTs are confirmed. They've just got to get this bomb over. I swear to God, if they win this round, nice kill from Bit at least. Bomb drops down to B, and they might. They might. Up oh my God. Oh, why are G2 and Phase just the same main, team? I swear to God. Ema with the Zeus into the AK and then doubles down. <laughs> the T side Zeus. Some say impossible. Not for the flash. He's there in an how is it how is it, it is actually brilliant. just the same dude <laughs> how does he even find a route let alone get the ak and get that much value out of it 
What an unreal play, man. And there's so many players that are as flashy as Modesty that aren't nearly as efficient in structured rounds at the top level. He's a unicorn in that regard. He's got the mechanics. Or as Tony would say, you know, he's got the brains and the balls. Truly plays like anything is possible. They steal that back from the Nexa Desert Eagle into the Zeus AK upgrade. Now Navi a little desperate to try and get their kills back. They've done damage to Hooksy, Nexa, and Hunter, but you've still got Monesty to deal with. And a 3v4 with lesser weapons. Yeah, but Wonderful has a lot of info That's right an here. electrifying way to get G2 back into the lead. A lot of unknown info too. Oh. And then Hooksy is the next one why, to fall. Still wants to play with the full health. A they're just going to go back up here. They really want it. Now they're Met definitely just going to go back up here. Right. And we already saw just last round. G2 Holy very shit. content to just take their hands off the mouse and keyboard, play it slow. This time they decide to challenge. Looking to gun down the offer. Wonderful missing a shot. That one's going to be what costs close, them ramp control. Close. Down to the B site. They shall sprint at Alexi B. Task Chat, don't, with don't the one encourage versus case, man. Yeah. It's not so even, he's been used. That's not even new. Through control side. No window broken open. I'm sure Sitting they would have to think about Primer, this. Thank Alexi, you. maybe there's a chance he catches one off. And they're falling back to some usual positions. Made for the door, flash on the window, still trying to just get some kind of contact. It is Monesty locked into dark. It is Hunter further back on ramp. Sees nothing on the approach. Now suddenly that save seems a little too tantalizing, so they try to go tit for tat with G2 in an aggressive lobby punch. They throw out a couple jabs, and ultimately it's G2's sixth on this T side. Yeah, you know, have wonderful just there as a turret. Random ad break. I forgot to give the warning. No, this is what happens when I don't run the fat in. ones. He's playing it slow. I kind of like what he's doing right there. So normally I run a fat um, one, you know, to turn it off for an hour. Away. But when I forget, it auto runs 90 seconds. Yet, so, man, there's a very interesting structure to this game. I mean, first of all, it's been zany. I feel like we're watching Lin Vision. It's just again. really hard because <laughs> we're bouncing between each stream. So I never know when to run them, I'll be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, we do have Hoosie on the screen here, so... Oh man, that Zeus round's gonna leave Navi singed because they try to pull the <laughs> ass with the half buy. Now they're coming in with just pistols. I mean, the fact that that's what reopens this door for G2. And think about how long they just sat on top of main waiting and waiting until Nexa catches somebody asleep at the wheel. Oh boy. But you know what? JL started this fight. Hey. He got the first Zeus early on. <laughs> Nexus survives it. This is what they were doing in boot camp, just looking for a Zeus angle. 15 days of practicing Zeus <laughs> spots. Yeah. He's literally like a fucking. He's a corn dog Start right now. Day with some deep breathing. So we need dog wrapped in a blanket, just barking. And then Zeus lineups for an hour. He's not right. even moving. He's just laying in the blanket. Something, but it's yeah. taken back by Monacy. Right place, right time once again. Who is very quickly paving the path to the 2-0 start in Copenhagen with Navi's dead bodies. Hey. Nexus has been used a pretty efficient lurker so far this half. I have to say, in the big picture of things, the thought of G2 just quickly running into the playoffs, you know, a swift reminder mm. that you can't count G2 out. Yeah, I mean... Listen, you never know what G2 you're going to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never know. All that matters for them is right now, they are having a great start, and they look very well prepared, and obviously their key pieces are on point. Today we're getting the one that I like to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I were to put and the camera on him, I don't actually know if you can see again, him with like the angle. Almost every matchup versus G2 is fun to watch. So it's like yes. you're always cheering for them to be good at the game because mm -hmm. the so whole game benefits from it. More. You no, know, Monacy was up there in the starting best of one. He had Nico right with him, right? The two stars aligning, and it felt so good. There's no kit, right? No, okay. Just looking for the Zeus exit. I said it once, I'll say it again. A sight for sore eyes to see Hunter doing this well. 12-7 yeah, and yeah. Seven on the T side. You know, picking up the slack that Nico has left. He was trading very, very well um, on the map earlier today. 
bit of a frustrating situation for sure for Navi. I mean, I, f I feel like because of the nature of the way they've lost these rounds, you'd just be angry just because, I don't know, like there's not much more you could have done about it, but you know you could have won these rounds with just a touch more awareness in a certain spot or with the way that G2 are playing. If G2 goes through, rounds, who do they play? Fashion and Monacy have Chat. His way with basically the entire map. Doing every Sensei damn Chambers. well, please, yeah. I mean, playing it back, it makes sense, man. Anybody falling back from main, trying to tuck behind CT vent, that's all Zeus territory. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the mind first goes to stationary Good positions that are close spirit. enough to get Zeus kills. But soon we'll watch that develop into the T side aggressive Zeuses. You know, short on Vertigo, for example. I've seen a couple of Zeuses running up that lane. But there's far more than electricity in this round. We've got M4s back up. We've got very little utility, though, for Navi, and an entire volley of util about Unless to come out from the A site. Mm. They'll hold off. That was the last one. That's that Navi actually had to possible. Throw. And already we've had instances of G2 burning down my the clock. looking not terrible. We've not success. We're we're just chilling right now, cautiously optimistic. Only, only eliminated one so far. So I think, yeah, considering what happened last time, I think this for G2 is good. Inside of Hutt. That sucks he executed. And uh, a trophy push all the same. So, I mean, uh, again, another situation where how do Navi let this go? Just got to hit shots. JL waiting for that Hut push. His teammate's doing a great job, as well. is he. <laughs> there you go. Good no lockdown, good needed. lockdown. They absolutely stop that one in its tracks they all picked great spots yep hit some great shots good half from jl this half was so individualistic you know more than it was sort of a team i don't want to hand out team-based accolades based on what happened there was so many highlights uh, so many unique situations and just <laughs> so many zeuses <laughs> wild that that round is what powers g2 to end up getting essentially three off of the back of it mm. the zeus round was a robbery the half by and the follow-up wasn't enough for navi to hang on and then they got the anti-eco so jail happy to grab one more before navi have to start this t-side endeavor but fair to say g2 definitely did enough on the offense Absolutely. Yeah, they're going to be the ones who are comfortable now. But nothing's promised. You know how Navi go on right. T-side. They're going to make this excruciating if they have to. Nico outside nuke. Ooh. It's a welcome scene. Nico we'll just like me. Whether he can kick it up a notch because he was pretty I mean, I like to throw the USP. It's nice. Offense. Too bad the chamber's always yeah, stuffed. First but... on the pistol, remember that? Mm -hmm. And now they'll call on him oh, for yeah. the T-side. This is where Nico gets that record right back up to that of Hunter. Watch. Speaking of Hunter, inside of the vents. Here's the approach of Navi. Oh, E-Man, not being shy about making sound and so that's delivers. A tide, that's a tide changer right there. They got vent control. CT's guessing a bit. Another T walking out of the HUD and Hooksy doesn't find it. Nice. Monacy gonna shove them right back down that vent. That can be the bomb to go plant at B, and if it does, it kind of speaks of the desperation to get something out of this pistol. It's just that it can be chased so easily. Wonderful. We'll get into the site. Smoke's down. Can't spam it. Monacy goes towards double doors. Oh, okay. And as Wonderful comes Stop out of the smoke, his teammate Roger, upstairs thank you for the $10 nothing. Super Chat. Monacy, thank you, dude. Perfect place at the perfect moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure that they can't come up and split A. And because the Hut guy confirms Hooksy's behind CT vent, that's what drew them up into Monacy's waiting hands. Yeah. G2, still one of the most consistently <laughs> impressive teams on pistol rounds. And I mean, I don't know if it's still true to this day, but we knew at one point that Hunter was actually the caller specifically for pistol rounds. I mean... I'm not even, I don't think that was even a joke, so I don't know if that's still the case, but great I'll, pistol stats, great listing players, of course, helps out a lot. I like to believe it is, you know, that like somebody can bring just something of that specialism to a table. You know, it's like field gold kickers in the, uh, in, in, in American football. Yeah, you like sit on the you bench, miss a kick? You sit on the bench for 95% of the game, and then you just come out to kick a ball in the same spot every time. And sometimes you miss. And those people should have their I would never allow <laughs> my okay, kicker Ninja. to simply just miss. Forced by out of Navi with the bomb plant. The triple Galil. Deep Top three hoppers of 2024. But already uh, two smokes, two flashes. And Hooksy says to JL, anything you can do, I can do better. From the Nova to the auto shoddy. Zaiwushiro, no order. 
Are we at the major? Because with some of the guns I've seen tonight, the hell is going on? May the most creative team win. That's what I say. Well, Zeusing off the Pause top and play of the, the ten-month farmer. Thank you. Players, I'll, that, that's creative, all right. Salty Sal with the two-month farmer. Thank you. And Nico looking like a laser beam here. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah, he's more of a robot outside. Thank you for making my time at work go by faster. I have to concede ramp. Flashbang forced the player down. Didn't want to lose full control of B. That's Nexa tucked along the railing of the B site. Navi really hoping somebody gets active inside of lobby. I don't want to curse anything, but I love this. gun sticks I, out, dude. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's, that ain't how that works, Chief. Yeah, no, that. a long barrel on that silence M4. Good night, Nexa. <laughs> Bro, anytime. Damn, how did they know I was there? Ugh. I don't know how he... I, I literally Wonderful. didn't realize where he was, and then I saw the it when Launders went to I was like, oh, he's dead. JL. He has waited in lobby for so long to get a chance to shoot the Deagle, and he does it. Successfully into the back of Nico. Mm. Monesty trying to retake out from ramp. There are no guarantees, even with that freebie of a kill on Ooh. Nexa, because if Monesty is alive and kicking, then you've got Monesty problems. And friends. Wonderful catches him climbing through the window, and Hooksy forced into the clutch <laughs> with a shotgun. With an auto shotgun. 5 HP. No, he got he it. Sticks it, but he doesn't oh, wait, have the no kit, kit mo, oh, so no defuse there. Oh my god. I will never understand how professional players don't understand where barrels end. Oh, with the yeah, that that was that was definitely a little surprising. That spot is valid, but you don't can't be looking out that way. So Yeah. That was giving Ninja. Look at that. Video. Look how obvious that is. Yes. It's like he wasn't even fully was... back in the corner. No, it's it's yeah, he might have been that, because I feel like yeah. you definitely I feel like his all angle was a fine, little wider. But he's also watching the far side exit <laughs> of the ramp. Sorry guys, they just read me like a book downstairs. Hey, if they man. boot camped as long as Navi. You know what I mean? Yeah, fifteen days. They would have figured that out. Fifteen days would get you out of that position. But so. all that does is make the game close. It's still G2 in the power position once they get back to rifle. So Navi, well, first of all, they want to survive this. They didn't get rid of Nico. He's got an M4. He's definitely taking a risk. Could get mollied in this spot in secret. But if they don't come forward outside, it won't matter. Nico can share a lot of information from here, though. If he just decides to take a timing peek to the side of red, sees nothing. They aren't mollying him out either. It's not a full default. You have to be careful with your default grenades in this situation because it will just tell Nico that you're actually not coming if you throw too many. Oh, this boost is big. Oh, the shot's not quite as hot. The as... idea was big. Yeah. It was a big idea. Uh huh. Got a dream big. <laughs> big idea. Dream huge. There you go, Nico. Gotta make the most of those ones. Still something to stand on here with Hunter tucked in behind doors. I'm dead. No, I don't know. Oh, hold up. Wait a second. I think it's just catching up with me a little bit. So I'm sipping on this monster, dude. I, the, uh, these past few days are catching up to me right now. I think he heard you. He's After that here. complexity game and the hype, this I'm just go. a bit. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, just a wee bit down right now. Tony Hawk business right there. This game gets a hey, little bit. Hey, my that Yeah, I walked six miles when I was feeling good. So. Hmm. Oh, this is so relaxing. It's making me dizzy. I'm gonna look <laughs> away from the screen, dude. Terrorists win. Oh, you said you wanted Tony Hawk Pro Skater. There you go. There we go. A little 50 50 grind in the T spawn. But would Flom walk 500 miles for chat? Yeah, I like that he was on high oh alert. My God. That snap, that We've been snap walking nice. for, what, okay. like a month now? Wow. It's Maybe a little bit longer? He misses his chance to five, seven, Averaging man, five or six God miles damn, a day. Did not give him a lot of time to shoot. Oh, that was almost a full one. Not too bad. We're getting there. Ooh, we're looking at a tight game, huh? Yeah. G2 not working with much now. All right. Time to sit up straight. Got a couple tidbits to work with, right? The saved Galil from Monacy could oh. be given a chance versus two. Oh man! I mean, mm. every time we see back from doing something right. But then, as he comes through the main smoke, at least wonderful was far enough out. Hooksy comes out with the deagle. 
doesn't get himself a second. Still thins the herd inside of the A site. It's a quick move from Hunter out from heaven towards the garage. Not many outs beyond that. Uh, those couple of guns to work with. So calm situation for Navi as they plant and look to tie the game up. I said they make it excruciating here on T side, and they will draw blood at every instance. I think one thing Navi do for sure that's good is even if you can't win a round, you make it ex as expensive as you can all the time. Like that. Well, that's G2 doing it. That's good too. The chase is on. And everybody gonna hang on to the weapons. So we're all tied up. This Navi T side, has it been flawless? No. Has it been flawless? Huh, yes, indeed. What did I have Fury doing this round? I stayed away from those fuckers. I didn't put him at 03. I didn't put him in my pickums. I'm just stay away. G2 win pistol. And then what the fuck is this bomb race? Welcome to Nuke Chat. From this Navi it's camp. great, oh, isn't yeah. it? So it's a double save, essentially. Well, it's the I still can't stress no, enough how much yeah, I think the bomb radius increase mechanic is so stupid. That, and that's why he said it. Well, he takes the 23 month primary, so sure salty Sal takes the two month primary, 1970 the 79 month primary. Uh, but they should, they, I mean, they should because be aware even if you fucking tell me <laughs> that it like reduces saving or creates more action in the game, dangerous there. What you cannot tell me is that any player sits there and is like, yeah, make the bomb radius bigger. How much does he have to give up having been spotted there at the end of the, like it's just not a fun mechanic in any way you know what i mean he wants to, but he doesn't have to leave i don't think it's still a good spot to be to start the round they need a lower guy like nobody likes dying to just like a it comes up the vent by the looks of things oh, okay. undefined amount of damage and he'll go for the top blue that's piece. invisible yeah. you just over follow her you know good angle for nico he's got to show us something to be proud of oh yeah Actually. there it is Ooh, yes, oh yes surrey damage into bit another spray Ooh. through smoke and this is feels like the best round nico's had to offer he's getting in like the flow state of yep. all the timings of where they're walking around yep. i mean outer on nuke is his playground wow. and he's I proving just, it very unpopular Again, opinion because i'm gonna say the v word Hunter i actually like how valent does JL, it and uh okay. that is five standing it just showed me right, a defined end point you I'm know saying, or something yeah, could like in secret that'd be at least where i know where the bomb radius is like maybe give me a circle on the map and he ends up going all the way around the vents up the vents and then up I just, onto the back. It just of feels main. like a guessing game. It doesn't feel nice. No surprise that they weren't ready for that timing. And then just banks back into the confidence of the mechanics, case, man. going for the fight, spamming the smokes. You know, sometimes your outer nuke player really has to be larger than line on the floor. Give me a bomb radius, really really maybe just around the yeah. bomb plant there's, on my mini map, right? Like, like the like almost like an you know how we get so the audio another. circle. Why not show me the bomb radius circle? No, no, why? I'll be having to concede this in the face of a powering up Nico now. Why does it increase the steel ceiling for me? Or does it decrease the would. steel ceiling not knowing exactly where the bomb radius ends? Honestly, it feels like the CT side requires him to. If there's going to be any outer presence, it's Nico in the pressure position. And uh, this is a, a game where I, it feels like the last round does not tell you about the next. There's almost no continuity between ideas and what's working because they're just finding so many new situations all the time. And that's what I think is allowing the individual aspect of the match to blossom the most and create for moments like so that. Max, zoom into the body. Anybody that brings realism to a Counter-Strike discussion just well, through it immediately be, like not have the ability to speak to or have an opinion. But... What, what did you link? Oh, let me see it. G2 made it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Both pistols this game, but only one conversion. And that'll be the best Dude, round look at JT's face. Seen so look far at JT's face. Oh my God. Just think about how it could have oh started when Nico God. was almost caught crossing over towards Secret. Sorry, sorry. So he knows he signed up for danger. Bro, that is oh incredible. God. Perfect grenade. Wow. And at this point now, Ima's getting bullied outside. He has died to the Monacy Peak. In a save round, he's lost to Nico two rounds in a row now. Mm. 
But even with that kill from Nico, two players Maybe two get down. Secret, what, what is the, by but staff, like, why yeah, is it bad that I know where the bomb radius at least ends? To draw attention. But why is was that bad? I'm so confused. To shove themselves into secret. Continue How does that negatively impact anything in the game? On without me. JL floating the idea of eventually crossing two. You guys are shit at the game anyway, bro. Like it's not gonna out. make you any better or worse. Like, come on, grow up. I have some ideas coming in from Alexi. This is a great option coverage position from Nico. He can I didn't say a Valorant bomb. I'm plus, saying on the map, backup, it shows you like an audio cue where the lurk, damage ends. And information is king in this spot. Motherfuckers gatekeeping useless shit as if it actually this is why you guys doesn't suck. believe that he can be spotted. Hooksy's gonna have to pick it up instead, but... Oh, wait a second. Hooksy. How was that not corroborated? Oh, my God. And will it even matter? Or did Hooksy just get into a position... Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Yeah, he, he knows that he let this cross. JL's gonna come in underneath Nico. <gasps> just as he turned away. How in the world just did this happen? Just as he turned away, JL, he's gonna double back into it, kill Nico, and now what? We're primed for the event pop. Up they'll go, but into the lying weight of Hunter, who now has to turn attention okay. to Heaven, and he is the A anchor of A anchors right now. Yeah, the Apex Predator here in this match. Ooh, that got weird for a second. It really did. I can. That's an half of chat doesn't even know there's probably you, audio you circles in the CS now, and you're just confusing them. There's probably. somebody crossing in front of Nico's screen on the side of Mini, but no response to the information. No information handed over to your mini player. You know, he's getting a little older, Launders. His eyes might not be what they once were. <laughs> Clean grenade. Got to give it that. It's close. Hunter, yeah, wow, it's where Martin. it was planted. Wonderful. That's true. Okay, see, heaven. there's the negative. See, there we go. Somebody actually applying. Got that ball rolling by somehow Real shit. Getting the That's a good point. Nico, but Did Jail see him worked. back there and then assume that Nico didn't see him and that was actually know, right man. somehow? I said that, that five happen? times. Like, yeah, tucking in on this you say dumb shit arch. all the time, so yeah. you if only get 10% of your messages read at this yeah, point. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You did this to yourself. That's a weird round. That's why this game is basically impossible to uh, we gotta, we summarize. Should, we show that one back to Nico and ask what's up. How did you already make it an emote? Oh, they felt like they definitely had a thread to pull on, but how? They don't have a gun to shoot with. The one AK changes hands. JL out from Squeaky is done for, and it How needs is to be it emo, but it in, won't be an emo. An op shot from Monesty to essentially seal the deal, and this is G2 now pulling ahead. What a puzzling round that was. What a puzzling Just, match. I, I won't miss uh, around like I did before. This is why, Chat. You see, <laughs> he made this into an emo. If you don't have seven TV already, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> fun though very fun for sure yeah hard just this is so I can't good auto can't tell what anyone's thinking yeah, i can't sure. tell what the igls are thinking like normally i'm like from a perspective of conditioning like you know what i mean like stroking my neck beard maybe they'll do this next round but then i'm like jl nova into zeus into monacy flying they can take it just show it when it's like 15 into, seconds or something no i I think that, see, no, the bomb radius thing makes sense. To top main to, like, I, or maybe I it could show you, like, an overall range. <laughs> you know, people have to listen to you all the time, but I, I have the privilege of watching you work, yeah. and I can see half of these rounds, your eyes glazing over as you try to make sense of things. But you can't crunch these numbers, man. Yeah, 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 I can't. Like, uh, like what, what, are, what, what, what do Navi want to do this round, for example? Like, what do they want to do? Yeah, no, that's we, what I'm saying, Bogus. I just think that pops. undeniably, at least for me, the bomb exploding so mechanic, material getting traded on especially now that it just keeps getting increased on fucking like every map seemingly for just everything. arbitrary reasons, it, days of it boot just camp, feels bro. bad. It'll it get just your does. wires crossed. Yeah, true. Ooh, but right. Bit keeps this one simple. From the top of Silo, knocks Nico down a peg. And that's a main challenge. So I'm just trying to, like, think of ways to make it not feel so bad, you know? Hooksy behind the vent. Double kill. And a little bit of damage on the follow-up. Now, Bit is pinned in behind Vent. Awkward from Wonderful, but Ooh. he still recovers the aim. And this is, needs to be the Monacy 1v3. Yeah. Player down beneath him getting by. I don't know how he finds out that Emma has crossed maybe that's why I like Anubis bros because the bomb rate is so small okay there it is okay now we will get that one and this one you know this one's more fundamentally sound in the sense of like they get the Nico kill they turn that into an upper split it, it's very standard 
They also shut down the trophy push. I mean, I did my part, chat. Hunter's I won't lie, I bitched about it while and, uh, I was in Seattle. I was definitely one of my complaints so quickly, about the overall thing no of the game. To get convoluted. Yeah. And all I the thought the CT economy was a bit place, rough too, but... To work fast enough to just pressure through, right? From the Nico frag to having a site under wraps. Yeah. And all about you know what they did, chat? After I told them I thought them increasing bomb radius is stupid. Um, this, the they did it more. Into mini are staggered. So clearly, the they value my opinion. Staggered from the squeaky okay. play as well. So I, I feel like you know, Hooksy getting two kills is even surprising in that spot. So I think literally two well, weeks we'll later, they again, actually they, increased it. You know, who knows? Maybe it's just that they um, are just all trying to get on the same page with what they want to do. But it works out for them right there. The game continues. And I know G2 don't think that this will come for free uh, because yeah, they've put themselves in some. Zany positions Four that minutes, come out chat, ahead, edge. but they themselves are not winning rounds in like normal ways. So let's see. Honestly, we'll be picking up the op. There won't be one here on the T side. For now I know B, who to thank for that. Both teams I'll just be money. real. I mean, I'm not going to leak, most exciting but a certain possible. analyst did actually propose increasing bomb radiuses chat publicly and if you remember who it is and you know who started this whole mess that's all i'm gonna say taking the long road this time and it gets contested quickly modesty does not see that player one of one of the analysts a long time ago the way thought this was a great idea that's the possibility uh maybe at least the time it was called there i'll leave it there will peel back but as he comes back in wonderful right there maybe steps ahead of what modesty expected thought he came back fast enough to prevent this but instead wonderful's got an open road to heaven and Nexa towards ramps compromised on both ends. Yeah, I'm personally a genius and have so never suggested anything that's stupid. Control. Smile. Joining up with ramp, in fact. Fuck. Looking to make a play JL, to a reclaim prime. something. JL has waited oh. back here, but Hooksy is going to win that duel straight up. All right, this round is all about wonderful. Eventually, this ends upstairs. They can get this split into formation. CTs can roam as much as they want to, but at the... At Navi's will, they can kind of approach and split. Is he top main? Yeah. Sitting duck. Wait, Ambit didn't hear this either. Easy. Hunter finds that timing. Hooksy, though, caught by Alexi creeping in through main, and so a site still opened up with support towards heaven. Nexus. I didn't tell to him to get bomb ladder. raiders. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. And that's I did tell a handsome dev to delete the, the boxes on Cat on Ancient forever ago, and he did. Hunter God bless Nico. America. Right. We got the Kovach side by side. Nade nails them both ever so slightly. I did do that. I'm very They're proud of that. Main, but it I'm really taking is credit. Just two players back site plus the heaven support uh, now back in position. No Molly makes this so difficult. Mm -hmm. What up, Ryan? How you doing, man? That, wonderful has a Molotov for the post plant if it even came down to it, but no attempt thrown out by wow. the brothers. G2 Sorry, can don't see double digits and Navi take a Minute 10. 30 yeah, chat yeah, before again, the 90 uh, seconds uh, runs, okay? Pause. The instructions are wrap outside. They send wonderful on a mission. He finds a great timing on Monacy, who's running in through hell after Nico You should watch my interviews with Complexity. So, the, I'm not doing Nico anything after these games end. I might really go react to stickers, to like, and right, I'm literally just going to go, get into hell fuck, I got a lift. Get up into heaven at some point, so he comes in for a peek. Could have gotten the After shot my off, lift, right? I am going to try to sleep for 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Monacy could have reasonably um, hit it, but once that... Once that kill is down, you know Monacy's not doubled up with anyone with that off. So he goes right into heaven, and it's just a matter of time before upper is taken over. And so Navi, Navi bring this one round closer. And again, as sick as some of the rounds that T2 have won, hours, Navi are here, still being tricky. Pressure for Nico. Keep up the good work, Ryan. Oh, wait, Ryan. Hey, hey, rifles, are you still right? here? Wait. We've seen Saini rounds. And as Zeus, no stranger to this scene. People need to start pre mollying Hut for rounds like these. Yep. Ryan! Or just make sure you come left. in two people, right? Zeus is never going to multi frag. Ryan! And I'll DM him. Nexa has nothing to work with here. Not a single piece of utility, just a stock pistol. He serves as nothing but a warning sign. Presence confirmed. Navi going to be thorough here because this is a tied game in their hands and one that has a lot on the line, right? We are talking 2-0. We are talking three best of threes to be played for top eight at a major. A packed Royal Arena awaits. And that M4 is a trap for Hooksy. He tries to go reclaim it instead. Gets caught in the act. Hand in the cookie jar. Monacy could very well fall to the same problem. 
but he has so little to work with that his time felt so limited. Navi, this one is Wait, perfectly I told him played. to come back in an ad. He's about assessment. to run chat. Mm -hmm. W. Easy ad rev. Making sure that they don't do anything that could end up costing them. And while Nexa has reclaimed the ramp room, it is all for naught. Wonderful planting, safe front sight, and Navi to tie this game up at 11. All right, they're going to make this the uh, most explosive finish possible. Connor standing up. <laughs> Going to round 23 and round 24. Tell me who wins right now. You don't have to be held to it, but based on what you've seen so far. Navi. Navi, okay. Yeah, I think All this right. T side, you know, you kind of said like, I don't really, it's kind of weird to get a read on. And yeah. I feel like G2 are actually in the same boat as we are. Yeah, right. It feels like they're a couple steps behind. <laughs> right. All right. I will do yeah, we've question. got some 4D chess being played right now. But I'm also not a sucker. And I know that Monacy or I don't Nico, have either one of these teams three oh, so like whoever wins, saw. I got no skin in the game. Yeah, I got them both sort of advancing. It's the whole feeling that basically anything could happen. Navi know that just as well. Well, one way to take things in your own hand if your hands if you're G two is uh, Ryan never came back. Get out there first. I need to know the format for legends, like how the legends seen, uh, spots uh, overall a spots work. Set up outside, which can lead into some kind of flank. They're just playing it tight we have seen a uh, full-on rush upstairs from navi recently and they are constantly starting secret sorry starting Ooh, here we go a little off timing on the a hit hunter's blind and there's no defense here hoaxie tries to get out from heaven but he goes down oh with nothing god that setup was crazy what a sudden pop right yeah you could not even feel that one coming and suddenly both players down on the a site flashes with extremely high efficacy and the CTs are just playing back dying as they go to save Navi are they really gonna steal 12 just like that dude yeah that we was were still cheeky. in the setup phase it looked like a first tier exec to get people off of top hut they totally transitioned that into a full on site hit I'd love to see those nades back again oh, that actually reminded me of something that Nouns is running but they're doing it on Nika rounds versus but they pulled it out on a gun round it's kind of cool of intentions from Navi it honestly now the execution is starting to line up you know, it feels like G2 are trying to figure out this dancing partner and Navi just in the middle of some kind of interpretive moves. It's, it, there's no there's no read on Navi right now. And this round is such a great example I'm of I'm not it. sure, Thugs. I don't know. And suddenly we're talking about uh, Hunter forcing down with an MP9. Nobody having that much money. We had a convivial G2 knowing that this game was basically over. Things were just going too well for them into this crawl back on the T side. When Nico ends up getting his big impact outer round, that's when it felt like the, the you know the the CT piece they needed to find its groove did. It felt right. like in that moment, one more of those and it's all they needed. But Alexi B on the brink of protecting up, his win streak over top of G2, he will not concede to them. Yeah, he he will not. That's uh that's four straight since he's joined Navi versus G2. A third tack timeout, and these ones have just I feel like have been specifically mm -hmm. dangerous with Blade. Off the first one was, I think, when things started to get really organized. Yes, sir. Navi, I mean, this is this has been some blue collar Counter Strike, man. They are putting in the work to bring back this half four straight. The upset in round fourteen after the pistol comes back to haunt G two, perhaps. MP9s Four are so MP9s, fucking terrifying on Nuke, Monacy. bro. The utility is here, but it just feels like Navi are so elusive. And they are going to crank the pressure with an opening kill on Nico. His frustrations are going to boil over. Wait, he that... has been outdone again. And bit on the chase uh -oh. versus the one rifle. This is Monacy oh. preoccupied. Bit so ready for this swing. They and Alexi he was up here. B calling some unique Counter-Strike unreadable by g2 at the moment Oopsie, you got an mp9 Steps dog that ain't a rifle them in a big ticket game in copenhagen he does not lose to his former teams two players left both on smgs scrambling to find a way out of this situation jl literally at a minute 10 waiting and spawn for a flank anything that they want to try to do on an extremity to get cut off G2 don't even know they're corralled in this spot. I got you, Thugs. Okay, so if, if, oh if complexity qualifies, Dude, the Americas gets eight like slots, though. Into the headshot, into the 2-0 group. 
Navi with their own flavor of CS. You, That's the kind of convoluted counter strike. That's Blade smiling right there. That's why you boot camp for 15 days straight. Blade smiling. smiling. Okay. Unbelievable comeback. Well done from fucking Navi, man. I wish I had a little bit more energy, guys. And I apologize. I'm just fucking. I'm in, but he's the days are catching up with me a little bit right now. I do feel better though. At, like, at least I'm not sick. Now I'm just. So I mean, cut. we were obviously watching the madness down in Donut, right? But in, in amongst that. If you remember, the, all, all the attention was on Fallen because he's watching for that cross through red. He's watching for the cross at Dona. He's controlling a lot of the map. While that's all happening, Carrigan just slinks his way up through B ramp into the B site and cooks up a double kill. And that threw the entire round into disarray for Furia. Up until that moment, Furia were like surefire victors of the round. They had everything controlled. Everything was accounted for. And then Carrigan does this just on a gut feeling, on a timing, walking up through the B ramp smoke. And then suddenly, if you're Fury, you don't know where the play's ending up, right? They've got a guy in B, there's a guy fighting you in A. Where the hell are they going? Yeah, Fury don't know right now. They're getting cooked on the CT side. Now phase up yeah, the that's pace. Yeah, that's what I was saying, I'm not sure. Middle. And no one here for Fury, not a player in sight. Look at Robs, he's already in red, or at least outside of it. But it's a timing Fury I have to consider. Even with the smoke break from K Serato, they don't know. Verbal, thank you again for the 39. Cheeky Cyber, thanks for the 10 on this integral part of the map. Just leaving this huge gap right now. FaZe don't know it, but they've got a, a whole world available to them. The rest of the team are just holding out, maintaining some control so this flank can come in. I mean, um, Imperial point, beating Spirit doesn't do anything. It's because if you get three line, wins, remember? Dragon burns that player in cave. There's still Yuri here. Seems aware of that. And they flank both sides. It's another round where FaZe are active everywhere on the map. Like, Fallen, as he's coming out here, they could be anywhere. They are everywhere. Another kill for Carrigan. The aggression denied. And they know that Fallen's got an orb. Just the question is, where is he? He's dead to Robs. Knife? No, Robs is too cool for that. He wouldn't mess it. It's 10 to 6. I mean, dude, they get two players in red. One flanks A, one flanks B. FaZe are feeling like they can do no wrong. FaZe are just leaving all the mid-round options open by how yeah. they're playing, right? Like, they literally have the ability to end on either bomb site, and that's very hard for Fallen to call against. He also oh, doesn't man. have information oh. flowing on where anything, I wanna where wake any up of and these I'm plays are ending monster, up. You know, but I don't want to drink it too and fast. like you say, when they're assaulting <laughs> both the A and B site on the flanks, but you don't know where the play is ending. I don't know if it's a miscom because Caserato like he's super sus. I think you're responsible for G2 choking no So like maybe he calls. Imagine thinking mid. anybody's responsible for you know, a G2 choke besides G2. So you just, just haven't mid, watched them long enough. They get past him already, and then by the way, he's smoked. So all the info is gone. But at no point in the round, after 20 seconds of silence, did Furia turn around. Yeah, no one looked behind them. I actually, you know, I want to I want to see Art doing his usual, which is playing up close and personal behind this mid util. I think he's actually been really good at that here yeah. on Ancient. Well, You're literally talking about a team that forgot to defuse heaven. the that fucking bomb the on the very the map. You just watched them lose. So it's a lot harder you to think hold on I'm to the reason they choke? Phase of doing these splits together. Art's back in middle now, at least, trying to get the info to what's going on in the madness. No, 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 down over there, big guy. We'll get silenced. Rain locks that in. The caveman of phase clad. And now Jello on the ramp, on the aggression. Dink to Carrigan, but he can't find him on the smoke. Damage done. Rain's just killed his teammate. Nice shot, uh -oh. man. A little bit weird, a little bit awkward. Oh, fully embarked on the flank up through mid. Frozen is accounting for this. He's holding four. Oh, Alexei never loses to his past teams, but yeah. G2 is Something absolutely in the driver's the seat there, there and could have closed that pretty cleanly. Around. A helping hand. Look, it's Mike. Yeah. So now they're going to go looking oh, for yeah. Art. They're going to go looking for the one kill they know they've got right here on a silver platter. Oh. Art will not give it away for free. If he can keep this locked in, that's crazy. Uh. Brokey will at least run him down. Oh. So FaZe are in with the chance to turn around from Rain, trying to make amends for the TK on his Is captain. that my AK? No, it's and not my AK. that leaves it all on K Serato. Frozen DM me and just Both said he's a huge fan and he copied my AK and I said all good, bro. I respect it. In this round. There's no time to recover from that now. He's, they split up for the time being. Noise made by Rain in middle. But K Serato calls their bluff. What does he? Oh, now he does his B, for sure. 
18 seconds, steps being made, Brokey with a Molotov, it's not that deep, Kesarata could risk it if he wants, he's risking it all, but Brokey shuts him down with a fake tap. Huh, whoop. Oh, that's, a, that's one of the rounds of all time right there for Fury, a very, very nice try with the pistols, with Art trapping them in their own spawn. But my god, you feel like that it shouldn't be so close. Shamrock with a 25 month recently talking about the Colts are the young. These They're doing a sale right, right now. I retweeted it. Uncomfortable. Not an ad. They didn't but pay me, but they did the send it to me for free. I'm just to trying to support this half. NA, you know? You know, I mean, but that's why I think this matchup is always a banger. Like, FaZe is uh, so down to embrace the, the, the chaos of Fury. Support the yeah. peeps and support the scene, you know? They will meet them right there. Again, the heaven to mid for rain. He just walks through the. Is spike. my name on the back? It is. I didn't actually expect that. I'll be honest. Double red. They leave fallen with the scope after the hard spam. There's a discount code if someone wants to order that jersey. Yeah, that, I think they have a sponsored one. That one is a conflict. So I will not be mentioned in what this. He's crossed past them. He's made it into the donut. That comes as a real surprise to Frozen. They thought they had his number. Rain watches on from middle, Rops deep within the site in the meantime, so there's still a world for FaZe here as they catch Fallen back in the red room. Rain will get turned on by Keserato. All been there. Rops, they didn't know about him. He's been sat here all around waiting for a push like that. And so it looks silly for Art, but they thought the site was clear. They've got to take something. Oh, but the missed shot. I was the way back in, trying to clear donut. It's all Rob's. I mean, he was a one v five. He was clutching here in okay. the heroic game, but this time, okay. this time it's different. Rob's. No. Oh, what in the fuck? That's beautiful. Could have delivered no. in the heroic game earlier on today. Bro, I... No issue versus Furia. How? Sickening shooting for Rob's. Do you really want to call a timeout? Just, just maybe we go next, hair. yeah. Oh, watch this, man. How does he make before. it look so easy, Hugo? How does he make it look so easy? Oh, you wish you could. Oh, my so God, clean. dude. This guy's a beast. It's so, yeah, it's not even I like, agree. So it just looks in. like he's in like a practice server. It, Furia. it might be done. Oh, that's crazy. Everything about him in that round was beautiful. He sat on default. When K Serato crossed the smoke and went into Donut and like looked to upset the whole round, Rops waited patiently. And he waited patiently in the side to get that one free Rops, kill on Tomato. So it was actually a 1v4. No, but it was a 1v4. I said essential 1v4. Yeah, you know, un unreal scenes yeah. from Rops. Very nice shooting, nonetheless. I mean, Fury must be getting cooked after that one. They're just going to run it down. And the results are there. AKs to wield for the Brazilians. Oh shit. I don't know. Is it them or me? Okay, I think it's them. No, no, it's them. It's them. Okay, thank God. I turn around for one fucking second. Grez, they're oh. churned up over in middle. Oh my God. Yeah. Probably walk. Okay, we're good. The bomb as well, if he wants to get B. Rain I was like, holy space, shit, did I really fuck this up? Oh my, oh, they're they're eating shit, chat. Oh, oh they're eating hella shit Sword. right now. Got a whiff. Flash for Yuri back in. Rain's going to have to use his util and give away the aim of the game. Brokey, he could bait and go back to A and try and clutch up again. Doesn't need to. I'm just eating a little stuff the chat before my lift. Rain might be dead anyway. And well, the spam will make that so. Luckily, Brokey has... The last position they'd expect. You'd think donuts away. You wouldn't think red. But there's Jeez. enough CTs on the back line to turn around. Not another 1v4 for Faze. No, surely not, right? Oh, it's not a bad way to start. They've spotted him. He knows he's got to play a trap up close. Oh, he goes God. looking for Cello. Not back-to-back -back 1v4s. This isn't how it unravels, surely. Okay, Serato repositions into the donut. No way he does this shit again, right? But he goes looking for this kill. Chases down K Serato, who waits in the site. He just oh. sees him over the boxes. And so 1v4 right. dodged this time We're around safe. for Furia. Yeah. And that's going to keep them in this. You can see him piecing it together. The reason he goes back through CT is he heard k to and Donut, so he wants to trap him in there. You like nice starting or ending your day two. with a lift? Um, but that would be a bridge too far for FaZe to win that clutch again. If you get used Furia, to it, disastrous. if you get used to it, lifting half, early in the day is incredible. But Has it come too late? 
You really gotta you be on the schedule for it, in my opinion, now. at least for me. No room for when I randomly lift in the morning, it's so hard to kind of like get it going. But when I was doing it for like a, like two weeks in a row, I I loved it. It's just hard to maintain with EU schedule and matches and shit. Shamrock, thanks for the 25 month resub. Bo, thanks for the eight month primer and trap soul, thanks for the 26. Thank you. Guys have decided that slow and steady wins the race here. Taking the pace out of it in this round. Paying their respects to the double door smoke and now coming through it. They get away with the lane control. Boost up for Brokey. Warp trying to make first contact. Cello, don't get too antsy over at long. Oh, the jump across. They learn about that AWP on the boost. And thankfully, they don't learn about it the hard way. That could have been the opener that gets the ball rolling for phase to this victory. Instead, we're left even. Fury even starting to pull Fallen towards that, that red room for the fast rotate. These are all in on the B play right now. Yeah, it's just got to be, you know, it's the first domino, this, these kind of rounds. They need that first entry, and Yuri's got such huh? a hard position to clear. FaZe don't have a Molotov for it. They shouldn't throw one this late. They're going to go back to ramp, leave Carrigan to late play it. So they've got to get up with an entry. Arts ahead of the smoke. It's perfect. Nice trade, but again, Yuri inside of the site. Brokey oh. hits a quick shot, and Carrigan's got the room. FaZe have the positions and the power for the post plant. They may have the map in their pocket. Brokey repositioning's been spotted, getting into the cubby here. But still putting up numbers on the AWP is Brokey fallen, trying to move in, trying to deal with him, but he's tunnel visioned right now, and he's so focused on Brokey that he's blind to Frozen in at the ramp. Kesarao, don't fall down the same way. Don't let that one off barrel give Ooh. all the attention. Oh my God. Kesarao attempting a 1v4 of his own, but he can't get past Carrigan. And so FaZe lock this in. Furia sent down 0-2. And on the back of some phenomenal rounds for FaZe. That yeah, yeah, FaZe. Hurry Ross, up. Maybe clutching Hurry the tournament Hurry up in 3-1 so now that you lost one game. Fuck you. Phenomenal stuff as FaZe Clan weathered the storm. They stop a Furia that came in in fighting fashion. And they dodge that 0-2. Yeah, the best part about that for FaZe is the second half, right? Furia were dominating the game. They were controlling it. They had six rounds on their opener. And it felt like FaZe are ready to roll over. But they don't even let Furia in. One round, a consolation round at the end of the CT side. And then they just shut out the game. And that's without just the godlike clutch for Ops. The CS2 Psycho coming in and fighting form to Copenhagen. What a game for FaZe to see them actually close it without worries when it looked like Furia had came to play. I think that's a result that Harris, we Harris wanted incredible. at the end of the day. Yeah, I think it's 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 reassuring for FaZe because Furia clearly came into this with a clear game plan. They had the, the, the kind of players that you would want showing up, showing up early on. They, they had a lead, right? They were able to be in this position right here where Kesarato just falls shy of, uh, of the first 1v4. them down that is a huge attribute to have for such a young player the, the big one was obviously yesterday when it seemed like you know Henny and Henny was getting into it a little yeah. bit with Vinny and I mean I think that might have been a little overblown obviously from the outside you know that those things just happen in a competitive watch. environment but Forest guy look at like look at like Facebook chill, marketplace or like good, what's cool, the other yeah, one chat yeah huge just, fan of the two really yeah I'll just get refurbished like real officers like it was the case for decency as well by Zach and the analyst just picked up because they were playing pugs with BT you know the content machine over from Brazil and just seeing I'm the, the an ad before the start there, as you up. painted in combination with the rest of that roster. Yes, and I think it's also about keeping the One more sec. veteran also on their toes, right? If you're Phelps, if you're Henny, of course you are what I like to call established in Brazilian Counter-Strike. You have had success in the past, but you've also arguably wasted a whole lot of years not having a whole lot of results. And then suddenly you have these two young kids with you and you say, holy hell, like, I, got, I gotta pick my shit up. You know, they're here, they're ready to play. It's, it's also a good story, but what are they gonna do? Well, Mirage, they're, they're going to, yeah. I think, I think, I think so that's yeah, the yeah, you like that? white swing middle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I feel you're, about You're going to take a lot of fights with Doc. You have Shiro waiting back there on the wings. Uh, but also as well, I think you got to say, Henny's playing good with the AWP right now. Henny, yes. Henny's also impactful, so let's not discount that. And oh. in my mind, this is always, you know, for, throughout his career, this has been one map where it always feels like Phelps has had some special and unique plays and a unique angle of approaching this map. Um, so he can, he can be super impactful also. And, and we'll just have to see how the young guys do against, you know, what is probably the best team in the world right now dare yeah. i say dare i say so if you if you're gonna 
Lay Spirit or Mirage, you're just saying, you know what, when we, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it with styles. Yeah. Nobody's gonna take that away from us. Right. We're gonna take yeah. them down all Mirage, Donk middle. Don't be afraid of those wide swings. Nah, nah, it's I so prepare. good. This is a team you gotta feel like, uh, the Brazilian teams, and especially like Henny with his history, like he's fucking, he's always loved wide swings. He's always <laughs> loved getting into that stuff. <laughs> so it's the best of one, Ev everything can happen, because because it's the best of one, we'll give it a percentage for Imperial. Oh, a percentage. A percentage yeah. is what okay, my, my most generous offer will be 28%. I was, I'll take it. I was going to say 30, so we're not... Oh, oh. Oh. This guy, what do we say? I was going to say... I'll take it. Great we're, minds think alike. Yeah, yeah. 30% chance. All right, right. let's see. So let's see. there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Into our last game of the day. Uh, take it away, Scrawny and Lau. Lau, Lau. Lau, Lau, Lau. Thank you so much. Big Lau. All right. Um, I think they got a donk percent chance. Donk. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of do be that guy right it's now. It's just huh? about him. It's also a mirage. I think this is a, it's a fun map for Imperial to take it to, but, uh, you know, where I was left flabbergasted upon my, you know, my my discovery of Donk was just the way that he will swing for you at top mid. So are they fighting fire with fire tonight? What's the plan here, Imperial? How are you going to stop Spirit? Like that. It there he goes. Pretty well. He did an uh, ace on the pistol round. We got Shiro over towards... The cover of the boxes and he's got support from chopper clean little crossfire Ooh, y'all looking the wrong way coming around the corner putting the back of your head to chopper's position he will get a second what? a reload as well chopper's going for it but it's gonna be phelps to put him down for the time being zontix it wouldn't be his first 1v2 today zontix mm -hmm. here he comes having lost track of the second player knows there's one locked into the bomb site Quick reminder as to where they're at. He saw that. They're waiting for a timing. Oh, wow. <laughs> a little drive-by from the Glock, but he's looking to get lucky. No kid on him. Trying to cross over quietly, looking for the response. Oh! Oh! Sontix just zips it up. <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> My heart almost just stopped. Yo. Certified killer. The Zontix. Oh. oh my God! So that's what I missed. That was his last chance. That Jesus. peak. Yeah, was don't worry, Chad. I got one of these real that. quick. Oh yeah. And oh, he is so was... happy to live in the shadow of Donk. Because of Donk, you forget. Oh uh, yeah. This kid's also something special. Donk and Zontix coming up Don't together. Don't worry about me, boys. They feed off one another. Headache? Yeah. Sickening kills. I've just been fucked up the whole time, man. They send a statement to Imperial. I wonder if Jason and Maniac would say 28 and 30% after that. You're welcome for leaving so something cool happens, okay. chat. You're welcome. Uh. Oh, yeah. kind of nuts how many all right side this is actually this helping has. just give me like 30 <laughs> seconds like this like shiro and zontix at Cato had a 1.30 rating as long as had a 1.70 so he took all the headlines but like wow eh. That was stunning. Wow, that was amazing. This is what five hours and not good sleep and fucked up oh, schedule. Just the pistol and round. Yep, just the pistol just round. Just the start. Mm -mm -mm. Streaming and doing matches does do a fucking. It's just not good. The last game of the day as well. It's mostly just schedule and sleep. Imagine that. Looking to wrap up. Azure with the six month awesome reset. Thank you. West with the twenty six. Thank you. I had phase three to zero go down, but and shout out Imperial for opening versus Looks first red. Pro. I hope so. I just put a giant uh, fucking freezing today, ice pad on my forehead, hotel, so just there's gonna like be a reaction. To flag the upset potential games, right? Because everybody's thinking. There's I don't no feel way horrible. I just like, win. and you know, I feel I'm like the majority consensus stuff. was kind of like heroic phase was flagged by some. Uh, Eternal fire vitality was getting flagged. We thought maybe pain over complexity. Mm. I didn't hear Imperial over Virtus Pro once. New five gifted with ice pack. 
and yet they post that victory. Yeah, I mean, because they were supposed to be the team to like stomp everyone slightly below them. Mm -hmm. consistent, Honestly, consistent, already feel ten times score. better. Questions about how they would yeah, face back off against Vitality clutch. or something like that, but so in keep, the first round, I have two of them in the fucking freezer. Safe, but Imperial Hockey do thanks for the nineteen month reset. It's thank you. And usually the caffeine kind of gets me. Yeah, like Imperial well. came from playing the Armars, doing a great job. Not more having water? any EU experience. Now Had showing us what today. they can do yeah. versus the EU teams in the opening stage to now continuing to be underrated, obviously, be able to beat Virtus Pro. But it's also just, you know, most teams don't beat VP in their Leader? first outing. Yeah. yeah. I'm you have to take reps dude. versus Virtus Pro before well, well. you can beat them. Even if you don't yeah, well, claim VP well, to be the best team here in yeah. Copenhagen. That little bit Sorry, of doubt. wait. No, no. First outing. One and a half. And you One and a half. Them. Yeah, I mean, it's true. You could be the best team in the world and still be worse than Virtus Pro. Yep. That's FaZe. <laughs> <laughs> they have trouble versus sure. Virtus. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that's... So that was a very impressive win for Imperial to have. Ears probably still ringing from that first pistol round. Yeah, but luckily this, you know, this one's over fast once they decide to pull the trigger on the B hit. So clear the slate. Fresh mind, guns out here for Imperial. Yes, Zontix left a bruise, but you can't get bogged down now. Imperial been playing tons I of Counter-Strike for the last year, so. I have, I have a, I just like got, got out of the habit of it. Heat of the, moment. the trouble they may have is time Sometimes it's just on. really it's fucking convenient to just keep grabbing a bottle of water. Hospital. And when he does it, it's usually with Zontix by his side. As if I have to tell you how good he is mechanically. I have the big, have the big boy ones that are like, mine's like, well, I have a fucking mega jug that's like. Two absolute monsters in middle it's, on Mirage. If you just drink one of them, it's like your whole day. Get this spread out attack from Imperial. Imperial just given time away right here mm -hmm. i think they're just trying to figure out how to like usually when you're doing this you're you're ready to give the cts mid so you can just take it back late with low utility mm. or like have an underpass lurk but they haven't set anything up this round at all so i actually don't think there's much like it appears imperial have this sick plan i mean i guess they've got this <laughs> maybe they do have a sick plan they punish that push but they are readying just a, a clean a hit essentially and Danny, really bringing it down to the wall. I mean, even jumping at the A ramp. And, uh, well. Noise canceling headphones are literally just noise canceling. Everything else is through the in-ears. There's no fake in place, so. Ready for the hit. Three out the ramp. Magic's. No default molly. Trying to get back in and holds off, but he loses his teammate. Luckily, Donk's over Oh, in for time. sure. Like, when you for hit, sure. like, a point where, where Spirit is. On Imperial flash over towards the ticket. They're going to try to press Wait, into him. No it works. <gasps> they no, they got it. They got it. Oh, the through. spread. That's damage and coverage. And somehow, Imperial, in the late round hit, I, get away with it. Yeah, all done from Vinny. Nuts. I mean, they did get the opening kill, so it was 4v5. But, uh, of course, all the CTs were basically there ready to fight against that. They even had a smoke in Palace. They got the kill versus the player coming out. Um... Well, clearly Spirit knew what they were going to do. But I guess everyone's got a plan until they get hit. And Vinny hits it hard. Two headshots out of him. Sealing the deal for Imperial's fourth round and their first win. Then you're left scratching your head wondering what was Zontix expecting? Man, there have been so many missed HEs in this game so far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like bowling. You just kind of send it in the right direction. True. Go for the split. Boost up for What up, J Ron? How you doing, man? And sees nothing. But Sontex isn't too far off. He never will be. They're really just trying to kill him with patience, right? I think that's clearly the game plan. But this time they actually get set up. Yeah, that they actually get set up in a spot. Double McBurger to playing today. I mean, Who the fuck is Double McBurger? Mid that late. Me? Is that me? Found out. Bye Dubs. bye. Easy approach. And this one's going down real smooth. Oh, yeah. Um, but again, time is an issue. But in time pressure situations, so that's a double, dude. Mistakes, Come on, so man. Grow up. 
solid about their the way they, no, they attack the site. I'm lifting him. Like, time to do it. There's three spotted. Lifting him 40 minutes. The connector now with the volley. You know, and it's but, great to kill them with patience, but then what if the clock starts to play against you? Is uh, has got the. Don, got you bring your own right shit. Now. Oh, he's gonna be mauling for a while though. He announces himself. Magic's more concerned about Palace now. You think Chopper? It's just funny how you put on a cool jersey when they win a game. Palace player sees it. Well, considering they sent it to me today and they did a sell for it and rolled it back and, and asked me to, I said sure, why not? And that threat. So yeah. It exists over towards Cat, a reposition that was very important just now. Wow, this is like watching like. Bonamar, the gift is up to series. Fat the, Thank you very much, Bonamar. Appreciate it. Is move so oh, yeah. slowly, the CTs just get uncomfortable, and then exec, and it's worked out for these last two rounds. Of course, it gets risky with the amount of time left over, but we see the bomb gets dropped, a second player dies, and they still have time to put it down. To be honest. If I was like, if I was so your the fat meat stays I would just in here, try bro. Aggression to like a thousand to try, um, because they still have to hold every part of the map. Just because you have passive angles doesn't mean that they're gonna be able to counter you still. Sure. And I think they're probably not having fun waiting for these fights to come in slowly. Nice. And I feel like generally that's kind of when we've seen Spirit ever struggle on Mirage. That's exactly what they start doing. There's also some like massive gaps here where Imperial they're not like they don't even have a B hulser. Oh, I do. Cool tired. Push. So there's a couple rounds where they could have got full flanked easily. So this could be the prep, you know, with Zach and, and the team about thinking about what Spirit are not willing to do because they like to, as you pointed out, put aggression down in middle, top of middle. Sue acting like he doesn't um, know what he said, bro. That's crazy. You played on fucking MIBR. Basically what we've seen is... Clearly you, you made, know what he's saying, dude. Come on. At the same time, they might have died inside a bit. You were literally made in Brazil. Beat, sure. Because that's not being watched. So just depends on what Spirit is confident in. Chinese... Uh... Because, of course, it's obvious to us with Mandarin or Cantonese. <laughs> but it can be hard to see the options when you're in the game. Easy couple kills for Phelps to kick off that round, right? We're talking about a close fight on the A site that was a 3v5. Just sitting around waiting for Donk to mm. step into the crosshair. Oh, Window smoke immediately. Christ, Donk's dude. gonna jump out. Looking to contest and challenge from underpass. Big Nate stack coming out of the top of middle. So announces the early presence. That should keep Shiro no, that, preoccupied. That cold game was also sick. took Zontics down to the game was health. sick. Still getting chills from that complex. Elise went crazy, man. Ultra, Worst thanks for the five month reset. Thank you. Got an MP9 in jungle. You have two fast rotations. Whoa, 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 dude. Don't even hate yeah, on the bald eagle. What the fuck? The smokes. That's fucked up, man. It just doesn't feel like Spirit are letting loose as they have in the past. Smoke for Magic still to work. Frag Grenade on Zontix. But there. Chopper also has an MP9 only inside of A. Here it comes. Here's the hit. They're trading places. Magic's trying to run over as fast as he can. He'll be hanging on to Ticket as Chopper gets a chance and a kill. Goes up the ladder. Nice reposition. They're trying to chase him. His teammate's not here to help. He's doing it on his own. Then they ah, press damn, in. How's he Magic's too? MP9. Fight. Vinny crossing towards Firebox. Opens the door for Shiro. And now the SMGs are starting to hit their shots. Henny softened <clears throat> up. Down to 2 HP. The CTs line up. But the pistol gets yeah, the job done. Weird. Okay. I Of all the rounds that they didn't win <laughs> versus that A hit. Kind of surprised they pulled this one out. Chopper did a good job, of course, of getting two kills from underneath Balcony alone on the A site with an MP9. And his next closest teammate also had an MP9 in jungle or the Obit connector that had no vision. So, I mean, of course, he needed to get everything he got right here. Then they had that push through from Shiro, the sh frag in from Magic. Yeah, I mean, whenever you watch the Leafs play, right whether now, you're in a but, um, game with them or watching them or whatever against him also, yeah he's pretty much a human turret chopper yeah. yeah getting up the ladder and then going for the wide from swing, personal not just experience like corner, actually you know, playing against scared him if i'm being brutally honest the most annoying person to play against was actually neff just want to know what he's in terms of so just bad. like how you died donk from at least would rip your head off Tomsk. but like the middle the middle anytime you just see like neff if you didn't put him down on your first two shots you just like melt super high ping basically to almost anywhere um, 
yeah, like just generally really remote. Just the body area. shot, God. Like anywhere in Europe. You didn't put him down in two swing. shots. Exactly. Like you just kind of like I mean, disintegrated. It's the same way that Zentaris, uh playing from Turkey in early days mm. CS:GO got good at swinging it as well. That's why I play on European servers from the east coast of NA. Mm. That's why I use fake lag just to play like a, feel like a European. <laughs> That's why I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> nah, thanks to 22 months farmer. Thank you. Mid. No way. It's pressure. It is real pressure. But there's Donk. We've been waiting to say his name. And he's been oh hunting second God. servings what? over the top of stairs. Exactly, right? You start to lock in with Donk and he will shred you. Looking for his third on the round. Flash over the top of Connector. And okay. Oh, my he's God. Bored. He's bored right now. Yeah. You've waited long oh. enough. Donk is immovable. <laughs> Added a clip to the you part start, where Vinny had them where you said, fuck it, let's play versus Donk. The first fast round you use, and Donk is still faster. It was a matter of time before he found a moment like that one, and Magic's going to steal the deal. Team Spirit, 5-2. <laughs> that was crazy. Bro, he literally, that, I actually like, um, that's a hot take. I actually like being able to see your feet in CS2. Okay. I won't lie, like even playing KZ, it's been kind of fun to be able to see your feet. Sure. Like dangling in the air as you jump. And you can see when he goes in for the second kill, one foot is barely <laughs> on the stairs at all. He's like, trying not to slip off. Hardly balancing. There you go. That's a donk in the pocket kind of moment. Yeah. Where lesser men would shell up. Pause the game. Is he allowed to peek him that many times? Dunk doubles down. Just that wide swing to clear beneath him. Like the threat of ramp was real the entire time. Yeah. Didn't give a damn. No, he didn't. And that's what makes him special. He knows everyone's scared of him. Shiro holding off the cross. This makes it interesting. Little deagle kill from Descenti, but Magix oh. is clean. There you go, Magix. That's all you need from clean. him. Mm. He'll hold your B site. Ecos. <laughs> yeah, the good rotations is a big part of why Sad with the gift so of well. radical, thank you. It's easy to be fast on rotating. Can someone explain the Launders racist thing? Extreme, you can look extremely uh, silly if you're rotating. Launders just said fast, he misses when fake, teams... Right? So the key part had more like national in, uh, teams and somebody called him racist for it unironically so well, he's just like, kind of doubling they were down rotating fast but they also weren't getting tricked he said it was just like create more compelling storylines which i think is going head hunting top I mean, middle yeah, it's, it's much easier to generate a storyline around any Don, team we really when they're from like one place. Hyper aggressive top mid I don't know yet, a single fucking person on Ecstatic, and I just know Zipple owns them late or, or is a co-owner, and I know that they're Danish, so I like it's actually kind of fun because it's the Danish major, so you're like, oh shit. When, when everybody's just like an era international Imperial team and they kind of lo a lot of again. organizations and Experience teams have board. lost kind of like yeah but uh this you know where they're from saw, well number one they're still taking mid every round because it's been open and then also make sure it's not himself oh no, no 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 people so, who are genuinely like saying that he's going to yeah. come back into a fake which people, is a nice development here for imperial and their strategies say, very cool on this t not really a brag but trust me if you say that take i've said it many times myself and, and random dickheads and push out. That's racist. On the other side of the map. Like, so, so we'll see if Chopper, stupid. what he, how he responds to this pressure, because he might not push and actually call a rotation over. Astralis Ooh, is Danish, go. right? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Molly they just also happen to be bad. But Magic served up an easy kill as Descent is concerned about catwalk. Yeah. Eight defenders in position. Shiro, the anchor on ticket, and a wounded Phelps trying to jump over Sandwich. This one is very quickly losing its gusto. Imperial will be limping into an overstacked bombsite. Look at Spirit reading it like a book. They got five players here, and Imperial with no time to go elsewhere have to concede it. And CTs are coming after the Mark Wahlbergs in the Penny, suburbs. You better just take the ticket and die now. They're going to keep coming at him. Oh, he's hanging on. After time. Yes, sir. Time expires. Vinny's money gets cleaned out. And Phelps will maintain the only gun for Imperial. That's another danger of playing it down the clock. You you get some mistakes out of CT sometimes when you do that, but you risk dying after time. You risk not getting the bomb down. 
I really don't um, get how what Laundry said can be implicated as racist. It can't Imperial be. People are, are just really keeping stupid. A simple game plan and then like coming through with conviction behind it. And See, the problem is, is you're actually but taking logic and then trying to apply to it to the situation and thinking of something in like a meaningful way. To, like, but to see, that was where you went wrong. What you're supposed to do is not think about it at all and just be mad. They're not pretending to do things. They're actually just sitting back and being completely silent, which most good teams are going to be able to play against. Because that would be nationalism. Or I, I don't they even know, is it even a word for, like, for the after that? Like, fuck me. Have Nationalist? Nationalistic? Play like, this way, but it seems like Spirit are just getting better versus it. Pistol wants to get close, but Rifle's trained on him and no teammate there to trade it, so it's just a free death against Vinny. No, no, it's not xenophobic because he's not... I mean, at least no I wouldn't think off. so, because it's not about other countries, right? Down beneath, and he's got the gun, right? Maybe. If gonna crack this round open, it Don't think that would apply in that scenario. In the window, but where there's one, there's more. And Chopper, clean turnaround for top middle to give Spirit that eighth. Yeah, that kind of feels like they are treating utility West as if it's like is pure gold. Up. You know, Let's not go generalizing down the rabbit hole, you do. Don't go the other way with it. Or whatever. And there were some feel out oh, Brian. Spirit. We're like, okay, let's see what you do with the space. Right. And I don't really, I'm too exhausted right now to be dealing with all this shit in my chat. So let's not go too far. I was just oh, explaining <laughs> why Launder is tapped respect in. Respect was definitely shown. Yeah, Ryan, how do the legend no, spots I work? I actually don't know. So we have like, seven you know, slots right now. So let's just say Cole qualifies tomorrow. Do we have eight slots with seven challenger one? But there's always a reason. There's always a reason. Whether it's giving your opponent an idea, covering a flank, Duplicating your presence. It doesn't necessarily have to be attacking a site or Ooh, nice nades for the CTs, softening up Vinny. I don't think he said anything better anything better than anyone else. He did like they're getting I more aware God of the chat. Shut up. Oh, Donk is I can't just talk to you guys about anything. It. Good trade frag got a Shiro from Connector. Vinny reveals himself with the shots from top middle, so now he's kind of stuck in with the defense. So wait, Chopper, if complexity job, qualifies, mm -hmm. that's Chopper how it'll work. Or you go back a few majors. Okay, so one of them, one of the slots gets upgraded to legends. Yeah. What happens and if two go up? teammates weren't on the caliber as they are today, but there is no denying that Chopper on a mechanical don't level. Don't take the bait. It's not the bait. It's people come in halfway through conversation, then enough. input their own opinion enough, where they don't I mean, actually know what's being seen talked Chopper about. Chopper at his best and his worst um, over the years, and I, I mean. As an English speaker, okay, so I feel like challengers we is more about our total number of journey, slots, and then so teams and playoffs upgrades them you know, to legend well, slots. We've seen him at majors, obviously get to majors, well, have a new teams that he's bringing up, yeah. but then get nervous, like get so nervous in really big moments, and everyone can be a victim to that and still be a great player. And we finally got a time where Chopper's got his cat in right. now. Right, he the it. roster with the most amount of individual potential. And now he's attracting talent like Shiro to come in yep. as a veteran to Spirit. This is the most strong they've looked for multiple angles. And I think it started with Chopper, as you're bringing up, and his evolution as, an, as a leader in the scene over the years. Yeah, and the improvements that he just kind of injected Can into Can you repeat young, that? So we have seven tots, his region, uh, tots, tots, that comes tater with that, tots. No we have doubt. seven tater tots. You know, he was spinning many plates. And every single time being one team server. qualifies the playoffs from the Americas, that now tater tot upgrades into nice, a super nice tot. Flashbangs, but it's Donk to give the cover. Same position that we've already seen him pop off from. AKA Legend and spot. you know he wants these fights. So him and Zontix will share them to a piece and leave no way scrambling through underpass in the final round of this T-side. You know, it started off with some promise from Imperial, some interesting pacing that looked like it could catch Spirit off guard. Seven so Tater Tots, America will use anything besides the metric system. And you're goddamn right, that's my fucking God-given right, you sick son of a bitch. Flying colors. Two kills for no way. Three needed in this round. Grenades sailing in all around him. It's an artillery barrage and high pressure as we've come to expect from Team Spirit. This could have been a matchup versus Virtus Pro. Of course, Imperial beat them earlier today to get into this 1-0. I think Spirit are, are quite happy to not have to play against their, like, basically their rivals, even though they've, they're winning oh, it's now a, consistently. It's a real rivalry. Yeah, yeah. They, they can play close to them. I think James waiting for his opportunity to strike back Of course, Spirit. the fatty uses uh, food. But they avoid that, so I think they're pretty gracious probably for this opportunity to play against one of the lower That's all I have teams. to say. And, um, and you could see that they did give them respect <clears> at first, but now they're just right back to play, treating them like any other team that they played against, which is basically no respect, mm. CS. You know, at a parallel somewhat. So after this game, I want Imperial Curtis to win. Pro yes. And Team Spirit is, I think that when, when they punch downwards, they punch really hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like bullying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like in a fun way. Yeah, exactly. 
right now. Team Spirit taking it out on Imperial. A very clean start to the Copenhagen Major for a team that is coming in with high expectations. Multiple major playoffs in the past for Team Spirit as an organization, for Chopper as an in-game leader. Losing pieces of those successful rosters and coming back with young talent and that key final piece, right? The attraction of Shiro from Cloud9. Huge in their run to Katowice. The clutch factor he brings in. Big ticket player. Right now, a site doesn't matter. It's B that's under wraps from Team Spirit already. They get this bomb down in an absolute freebie. <laughs> Shiro sends a bullet Jesus. through the smoke. Right, well. Taps out Phelps. And it just Cloud9 like beat Ecstatic, right? They're the shackles, going for the frags on all fronts and coming out successful every single time. Henny's the only player to post anything. Oh Donk doubles down to close it. Bro. And it's Team Spirit on the brink of the fastest 2-0 route we've seen all day. Yeah. There's a there's a boulderer named Sean Rabatou who... Say that one more time. Sean Rabatou. Okay. He's the strongest. He was the strongest boulder for a second, just like uh, last year or something. I don't know. They'll follow the scene that way. But he had this line where he said, like, it's got to be like walking. You know, you've mm -hmm. got to do it every day so that it doesn't feel Could difficult. Could get two you points get right. That'd like go the same crazy. Thing as walking around, like using your body in that way. And that's what I see when I look at Donk. I'm like, I see someone who's so consistent because he lives in this game. He just, like, does this all the time. This is the only thing he does all the yeah, time. Yeah, Gatler, I will. He's I'm just a little fucking cooked right now, man. in the pool. And cues them nonstop and knows every angle. Of course, he's going to be consistent with the way he moves around and aims. It's just like walking for Donk. And he doesn't sully that with things like Deathmatch, right? He's another one of those players that only plays matches. Yeah, it's like Zaiwu, actually. Him and Zaiwu, they both don't uh, play Deathmatch. I mean, the best practice is playing. I, That's it. I, I genuinely hate that they're saying this ages. right now. Throw Monacy in that boat, too. How much of your life have you actually spent in the server in comparison they to They do outside? deathmatch chat. It's okay though. CT stacked up on side connector, just gonna get torn to pieces. Donk hitting headshots like it's nothing. This was like a quote that was mistranslated like easy. years ago yeah. and that's, it's just been like perpetuated for like a while now. We had a five gajillion overtime game to start yeah, off yes, the stream. Yes, they deathmatch. Yes, they deathmatch all the time. The no, they don't do it a lot. A match versus Navi. Versus G2, that was very fun to watch. Went the full distance. Very complicated situation. I never understand why people are still going. Dude, that was like, that like interview from Zywu was hours. like years Real ago. And it was, mis oh, God. It feels like it's going to go about 15. Yep. First gun round comes through from Imperial. And it's nice to see, I think, a scene like this. Because if we're asking ourselves who could no, come in No, but they make it seem major, the way really everybody's like, is like they've never spirit, touched right? deathmatch in the their life. Favorites coming in had they deathmatch, vitality and right? Votus Pro as They're the just teams not literally in there like and for hours and hours. Some players are in there hours and hours a day. They usually just do it to warm up. Here in Copenhagen. And nobody runs faster than Donk when there are headshots to be had. Chopper. Meant to be the weak link is right up there with him. 10 and 7 on the trot. CT scrambled to the other side of the map. And albeit an impressive start to the day for Imperial, besting Virtus Pro, proving that they are here in top All right. 16. Well, that was to continue honestly their spirit. Copenhagen. Thank you, because I got a lift in 20 minutes and I got to react to some shit. Those goals are winning their first major. It's a 2-0 kickoff, it's a nade to top con, and it is Donk to seal the deal. This is not a sweat for right. Team Spirit. It is a statement that they are here to win. Madges is like, dude, this is, these guys qualified from the last stage? Like, what the fuck? Not much of an explosion in terms of the... Hey, any translators, dude? What did he say? Somebody knew. All right, let's do a little recap for the day. Yeah, chat? Recap, and actually, I have not looked at stickers once. I have not looked at stickers fucking once. True, they did say f fuck flom. They did. They did. They did. Come on, open up. CS, let's go. Mm, come on.
Anybody, anybody else's Counter Strike just open up way slower than it used to? I still connect to shit fast, but. Hey, are your ears bleeding now? Because mine are. Holy shit. Why does Spotify always just stay full blast? Anyways, I just needed something in the background so I didn't lose my mind. DMCA? Nah, it's not DMCA. We're safe. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to have that shit open. All right. Um. So let's look. Yeah, yeah. So recap for elimination stage. Still hate that it's not called Legends, but whatever. Our phase three O cooked. I think everybody that put phase three O kind of knew we were cooked. In hindsight, Miles kind of felt like a decent gamble, or should have felt like one. But yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. All good. Spirits 2 0, so we're feeling good there. Vitality looking shaky, but they're 1 and 1. G2, 1 and 1. Mao's probably going to. Good chance that they might go 3 0. These two play each other now, I think. I got to look. VP. Like right now, everything actually looks good. These two are both in the 0 3 game tomorrow. All of our teams advancing are nobody's in like a really terrible spot. So, so far, only phase has messed us up. The good news is all these teams are in. I think the bad news is, is Miles and Cole play each other. So one of them is going to immediately be out for getting us points because they're going to go 3-0. Hopefully Cole goes 3-0 just because that'd make me happy. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, they for sure play each other tomorrow. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who's going to win that. I think Miles is the better team right now. But as I keep saying, I think Elysia's individual form is so fucking crazy right now that you just. I think Cole can beat anyone when Elysia just plays like that. If he's dropping 40 kills in a game or almost 40 it's just somebody shows up there they're terrifying but i think miles is the favorite for sure so that's the update on the pickums now let's get into stickers the fuck is going on here wait can i look at them like that or do i have to buy them I don't know. Valve, what did you do? Why is my game instantly alt tabbing? And now it's stuck. I clicked the capsule and now this is flashing in front of me. Perfect. I. Picking flums, pickups is consistent silver coin. Yeah, dude. True. That's why I like. Every time I make it all the way to the playoffs and I just choose the underdog in finals. Grow up. Okay, yeah, I just have an instant or infinite alt tabbing glitch. I've copied your pickums like two times down. You fucked me both times. If you're talking about last major. Everybody got fucked. That legend stage was crazy. Just like in the opening stage of this one. The only person that didn't get it wrong is the person that's got it wrong for like the last eight majors. Congratulations. Like. All right, let me restart my shit. Or they press the random button pretty much. Your legend stage was good for Paris. I can't remember. I fucked up one of them. No, I think legend stage fucked up everybody. Like the playoff stage. Yeah, legends to playoffs was bad for everyone because you had Gamer Legion. You had Apex. You had, there's a third one that I'm forgetting too. 
Um, Monty and Into the Breach, I think. So you were just, I mean, I think something like, what, it was only one top 10 team in the world was even in fucking playoffs or some ridiculous shit. Or, or only one top five team. It was one of them. So yeah, sorry, bro, my bad. Didn't see that one coming. Mm. And it was actually the worst fucking playoff bracket ever because Vitality just kind of cruise controlled through. All right, so what, how the fuck do I get one of these capsules to look at them without blowing up my game? God bless, I did it. Holy shit. Why does this look so deep fried? Okay, it looks better here. <coughs> but it still kind of looks deep fried as fuck. Oh, that looks sick, though. The phase is like... This looks deep fried as all hell, dude. It seems like the solid colors are just like super fucking pronounced. People are still complaining about the borderless ones, huh? But I feel like borderless still goes better on guns and they sell more. That's why they do it, right? Like, even if you want the stickers to look drastically different from one to another, I just think that... I just think that people... At the end of the day, people use these more for crafts and stuff because they're borderless. I understand wanting to look unique. It's just... Oh, shit. I forgot to mute that real quick. Like, I get it. I get wanting to, you know... I get the, the sentiment of, you know, they look similar and... You're not wrong. I just think if you're Valve, it's hard to... <laughs> it's like, wow, this is selling more. People buy more of these. You're just kind of giving the people what they want at that point. Oh, that looks really clean. The golds look nice. I like the the texture. I like it. I like it. I do think that the PGL logo is nice for this. Want to open some? No. Overall, I think the stickers look nice. I, I I see what people mean. I obviously I hadn't looked at these quite yet. I took like a day because I was just busy. And I heard people complain about how, you know, borderless just all look the same, which I get it. But I still think the stickers look good. And I imagine that'll be reflected in the sales once again. That just there's more and more and more and more. Anybody got some really terrible handwriting? Let me see. All right, JL, JL can. I respect it, Alexi B. I respect it. Damn, okay. Because they also had to draw all of these, right? Like, so these motherfuckers were doing it themselves. I like how Alexi literally just looks like he's about to take a test. That's what that. <laughs> I respect that, dude. He's just like, fuck it. Yep, smart man. Not bad. I literally thought that said hamster. <laughs> I could just be really sleep deprived. I Like, for like one second, I swear it said... <laughs> oh, shit.
thought that was an X. No Batman. All right, Rops is an overachiever, and I'm sick of it. How many times do you think he practiced this? At least once. At least once is the answer. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. What the? Is that the jester? Uh. Hmm. Is Messi the king? Zai woo. I wish it said Jimmy. Oh, they're doing little hearts. <laughs> I like it. All right, that's not bad, Floppy. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like it. <laughs> yeah, okay, and then we're coming back around. So let's just look at the stickers. Man, the glitter has got to be one of the coolest things, though, in general. My God. I think the glitters here look better with the signatures because you have some like when it's just the logo for phase man that shit looked really strong just bounce around yeah that's nice I think the stickers look good, man. I know they're minimal. I know they're basic as hell, but I still think they look good. Mm -mm. Golds. Spirit logo is cool. I think I might like the, I think I might like the hollows more. The golds for the teams look good, but with the signatures, I don't like it as much. The, yeah, the signatures just don't really like, kind of just feels a bit blurred together. I like the glitters more for the signatures. Uh, no, honestly, I'm, that's that's it for me. I'm not going to look at more signatures. I'm sure they're cool, but I'm not feeling that great, and I'm about to lift here in four minutes, so I'm just going to go try to get a second here to get myself together. Well, I'm going to call it there. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to try to get some rest. Thank you very much. Uh Matuko, thank you very much for the 30 month resub. Pooh Bear, thanks for the 22. E Ed Box, thanks for the three. And Maltese, thank you very much for the tier one. Thank you. Thank you very much for the subs, the follows, the donations today, guys. If you guys did enjoy the stream, please, please, please don't forget to follow and subscribe on YouTube. Turn on notifications, all that good shit. Both streams were fantastic. I think we peaked today with both together at 8,000, which is, I mean, like I said, to give you guys perspective, you know, when we first started doing the co-streams for the major, like, year or two ago, like, in the grand finals, I peaked at, I think, like, four or five. So, opening stage of groups, you know, having 8,000 across two platforms is pretty cool. I try not to focus on numbers, but I also try to appreciate them when they're doing well, you know? So thank you very much for supporting me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to spam some ads here at the end, but I'm, I might just raid and host somebody. All right. So heads up. All right. Let's find somebody to raid and host.
Tucker's MMing. I'll do Tucker. I didn't even, I don't even remember that being a thing if I'm honest with you. All right. I'll see beautiful humans tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Catch y'all later. Stay kind, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in the next stream tomorrow morning. <laughs> Sorry, Valiant. All right, later, guys.